Chapter 1771 Are you willing to take me on head on? Wang Lin paused and gave the third concubine a quick glance. Wang Lin noticed tenacity and seriousness in her eyes as he met them. Wang Lin was experiencing this emotion. Wang Lin's icy demeanor softened a little. With Wang Lin's insight, he was able to discern her sincere desire to assist him. He thought back to their encounter in the ancient tomb. Wang Lin thought silently for a moment before focusing on the woman's wrist. With a slow look, Wang Lin asked, What is your request? There is no request, said the third concubine. I will help you once since you have helped me. Wang Lin's countenance changed upon hearing her words. Wang Lin thought for a moment before speaking quietly. You don't have to take it personally, it was a straightforward issue back then. The third concubine lifted her head and turned to face Wang Lin, saying, You helped me, so I'll help you. There was something special about her beautiful face right now, but as of right now, I have no intention of climbing the mountain. Wang Lin flashed a seldom seen smile. Startled, the third concubine was unsure of what to say. Tell me your true name. Wang Lin peered up at the far-off sky. A brief moment of iciness appeared in his gaze. After a brief period of hesitation, the third concubine whispered, Tang Shan. As he turned to face the distance, Wang Lin's voice abruptly grew icy. Activate your seven golden doors and step back a bit. Tang Shan's gaze grew strained. Since her cultivation level was not low, she saw the anomaly right away. Without hesitation, she listened to Wang Lin, and a golden light surrounded her. Around her seven golden doors materialized. From a distance, a ray of light was speeding toward this location. Within this beam of light was a massive stone platform. A young man dressed in blue stood atop this shining pedestal. The young man's gaze met Wang Lin's quickly. Their eyes locked, and then there were booming noises in their heads. When their gazes locked, it was as though they had cast a spell on each other. Wang Lin snorted coldly and his body remained motionless. The young man took a half step back as his body stumbled a little. He gave Wang Lin a fierce, menacing face. Wang Lin, I've finally got up to speed with you. From Planet Five Elements, I'm Yun Yai Fang. Our most recent fight was hurried and left us feeling unsatisfied. Would you dare to take on me directly today without using the Li Guang Bao or any other plotting? From the stone platform, the light vanished. Wang Lin caught the young man in blue eye contact. While we are in the center of the cave world, I'll follow all of your orders if you can defeat me, Yun Yai Fang said as he moved off the platform and faced Wang Lin. Tang Shan, the third concubine, didn't exist in his view. To him, Wang Lin was the only one. Wang Lin's eyes grew even more chilly as he continued to stare at Yun Yai Fang. He was lacking the spirit of a strong farmer, and this individual had arrived on his own. Although Wang Lin would save some time by doing this, the person's cultivation level wasn't very high. Wang Lin believed that his soul alone was insufficient. He had equaled Wang Lin's strength on Planet 5 Elements back then, but Wang Lin had just broken through the formation and was hurt. Furthermore, Wang Lin's heaven-ripping spell wasn't finished at the time. At this point, Wang Lin had reached the pinnacle of his training, and his heaven-shattering spell of heaven-ripping. Wang Lin didn't see Yun Yai Feng as a danger. That being said, Wang Lin would be moved if this individual kept their word after losing. Wang Lin uttered softly, your words have no meaning. Yun Yai Fang struck his forehead with his right hand as his eyes brightened. A blood oath droplet shot in Wang Lin's direction. After accepting the blood, Wang Lin examined it closely. Yun Yai Fang lifted his right hand and his eyes grew icy. As he advanced, a massive blade materialized, and he cut at Wang Lin. Rumbles of thunder resounded. This blade created a ray of blade energy that appeared to split the heavens. It seemed to be closing in on Wang Lin, the might of the globe gathering around it. With a snort of cold, Wang Lin stepped forward the moment the sword descended. He threw a punch at Yun Yai Fang, clenching his right palm into a fist and gathering his ancient Dao force. With one punch, the world went from one color to another, warped and seeming like it was about to fall apart. The shadow of ancient Dao materialized and struck the blade. The sword and punch met in an instant. The knife broke into a million pieces. Wang Lin's blow also wore off. After his body was sent back a thousand feet, Yun Yai Fang laughed and lifted his right hand. With a wave of his right hand, a dark light and black fog materialized in front of him. He produced a blade by reaching into the mist. He cut at Wang Lin, then stretched again into the mist. Seven blades appeared out of the mist in an instant and cut at Wang Lin. 
A huge blade energy formed by the seven slices coming together flew toward Wang Lin's direction. Yun Yifeng shouted, eight blades cut the soul, as seven overlapping shadows materialized. It seemed like he had materialized in seven different forms, each clutching the blade. All seven of them launched simultaneous attacks. After these seven blades united, the hazy outline of an eighth blade emerged. There are two blades on the handle, four on the body, and one on the tip. The world become dark and warped. It appeared as though Yun Yifeng's strongest enchantment was all that remained in this realm. Wang Lin's face remained unchanged as the eight blades got closer. Raising his hands, he tore the sky apart. Wang Lin was confronted by enormous hands. This was a nasty pair of hands with a ton of scars. Yamo's arms were it. These two arms seized the emptiness as Wang Lin moved, tearing the sky with a ruthlessness. A massive rift was ripped open, and thunderous rumbles could be heard. The earth and the sky were joined by this rift. It appeared from a distance as though Wang Lin's previous world had crumbled. An ancient aura and a destructive energy capable of destroying the entire earth were present in the rift. As the eight blades struck the fissure, rumbles could be heard. The blades and Yun Yifeng's corpse fell to the ground together. The fourth, fifth, and sixth bodies fell with the blade shortly after. You want to engage in direct combat, I won't even employ the stop spell. Wang Lin said, you want a head-on fight, I'll give you a head-on fight. Her voice was icy and reverberated throughout the globe. Wang Lin's hands tore at the sky again, severing the connection between the world in front of him as soon as his words began to reverberate. Yun Yifeng's fifth, sixth, and seventh bodies broke apart with a thunderous rumbling. In the distance, smoke emerged from the seven crushed bodies and reformed into Yun Yifeng's original body, accompanied by a muffled groan. He looked deathly pale, and he coughed up blood. He took a few backward steps and cast a terrified glance at Wang Lin. His level of fear was exactly the same as when he witnessed the Li Guang Bao being pulled. Is this a direct combat? The rift before Wang Lin progressively closed as Yun Yifeng withdrew. Wang Lin stood there, his white hair billowing in the wind. He carried the blood oath that Yun Yifeng had issued. Yun Yifeng thought in silence. Nodding, he felt resentment in his heart. The blood oath on Wang Lin's hand glowed brilliantly red as soon as he nodded. It became an oath as it gradually evaporated into Wang Lin's palm. Because Yun Yifeng was a gentleman, he didn't manipulate the blood oath in any way. He didn't realize that this had saved his life since he had lost. Even if killing him would have taken some time, Wang Lin would have murdered without hesitation if he had tried anything. But right now, Wang Lin had a better option. He sensed three recognizable auras drawing near as he peered into the distance. They arrived right on schedule. Maybe I might use his authority to question that individual. The fog surrounding the mountain started to move just as this struggle was coming to a finish, forming that fearless head. A resounding roar resounded. Wang Lin's ancient Dao aura enveloped his body, and he had to retreat over a thousand paces in order to withstand it. Having seen the fight before, Tang Shan and Wang Lin withdrew right away. The far sky warped as the deafening rumbles continued. A hazy form appeared. Kill this person, Yun Yifeng. Wang Lin's eyes briefly became icy. Blood light flashed in his right hand as it reached out. As it emerged, the blood sword shot in the direction of the hazy figure. Before the hazy figure, a sun emerged, showering the blood sword with unending sunlight. The indistinct figure was forced to back away, revealing the sovereign, and a loud rumble resounded. Yun Yifeng clinched his teeth and gulped a few tablets the instant he emerged. Using the eight blades to cut the soul, he charged forth. Eight false blades materialized, joining forces to fly in the direction of the sovereign. Tang Shan was another. She waved her hand, instantly creating a seal. Before Yun Yifeng, seven golden doors materialized, and before Wang Lin, seven more did the same. Wang Lin's eyes narrowed in defense. Even protection spells could only be used on the user. Most spells had to be cast during an attack. Rare were those that could be applied to other people. Wang Lin had never seen one that could be used on another person before. Even though Tang Shan's heavenly door sect was not one of the 13 main sects, it was nevertheless well known despite being a tiny group. The majority of their spells were protection spells that could be utilized to shield others, which was the purpose. Acts of Xian Luo, Chapter 1772 While the sovereign was leaving, many spells began to close in. The sovereign exercised great caution. He had learned some of the secrets here, 
Even though he didn't know much about the ancient tomb when he had the seven-colored deist save me Ayin and company, that explains how he managed to get here so fast. He had seen Wang Lin wield the bow three times and had observed the violent struggle in the second bloom. Based on his comprehension of Wang Lin and his independent assessment, he was certain that Wang Lin was no longer capable of drawing the bow. Had he known Wang Lin better, he would not have allowed the seven-colored deist to leave and subsequently allowed old ghost Zhan to pursue the deist. Without a 100% guarantee, Wang Lin didn't think of a scheme to have the lion eat the tiger. In his opinion, he was unable to determine Wang Lin's boundaries. Since he had established that Wang Lin was indeed gravely hurt, the sovereign believed that this was a fantastic chance. He could have gotten his retribution and taken the third soul at this optimal moment by killing Wang Lin. That's why, while old ghost John pursued the seven-colored deist, he had sprinted forward to pursue Wang Lin into the fourth bloom. He had hurried toward the second-to-last floor ahead of everyone else by using his comprehension of the ancient tomb, which he had acquired from Miao Yin and associates. He thought the third concubine would arrive before him, excluding Wang Lin. He wasn't prepared for Yun Yai Feng to outpace him in speed. Yun Yai Feng obviously had his own strategies and good fortune. He encountered a spell that clashed with his law of origin magic at this precise moment, the instant he materialized. The sovereign took three steps back as the attack's force was redirected. His expression darkened as he looked about. The eight blades slashed down toward the sovereign as Yun Yai Feng moved forward. He would not break his pledge, not after losing to Wang Lin. He would obey Wang Lin's commands while they were at the center of the cave world. The seven golden doors were now encircling his body, and he felt warm and nourished. The seven doors served as a shield, and even his wounds somewhat healed. It lessened the blow and made him move even more quickly. After creating the seven golden doors for Wang Lin and Yun Yai Feng, Tang Shen moved. Nine golden flying swords materialized when she formed a seal with her right hand. They soared toward the sovereign in a sword formation. They both launched simultaneous attacks on the sovereign. The potency of Yun Yai Feng's cultivation in conjunction with the eight blades cut the soul was astounding. With a wave of his sleeve, the sovereign shot seven-colored light toward Yun Yai Feng's direction. Rumbles of thunder resounded. Wang Lin had hurt Yun Yai Feng, and the seven golden doors had fallen. With a yell, he cut down, clenching his teeth and coughing up blood. The eighth blade was poised to pierce the seven-colored light and land on the sovereign, while the other seven blades broke when they struck the seven-colored light. The sovereign took three steps back, his body quivering and thundering rumbles resonating. Suddenly, he looked up to see the nine golden flying swords of Tang Shan, encircling him with a powerful heavenly bloodline. They moved quickly, closing in as soon as the sovereign withdrew. The sovereign lifted his hand, creating a circle with his thumb and index finger. He turned to face Tang Shan. His hand produced circles, and from those came golden light. Countless swords appeared to be formed by the light and shot forward. Tang Shan's nine swords broke as they collided with each other. The pieces were forced aside, and Tang Shan was encircled by an infinite stream of light. Seven golden doors seemed to fend off the seven-colored light as the golden beads on Tang Shan's wrist shone. Tang Shan backed away as blood spurted from the corner of her lips and thunderous rumbles resonated. Even an injured person dares to attack me covertly? The sovereign stepped forward, but at this time, Wang Lin's hand seized the emptiness. He used the heaven-ripping spell and the rift that connected the sky and earth appeared once more. It charged at the sovereign. All of this happened in an instant. The moment the sovereign attacked to counter Tang Shan and Yun Yai Feng's attacks, the rift closed in. The sovereign could ignore the injured Yun Yai Feng and the third concubine, but he couldn't ignore Wang Lin's spell. The power of the heaven-ripping spell was terrifying. The sovereign's pupils shrank and the circles formed by his hands faced Wang Lin. His power of going through several arcane tribulants suddenly erupted. Three destructive sovereign Dao first spirit destruction Dao the golden circle before the sovereign shined and collided with the heaven ripping spell. Second ghost destruction Dao the sovereign's robe expanded and a sun appeared before him. The law of origin spread out from his body, making him look like a celestial god. Third God Destruction Dao the Sovereign bit the tip of his tongue and spat out blood. It became a giant, golden print that smashed toward the rift Wang Lin had created. Thunderous rumbles echoed when the endless golden light from the circles before him touched the rift. The circles suddenly collapsed and then the sun behind him flew toward the rift. At the same time, the golden print closed in. Thunderous rumbles echoed and Wang Lin's heaven-ripping spell shattered. 
However, the sun also dissipated before the heaven-ripping spell. Only the golden print broke through everything and smashed toward Wang Lin. Without the Li Guangbao, I want to see how you resist me. The sovereign's breathing was rough as he charged at Wang Lin. On the ground not far away from Wang Lin, Xian Luo calmly watched everything. Along the way, he had witnessed Wang Lin's methods, cunning, persistence, and decisiveness. He now admired Wang Lin greatly. At this moment, he was eager to know how Wang Lin would resist this arcane tribulant cultivator's spell. Will he take Lian Daojhen's brother out to use the immortal celestial body again? Xian Luo was very interested, but a moment later, his eyes narrowed. He saw that there was no panic in Wang Lin's eyes. When the golden print broke through the void, Wang Lin retreated three steps. The first step put Wang Lin 1,000 feet from Xian Luo. After the second step, he was less than 300 feet from Xian Luo. With the third step, Wang Lin appeared beside Xian Luo. He wasn't before Xian Luo but behind Xian Luo. After three steps, Wang Lin sat down. If he could see Xian Luo, then this scene would look very strange. Xian Luo turned around to look at Wang Lin. At the same time, after Wang Lin sat down, he looked at the void before him. Their gazes seemed to meet. Xian Luo looked at Wang Lin for a while until the golden light shined in the sky. The golden print was like a mountain as it descended, and it was less than 100 feet away. The ground around Wang Lin cracked and was pushed down. Interesting. Xian Luo suddenly smiled. He raised his right hand, casually raised his finger, and pointed at the golden print. The golden print stopped 30 feet above their heads. After the golden print was stopped, it flashed violently and suddenly moved again. However, it rapidly shrank until it was only the size of a palm, and floated before Wang Lin. The golden print buzzed. This sound seemed to contain intelligence, it seemed to be trembling in submission. This thing now looked corporeal and had become a treasure. This suddenly change startled Yun Yai Feng, who was about to attack again. He hadn't seen Wang Lin do anything. Wang Lin had just retreated 1,000 feet and sat down. The golden print had actually just stopped in the air. Tang Shan was also startled and stopped the seal her hands were forming. She was going to do her best to protect Wang Lin, but this sudden change shocked her. The two of them were only shocked, but the sovereign was dumbfounded, and his eyes were filled with terror. He couldn't believe what he was seeing and he subconsciously rubbed his eyes. The shock in his heart was even more intense than when he saw Wang Lin use the Li Guangbao. How can this be? This. This is impossible. What I used was a spell, not a treasure. That golden print was formed by my spell, it is an illusion, it shouldn't exist. It was formed by the power of my spell. How can it become corporeal and turn into a treasure? This kind of thing is impossible, impossible the sovereign trembled. Others might now know what it meant, but he knew. To turn an illusory spell into something corporeal. This kind of ability to change the world. This. The sovereign's face turned pale and he subconsciously took a few steps back. The shock bursting inside him was strong enough to break his mind. He had never felt this much fear before. No matter how panicked he was before, it could not compare to now. He didn't understand, couldn't imagine, or to be more accurate, he didn't dare to guess. This is something only master's big brother one of the nine sons of the immortal astral continent could do. The sovereign's heart trembled. He was completely frightened by this. In the distance, Yun Yai Fang saw the sovereign's expression and looked at the golden print floating before Wang Lin. His eyes were filled with terror, as if he had thought of something, and he suddenly bowed his head. However, his expression was clearly seen by Wang Lin, who was paying close attention. Wang Lin vaguely guessed Yun Yai Fang's thoughts. This person was very cunning so he wouldn't do things for no reason. However, Wang Lin had no time to pay attention to it. He raised his right hand and the golden print landed in his grasp. A cold feeling cycled through Wang Lin, and he felt a connection with the golden print. This item had just been created from the void and had no owner. Wang Lin's cultivation was imprinted in it and he became this treasure's first owner. This golden print gave off a powerful aura and sealed the Sovereign God Destruction Deo spell. This spell had been used by the Sovereign at full power, so its strength was the same as the Sovereign using the spell himself. And due to it being created by Xian Luo, it contained a hint of the Nine Suns' power. As a result, this treasure was indestructible. The Sovereign was terrified as Wang Lin devoured the print and began refining it in his origin soul. Xian Luo stood before Wang Lin. He looked at Wang Lin profoundly and then suddenly smiled. At this moment, the fear in the Sovereign's heart reached a limit. 
He gave up on killing Wang Lin and retreated without hesitation. He was scared out of his mind, and his mind was buzzing. He was very smart and cunning, but he could have never expected Xian Luo to be here. He believed that his master's big brother had found this place. Thinking about how terrifying his master's big brother was, the sovereign was soaked in cold sweat. He almost lost his wits. Just as he started retreating, there was a flash of coldness in Wang Lin's eyes. He stood up and took a step forward. Thunderous rumbles echoed as he chased after the sovereign. Back then, you tried to kill me with the life and death calamity. Today, I'll give you a life and death calamity as well Tuo Sen, you have already arrived. Do you want to fight me or help me fight this person? Wang Lin's voice echoed as he chased. Just as his voice echoed, a laugh echoed across the world. The world distorted behind the sovereign and a giant figure appeared. His body was half naked and gave off an ancient aura. It also gave off an arrogant aura. It was Tuo Sen. When his body appeared, his right hand formed a seal and punched toward the sovereign. With this punch, the world rumbled. It was as if this punch had absorbed all the power here, and it landed on the sovereign's body. The sovereign suddenly turned around. His hands formed a seal and sunlight surrounded his body. He seemed to turn into a sun when he collided with the punch. Rumbles of thunder resounded. The sovereign let out a muffled groan and retreated several steps. Tuo Sen's body also trembled, and he retreated 1,000 feet. He revealed a fierce smile. Satisfying Wang Lin, don't fight with spells like these celestials, our clan must fight with our powerful bodies. Break the world and battle the celestials as Tuo Sen spoke, popping sounds echoed from his body. His body stretched to more than tens of thousands of feet tall, but he didn't stop, he continued to expand. Soon, a massive ancient god hundreds of thousands of feet tall appeared in the second to last layer of the ancient tomb. Wang Lin's eyes narrowed and he displayed a smirk. Rumbles came from his body, and for the first time, he entirely stretched his body. Wang Lin's physique quickly enlarged till he was the same size as Tuo Sen. From afar, the two giants looked like two mountains closing the sovereign's route. At the same time, Yun Yifeng's eyes flared. He sensed that the mysterious Xian Luo was around, so he moved decisively. His hands made a seal and his right hand pointed at the sky. There was a flash of purple light, and the purple light instantaneously produced a purple monkey. The monkey flashed a savage glare as it pounced toward the sovereign. Wang Lin has no chance of failing in the core of the cave. My plan won't go wrong. There was also the third concubine, Tang Shan. She clinched her teeth and the golden bead on her wrist flashed. Golden doors appeared and overlapped with each other. The seven golden doors melted into one. Golden light shone as the door morphed into a golden dragon that rushed at the sovereign. The four of them attacked at the same time, and their might was tremendous. Wang Lin and Tuo San both made a fist and their blows blasted down like two gigantic meteors. The sovereign's face was deathly pale and he had no will to battle. He was greatly shaken by what had occurred to the golden print. He assumed his master's big brother was hidden around here. He could not use his entire might since this notion was making him shake. His sole idea was how to get out. The sovereign let out a roar, as if he wanted to let out all the fear in his body, as Wang Lin and Tuo San brought down their fists. He dodged Tuo San's and Wang Lin's blows by moving his hand as though he was holding two runs. Around the world, rumblings of thunder were audible. Tuo Sen took several steps back as his arm began to shake. Wang Lin shuddered as well and took a few steps back. The monkey that had been created by Yun Yifeng's magic came at the same moment and attacked the sovereign. It changed into a purple gas and made its way inside the sovereign. A monkey's shadow materialized between the sovereign's eyebrows. The king shuddered. The attacks from Wang Lin and Tuo Sen had already made his fury boil. Then it felt as though his body was being torn apart by Yun Yifeng's immortal astral continent spell. The sovereign's body was then struck by Tang Shan's golden dragon. The sovereign spun around and used his right hand to destroy the golden dragon. The sovereign coughed up a mouthful of blood for the first time as the golden dragon fell. The horror in his eyes intensified, and his expression darkened. The sovereign feared the old god power of Wang Lin and Tuo San. But there was just too much of a gap in their cultivation levels. They were tough to deal with, but they had also paid a high price to hurt him badly. His greatest dread was what had become of the golden print. There seemed to be a fifth set of eyes observing him placidly. This was an intense feeling that nearly drove him insane. The aura of Deo Master Blue Dream was likewise drawing near to him. 
Blue Dream would be in danger if he came. The sovereign had bloodshot eyes after coughing up blood. As he attempted to walk away, he looked up abruptly and felt vibrations beneath his feet. But at the same moment, Wang Lin opened his storage page and moved his right hand toward the empty space. Twelve ancient leaves sprang forth. These twelve ancient leaves raced toward the sovereign, blocking his escape route, as the spectral light wavered. Wang Lin moved forward as the sovereign was sealed, a flash of death seen in his eyes. He lifted his hand to cast heaven ripping, his greatest magic. The rift flew toward the sovereign as the earth was split wide. In an instant, the rift closed in on the sovereign. Making a seal, the sovereign slapped his hand down on the rift. Tuo Sen's body shifted and an overlapping shadow materialized simultaneously. The haughty aura around him vanished in an instant, to be replaced with steadiness and serenity. It appeared as though he had changed into someone else, the awoken 2SI. More precisely, 2SI was the one who appeared. Reaching into the empty space, he raised his right hand. A huge spear materialized in his palm as thunderous rumbles resounded. He reached for the spear and pierced the sovereign. Tang Shan and Yun Yai Fang launched another attack. Each of them employed their strongest spells. Rumbles of thunder resounded. After spitting blood, Yun Yai Fang fell to the ground. Tang Shan's mouth began to bleed from the corner. She appeared incredibly frail as she stumbled backward more than 10,000 feet. The sovereign caught Tu Si's spear. With an angry face, the sovereign hit Tu Si with his right palm. Tu Si recoiled 1,000 feet as his body shook, but he remained unharmed. The Sovereign pushed 2SI aside and spun around. The heaven-ripping rift was now less than 10 feet away and was closing in. The Sovereign's hair was disheveled and he spit out some of his essence blood without thinking twice after biting his tongue. This blood was bright, and it reached Wang Lin via the fissure. Wang Lin would be in danger if this blood were to strike him. Wang Lin maintained her composure in the crucial situation. Wang Lin spoke one word as the blood began to flow. Cease. Put an end to the planet, the skies, and all laws. Before Wang Lin, the blood briefly stopped, and he calmly dodged it. The blood sword shot forth as he waved his hand. But this was the instant the rebound exploded inside of him. Suppressing the rebound, he paled a little bit on the face. The stop magic vanished in a moment, and the blood shot past Wang Lin and onto the floor. The earth made sizzling noises and started to sink in that area. The sovereign let out a strangled groan as the blood blade flashed. The instant the Sovereign spat out the blood, the blood blade flew toward him too quickly. The Sovereign's right shoulder was penetrated by the sword. Blood spurted forth, causing the Sovereign's eyes to turn red. With his left hand up, he gestured toward the sky. Everyone is pursuing death while fishing the moon in the well. The Deo spell of the Sovereign. To make use of the land as a well that mirrored the entire sky. Wang Lin had witnessed this magic multiple times, and each time it had deeply shocked him. Then, take the soul out of the reflection and murder him. The ground of the second to last layer of the ancient tomb began to ripple as the sovereign spoke, and it quickly took on the appearance of water. On the lake, Wang Lin and company's numbers materialized. The water in the well appeared to be drowning them. Wang Lin would not fight the sovereign until it was absolutely necessary. Old Ghost John and the seven-colored deist were his foes, the sovereign would make things much harder. The sovereign wanted to kill Wang Lin, even if he didn't want to fight. Wang Lin was so compelled to battle. Wang Lin had a significant advantage as well. Tuo Sen, Tang Shan, and Yun Yai Feng had assisted him in gravely wounding the Sovereign. In addition to Wang Lin's earlier deduction, he was able to severely damage the Sovereign's mental state. The conditions had come together to create the ideal setting for the Sovereign's death. What mattered most was that Wang Lin had sensed a third person in addition to Tuo Sen and the Sovereign. This individual was Deo Master Blue Dream, the third. Wang Lin simply didn't think that the five of them couldn't seal the Sovereign. The Sovereign's fishing the moon in the well materialized at this precise instant. He had murderous purpose in his fiery eyes. He obviously sensed that Deo Master Blue Dream had arrived, so he no longer desired to flee. What if Blue Dream is present? You all have to pay the price if you wish to kill me. Time is running out, old Ghost John will be here shortly. I won't be killed by them before old ghost John shows up. Wang Lin and company's figures were mirrored in the dirt that had become a well. Then there was a blue light flash. This blue glow filled the sky and the well. Deo Master Blue Dream emerged into the distance. Wang Lin had radiant eyes. Deo Master Blue Dream sent out a divinsis message upon his arrival. 
Could you seal the sovereign for three breaths, Senior Blue Dream? Blue Dream nodded, drawing near. The ground that had become a well quivered when he waved his arm. The well broke and the soil fell in. He waved a hand, and blue light shot into the fallen well and into the air. It became a world covered in a blue curtain. I am capable of taking three breaths, Deo Master Blue Dream said as he entered the blue light. The blue glow that surrounded them suddenly blasted toward the sovereign. Tang Shan and Yun Yifeng were drawn by the blue light as three blue light rays flew in their direction. Tuo Sen was drawn into the blue light and enveloped by the final ray of light. The blue light merged with all four of them. They became four runes and flew in the direction of the sovereign as soon as they vanished into the blue light. The sovereign's face took a shift. Everything transpired in a split second. The sovereign was being approached by the four runes as soon as Blue Dream materialized. The sovereign was powerless to stop this. Ultimately, this was shaped by Blue Dream's complete cultivation. He could fight arcane tribulent cultivators even if he hadn't yet reached the realm. These four runes crossed all obstacles and landed on the sovereign's body with him leading the way and the assistance of the remaining three. As soon as the four runes touched down, the sovereign stumbled and his entire body was engulfed in a blue glow that sealed his motions. Despite this, he retained great power. His body was bathed in a golden light as the blue light encircled him. When viewed from a distance, the sovereign appeared all golden. After he was sealed, this golden shield can guard him from severe injuries for a short while. The initial breath of the three, Wang Lin made a snap decision. He moved forward and materialized in front of the sovereign at the exact time the sovereign was sealed by the blue light. The ghostly sail materialized when he lifted his right hand. Wang Lin's finger broke through the blue light and landed in the space between the sovereign's eyebrows. A dream for Dao. With the echo of Wang Lin's voice came the second breath. The spectral visage and the dream Dao united, rushing inside the sovereign. Instead of harming the sovereign in any way, they united with his spirit. Wang Lin accessed the sovereign's memories by borrowing the dream Dao, and a bond was established. Wang Lin gestured at the mountain encircled by the dark fog instead of attempting to alter the sovereign's memory. I offer this soul to Yi Si Wang Lin understood that he could not stand up to the sovereign, but he could obtain a knife to murder, and Yi Si was that knife. The third breath came as his words reverberated. There was a heaven-shattering roar as the fog surrounding the peak swirled and split. Simultaneously, the sovereign's spirit began to swiftly vanish from his body, giving the impression that it was being consumed. The sovereign's body shook, his eyes strained, and he roared violently. The four seals on his body vanished as soon as the three breaths were gone. Dao Master Blue Dream, Yun Yifeng, Tang Shan, and Tuo Sen emerged from the blue light surrounding them when the four seals vanished. As the sovereign broke free of Dao Master Blue Dream's seal, pitiful cries resounded. He ducked quickly and held his head. People's hearts were shaken by the depressing cries. The sovereign's soul was being sacrificed and was vanishing quickly. Deo Master Blue Dream and company's pupils contracted upon seeing this. They were taken aback. Wang Lin spat blood and took a step backward, more than a thousand feet. His eyes showed a cold, calculating stare as he turned to face the screaming sovereign. The sovereign's eyes were bloodshot right now. He gazed at Wang Lin and charged at him as if he had gone insane from the extreme anguish. You are the one who caused me to endure such agony. Raiding at Wang Lin, the sovereign shouted, I'm going to kill you, kill you. Killing Wang Lin was the only thing on his thoughts while his consciousness was hazy. I've sacrificed enough souls, ye si puppet. Wang Lin withdrew without even cleaning the blood from the corner of his mouth, saying, I summon you. Wang Lin roared as the sovereign got closer and his hands sealed together. The mountain in the distant fell as the fog raced toward Wang Lin as soon as his words reverberated. It happened very quickly, enveloping Wang Lin right away. It even veiled the sovereign who had advanced. Everyone's eyes were hidden, and then there were two loud noises coming from the mist. One was from the sovereign, and it hurt all the time. The other was full of unquenchable desire to kill. The roars reverberated farther into the dark mist. Nobody could tell what was going on inside, not even the individuals inside the fog. All they could hear were the roars of the sovereign growing more wretched. A second later, the sovereign was flung outside as the fog churned fiercely. His eyes were closed as he hit the ground and remained still. Blue Dream and his companions studied the dense haze surrounding Wang Lin. Gradually, the mist cleared, revealing Wang Lin. This mist was still building. It was congregating to his right rather than in Wang Lin. A shadow was crouched over there. 
Everyone could see the shadow when the fog cleared completely. Tang Shen's face became pale right away, and he took a few steps backwards. Yun Yifeng even gasped, terror shining in his eyes. Even though Tuo Sen and Dao Master Blue Dream were superior, their hearts shook upon seeing the shadow. It was a purple-skinned dwarf. He was crouching there, nude. His body was quite skinny and he had no hair on his head. His tongue protruded seven feet and lingered, quivering. His black eyes seemed to be able to absorb the light from everything around him, slightly distorting his appearance. There was an unfathomable ferocity emanating from his physique. This puppet resembled a demonic spirit that had ascended from hell itself. Even though they were merely squatting there, everyone's hearts were under extreme pressure. Everything around them was quiet. There was only the sound of the demon-like dwarf's breathing. Though Wang Lin appeared composed, his heart was in shock as well. He had witnessed the insane conflict between the ESI puppet and the sovereign inside the mist. Wang Lin struggled for a long while to control the shaking in his heart. He was aware that it was hard to control the puppet and that his bond with it wasn't very strong. He would have to continue killing and offering up souls as sacrifices to it if he sought complete power. This object differs slightly from the third soul's recollection. The memory states that when it materializes, it will possess the strength of a peak early stage void tribulant cultivator who has experienced all nine arcane tribulants. But even with its continued strength, the puppet is unable to match the strength of an actual void tribulant cultivator. It is comparable to someone who has experienced multiple arcane tribulants. Wang Lin was uncertain, but he was unable to find a solution. Xian Luo had been seeing the ESI puppet from a distance ever since it materialized. He knew what it was. I've already experienced auras before. Xian Luo groaned and shook his head. It is a puppet spirit, and it has transformed twice. This seven-colored celestial sovereign is vicious, he said. Wang Lin inhaled deeply before approaching the sovereign who was unconscious. The dwarf trailed silently behind. Its body alternated between solid and hazy. Wang Lin was confused as she gazed upon the unconscious sovereign. Wang Lin waved his arm and placed the sovereign into his storage area after a considerable amount of time. I won't murder you, but you still have half of your soul left. Once, you were the slave of the maniac. I'll let him choose your destiny when he wakes up. Taking the sovereign's soul did not provide Wang Lin any joy. Rather, he experienced some sadness. Wang Lin first heard the sovereign's name while he was only in the second level and they later crossed paths frequently once he entered the ancient star system. Although this man was perhaps the generation's leader, his life had not been happy. He was the madman's slave, after all. Then, upon his disappearance, the maniac was compelled to revere the seven-colored deist as his master and follow his instructions. He was now in this situation because Wang Lin had stolen part of his soul. The Sovereign had assembled the Third Step Cultivators of the Outer Realm to battle the Lord of the Sealed Realm until the latter was reduced to a mere sliver of a soul within the heaven-defying bead. All of this was strikingly comparable to that. It resembled a cycle of rebirth. The murderer was no longer alive. Wang Lin sighed and gave Dao Master Blue Dream and company a tight squeeze. I'm very grateful for this. Wang Lin was the target of Dao Master Blue Dream's glance as it passed by the dwarf. I can't help you much, but no matter what happens, I'll do my best, he said gently. I swear to you this. He said the final two words in a very serious tone. You've returned my inheritance to me and allowed my flowing ink transformation divine technique to be complete, stated Tu Si, also known as Tuo Sen, in a composed manner after growing back to his usual size. I'll assist you in repaying the favor. Although Wang Lin was unsure if the individual was Tuo Sen or Tu Si, he had a hazy idea of what had occurred to them. Regarding Yun Yifeng, he gave Wang Lin a sour smile and remained silent. He had to have lost since he had followed Wang Lin's instructions. There was no more oath blood, yet he would not retract his statements since he still had courage. With a gentle gaze, Wang Lin addressed Tang Shan, the third concubine, saying, Your obligation is settled because I helped you get out of here and you helped me fight the sovereign. In the future, you won't need to give this any thought. After giving it some thought in silence, Tang Shen nodded. The mountain where the ESI puppet originated in the distance gave apart, revealing a whole aura of ancient Dao fragments dispersed. This was the final layer's entrance. Wang Lin was able to get to Yamo's heart location after he had entered. But right now, tremors reverberated through the sky. Some distance away, a few beams of light narrowed and a strong divine feeling extended. 
Wang Lin became aware of this alteration. He peered up at the sky, and his expression gradually darkened. Jean the old ghost had caught up. You're free to descend. With a sigh, blue light spread across Deo Master Blue Dream's body. This elderly man has pledged to help you, therefore I'll keep doing so. His eyes were fixed on the sky, concentrated on combat. Tuo Sen considered this discreetly while glancing at Wang Lin. His body made popping noises, even though he remained silent. He clinched his hands and looked up. Uncle Ma will assist you wait long enough by acting as well. With a bitter smile, Yun Yifang removed a hefty quantity of tablets to chew on. With a wave of his right hand, the light of the five elements emanated from his body. Slowly, a suit of armor started to take shape. Without saying a word, Tang Shan waved her right hand. Everyone in this room was surrounded by seven golden doors. She inhaled deeply and raised her gaze to the heavens. Wang Lin parted his lips, but he was at a loss for words. The ESI puppet had to follow him since it was dependent on him for control when he wasn't present. Consequently, if he wasn't present, there would be no impact from the ESI puppet. Wang Lin gave everyone a heartfelt bow. This was not the moment for words, he knew. Aside from the left eye, he needed to acquire the remaining portion of Yamo's fortune. After that, move past this fourth flower to the fifth, which contains the actual door. But the need was that it be completed before old ghost Jean caught up and he was getting close. Wang Lin stopped hesitating after taking a deep breath. He lunged toward the crumbling mountain. Then he was gone, and then there was a rumbling in the sky, and the form of old ghost Jean emerged. A ring of seven hues encircled his body. The reason for this was that he had consumed the seven-colored deist. Even though the two souls hadn't united, he nevertheless benefited much. He was able to use even more of his cultivation because of this. In addition, he was not the seven-colored deist. He was Old Ghost Jean and the spirit of the seven-colored Celestial Sovereign. Old Ghost Jean acquired the seven-colored Celestial Sovereign's Deo after achieving a high cultivation level. His cultivation level was infinitely close to that of the seven-colored Celestial Sovereign of the past now that he had consumed the seven-colored Deist. Scramble for this old man, you're all ants, Old Ghost Jean's voice rumbled through the lair. The sky was split open and the earth crumbled. Wang Lin surfaced in the final stratum of the ancient tomb. He could hear the faint pounding of a heart the instant he appeared. Although he heard this sound, his heart did not race in response to it. Rather, it made his heart race, making it sound like two distinct pulses were ringing in his ears. Wang Lin's eyes brightened up as he gazed about. This last layer had no earth or sky. There were only blood vessel-like objects that were thousands of feet thick. These blood arteries would all twitch whenever he heard that heartbeat. Wang Lin perceived a massive heart with all of the blood vessels connected to it clearly in his divine sense. Wang Lin experienced a sharp discomfort in his chest with each heartbeat. It felt as though his heart would burst. Though the overall concept remained the same, everything in this place was slightly different from what he had seen when he initially received the inheritance. This was the first time he had ever entered the place, after all, he had only seen a hazy glimpse of it back then. Wang Lin was aware of how important time was. He had no idea how long old ghost Jean could be delayed by Blue Dream and company above. Every breath he held back might be old ghost Jean making up ground. He had to proceed cautiously at this moment since he was unable to look behind him closely. He moved between the blood vessels at his fastest possible speed. Luckily, there were no monsters in this place. Wang Lin traveled unending distances without running into any difficulties. But the heart was beating even faster, as if it could sense Wang Lin's arrival. Wang Lin's heartbeat was not in rhythm with the heartbeat. Wang Lin's face went pale as a result, and his chest began to hurt so badly. The closer he got to the heart, the stronger the feeling became. In the end, the heartbeats were like booming thunder. The sound was like a needle was boring into Wang Lin's heart. Words could hardly explain the pain. However, this unexpected alteration had no influence on the ESI puppet following Wang Lin. It still had its long tongue out and its gaze got even more intense. A feeling of annoyance emanated from it. Despite the severe discomfort he was in, Wang Lin continued to move like the wind. By the time he reached the middle of this layer, the pain nearly drove him insane. He observed the enormous heart and the innumerable blood veins that extended in every direction from it. The heartbeats caused the blood vessels to move as well. Wang Lin's heartbeat started to beat out of rhythm with the enormous heart even more after coming here. A mouthful of blood came out of his cough. This indicated that his heart was about to burst. 
All of Wang Lin's blood arteries were enlarged, causing his blood flow to fluctuate between being fast and slow. These were all indications that something was going to blow in his heart, along with this irregular pulse. This was simply a very deadly heartbeat, it was not a Deo spell, nor was it a spell, ability. Unless Wang Lin was without a heart, even his ancient Deo physique was unable to withstand it. Wang Lin's right fist was clenched over his chest, and his face was a dead pale color. His hand began to shake as a result of the irregular heartbeats he could feel in his heart. Wang Lin clenched his teeth and roared, staggering. He came to rest beside the Herge heart, coughing up blood. His heart beat in time with his body. Wang Lin pushed down the agony and took a seat on the heart. Shutting his eyes, he directed his thoughts towards his heart. Yamo, your arms, bloodline, and origin soul have all been passed down to me. To complete this inheritance, I'm here to inherit your heart. The holy awareness of Wang Lin diffused throughout the heart, saying, if you agree, then stop this irregular heartbeat and beat in sync with me. But just as his divine intuition expanded, the heart beat even more fiercely and quickly. It generated a strong rejection force since it had no desire to be in tune with Wang Lin. I have gained the ancient ancestor's acceptance after enduring the majority of the three trials and seven calamities. Only the heart remains now that I have inherited over half of your possessions. Although I am aware of your reluctance, you have passed away. Since you're already dead, give me your inheritance, and I'll fulfill your final desires by looking after and protecting your relatives on the immortal astral continent. You fought and were defeated by the seven-colored celestial sovereign. It is me, Wang Lin, who will fight the seven-colored celestial sovereign's soul. I'll carry on with that fight from back then, win or lose. Below Wang Lin, the heart stopped abruptly and began to settle down. But then it started to beat wildly again, very slowly. Wang Lin was simultaneously struck with a terrible heavenly sense message that was laced with a hideous resentment. Give me back my left eye. Wang Lin murmured, I'll help you find your left eye. This is my promise to you, as he sprang to consciousness. The heart beneath him began to beat in time with Wang Lin when he stated this, instead of beating out of time with his own. Wang Lin's heartbeat synchronized with a strong ancient Dao aura that materialized out of nowhere and flooded into his body. Wang Lin felt the energy pour inside him, and his garments flapped quickly, as if a strong wind had struck him. Between his eyebrows, the eight ancient god stars rotated quickly and appeared to be producing a ninth star. Wang Lin felt a thunderous rumbling inside his body from the enormous energy that had surged up from the heart below. It swept over him giving him the impression that he was in a strong storm. Each of the three clan stars was spinning quickly and appeared close to become nine stars. Wang Lin's heartbeat matched the beat of the big heart. Wang Lin even believed that this enormous heart belonged to him. The enormous heart beat in time with his own. This sensation intensified with time. Wang Lin was ultimately limited to hearing the heartbeat. Wang Lin felt very comfortable after hearing this sound. His heart began to ache less sharply as well, and he began to feel warm. Wang Lin felt as though he had reached nirvana. The heartbeats gave rise to this realization. Wang Lin felt as though his heart was going to burst from the last stratum of the ancient tomb, as if it were being stabbed. As he calmed down, Wang Lin began to understand this offensive strategy, which was not a spell, ability, or deo, in a vague way. To take control of someone else's heartbeat and manipulate it to produce fatal force, or to make their heartbeat sync with yours and alter their heartbeat rhythm until their heart collapses. The ways to protect against these techniques varies greatly. Wang Lin opened his eyes, sparkling with light. Maybe I might use this information to make another magic that is mine. He calculated the viability of this theory as he took in the aura emanating from the heart. The heartbeat resembles a sound, but it needs assistance to propagate. My thunder origin can generate large rumbles and achieve comparable results. Wang Lin's eyes brightened. If I condense my thunder essence in my heart to help my heartbeat spread out from the body, I still need the assistance of my dream Dao. My heartbeat's sound and the dream Dao's will arrive simultaneously. As their heartbeat varies, illusions will develop, and some consequences might be realized. Wang Lin's eyes will get even brighter. Wang Lin closed his eyes and continued to speculate, saying, if it is combined with my ethereal fire. Then once the heartbeat causes an irritation in their heart, the ethereal fire would be able to burn. Behind him sat Yi Si puppet, and its eyes grew even more ferocious. It started howling subliminally. 
The second to last layer of the ancient tomb rumbled just as Wang Lin's heart and Ye Mo's heart were merging and Wang Lin was understanding the new spell. There was a fierce conflict going on right now, there was a loud bang, so loud it seemed like the earth was breaking apart. Tang Feng was flung skyward by a burst of wind and landed on the crumbling earth. A significant deal of dust was thrown into the air. Pale-faced, Tang Feng was having difficulty standing up. She was bleeding profusely, her heart was pounding, and she was in critical condition. Yun Yai Feng's eyelids were closed not far away. His wounds were really severe. Old Ghost Zhan nearly passed away when his wounds burst open when he waved his hand. There was also Tuo Sen, who was entirely enclosed and encircled by three black battle words. There were violent storms and a gloomy sky. Within this shrouded realm were numerous figures. The two middle-aged males from Planet Five Elements were engaged in combat with the Black Tortoise General and the Vermilion Bird General. Their struggle raged, and it was hard to determine who had won. But the real combat was raging far away, in contrast to them. That was the location of Old Ghost John, and Deo Master Blue Dream and the elderly Ma were engaged in combat with him. Deo Master Blue Dream walked a little unsteadily and had a depressing expression on his face. Old Ghost John was beyond his reach and the most of his spells were defensive in nature. The universe shook under the old man Ma's attacks, despite his helpless stare. He had to take action because Xian Luo had asked him to bring the cultivators from Planet 5 Elements here. He might not be able to exit this underground world if he angered Xian Luo by doing nothing. Old Ghost Zhan had a chilly look in his eyes. He could have reached the last layer and killed Wang Lin to get the third soul if those two hadn't been preventing him. These two, however, were extremely challenging to manage. They were prepared to get hurt in order to delay him. Consequently, even he was unable to quickly go into the final stratum. The elderly guy, Ma, retreated a few paces while the three engaged in combat. He rapidly sent out a divine sense message, his face somewhat pale. Fellow cultivator Blue Dream, allow me to employ a potent sorcery. Deo Master Blue Dream waved his palm and blue light encircled him as he lunged toward Old Ghost Jean at the exact instant he sent out the Divine Sense communication. With a wave of his right palm, Old Ghost Jean let forth a loud roar. The word battle emerged and spread quickly. The blue light warped and then abruptly collapsed as a terrible force expanded. With a frigid snort and a wave of his sleeve, Old Ghost Jean raced toward the elderly guy named Ma, proving that even fireflies can't match the brightness of the moon. It was not Blue Dream that concerned him. Blue Dream hadn't actually used arcane tribulence, after all. Ma, the elderly man, was no longer the same. Old Ghost Jean would have to severely hurt the elderly guy named Ma if he didn't want to become entangled. The elderly Ma withdrew and gestured up at the sky. Just as he was about to cast a spell, he noticed Old Ghost Jean flying over Blue Dream and coming straight toward him. His expression darkened instantly. This blue dream is unable to even pause for a second. But anyway, they had underestimated blue dream him or old ghost Zon. He was dreaded even by the sovereign, and he was one of the five masters of the ancient star system. Despite not having used arcane tribulence, he had his own techniques. Deo master blue dream bit the tip of his tongue at this precise time and spat forth blood. An old zither was created when the essence of blood combined with the collapsing blue light. The old zither had the air of something very old, as if it had been there for ages. It had been kept for countless years inside Deo Master Blue Dream's blood, and it was invisible. When it was made public once more, its power was made clear. Deo Master Blue Dream's ace and most potent gem was an old zither. The sovereign truly feared Deo Master Blue Dream for this reason. Only once, during the duel that made Deo Master Blue Dream renowned, has this zither been utilized. Numerous corpses had been buried by the Zither's melody. He had refined this Zither with much more labor and sacrifice than he would have if he had gone through the arcane tribulence, while not having gone through any of them. The Zither's history was equally enigmatic. It seemed out of place in the realm of the caves. Blue Dream's eyes lit up with anguish when she saw the antique Zither. His wife was missed. He could not heal his wife, even if she was in his storage area. Blue Dream sighed and took a seat behind the Zither picking at the strings with gentle care. Zhang. Zither music reverberated. After passing by Blue Dream, Old Ghost Sean abruptly took three steps back and turned his head. The Zither song rippled the instant he turned his head. Old Ghost Sean's road of retreat was sealed as the sound of the Zither emanated from Blue Dream. There was an odd glow in the old guy Ma's eyes. 
His pupils contracted as he fixed his gaze on the Deo Master Blue Dream. Even though he wasn't familiar with the zither, he could tell it was unique. Without pausing, he pointed his right hand up into the sky at this very time. Endless golden light emanated from the old man Ma's body and spread into the sky, forming a five-element golden celestial condense and golden sky. Gleaming light blanketed the collapsing sky, similar to the three indications and nine songs. The elderly guy called Ma gestured to the soil with his left hand, saying, Five element earth celestial condense, black earth. The ground shook and darkened. This quickly spread, turning everything black. Having spent two five element spells, Ma, the old guy, was exhausted. The hands he was pointing toward the sky and earth with abruptly moved, and he decided not to use them anymore. The zither music of Deo Master Blue Dream completely enclosed old ghost Sean at this point making it even more menacing and deadly. With a wave of his right hand, old ghost Jean's eyes brightened. The word battle shone like gold. The word fell apart, shaking the seal that encased him. The zither melody abruptly increased in volume, and the word battle resisted collapsing with echoes. Old ghost Jean was being targeted by the magic that the elderly man Ma had performed at the same moment. A golden hand extended toward old ghost Jean as the golden sky rumbled. A black hand emerged from the black soil soon after. It approached Old Ghost Jean more slowly than the golden hand. Old Ghost Jean stroked his forehead as the spells closed in, and there was a flicker of coldness in his eyes. A faint shadow materialized behind Old Ghost Jean, resembling a soul. The shadow had long hair and sad eyes that were hidden by a garment covering everything below the eyes. This was the soul of the seven-colored celestial sovereign, which had split off from the body of Old Ghost Jean. The person wearing the cape revealed his arms, causing his hair to flutter. His hands struck the black and golden hands together. The ancient Deo Aura also began to radiate at this time, reaching the final layer from the entrance. A heartbeat started to reverberate. Wang Lin's heartbeat was this. The seven-colored soul of old ghost Jean took flight. The black and gold arms that emerged from the earth and sky clashed with the cape that around him. Rumbles of thunder resounded. Old Ghost Jean was a cultivator close to the pinnacle of Arcane Tribalant, and he possessed great power even in the absence of the seven-colored soul. He had progressed to the early stages of Void Tribalant by half a step. Furthermore, the seven-colored soul had selected him to be united with its soul. Consequently, he was infinitely close to the seven-colored celestial sovereign in terms of cultivation level. His body and soul parted right then. The black arm from the soil shook and crumbled as the seven-colored soul waved its arm, causing the gold arm from the sky to fall. Under his assault, even Deo Master Blue Dream's Sither seal vanished into thin air. Blood spurted from Deo Master Blue Dream's cough. He was badly hurt when the Zither buzzed. He didn't think twice to play it again, though, and the two armies shot in the direction of Old Ghost Zon. Even the elderly man known as Ma experienced severe rebound once the seven-colored soul broke his enchantment. He was driven backward over a thousand feet and blood spurted from the corner of his lips. But he tightened his jaws and spun around to launch another charge. Old Ghost Jean headed in the direction of the two middle-aged men from Planet Five Elements at the same moment that the seven-colored soul and he parted ways. The Vermilion Bird General and the Black Tortoise General were against them. It's possible that the Black Tortoise and Vermilion Bird were coerced into assisting Old Ghost Jean, or they had previously come to an agreement. They thought that Old Ghost Jean was the only option available to them in this situation, and they even thought that Old Ghost Jean would succeed him as the seven-colored celestial sovereign. Old Ghost Jean waved his arm and closed in at this precise moment. The two middle-aged males from Planet Five Elements were hit by two battle characters that flew out and exploded. They were forced to retreat after suffering severe injuries. Old Ghost Jean released an unexpected amount of fight intent. He possessed the fighting essence and was the author of the fighting scrolls. He wouldn't be acting so cautiously if it weren't for the fact that his personality was impacted by his soul fusing with the seven-colored celestial sovereign. Many of its effects faded now that his body and soul were no longer joined, and he reverted to his prior despotic ways. The oppressive methods of warfare. With a gesture of his sleeve, old ghost Jean ordered the two of you to hurry to the entrance and assassinate Wang Lin. The two generals dashed out taking advantage of this force. After the mountain crumbled, they fled toward the entrance to the next layer that had formed. He turned around as he was about to finish speaking, and Ma, the elderly man, appeared. As the two exchanged glances, there seemed to be tremendous rumblings between them. 
They started fighting as they were staring at each other. Deo Master Blue Dream was more nervous than the elderly guy called Ma, yet he was totally focused on playing the zither to seal the seven-colored soul. He exerted every ounce of effort to prevent Wang Lin from being disrupted by the black tortoise and the vermilion bird. Tang Shan was still conscious. To halt the black tortoise and the vermilion bird, she clinched her teeth and jumped into the air. Three battle characters locked Tuo Sen not far away. He roared at this point, shattering the characters he had weakened. He dashed in the direction of the vermilion bird and the black tortoise when the seal broke. He was still slower than the two generals, though, along with Tang Shan. A startling shift happened as the two approached the crumbled mountain and were ready to go inside. The black tortoise was the fastest, 30 feet ahead of the vermilion bird. He heard a thunderous sounding heartbeat as he drew near. His own heart raced in response to this. His pulse was pounding so hard from this unexpected beat. A loud rumble reverberated in the black tortoise general's ears, and his demeanor abruptly transformed. The searing pain shooting through his chest felt like a huge hand reaching in and snatching his heart. The black tortoise general cried out in agony as soon as the severe pain started, and he stopped moving. He was going to turn back when a black hand materialized out of thin air and touched his chest. The black tortoise general gave birth to a bloody cough and fell backward, towards the vermilion bird. For a brief while, the vermilion bird general was shocked and became aware of the heartbeat. His heart raced as a result, and he had a sudden, excruciating chest pain. His face became white, and he instinctively pulled back. But as soon as he pulled back, there was a loud, violent, and bloodthirsty roar coming from the opening. A silhouette vanished and materialized in front of the vermilion bird general. Before he began to cough up blood, the vermilion bird general only saw the black figure. He was flung backward in an arc as the dark shadow collided with him. But the vermilion bird general was closely trailed by the black shadow, who gave him a hug. The shadow displayed a savage smile and bit the vermilion bird general's neck. The vermilion bird general's miserable scream was terrifying, and his body quickly withered as a lot of blood was sucked out by the black shadow. Everything happened too quickly to comprehend in a single instant. The dark shadow lifted its feet and bucked away from the vermilion bird general, remaining in the air. The dark shadow used the force that knocked down the vermilion bird general to launch itself into the air. The ESI puppet was this. Tang Shan and Tuo Sen stopped at this unexpected scene. Along with the seven-colored soul, this also attracted the interest of Deo Master Blue Dream, Old Ghost John, and the elderly man named Ma. Wang Lin's form slowly emerged from the entrance to the final stratum as everyone's gazes converged. Wang Lin's drastically altered appearance caused everyone to gasp. Although he continued to wear all white, the fresh bloodstains on his clothing were startling. Even though it was still white, a large portion of his disheveled hair hung over his shoulder. His clothes and white hair remained the same, but beneath them were startling glyphs all over his skin. Wang Lin's skin glimmered with these runes, which exuded an air of antiquity. There were runes all over his face. It appeared quite rough, and there was a silver shine in his eyes. He sent out an atmosphere that suggested he had contempt for everyone on the planet. His brutality and hardness were evident in his silver eyes. Moreover, there was a chilling sense of murderous intent in those silver eyes. The sight of nine stars revolving between Wang Lin's eyebrows and nine ancient devil stars in his right eye startled Tuo Sen the most. There were eight ancient demon stars in only his left eye. His cheek erupted with flesh blood, cascading from his left eye onto his white shirt. You have acquired every one of Yemo's inheritances, old ghost Zhan said, his expression shifting. Wang Lin gave him a sense of impending danger, which made his heart race. Everyone who saw Wang Lin's silver eyes trembled, not just him. Since Dao Master Blue Dream was Wang Lin's elder, he fared better than the others. Still, the sight of the silver eyes made the old man Ma's heart quiver. Silver eyes there are rumors that nine songs and three signs will be present when the celestial ancestor descends. One of the signs is the golden sky. It's also said that the three signs and the nine songs correspond to what occurs when the ancient ancestor descends. The three signs are for the celestials, and the nine songs are for the ancient ones. This Wang Lin has only inherited Yamo's lineage, how could he have silver eyes? I once heard that two of the nine songs were golden body and silver eyes. Yemo didn't even possess that. As everyone was in disbelief, Xian Luo turned to face Wang Lin at the last layer's entrance, excitement shining in his eyes. A great wave erupted in his heart the moment he saw the silver eyes in the final layer. He was the same when he saw it for the second time. 
The first of the nine songs, Silver Eye, is within the ancient ancestor's possession due to his soul blood. Wang Lin's gaze swept across the ground, pausing momentarily where Xian Luo was, as everyone looked on in shock. He saw something vaguely with his silver eyes, but nobody knew what he'd seen except himself. His eyes swept across, finally settling on the seven-colored soul that had broken free from old ghost John. Wang Lin pointed at the soul while glancing at the body that the cape covered. The sound of a beating heart resounded like thunder the instant he pointed. This sound swiftly enveloped the world, emanating from Wang Lin's heart. With a sudden change in expression, old ghost Zhan shot toward the seven-colored soul. They united into one in front of Wang Lin's eyes. There was no need to stop him, and Wang Lin chose not to stop him. The seven-colored soul fused together, engulfing old ghost Zhan and obscuring the sky behind him. With a sneer, he lunged towards Wang Lin. Wang Lin's remarks quietly resounded between the heartbeats just as Dao Master Blue Dream and the elderly man named Ma were ready to assist. You two have worked hard, I will win this battle. Naturally, Wang Lin noticed that they were hurt, and he was curious about his strength in light of his inheritance. When he was done talking, his heartbeat was terrifying. The heartbeat was impacted by the deafening rumbles. This huge rumble invaded his body and instantly touched his heart as old ghost Jean closed in. Old Ghost Jean halted abruptly, and his heart began to ache sharply. His heart started beating erratically, as though it were about to burst. What sort of incantation is this? The look on Old Ghost Jean's face changed. Suppressing the ache in his heart, he lifted his right hand and held it to his chest. The conflict involved gods and celestials, and Wang Lin's cultivation gradually vanished while his essences concealed themselves. His whole body radiated a thick aura of ancient Dao right now. It was unfortunate that Yemo lost the fight against the seven-colored celestial sovereign and ultimately passed away. I'll carry on that fight with you today. Wang Lin clenched a vicious fist with his right hand. His hand made popping sounds. Wang Lin walked near old ghost Zhan, waving his sleeve, his silver eyes shining. Old ghost Zhan's heart began to race as Wang Lin's heart began to pound violently as she advanced. Old ghost Zhan's face was melancholy and he had a hurt in his chest. The ESI puppet materialized as a black fog in the sky and charged at Old Ghost John. Heartbeat, Thunder Echo Wang Lin spoke quietly, and his heartbeat quickened in time with his words. Old Ghost John's heartbeat roared as it violently raced. He charged at Wang Lin, ignoring the ache in his heart. Wang Lin roared as he saw killing intent flash in his eyes. Mind confused, collapse in one step. It seemed like every sound in the universe was focused on Old Ghost John. There were indicators of collapse in his heart. Old Ghost John's face tightened into a ferocious scowl. He utilized his power to forcefully stop his heart from beating, causing his chest to collapse. With narrowed eyes, Wang Lin took a step forward. His right hand balled into a fist, and inside it gathered the aura of the ancient Dao. Rotating were the nine stars between his eyebrows and the seventeen stars in his eyes. As he launched this fist toward Old Ghost John, all of his ancient Dao aura was collected. Around the world, rumblings of thunder were audible. It felt like the end of the world when the earth and sky fell. Old Ghost Jean created a seal and seven consecutive battle characters. The blow from Wang Lin crashed into them. Six of the seven battle characters fell to the ground as thunderous rumbles resounded, and Wang Lin's punch also gave way. Old Ghost Jean shuddered and staggered backward. The final character burst forth, flying straight toward Wang Lin. Wang Lin felt the force strike her body. A muffled groan was released by Wang Lin, and blood spurted from the corner of his mouth. When he looked up, he saw old ghost Jean being approached by the ESI puppet, and they started fighting. Wang Lin remained composed and considered the strongest spell he had inherited from Ye Emo. After he absorbed the seven-colored Deist, he became a lot stronger. Even though I have obtained all of Ye Emo's inheritances aside from the left eye, I'm still not his match. However, I can risk it once regardless of whether I succeed or fail. This was a clan secret that Yemo had discovered at the ancient Dao temple. Wang Lin saw this spell while he was lost in the recollections of the inheritance, making it hard to forget. As of right now, having acquired every inheritance save the left eye, he had a thorough understanding of this spell. He lifted his arm slowly, clenched it into a fist, and punched at the empty space in front of him. His nine ancient god stars, which combined to form his fist, flew out with his punch. God Shiver, Army Gathering. Although the endless celestial soldiers did not appear as Yemo remembered, 
Wang Lin's spell was still effective. The crumbled world shook and warped as his punch made contact with it, as if it were being drawn inward. Wang Lin's punch appeared to have taken on a central role in the scene, and even as it collapsed, it was still required to revolve around his fist. The world rotated, only Wang Lin remained unmoving. This caused the expression of old ghost Zhan, who was fighting against the ESI puppet, to change. His body trembled and he felt a sense of danger. He chewed the tip of his tongue and sprayed out blood that tried to consume the ESI puppet in order to force it back. Old ghost Zhan dashed at Wang Lin. Before he got close, Wang Lin pulled back his fist and opened his palm before pushing the air in front of him at the same time, Wang Lin's eight ancient demon stars in his left eye rotated and flew out with his palm. Demon spell, wind and fire mountain. As the globe revolved and distorted, flaming wind formed, forming eight pillars around Wang Lin. Smoke and dense demonic force spread forth as anguished screams resonated. At the same time, the vague shadow of eight ancient demons appeared between his pillars. The demons roared, and the pillars rotated around Wang Lin. From afar, these eight smoking pillars of burning wind fused together seemed to form a storm. Old ghost Zhan's body rushed into this storm of fire and wind. Thunderous rumble echoed and he was about to force his way inside. However, he didn't have the time. The ESI puppet let out a roar and caught up to old ghost Zhan. Wang Lin was inside the storm of fire and wind. After one punch and one wave, his right hand stopped in the air. Then he stretched his index finger and pointed forward. Pointing at old ghost Zhan, devil Dao, life and death reverse Wang Lin spoke. Old ghost Zhan's visage abruptly changed as he felt the life force in his body fast transform into a death aura. The ancient tomb started to crumble as Wang Lin gestured. This layer, the layer beneath it, and the layer above it were all engulfed in an aura of unending death. The great number of lives that have passed away here throughout the many years has created an air of death. Due to Wang Lin's magic, they had all relocated at this point and were assembling in Wang Lin's direction. The aura of death swept across everything in an instant. The aura of death was so thick that it became a sea. It had created a dead sea on this revolving planet. The old devil's aura expanded inside this aura of death. The cries of ghosts were audible in the distance. Opening his palms and gently pushing in front of him, Wang Lin murmured, God, demon, devil, ancient Dao, no celestials. The three abilities of the ancient clan swiftly blended together within his body. Nine star historical god. Nine star ancient devil. Eight star ancient demon. These powers fused together inside Wang Lin to from the ancient Dao power. This was the strongest power Wang Lin possessed. They gathered in Wang Lin's right hand, and as his hand moved forward, a giant shadow appeared before him. This shadow was a head. This head was as large as the world, and it occupied most of the world. It gave off a gloomy and ancient aura. Its appearance was not Yemo or Wang Lin, but a stranger. Wang Lin didn't know who it was, but he had a familiar feeling. This feeling came from his bloodline, from the soul blood he had gotten from the ancient ancestor. If Wang Lin were to go to the ancient Dao clan in the immortal astral continent and see the towering statue that surveyed the world with contempt, he would recognize that the head that had appeared was the same as that statue. Ancient ancestor in the distance, Xian Luo's body trembled. He glanced at the head with respect. That head's eyes were fuzzy and it was impossible to properly see its eyes. At this moment, it opened its mouth and gave out a breath. This breath was like a blast of wind that swept against the earth, against old ghost Sean, and against the entire ancient tomb. The fierce wind roared and the earth collapsed. Crackling sounds came from the sky of this layer of the ancient tomb. The sky became grey and turned to stone the earth was covered by grey light and was completely petrified. It was not not only this layer. When this aura spread out, the last layer that had no heart left was petrified. Even the layer above, which was covered in fog, and the entire ancient tomb became petrified as the breath spread. Old ghost Jean's pupils shrank, filled with shock. His face was pale and retreated like crazy, he even ignored the ESI puppet that was chasing him. As he retreated, his hands formed a seal and seven-colored smoke came out from his body, forming the seven-colored soul. At the same time, the second soul also came out, and it was shrouded by the cape. As the cape surrounded him, the ancient Dao breath blew by. The seven-colored soul immediately turned to stone, followed by the second soul. In the end, old ghost Jean's body also petrified with a flash of grey light. Everything seemed to end, but when old ghost Jean and the two souls became petrified, 
Large amounts of cracking sounds echoed. The stone collapsed and the two souls went back into old ghost Jean's body. With terror in his eyes, he withdrew, his body quivering and blood leaking from his cough. He felt the same kind of fear as when Wang Lin was holding the Li Guangbao. The petrified sky collapsed and a great number of spatial rifts appeared as he retreated. The entire ancient tomb collapsed along with it. Abruptly, the fourth flower, black, broke into a storm of broken glass. Wang Lin could not contain the blood that gushed out of the corner of his lips and sprayed out instead. He withdrew over a thousand feet inside the crumbling ancient tomb. Wang Lin's eyes were filled with bitterness and sympathy. No celestial, I used the ancient Dao on him by force, but he managed to get away. I don't have the ability to use it again anytime soon. This battle would be easier if I had the left eye and my old demon was nine stars. I'm still not his match. Forget about it. I'll find the actual door to the immortal astral continent by going to the fifth flower. Wang Lin sighed and vanished from the crumbling ancient tomb. Then I'll open the door and borrow the power from the immortal astral continent to seal him, Wang Lin said. The formation known as Five Flowers Eight Doors was located inside the furnace, encircled by a dense fog, at the center of the cave system. Only the third flower had wilted out of the five that had bloomed, the eight doors were incorporated into the fifth flower. It might be any object in the world, be it a grass blade, a tree, a person, or a beast, anything could be the door. Finding the actual door among the eight in the fifth blossom was therefore just too challenging. Wang Lin needed to reach the final level of this cave, the fifth flower, even though he had no notion where to go. For the fifth flower to blossom, the third soul was necessary. All the memories were contained in the third soul, and the fifth flower would transform once it was absorbed. It would use seven colored's memories to construct a universe. There were nine suns hanging up in the sky behind the ominous clouds, which gave the impression that the sky was not blue at all. The earth was just too big, even though the suns produced warm light. There appeared to be areas where the sunlight wouldn't reach despite the presence of nine suns. A humid wind swept across the land, scattering dust clouds that shot into the boundless range of mountains. A lot of leaves were rustling as the wind howled. Within the mountain range were numerous large jade pavilions and palaces. More than a thousand buildings bordered the mountains. It was hard to determine from a distance whether the palaces and pavilions were carved out of the mountains or built to them. Each pavilion and palace was unique. Like a sky temple in the highlands, they were dispersed throughout the mountain range. A thin layer of clouds enveloped the mountain range, making it appear and disappear, adding a depth of mystery. There were hundreds of cranes flying across the clouds as if they were playing around. There seemed to be people sitting on the cranes, but it was impossible to see them well due to the clouds. Inside the mountain range, there was water running. The water had poured for many years to form a lengthy river that flowed down the mountains into a lake. The pool branched out into innumerable separate branches. Wang Lin sat on a rock beside the river. He stared at the water and grimaced. The ringing of a bell was booming from a faraway peak, but he didn't care. He had been in the fifth flower for more than two months, but he had found no indications about discovering the genuine door. The river was clear and his reflection could be seen. He donned a blue robe that gave off a faint, green light that contained a certain level of protection. He also wore a scarlet robe on his waist with a jade symbol hanging on it. This jade was crystal clear, and it was not typical. As it flashed, it was quite magnificent. However, the reflection of Wang Lin inside the river was significantly different from the ordinary Wang Lin. His appearance, crimson lips and white teeth, sword-like brows, and star-like eyes. In particular, his eyes were deep, as if they carried unlimited power. People of the same sex were compelled to yield, while the opposing sex was bound to appreciate. He had the appearance of someone approximately 18 or 19 years old. Wang Lin has never seen someone so handsome in his life. But if you were to add time and life's helplessness to this face, it would start to resemble the statue Wang Lin had stolen from greed. Even after spending two months here, Wang Lin's attitude remained peculiar as he gazed at the river's reflection. Wang Lin sat there staring up at the sky, then retracted his eyes. After entering the fifth flower, which is formed by the seven-colored celestial sovereign's memories, I became him, he said. The enormous hall's bells echoed once more in his ears. This location is known as the Immortal Astral Continent. It was unexpected for me to enter Seven Colored's recollection and find myself on the Immortal Astral Continent first. Wang Lin grinned bitterly as he raised his gaze to the nine suns in the sky. His memories shaped this universe, 
which belonged to the seven-colored celestial sovereign. Though it's possible to argue that everything in this place is an illusion, these things were real. Wang Lin felt the Dao robe he was wearing. The sex of the immortal astral continent are not something the cave world could compare to. An ascendant cultivator's full power strike might be thwarted by its protection. But how can I locate the actual door? Maybe only the third soul is aware of it. The third soul is also responsible for my current look. However, it appears that I haven't completely assimilated with the third soul. I also can't stand it at all. Wang Lin casually reached into the water and spread some. But still, right now, he scowled again. So Deo, you're brave. The bell has rang twice and you haven't gone to pay your respects to teacher, who just came out from locked door cultivation a stern voice resonated behind Wang Lin. A young man approximately 20 years old walked down from the mountain wearing the same blue robe as Wang Lin. He glanced at Wang Lin with a hard gaze. I came to catch you and bring you back under the orders of senior brother to be punished by the sect rules the young man sneered as he approached Wang Lin. He stretched for Wang Lin's hair, seemingly attempting to drag Wang Lin by the hair back to the hall. Just as his hands got close, Wang Lin turned around and coldly glared at the young man. The young man shuddered at this look. It was as if Wang Lin's gaze was a pair of swords that slashed into his soul. This young man's countenance suddenly changed and he stood there like a wooden chicken. This barely lasted for a second, and as Wang Lin averted his sight, he resumed breathing. He lurched back several steps and nearly fell. For the first time, he gave Wang Lin an apprehensive glance. You, you. Wang Lin had assumed the form of the youthful seven-colored celestial sovereign in the world of the fifth flower, and he had also acquired the memories of his formative years. He was aware that the seven-colored celestial sovereign in his youth lacked ambition and was not as cunning as he would become. At this age, the seven-colored celestial sovereign was exceptionally gifted and ought to have been shielded by the cult. However, his teacher was constantly under closed-door cultivation, and his brilliance attracted a lot of jealousy. His life in the group was not good. The young man before him was one that often bullied him. They never did it directly, instead acting in covert. They regularly used the justification of punishing him per the sect regulations. The seven-colored celestial sovereign didn't draw the attention of the ancestor until more than ten years later, then he was slowly raised by the cult. However, Wang Lin was not so Dao, therefore he wouldn't let history to pass as normal. As the young man retreated in horror, Wang Lin came forward and stood beside the youth. The young man's face turned place and his eyes were filled with panic. He still couldn't fathom how this had happened. He had been gone for a while and had only got back yesterday. He didn't expect this Sudeo to suddenly become like a different person. Before, Sudeo would be bullied as he wished. You. The young man was about to speak, but his voice was suddenly stopped. Wang Lin grasped his neck and raised him into the air. He stopped breathing. His cheeks flushed, and he reached for Wang Lin's arm, trying to pull away. However, Wang Lin maintained an iron grasp that didn't budge no matter how hard he tried. Wang Lin drew the young man nearer by holding his neck. With a direct gaze, he told the young man, don't provoke me, there won't be another chance. The young man was nearly paralyzed with fear, and his vision was already becoming fuzzy. Even though he was unable to nod, it was clear from his demeanor that he would never dare consider PROVOKATING Wang Lin. Wang Lin grinned as he gradually released his grip. Follow me up the mountain, he murmured, giving the young man a pat on the head. After that, he started to move in the direction of the huge hall at the summit of the mountain. The young man grasped his throat and gulped for oxygen. I took him a while to recover. His eyes were filled with terror and astonishment. At that time, he had felt death and knew that this Sodeo would have definitely killed him. While trembling he immediately followed Wang Lin. The mountain path was twisting, and each step was like walking on clouds. Wang Lin walked toward the mountain top as the wind blasted at him, forcing his long hair to flutter. The smell of the ground reached his heart, and it was quite nice. With celestial energy nourishing all life, more people are suitable to a cultivate into celestials. Even the grass and trees would gain spirit. There are even fierce monsters that turn human. Although Wang Lin knew that this celestial energy and smell were all artificial, that merely meant that the genuine immortal astral continent was truly like this. It was entirely different from the cave world. There were several black clouds in the sky, and as additional dark clouds gathered, they began to clash. Thunderous rumbles resonated as lightning rushed across the sky like silver snakes. It's about to rain. 
Wang Lin arrived at the top of the mountain as he muttered and saw the magnificent hall at the top. Standing at a height of over a thousand feet, the hall resembled a massive beast. A massive furnace stood in the center of a square that was over 10,000 feet in size outside the temple. Nine incense sticks, each the thickness of an arm, were burning, and green smoke was billowing into the air. There were almost a hundred cultivators in the square at this very moment. They were conversing with one another in groupings of two and three. Large droplets of rain poured and thunder roared in the sky as Wang Lin stepped onto the square. Even the human figures were blurred by the curtain of rain. The area was drenched, amplifying the sound of the rain. The rain and the ripples it made when the drips landed suddenly blanketed the whole square. The voices grew louder as the rain started to fall. The nine incense sticks, however, continued to burn and showed no indications of going out. The smoke was still rising, and rain could not stop it from rising, no matter how quickly it fell. The rain and smoke combined to create a stunning picture. It seemed unreal. Wang Lin had an umbrella clutched over his head as the rain started to fall. The young man who had trailed Wang Lin was the one. The young man held up the umbrella with an uncomfortable expression on his face and chose to ignore Wang Lin. There were almost a hundred cultivators on the square, and they were all staring. A young man wearing a black robe was leading a group of people. When the third bell rung, they scowled and opened their mouths to yell. The smoke in the air swirled and twisted as the bell rang, creating a vortex. The rain was driven aside by the rotating vortex. Gradually, a hazy silhouette emerged within the swirl. The apparition emerged into the sky and stood there. Hello, teacher, welcome back from closed door cultivation. The almost hundred nearby cultivators clapped their hands together at the figure. He was a man in his middle years, with a head of black hair strewn across his shoulders. He was not attractive, yet he exuded an alien atmosphere and an odd disposition. He looked down at his disciples as he stood in the heavens. He couldn't help but scowl when he spotted Wang Lin and the young person who was still holding the umbrella behind Wang Lin. But then he grinned. Jolie and Sudeo, you two go with teacher into the hall. You all else are free to depart. The man in his middle age spoke softly. He took a few steps forward and entered the hallway. With a severe expression, the young guy in black, who led the group wishing to chastise Wang Lin, nodded. He glanced at Wang Lin before making his way to the hallway. Wang Lin had a composed look. His teacher had treated him extremely well in the memories he had retrieved from the third soul. Had it not been for his teacher's constant cultivation behind closed doors, he would not be subjected to unjust treatment within the sect. Seven Colored had a cowardly demeanor in his early years and never voiced these things. Jolie was the elder and equally gifted brother of Seven Colored. He was kind on the outside, yet he harbored hatred towards Seven Colored. He disregarded everyone who was making fun of Seven Colored. Wang Lin entered the hall while everyone else looked on in jealousy as she stepped out into the rain. Jolie was standing politely on the side of the hall, while the middle-aged man sat on a chair. The teacher won't be free from behind closed doors for too long. The middle-aged man spoke slowly and said, After I settle a few matters, I'll go back into closed-door cultivation. He looked past Wang Lin and Jolie and thought for a moment in silence. This was what Wang Lin had observed in the third soul's memories. He was aware that he would teach Sudeo and Jolie an art once Sudeo's tutor had given them some information. This was the introduction to the Cloud Deo Heavenly Art, one of the three most potent arts of the Donglin sect. The essence of this art may be learned if one could get to its pinnacle. The opening artwork was brief, enigmatic, and difficult for everyone to cultivate. After the opening artwork was used, clouds would show up. That individual was unfit to study the art if the clouds were thin. It would be nice if the clouds were dense and a shadow emerged inside of them. The amount of time needed to finish it was also measured. In the Donglin sect, the fastest qualifiers took seven breaths, while the slowest took several hours over the course of innumerable years. When Seven Colored was first learning this method, he hesitated because he was afraid of Zhou Li's icy stare. He decelerated and needed 20 breaths to finish a cycle. And it took Jolie 11 breaths to finish. Jolie suppressed him because his thoughts was distracted by Jolie's icy gaze and he was unable to generate many clouds. Subsequently, a shadow emerged from within Jolie's clouds, consuming every cloud belonging to Sudeo. When the teacher of Seven Colored saw this, she sighed. Instead of teaching Sudeo one of the three great skills of the Donglin sect, he instead taught him the lesser-ranked Seven Colored Celestial Art. From the memories he had recovered, 
Wang Lin knew this, and it didn't seem possible to alter. This scene popped up again today. Wang Lin just stood there thinking in silence. He was unsure of whether he should go against the memory and make all the changes, or follow the recollection and suffer just as Seven Colored had back then. It would make sense for him to pursue the Seven Colored's recollection in order to further fuse with the Third Soul. Maybe someday he would blow up enough to figure out where the actual door was. However, he was unsure if this would occur. Wang Lin also wished to avoid completely assimilating with the Third Soul. Xie Qing wouldn't be able to wake up if he carried out this action. Xie Qing would vanish and Wang Lin would take on the identity of the new Seven Colored the instant Wang Lin completely merged with the Third Soul. Furthermore, Wang Lin was unwilling to behave in this manner. This art, known as the Cloud Dao Heavenly Art, is one of the Dong Lin sect's three most potent forms of art. You have to master the basic art first because your cultivation levels aren't high enough to learn it. There is a limitation to mastering this art, though. It can only be learned by one individual from each bloodline in that generation. The voice of a middle-aged guy reverberated, Today, I chose the two of you to find the person who is most suitable for this art. He started discussing the selection process, the length of a cycle, and the cloud cover and intensity. Jolie bowed his head. His eyes betrayed a desire he struggled to contain. The middle-aged man spoke slowly and began teaching the basic art after saying, The heavenly Deo was damaged, and it will take a long time to repair. Then he waved his right hand, causing two clouds to fly out and into the bodies of Jolie and Wang Lin. Your bodies have been invaded by the clouds. You two need to sit down right away and cycle through the clouds as quickly as you can. Jolie sat down as soon as the middle-aged man finished speaking. The first to succeed will have the advantage during this process. You two must concentrate and not allow outside thoughts to distract you. Wang Lin took a seat too. Jolie glanced up at Wang Lin as he was about to cycle the cloud within his body. His eyes were dangerous and gloomy. Naturally, the middle-aged man saw this and scowled. He just stared at Wang Lin without saying anything. In his heart, Wang Lin sighed. The timid Sudeo lost his qualification because of this look. But today he was Wang Lin, not Sudeo. Wang Lin's eyes grew icy as Zhou Li's stare passed by, and he glanced at Zhou Li nonchalantly. Zhou Li shuddered at this sight. His head quaked as he saw clearly that Wang Lin was intending to kill him. Wang Lin had already closed his eyes at this point, and his body was experiencing a fast cycling of cloud energy. Zhou Li also shut his eyes quickly. Time moved slowly by. Breath 1, Breath 2, Breath 3. Wang Lin released a great deal of clouds from his body as the eighth breath came. The man in his middle age jumped up abruptly, his eyes brightening. Wang Lin's body was surrounded by increasingly thick vapors that eventually filled the entire hall. There were churning clouds and soft roars coming from inside. It was the twentieth breath at this point, and Zhou Li had just about cycled the cloud once to create some clouds. It was, however, just too tiny in comparison to Wang Lin. The clouds erupted from Wang Lin's body and created a massive dragon head as soon as they left. Jolie was consumed by this dragon head, which had a ferocious look in its eyes. The dragon quickly absorbed the clouds surrounding Jolie. He appeared sickly and coughed up blood. Something had altered the memories. The huge hall warped the instant it was inverted. The middle-aged man's physique started to sag as he turned to face Wang Lin and ignored Jolie altogether. Simultaneously, the mountain outside the square, the mountain range outside the mountain, the Dong Lin sect outside the mountain range, and the square outside the hall all started to warp. It seemed like the end of the world was near. This was the startling scene that appeared following the memory alteration. Celestial art the middle-aged guy grinned, his form warped, good Sudeo, you're the second person under your teacher's lineage that has the qualification to learn the cloud Deo. He turned to face the frightened Jolie and continued. Teacher will teach you the seven-colored celestial art, Jolie, even if you lack the qualifications to master the Cloud Deo heavenly art. Wang Lin felt as though everything was about to crumble as the middle-aged man's comments reverberated. The aura of the eight doors emerged out of nowhere and vanished just as fast. After that, the distortion gradually vanished and became normal again. But something really big was set off in Wang Lin's heart. I know that altering the seven colored celestial sovereign's memories will result in contradictions, and those moments of uncertainty will enable me to perceive the eight doors. The more paradox and ambiguity, the more distinct the sensation. It even allows me to locate the actual door. 
This is my alternate technique to alter the memories of the seven colored celestial sovereign. So Deo, you need to practice this spell for a while. The contest between your generation and others in the Dongling sect will start in five months. The Donglin pool is open to the top ten. Your future accomplishments will be incomparable if you are able to get in. Everything was altered. Wang Lin glanced up abruptly. After five months, the third soul remembered the competition vividly. Zhou Li stormed into the top ten of that tournament after being qualified to cultivate the Cloud Deo Heavenly Art and used his cultivation, which was already potent inside this generation. After placing ninth, he was awarded the privilege of cultivating in the Donglin pool. Regarding Su Deo, he grew even more bashful after he was disqualified from cultivating the Cloud Deo Heavenly Art. He developed a distorted and almost sinister mentality. He was not successful in the competition. One could argue that Sudeo's competition marked a significant turning point in his life and contributed significantly to his personality transformation. Sudeo would go into a slump and hardly speak to people in the years that followed. Until he occurred to cross paths with his progenitor, he would be in closed door cultivation alone. He would learn from the ancestor and elevate his head gradually. Sadly, the positive thing was short lived. Sudeo's excommunication from the Dong Lin sect resulted from an unexpected encounter. Following that, over the course of innumerable years, the Sudeo of the Dong Lin sect vanished. All that was left was the seven colored celestial sovereign, who endured hardships and unintentionally becoming vile and brutal before founding the Seven Deo sect. Regarding Jolie, he was apprehended and brutally murdered by the seven colored celestial sovereign on the day he finished his Deo. Wang Lin's memory replayed all of these incidents like images. He was sitting next to the rushing river on a mountain. He seemed to be watching time pass as he gazed at the river. On this third day, Sudeo's instructor had returned to closed door cultivation after teaching him the Cloud Deo heavenly art. Regarding Jolie, he had also engaged in cultivation behind closed doors, and his animosity for Sudeo was identical to Sudeo's previous animosity toward him. The river continued to flow and the third soul's memory became a haze in Wang Lin's consciousness and was replaced by the Cloud Deo Heavenly Art. The Dong Lin sect was one of the nine sects 13 factions in this area. Although not as powerful as the Purple Sun sect, it was exceedingly mysterious. Their disciples rarely ventured outside. The three main arts of the sect were exceedingly famous on the immortal astral continent, and had been passed down since ancient times. Among the three great arts, the Cloud Deo Heavenly Art was very profound. It focused on the clouds of the world, and it was as ethereal as the Big Deo of the world. After integrating with the cloud, borrow the cloud to absorb the essence of the world and utilize it to cast the mighty spells of the Cloud Deo. Forming one's own cloud beast that devoured clouds and spit forth fog was the first spell of this painting this magic was hidden inside the introductory image. If one cultivate the initial art to the limit, one could comprehend this spell. For others, Learning the Cloud Deo Heavenly Art would need a significant amount of time as well as strong comprehension. But Wang Lin already possessed a high cultivation level, which Jolie or Sudeo from earlier times could not match. Wang Lin also mentioned that he had understood his own seven essences, cultivating the introductory art very simple. Before him, strands of smoke shot out of the water and toward him. They circled him a couple of times, then got inside his body. This river was progressively filling in both its mouth and its mouth with black smoke. They all flew toward Wang Lin like clouds, gently infiltrating his body. The silhouette of Wang Lin wavered within the cloud. Not long later, the grass began to emit white smoke in addition to the river. Wang Lin soon lost the ability to see his fingers within a 1,000 foot radius of him. The white clouds seemed to be carrying a dragon with them. Inside the white clouds, Wang Lin thought, I wonder if I can continue cultivating this Cloud Deo Heavenly Art once I leave the fifth flower. Despite having just cultivated this spell for two days, he had already witnessed its immense potency. Through this process of internal cloud absorption, the body's structure could be altered to resemble that of the clouds. People would find it challenging to see through him because it would be cut off from the outside world. Wang Lin sat near the river and one month went in a flash. During this time, Wang Lin had been sitting there, absorbing the creation of this planet. Strands of white gas penetrated his body, giving him a warm and cozy feeling. The more he cultivated the art, the more distortion and signals of breakdown would arise. However, unless anything extreme enough to cause the memory to be turned upside down and collapse came up, 
these distortions wouldn't assist Wang Lin identify the genuine entrance. On this day, the clouds encircling Wang Lin totally dissipated, and when all the clouds entered Wang Lin's body, he opened his eyes. His hazy, cloud-like eyes held an eerie energy that could dissuade others. People would lose themselves and be engulfed in thick clouds if they stared into his eyes. This art is not ordinary Wang Lin spat out a mouthful of foul air. This air was like a grey fog and moved like a dragon. It gradually vanished after being propelled more than 30 feet. The clouds here are not very dense, not enough to cultivate this art. If I want to complete the introduction phase and change the memory, I need to discover more clouds to absorb. Wang Lin became animated as he stood there. Something flashed into his head. This was a map he had drawn himself. The secret eight doors materialized a month ago when Wang Lin was taught the Cloud Dao Heavenly Art by Su Dao's teacher. This was due to a shift in the original recollection. But the eight doors vanished in an instant, leaving Wang Lin with only a crude chart of their positions. During this month, as Wang Lin practiced the technique, the continual distortions had allowed him to progressively build a shape. The eight doors progressively revealed their whereabouts. Wang Lin stood up and leaped skyward. He vanished into thin air above the Dong Lin sect, emerging from the tiny river. As a white cloud encircled him, he continued on his way, sprinting ahead like a cloud. Dao Art Cloud, Infinite Flash. This part of the sky was obscured by black clouds. There was a rumble of thunder and rain on the plain below. There was a metropolis below, and a vast range of dark clouds enveloped it. There were countless mortals from the immortal astral continent in this metropolis. Wang Lin was seated amid the shadowy clouds. He waved his hands in a seal. The rain started to fall even more quickly as the lightning swam continuously through the clouds, intensifying the thunder even more. But as strands of the black clouds were drawn into Wang Lin's flash, the clouds started to churn. Seven days flew by in an instant. The gloomy clouds had thinned and most of them had vanished after seven days. A section of cloud appeared to be carrying spirit and was traveling swiftly ahead. Another cloud would start to churn and absorb the instant it hit another cloud. Then this cloud the size of a palm would swiftly recede. These seven days were followed by another seven days. Two months had passed since Wang Lin had learned the heavenly art of cloud Dao in the blink of an eye. A cloud that had floated elsewhere quickly contracted, revealing the figure inside, until it became seven cloud dragons. Wang Lin opened his eyes and exhaled deeply. It was a startling sight to see his pupils turn into clouds. I've cultivated the first half of the Cloud Dao to the ninth level in the last two months, putting me one step away from completeness, but this isn't the biggest crop yet. The true fruit of this two-month memory-altering process is that, in one of the eight doorways, Wang Lin's eyes showed a peculiar, enigmatic light that appeared odd through the clouds in his eyes. Clearly, there was a door on the mental map he had created. Wang Lin moved forward and lunged for the ground below, thinking, if I'm lucky, Maybe I can find the genuine door with one try. Towering mountains rose out of an unending jungle underneath him. Occasionally, sounds of roaring animals would reverberate across the jungle. Wang Lin darted into the woods and toward the door he sensed in his thoughts in an instant. Wang Lin paused by an unremarkable looking tree shortly after. This tree towered over a hundred feet, making a person appear diminutive in comparison. I don't know how long this tree has survived but it would take five persons to completely encircle it. Encircling the tree was a massive python that measured over a thousand feet in length. Its icy stare fixed Wang Lin as it spat out its tongue. Wang Lin paid the python no mind. Gently closing his eyes, he put his right hand on the tree. With its head shrinking, the python ascended the tree. It was aware of Wang Lin's intimidating presence and dared not challenge him. The python ascended a few dozen feet before jumping off the tree and landing on the earth. Before it swiftly slithered out into the bush, it kicked a number of dead leaves into the air. Wang Lin opened his eyes and gave the python a quick glance as it was leaving. He lunged forward towards the python and snatched its tail. As the python struggled to escape, a terrifying, dark light shot out of its body. On the python's back slowly materialized the shadow of an enormous door. When the python attempted to flee, Wang Lin could clearly see that it was one of the eight doors, not the tree. Wang Lin moved forward, staring at the door that materialized on the python's back. Wang Lin emerged from the jungle 30 minutes later. Even though he appeared composed, he sighed. Although it wasn't the actual door, the python was one of the eight doorways. Eight doors, five flowers. Eventually, if I examine each door individually, I will locate it. 
But even if I fully cultivate the cloud deo heavenly art, it won't alter the third soul's recollection sufficiently to allow me to search for the eight doorways. I can only wait a few months from now for the competition. The seven-colored celestial sovereign remembered this tournament well. Wang Lin mused, floating in midair, if I can subvert the memory enough in the competition, it would confuse it enough to reveal the real door. He transformed into a cloud and took off in the direction of the Dong Lin sect. Three months elapsed quickly after that. More precisely, it was the sixth month after Wang Lin had acquired the heavenly art of Cloud Dao. This marked the start of the Dong Lin sect competition. The thirteen factions of the nine sects included the Dong Lin sect. The group held an internal competition among its lower level disciples every 30 years to identify those exceptional skills that needed to be prioritized. Additionally, each competition was particularly competitive due to the requirement to cultivate inside the Dong Lin pool. The strong preyed on the weak in the realm of cultivators. Despite the prohibition on killing, accidents, and fatalities did occur. The group wouldn't object if someone refrained from going on a killing spree. There were 321 lines in the Dong Lin sect, and three to five individuals would emerge from each bloodline. The winning lineage would reap significant benefits. Consequently, there was a lot of competition. More than a thousand competitors would require some time. Additionally, it was the one occasion in which the sect would come alive. Due to the Dong Lin sect's excessive size, many members were strangers to one another. It was a nice opportunity to meet new individuals during the competition. Today, Sudeo's instructor had emerged from the cultivation behind locked doors. He called out all the disciples, choosing three to compete. Zhou Lu and Wang Lin were chosen by nature. The second individual was a woman, and despite not smiling, she had a stunning appearance. Qin Mei was the name of this woman. Seven Colored recalled this woman with great affection, if not outright admiration. Sudeo's thoughts would be interrupted, though, when she partnered with Jolie in a Deo after this tournament. Wang Lin could relate to the Sudeo's final transformation into the shrewd and powerful seven-colored celestial sovereign, even though outsiders would find it hard to believe. He realized that he was a very different guy 2000 years ago than he was now. Both experiences and surroundings have the power to alter a person's personality. This was a sort of fortune that could turn either well or poorly. A lovely voice drifted into Wang Lin's thoughts. I haven't congratulated you on becoming qualified to cultivate the Cloud Deo heavenly art, junior brother so. You are the only person I have seen recently, I couldn't even detect a shadow of you. It was Qin Mei, who gave Wang Lin a witty smile. Her smell wafted into Wang Lin's cheeks and her words were soft. Wang Lin grinned a little. He remained silent and quite composed. But Qin Mei's heart quavered at his smile. She recalled that Su Deo had always been bashful, whenever she spoke to him, he would flush and become confused. But his smile now had a completely different sense than before, as though it held an inexplicable emotion. Su Deo was quite attractive, and when paired with Wang Lin's smile, it had a certain charm. Jolie, who was nearby, was watching all of this with sad eyes. His appearance had hardly changed in five months, but the weariness and bloodlines in his eyes spoke of inner agony. Just as Qin Mei opened her mouth to respond, her teacher waved his hand, enveloping the three of them in a cloud. It took off for the Dong Lin sect's main branch. The main square of the main sect was the scene of the low-level disciples' rivalry. In other cases, a summons was required for the disciples of each lineage to enter. The pupils from the different lineages were only permitted to come here during the competition. This would be the one and only occasion in many people's lives that they could visit this place. Although the square was small, it may have held 1,000 cultivators. But even if there was competition, there wouldn't be much of it. The Dong Lin sect's tactics were unpredictable, nonetheless, since they managed to join the nine sects' 13 factions. Every generation, the sect's elders would continuously add more prohibitions to the square. A small portion of these limits would be triggered during each tournament, opening a rift to the Dong Lin rift that the sect had established. That served as the competition's first trials battleground. Rays of light shot across the sky above the square at this precise time. Every beam of light came from the instructor who trained the members of each lineage. The Dong Lin sect never accepted outsiders since it was a competition of low-level followers and there was a good potential of discovering the future genius of the sect. It was an entirely personal matter. Still, all the different deacons would be there, along with the sect master and the elders. Their goal is to identify the low-level disciples who were worthy of being elevated. 
The majority of the participating disciples were present in the square when Wang Lin arrived. Despite the large number of people crammed in, the area seemed orderly. There was very little noise and everything was in order. This caused a pressure that was unseen to naturally spread throughout everyone's hearts. As more people showed up, the pressure grew. Their hearts began to race as a result, and they became afraid to speak. All 321 lineage disciples showed up 30 minutes later. They were all quiet and apprehensive. Although Qin Mei was no longer grinning next to Wang Lin, he was still composed. She appeared a little uneasy. Zhou Li was showing signs of improvement, but it was clear that he was anxious. Qin Mei was taken aback by Wang Lin's composure, but she too gradually became calmer for some reason. Until the Dong Lin sect became one of the nine sects' thirteen factions, my Dong Lin sect produced generations of talented people. This was inherited by your generation from the blood of your elders. The biggest rivalry of your generation is happening right now. I look forward to the Dong Lin sect's future. I want to witness a cultivator's unwavering spirit and decisiveness. Entry into the Dong Lin Rift is the first trial of the tournament, with a three-day time limit. The object of the game is to steal the tokens from each other in those three days. A powerful voice resounded throughout the square, the 30 with the most taken will pass. A burst of golden light revealed almost a hundred figures. All of them were strong cultivators of the Dong Lin sect. Gazing down at the 1,000 disciples, they sat in the sky. Many eyes turned to Wang Lin. Seven colored remembered hearing the same words spoken by Wang Lin. Even the golden figures in the sky were the same, as was the number of participants. The majority of those glances were directed toward Jolie in the memory, which was the only distinction. Sudeo, on the other hand, lowered his head as his heart shook beneath the few glances that he received. He gave a very poor performance. Instead, Jolie didn't back down despite trembling and raising his chest. It was his moment to shine because of his aptitude and eligibility to study the heavenly art of Cloud Deo. But everything was different now. Jolie was likewise swept by gazes, but it made no difference how hard he tried to hang on. The majority of those looks passed him by and focused on Wang Lin. Regarding Wang Lin, he remained as composed as ever. It seemed as though those looks had no impact on him, and that was actually the case. Jolie bowed his head and balled his fist. He had bitterness and jealousy in his eyes. He had been perplexed by all of this for the past five months, wondering how the cowardly Sudeo had changed so much. Sudeo grabbed everything in his mind that rightfully belonged to him. Enter at this precise time, a burst of five-colored light appeared over the plaza and the powerful voice repeated again. A massive vortex emerged, and within it, a foreign planet began to shake. The disciples were all encircled in light as soon as the vortex materialized. The disciples entered the vortex as a result of the light. Over a thousand disciples and a thousand light rays entered the vortex. Only the teachers of those disciples remained in the square as it grew quiet. Before taking a seat to watch the competition, they politely touched hands with the golden figurines. The vortex ceased to rotate and transformed into a mirror once everyone had entered. Everything inside was visible. One's divine sense allowed them to see everything inside with clarity. Using this technique, the influential cultivators of the Dong Lin sect were able to identify the genius of the following generation. This was a dark, unending land. The sky appeared to be obscured by a thick layer of fog and dust. This was a fissure in space created by the Dong Lin sect. Everything mimicked a portion of the astral continent that was immortal. Wang Lin was standing as tall as a man on a plain covered with grass when he suddenly materialized. The location he appeared in matched Seven Colored's recollection precisely. Sudeo eventually lost his token in the first trial back then and was unsuccessful. All he could do was watch Jolie and a few other members of his family rise to prominence. And in that light, Sudeo was nothing more than a little grain of sand. Sudeo was deeply stunned by this turn of events. Here, Sudeo had also been cruelly mistreated by Jolie. Sudeo couldn't forget it even though he wasn't killed. That was the turning point in his personality. Wang Lin whispered to himself, I have arrived and everything will change, as he glanced up at the dim sky. The grasses around Wang Lin split apart as he moved over the plain, creating a passage for him. He didn't go quickly because he could do everything in three days. Wang Lin was still thinking about ways to activate the third soul and jumble its memories, though, I should be able to accomplish this then. Wang Lin stepped back and peered up at the eerie sky. A beam of light streaked across the heavens, halting abruptly when it passed Wang Lin. A sword light flashed 
and a light ray charged in Wang Lin's direction. This young man had on blue clothing. There was a bloody atmosphere around him, and his expression was full of purpose to kill. There was a flash of sword light as he closed in to take Wang Lin's head. But just as he was drawing near, Wang Lin lifted his right hand gently and gestured to the sword light. The young man was scared when the shattered sword was revealed by the breaking light that had been shining brightly before. The young man's body erupted instantly as he trembled. Before Wang Lin's fingers, he vanished. There were only three tokens left. A soft light encircled them as they floated there, still. All right, I'll just win this trial and take first place. Wang Lin waved his arm, and after putting away the three tokens, he disappeared. He was next to a light beam that was soaring across the sky when he returned. The young man was alert and scanning his surroundings. However, Wang Lin had appeared too suddenly, and he knocked the young guy out of the sky. Wang Lin did not murder individuals in cold blood. When he lifted his hand, a token materialized. Then he was gone in an instant. In the first trial, Wang Lin was like a wolf that entered a flock of sheep. No one could escape him, and he took the token of everyone he passed by. Wang Lin gradually got famous in the first trial. When one saw Wang Lin, they would fear and hand over their token. Wang Lin attacked very nonchalantly. He realized this was Seven Colored's memory. Every ridiculous thing would seem reasonable as the recollection grew warped. For example, outside the Dong Lin Rift, the expressions and ideas of all the individuals outside were made up by Seven Colored's recollection. They would act depending on how Seven Colored imagined they would act. Who is this person? In less than one day, he has obtained more than 300 tokens. His actions are decisive, but his cultivation level doesn't seem much higher. Every assault contains cloud energy and looks spectacular. It is likely that no one will be his match in this competition. I didn't expect a character like him in this generation. Among the golden figures, anybody who saw Wang Lin's performance in the Vortex was stunned. With amazement in their eyes, all the teachers in the square faced Wang Lin. So Deo's teacher had a proud look on her face. Wang Lin's award improved with his performance. As he gathered tokens and eliminated the geniuses from Su Deo's memory, Wang Lin was able to detect a great deal of distortions within the first trial. These distortions resulted from memory shifts and indications that the memories of the third soul were shifting. The simulation is not powerful enough, Wang Lin said, shaking his head as his divine sense enveloped the room. Everyone present here materialized in Wang Lin's head at the same instant his divine sense expanded. He was searching for the geniuses who had caused Su Deo so much jealousy in the past. These individuals had given amazing performances and placed highly in the subsequent trials as well. The individual's name was Kun Peng. This was a speed specialist who left behind visuals wherever he went. Seven Colored remembered that this individual had placed third in the initial trial. As Wang Lin moved across the emptiness, his eyes remained composed. With a single stride, he traversed a considerable distance and reached a new location. He spotted Kun Peng, the farmer, here. There were three individuals around this person, but the instant Wang Lin emerged, the three of them let out horrible screams and retreated. Kun Peng revealed a cold smile and was about to chase when he suddenly turned around. He glared at Wang Lin, who was floating 100 feet behind him. The distortion was something only Wang Lin could see. As Wang Lin closed in on Kun Peng, the distortion became even more acute, as if the third soul was becoming excited. Give me your token, Wang Lin said slowly. He really didn't want to have to act against a small cultivator like this. Kun Peng's pupils shrank and he retreated without hesitation. He was quite fast and rapidly retreated far away, yet in Wang Lin's eyes, he was too slow. He let out a sigh and nonchalantly waved his right hand. Kun Peng let out a sad scream and threw out more than a dozen jade tokens. The distortion got much worse as the tokens shot through the air. Even with the intensifying density of the aura emanating from the eight doorways, their full revelation remained elusive. Wang Lin's eyes flashed icy, and his divine sense fixed upon Jolie. Is the simulation still not enough? Then I'll help you kill Jolie. Jolie was hiding himself carefully in a mountain, looking pitiful. He carried eight tokens. Sudeo, damned. I wouldn't be in such a miserable shape during the first trial and I would have had ownership of the Cloud Deo heavenly art if it weren't for him. Jolie sat there looking fierce, saying, I'm going to kill him because of Sudeo. Sudeo was deeply disliked by him. He joined the group somewhat later than I did. 
What prerequisites must he meet in order to study the heavenly art of Cloud Deo? Why does teacher think so highly of him? Jolie had a great deal of animosity. The mountain he was on shook as he gritted his teeth and concentrated on becoming better. The mountain rocked after momentarily startling Jolie. His face fell dramatically, and he hurried away. The mountain fell the instant he left, sending some of the rocks flying toward Jolie. Despite his attempts to avoid them, he was struck by one. He pulled back 1,000 feet from the mountain, coughing up blood. Wang Lin's figure emerged behind Jolie at the same moment. Wang Lin stated coolly, Jolie. Jolie heard these two words as loudly as thunder. Wang Lin's right palm clamped down on Jolie's forehead as he hurried to get away. The rumble in Jolie's skull started to last forever at this point. Wang Lin could definitely feel the distortion surrounding him get even more insane and start to tremble slightly as soon as Jolie passed away. It seemed as though the universe that the fifth flower had built was about to crumble. In an instant, the aura of the eight doorways became evident. Wang Lin sensed the whereabouts of three of the doors right away. A strange glow emerged in Wang Lin's eyes. He moved without thinking, his divine senses spreading out to locate the remaining disciples of the Dong Lin sect. When Wang Lin removed their jade tokens, they were overcome with terror. The distortion grew more intense as he collected more jade tokens, causing the third soul to shake even more. The actions of Wang Lin were in complete opposition to the memories of the third soul. Wang Lin could feel the auras of the eight doors even more strongly, and this stark difference was going to shatter the memories. There will be no further second or third trials for the competition of the Dong Lin sect. There won't be any more trials if I win every jade token in the first trial since I'll be the only one left standing. Wang Lin's eyes gleamed as he moved swiftly, subverting the memories of the third soul completely. As Wang Lin passed the jade tokens among the disciples of the Dong Lin sect, each disciple lost one. Wang Lin would knock anyone who dared to oppose away right away. Wang Lin, though, had no beef with them. He didn't kill them mindlessly, even though they were people from Seven Colored's recollection. Wang Lin only killed those that Seven Colored was envious of and later engaged in a violent altercation with. The distortion behind him would become larger each time he murdered one. In this pandemonium, it seemed as though the third soul had become thrilled. The wind blew by quickly. They all got up on the Dong Lin sect square outside. Some of the figures even appeared to be about to collapse as their surroundings became warped. Their attention was fixed on the spinning vortex in the sky, so they were completely unaware of it. They saw Wang Lin's activities and how he managed to acquire practically all of the jade tokens on his own. They witnessed an incredible event that had never been witnessed in the Dong Lin sect. Seven Colored envisioned their thoughts and their surprised reactions. A massive tsunami was triggered in the Dong Lin sect at this precise instant. This was a startling distortion in the first trial when Wang Lin got the last jade token. Despite the clarity of the eight doorways auras, there seemed to be a layer of fog obstructing their path. Wang Lin's hands tore at the sky as he transformed into the gloomy sky. With a hold on the sky, Wang Lin split open a massive gap. The Dong Lin sect's main square was situated outside the fissure. Wang Lin entered the square in front of everyone's horrified looks. He was floating above the Dong Lin sect in the skies. After Wang Lin spoke, the earth and sky collapsed, and I, Sudeo, am the winner of this competition. Everything in this world broke apart and all the figures vanished. The fifth flower trembled and crumbled inch by inch. At the same time, the auras of the eight doorways totally appeared as the third soul's memories were subverted. Their auras burst into the air like pillars of smoke. The only item that didn't fall was the back mountain of the Dong Lin sect, the Dong Lin Pool. The Dong Lin Pool, some place the seven-colored celestial sovereign had never entered before. He had never entered the Dong Lin Pool, not even after his ancestor chose to nurture him. An accident caused him to be banished from the Dong Lin sect just as he was about to become qualified to join the Dong Lin Pool. He would live the rest of his life regretting this. The world was ending right now, and the only place left standing was the Dong Lin Pool. This demonstrated the depth of the third soul's concern for this regret in his life. The world was disintegrating, and the auras of the eight doors were vividly visible. The barrier that prevented anyone but Wang Lin from entering this planet was lifted as a result. Wang Lin had, after all, used the third soul to ignite the fifth flower, and once he was within, even old ghost Jean could not return. Nonetheless, old ghost Jean's aura continued to circle this realm even as the memory disintegrated and became muddled. He was wanting to get into this realm all the time. The actual door hasn't yet been seen, 
despite the eight doors having already appeared. He'd need a long time to search them all individually. Wang Lin had, after all, taken a shortcut to make the eight doors appear. By perverting the memories of the third soul, he had made them appear. The world was collapsing. Before he discovered the actual door, this place was probably going to collapse and the eight doors would be hidden once more. It would be even harder to locate the door at that point. This was his chance at last, and he was determined not to let it pass him by. Is there still insufficient stimulation? Sudeo, you left the Donglin sect, but I can assist you in getting into the Donglin pool, which was your final request. Wang Lin understood that time was of the essence and that in order for her to grant your wish, she would need to tell her where the actual door is. The thin veil separating this world and old ghost Zhan could shatter at any time. Wang Lin stopped being hesitant. He lunged in the direction of the still-standing Dong Lin pool. In an instant, he was closing in on the pool. With the exception of not being frozen, this pool was identical to the one in the second blossom. There was a clear pool with a scent emanating from it. He entered the pool right away and took a seat. The seven essences within Wang Lin's body began to move the instant he sat down and made contact with the pool. There was an unfathomable essence energy in this odd lake. It merged with his seven essences as it poured into his body. Wang Lin's seven essences increased and multiplied in strength as they united. Following a cycle within his body, the seven essences sprang forth. Wang Lin's left eye's fire essence transformed into a sea of fire and went into the Dong Lin pool. It appeared to absorb limitless energy and transform into a body of fire. At this point, Wang Lin's fire essence had fully developed and transcended what it had previously been. This body had an exact resemblance to Wang Lin's, but it was composed of fire. The flaming body exuded a strong aura and was dressed in flames. Inside the water, many arcs of thunder moved. A second later, there was a loud roar, and a thunder dragon emerged from the water, assuming the form of a person. Simultaneously, thunder shot out of Wang Lin's right eye, transforming into a thunder dragon that charged into the swimming pool. This thunder body bore a striking resemblance to Wang Lin, much like the fire body. He appeared to be a celestial thunderbolt. Then came the silent appearance of the essences of life and death, truth and falsehood, and karma. The Dong Lin pool condensed the three ethereal essences and abruptly lost almost half of its water content. Before Wang Lin, the essence of life and death formed a body. This body extended its arms. Its right hand was in charge of death, and its left hand overruled life. It appeared to be a celestial being in charge of life and death. It was a startling sight with its long, flying hair and grey robe. In addition to the genuine body of life and death, there were two other bodies generated by karma and the true and false essences. The karmic cause was represented by the open palm of the karma true body, and the karmic effect by the closed palm. This body had an unearthly aura, and its eyes were full of boundless wisdom, as though it had witnessed every transformation in the planet. The eyes of the genuine and false true bodies were partially closed. It appeared to be obscured by fog, shifting back and forth between true and false. But there was a pressure emanating from this body that would make your heart race. Even after the five essences had created actual bodies, things weren't over yet. When Wang Lin's murderous essence materialized, it soaked up a lot of water. Less than 30% of the pool remained as the slaughter essence took on its actual form. This body was all crimson and built with the intention of killing. It emanated a deadly purpose that could end the world the moment it appeared. The restriction essence created by Wang Lin's eye bloodlines appeared after the six essences. The bloodlines flew out in front of Wang Lin and resembled a pair of eyeballs. The pool's water level dropped again until less than 20% remained. The body was complete, the restriction essence created a genuine body. It appeared in front of him and became his sixth genuine essence body. Wang Lin's heart had reached its breaking point from shock. He had forgotten that the genuine door was still hidden amid the eight doors, and that old ghost Zhan was poised to charge in. He had never seen or heard of the Dong Lin pool before, therefore he could not have predicted its incredible effect, which allowed his essences to transform into essence true bodies. He had not anticipated this turn of events. He didn't anticipate such a startling shift. Still, he realized that this was all a mirage. The memories of the third soul created the Dong Lin pool, and everything was predicated on the likelihood that this would occur. All of this would vanish when the world fell apart fully and he returned to the real world. But Wang Lin was given hope by this, and he was able to understand the significance of the Dong Lin pool. 
I need to go to the Dong Lin pool if I can travel to the immortal astral continent, Wang Lin said, feeling a voice reverberate wildly in his chest. He was aware that the person he was was an illusion, despite the fact that his cultivation level had multiplied many times. However, this was not over yet. An even more dramatic transformation came from the pool with less than 20% of its water left. Wang Lin didn't only have seven essences, he possessed an eighth one. The eighth essence was the water essence he had gotten from the formation on planet Five Elements. However, it had only reached little completion and was distant from reaching major completion for his cultivation level to improve. However, at this instant, the water inside the Dong Lin pool entered Wang Lin's body through his pores and fused with his water essence. Wang Lin's heart hammered as he felt the eighth essence swiftly get stronger. When all the water drained from the Dong Lin pool, the water essence was complete. It also created a real body's essence. The genuine body was water clear throughout, and it wore a shirt shaped like a wave. Wang Lin's late stage spirit cultivation of void swiftly accelerated as soon as it formed. He went from being one step away from arcane void to the pinnacle of the spirit void stage in an instant. If he could form the ninth essence, he would go into the arcane void stage. The nine essences would merge into one and achieve the peak of essences. After the Dong Lin pool lost all its water, many fissures formed. It broke into a gazillion bits and vanished into nothing. The soul structure left standing in this devastated planet, the Dong Lin pool, totally crumbled. Wang Lin opened his eyes. The universe that Seven Colored's memory had constructed was now utterly ruined. Wang Lin was abruptly targeted by the aura of Old Ghost Zone. The aura of one of the eight doors suddenly grew stronger and suppressed the other seven doors at the same moment that the universe crumbled. The gateway leading to the immortal astral continent was actually this one. Wang Lin glanced up abruptly. Wang Lin shot up as old ghost Zhan closed in. His body made popping noises. Although Wang Lin's strong emotions and high cultivation level were all artificial, they had opened the door to a promising future. With each stride forward, the world fell apart beneath his feet. The recollection of the seven-colored universe vanished, but the aura of the actual entrance intensified. It was directly in front of me. It appeared as though old ghost Sean lost his mind and closed in swiftly. But Wang Lin, who had mastered the Cloud Deo heavenly art and created eight essence true bodies, was too strong for him to overtake. Wang Lin moved just one step and materialized in front of the actual door. This location was formerly a mountain that had long since collapsed. It was replaced by a massive door that had an air of antiquity about it. Before it, Wang Lin was similar to an ant. He raised his right hand without hesitation when Wang Lin approached the door. He concentrated all of his ancient Dao cultivation and might into his palm and pressed it up against the door. Wang Lin yelled, open the cave door. The eight essence true bodies appeared. Each of them lifted a hand and pressed it up against the door. There was a rumble like thunder and the door shook. A space opened up and the door started to open. The huge true universe, known as the immortal astral continent, lay beyond the gap. After the entrance was shut, Wang Lin was the first individual from the cave to arrive here. There were no words to express how he felt. When he emerged from the seven million worlds and entered the ancient star system, the deist scattered spirit might have had similar emotions. A burst of pure immortal astral continent aura shot out the door as soon as it opened. The door suddenly parted, allowing the immortal astral continent's aura to surge in. Behind Wang Lin, the universe crumbled, and old ghost Zhan materialized. With a terrible, ghostly gleam in his eyes, the shadowy figure wearing the cape fixed his gaze on Wang Lin. The door had opened and, for some reason, a sensation of life and death had flooded into his heart. Wang Lin turned to face old ghost Zhan in the distance as he stood next to the door. Through the opening, the immortal astral continent's aura burst in. Wang Lin's blood flow quickened and his ancient Dao bloodline cheered at this. It appeared to be taking in this vibe. Old Ghost Zhan felt an even greater sense of peril in his heart. Instead of drawing near, he started talking from a distance. Even if you open the door, you won't dare to leave. The soul still possess some instinct, even though I don't have the memories of the third soul. The immortal astral continent and the cave world are separated by a barrier. The immortal astral continent's bloodline is the only one that allows people to depart. I'll kill everyone you care about the moment you leave this cave, even if you have the call of the bloodline and can leave. If you don't turn over the third soul, there is no longer a deep feud between us now that the door has been opened. Old Ghost Zhan seems to be speaking with a strange force. 
give me the third soul, and I'll leave this place and never go back to the cave world. Wang Lin remained silent. He was unable to transfer the third soul. He believed that this soul belonged to his disciple, Xie Qing, rather than the seven-colored celestial sovereign Sudeo. Wang Lin raised his right hand and two ghostly lights flashed as he thought silently. There was something spectral about these two balls of light. There were lines of blood inside. They were the blood of Xie Qing's heart. As a third soul reincarnation, Xie Qing had created three seals at great personal sacrifice. Two had been given to Wang Lin, and one was for his own soul. He had done this for his teacher as his final act before passing away. These two seals would be able to seal the other two souls once they combined with the immortal astral continent's aura. A great deal of immortal astral continent aura shot toward Wang Lin's right hand through the tiny opening in the door as soon as the two seals materialized. The aura and seal united rapidly. It seemed as though two ghostly suns had materialized in Wang Lin's right hand when the eerie light abruptly intensified. Inside this light, Wang Lin's body was a blur, and after a while, the door behind her was also obscured. From a distance, the door appeared vague. The seal was still taking in energy from the immortal astral continent, so its strength was incomplete. The absorption rate was a little slow because the door was only slightly opened. Old Ghost Jean's pupils contracted as he felt the sealing power. It finally dawned on him why he was experiencing a crisis of life and death. This resulted from the sealing force emerging once the seal started to absorb the aura of the immortal astral continent. Old Ghost Jean's eyes briefly turned icy, and he lunged toward Wang Lin without pausing. Even though he had a strong sense of danger, he knew it wasn't time to back down because the consequences would be unthinkable. He moved so quickly that he was within a thousand feet of Wang Lin. A golden battle character shot toward Wang Lin as Old Ghost Jean raised his hand. Simultaneously, a shadow began to overlap the seven-colored soul shadow surrounding Old Ghost Jean. Abruptly, the seven-colored deist soul materialized. A seven-colored glow radiated from his body as he charged toward Wang Lin. A little while later, the spirit with the cape unfurled his arms. His body's cape billowed outward like a wave, flying in Wang Lin's direction. The two seals in Wang Lin's hand were still taking in the immortal astral continent's aura, and his expression was composed. He lifted his left hand and pressed forward as Old Ghost Jean and the two seven-colored souls approached. At that moment, each of Wang Lin's eight essence true bodies materialized and extended their hands. Rumblings like thunder continued, and the fifth flower that was about to collapse collapsed, revealing Dao Master Blue Dream, Tang Shan, the elderly man from Planet Five Elements, and others in a hurry. Additionally, there were the critically hurt Vermilion Bird General and Black Tortoise General. Old Ghost Jean's expression changed the moment the true body's essence emerged. He was unable to identify them since he was missing the memories from the third soul. But when the elderly guy called Ma saw the genuine bodies, his eyes were full of shock and horror. This is the essence true body. This is the true body. One person having only one genuine essence body is already extremely uncommon, but he actually possesses eight. There is a rumor that there is another way to obtain the essence of the true body besides traveling to the primordial god realm. Although this method has never been confirmed, it illustrates how uncommon it is. Rumbles of thunder resounded. At the same moment, Wang Lin launched an attack with his eight essence true bodies. The seven-colored soul, the soul with the cape, and old ghost Jean all shook and had to retreat. For the first time, Wang Lin confronted old ghost Jean head-on and made him retreat. Wang Lin's entire body shook. Through his left hand, a strong force entered his body and entered the eight genuine essence bodies behind him. Wang Lin had bright eyes. Using this force, he moved backwards to press his left hand on the door and his left hand made an arc. As the door groaned, the eight genuine essence bodies withdrew and crashed against it simultaneously. The door was pushed back even farther as the rumblings became louder, opening at approximately 30%. The door no longer required a push to open at this point. As the strong immortal astral continent flowed in, the door slowly expanded on its own, wider, and wider. At the same instant, even more immortal astral continent aura rushed out and fused with the two seals on Wang Lin's hand. As the attitude of Old Ghost Jean altered dramatically, Wang Lin lifted his right hand. Old Ghost Jean's eyes were filled with horror. He didn't have time to hesitate, and swiftly retreated. Wang Lin gazed at the seal in his hand. He vaguely saw Xie Qing, and sadness flooded his eyes. Xie Qing, you're my disciple and also my master. 
Wang Lin let out a sigh and waved his right hand. The two seals flew out toward the escaping old ghost Zhan. These seals were like fate, no matter how fast old ghost Zhan was, he couldn't escape fate. Those two seals rapidly closed in on old ghost Zhan. Before old ghost Zhan's horrified expression, the first seal charged for his forehead. Old ghost Zhan let out a yell as his hands formed a seal. As a magic appeared, the soul with the cape about him exhibited terror in his eyes. He waved his hand and light rushed out at the seal. However, all spells and lights were unable to stop this seal. It was as if nothing existed before it. The seal passed through everything and gently settled between the eyebrows of the shadow with the cape around old ghost Zhan. The moment it landed, the soul with the cape let out a horrible scream. A shadow that overlapped it appeared, and it instantaneously turned into the seven-colored soul. The seal ultimately rested between the eyebrows of the seven-colored soul. A thundering rumble rang as the seal exploded and engulfed the seven-colored soul. From a distance, it seemed like a net, and the seven-colored soul shrank with the net until it was just the size of a fist. The light from the soul diminished. At this point, old ghost Jean swiftly retreated, and ripples appeared under his feet. The spirit with the cape around old ghost Jean was overwhelmed with everlasting horror as he watched the seal imprint between his eyebrows. The seal disintegrated and covered his body. In the distance, Dao Master Blue Dream and companions were seized with horror. They didn't anticipate Wang Lin to have such a thing prepared. The old guy named Ma and Yun Yai Feng glanced at Wang Lin with very difficult gazes. They originally assumed that Xian Luo would aid with the matter in the cave world in the end. But Xian Luo hadn't appeared at all, and everything till now rested on Wang Lin. The spirit with the cape that entered old ghost Zhan was seized by the neck and shrank until it was barely the size of a fist. All link with old ghost Zhan been terminated. The minute the link was cut off, old ghost Zhan's eyes immediately got dim and black blood spilled out from his mouth. Although his eyes had no light, they became clear. He looked around, and in the end, his sight fell on Wang Lin, then the door behind Wang Lin. Looking at the door that was opening, old ghost Zhan smiled. You're excellent. My lifelong dream was to open the door to this cave, but, back then, I failed my arcane tribulant and was forced to fuse with him. Old ghost Jean's body gave off bursts of black gas. His skin withered and big amounts of black liquid spilled from it. He was melting and dying. I should have died many years ago. You've completed my dream and freed me. Wang Lin, thank you. His voice was very weak, and half his body had already dissipated. However, the remaining half-body changed into a ray of crimson light. His eyes blazed as if he had erupted the last of his life power and charged at the half-opened door. Even if he was going to die, he had to witness the immortal astral continent he had longed for all his life. Wang Lin didn't stop him. He watched old ghost Zhan's half-body hurry toward the entrance and watched old ghost Zhan disappear outside the door. The door opened completely. In all heaven, the gigantic furnace coated in black gas in the core of the cave planet rocked. By inch, the black gas broke apart. A massive fissure emerged in the center of the furnace, scattering golden light everywhere. Larger and larger was the fracture, and thunderous rumbles resounded. The furnace was finally divided in half. A golden gateway the size of the world emerged as it split. Clouds filled the interior of the door as it opened. A alien continent would occasionally be visible and other times it would be a blur. The ruins outside the furnace crumbled and transformed into space that connected to the rest of the underground world when the entrance appeared. The whole cave world trembled as all of the cultivators observing here felt it. As the trembling resonated, the door to the core of the cave world in all heaven suddenly disappeared and the furnace appeared. The realm of caves was enveloped in an infinite golden light, emanating from the furnace's golden door. Individuals emerged one by one outside the golden entrance. These were the folks who had survived after entering the cave's center. Tuo San, Tang Shan, Dao Master Blue Dream, and the members of Planet Five Elements were present. Wang Lin was another. Nobody else talked, and the only sound coming from the golden door opening was a rumble. They all turned to face the golden door and the occasionally clear, occasionally blurry world beyond. Wang Lin's eyes betrayed more than two millennia of sorrow as he peered at the entrance. At last, the door had opened and was visible. Wang Lin had looked forward to this day for a very long time. When he discovered that the world was nothing more than a cave, he dreamed of the day he would be able to open the door to the outside world, to the eternal astral plane. He appeared to have gone into a trance as he stared at the golden door. His mind repeated memories spanning over two millennia. 
he had transformed from a young boy from a mountain village to the present, where he unlocked the cave world's door. This was a painful process, not many people could comprehend the struggles he had gone through, the innumerable run-ins with fate, whether they ended well or poorly. One ER, the subterranean world's door is now open. I swear to you that's where I'll wake you up. Wang Lin's heart ached as he peered at the door. He considered Li Muen. I will bring you back to life, Xie Qing. I will undoubtedly succeed. Wang Lin examined the gilded portal. He appeared to see his whole life within the door in an instant. With tears streaming from her eyes, Tang Shan, the third concubine, bit her bottom lip and peered at the golden door. She missed her teacher, her sect, her birthplace, and her sect. She had spent far too much time in the world of caves. She ought should be numb, but her want had become her determination to keep waiting. She'd survive to see this day through. Yun Yifeng and the elderly man Ma gave the golden door a passionate glance. They had spent a considerable amount of time in the cave realm, but they had ultimately achieved nothing. With compassion in his gaze, the elderly Ma gave Yun Yifeng a friendly look. He could still recall that day, when Yun Yifeng had only been a young man of 18 or 19. But now, Yun Yifeng was already very old, aside from his appearance. Let's head home, Ma, the elderly man, sighed. As he headed home, Yun Yifeng peered through the golden door. Even the ever calm he was stirred and experienced great complexity. He was perplexed, not sure if he lived on the immortal astral continent or on planet five elements in the cave world. Both of the middle-aged males from planet five elements were standing behind the elderly man named Ma. With the same muddled emotion that they were unable to adequately articulate, they gazed at the golden door. The vermilion bird and black tortoise were also present. They were filled with resentment as they gazed upon the golden door. They remembered the seven-colored celestial sovereign and the seven Deo sect. They were going to return to the immortal astral continent now, but it was probably too late to find the seven Deo sect. In contrast to those who were not from the cave world, Deo Master Blue Dream had a hint of doubt lurking in his gaze. He knew all too well that the world was nothing more than a cave, but now that he stood before the cave's entrance, he was at a loss for what to do. Should he go or remain? Tuo Sen, or Tu Si, also thought in silence. His eyes lingered on the gold door. What he was thinking was unknown. Many light rays closed in around the golden portal outside all heaven. A few cultivators from the world of caves traveled great distances. They were all taken aback at seeing the golden entrance. After a while, Wang Lin's eyes averted from the golden door. He could detect that his eight essence true bodies had vanished after he left the fifth bloom. His water essence remained partially completed, and the remaining seven essences were concealed. Before he had entered the Dong Lin pool, everything had returned to normal. Wang Lin felt a little flutter in his heart, even though he knew this would happen, but he quickly pushed it away. Now, he was filled with anticipation over the immortal astral continent's Dong Lin pool. We might battle to the death because we have certain disagreements, but now that the door has opened, all of our complaints are gone. Wang Lin clasped his hands at everyone there and said, If any of you want to leave the cave world, I'll send you off. Wang Lin was worn out, and his remarks were real and devoid of falsehoods. His memory replayed the events from almost 2,000 years ago to the present, when the door had finally opened. He would always be fatigued as long as he remained human. He wasn't the only one here who was exhausted. Because of his daughter, Deo Master Blue Dream had provided assistance despite being hurt. Wang Lin and Tuo Sen were both allies and rivals. He was worn out and had assisted at a crucial time. They were all exhausted, whether it was Black Tortoise, Vermilion Bird, Tang Shan, or the cultivators from Planet Five Elements. Seldom was the conflict in the center of the cave world so intense. After giving it some thought, the elderly Ma from Planet Five Elements was the first to move ahead. After giving Wang Lin a perplexed look, he finally said something. Friend Cultivator Wang, this elderly man is the first to depart. You can visit the Five Elements sect if you travel to the country of the Celestials. Wang Lin quietly nodded and added, Senior, thank you for your previous assistance. I will surely visit the Five Elements sect if I'm lucky. Standing behind the elderly guy called Ma, Yun Yifeng peered nostalgically around him. Finally, he turned to face Wang Lin and shook hands. Observe caution, Brother Wang. Our fight is far from ended. We shall choose the winner on the everlasting astral continent. Be careful, my fellow cultivator Yun. Wang Lin gave Yun Yifeng a glance. This was one crafty individual. In the world of caves, 
Wang Lin had somewhat seen right through him. The other two middle-aged cultivators from Planet Five Elements caught Wang Lin's attention. He gestured toward the distance as though he remembered something. In the distant, ripples resounded. Appearing were the other cultivator of the Planet Five Elements and the White Tiger General. The elderly man called Ma didn't seem surprised by their appearance, it appeared like he knew already. The Vermilion Bird General and the Black Tortoise General, however, were surprised. The White Tiger General released the cultivator from Planet Five Elements as Wang Lin spoke, saying, Fellow cultivators of Planet Five Elements, I send you all forth. After giving it some thought, the Planet Five Elements cultivator went back to his group. A swarm of people shot toward the Golden Door, transforming into rays of light. A glimmer of golden light appeared and vanished. Upon witnessing the individuals from Planet Five Elements pass through the entrance, the generals of Black Tortoise and Vermilion Bird advanced a short distance and shook hands with Wang Lin. The matters before us, fellow cultivator Wang Lin. Alas, thank you for your forgiveness, fellow cultivator. We are going to depart first. We will be happy to assist you in any way that you require. The Black Tortoise General was the one who talked. A jade appeared and drifted toward Wang Lin as he waved his right hand. After accepting the jade and nodding, Wang Lin turned to face the White Tiger General from a distance. You two can depart. Startled, the White Tiger General's eyes glowed with appreciation. He made a deep bow to Wang Lin before moving to stand behind the generals of the Black Tortoise and the Vermilion Bird. The Vermilion Bird General cast a deep and nuanced focus on Wang Lin. Many thanks. Wang Lin thought as the three of them transformed into three rays of light and flew toward the Golden Door. They vanished inside the door and found themselves back on the immortal astral continent. Tang Shan, the third concubine, bit her bottom lip and moved in the direction of the golden door. She halted about a hundred feet from the door and turned to face Wang Lin. I appreciate it. You have helped me and I have helped you, there is no need for thanks, stated Wang Lin, glancing at Tang Shan. Tang Shan parted her lips as though she would speak, but she remained mute. She shot toward the door and just as she was about to vanish, she pivoted abruptly. Will we ever cross paths again? Wang Lin remained silent. Tang Shan's eyes darkened, and the golden light surrounded her. Her eyes went faint, but no one else noticed, and she gradually vanished beyond the golden door. One by one, everyone who was not a part of the cave world had left at this point. Wang Lin's eyes shifted from Dao Master Blue Dream and the others to the empty space. He held his hands up to the empty air. Nothing was visible, and nothing seemed out of the norm. Wang Lin clasped his hands, but there were no ripples or anything, only the echo of his words. You have followed me all the way, Senior Xianluo. You traveled to the celestial realm, to planet five elements, and finally to the center of this cave. Have you seen enough now that you've seen me open the door? Are you able to present yourself? As Wang Lin spoke, the nothingness started to morph, revealing a figure that was hidden. All were stunned by these abrupt statements and transformation. All of them turned to look at the person. How did you know my name? A kind voice from the indistinct apparition said. Wang Lin was bending toward Xian Luo's figure as his words reverberated, and eventually, his figure emerged in the star system. Tuo Sen's and Dao Master Blue Dream's attitudes abruptly changed as Xian Luo showed up. Their expressions become quite serious, and their pupils contracted. The enigmatic Xian Luo had materialized out of nowhere, and they had missed it. They could only see him even now, but they wouldn't be able to see him at all if they closed their eyes. Xian Luo did not even glance at Dao Master Blue Dream or Tuo Sen. Rather, he smiled curiously at Wang Lin and awaited Wang Lin's response. Though he wasn't shocked that Wang Lin was aware of his hiding place, he couldn't help but wonder when Wang Lin had shouted his name. He made several assumptions. With a smile, Xian Luo murmured softly, I understand. You stole a wisp of soul from the small planet Five Elements Cultivator at the first flower in the world, where the little white tiger established the law. You then surreptitiously scanned that wisp of soul to discover what transpired on planet Five Elements after you departed. Wang Lin nodded after giving it some silent thought. Wang Lin had actually derived his name from the spirit of the avatar of the planet Five Elements Cultivator, just as Xian Luo had claimed. The Avatar Soul's recollection was limited to what had happened recently. But this also applied to the moment when Wang Lin departed and Xian Luo emerged. Wang Lin's misgivings about seeing the cultivators from Planet Five Elements were validated by this matter. Ultimately, 
He hadn't encountered the elderly gentleman who had disparaged the ancient Dao clan. More accurately, Wang Lin was deeply surprised when the eye fish vanished from the trap he had prepared for the seven-colored Daoist. He searched intently for the cause and discovered it within the avatar's soul. Wang Lin had noticed something vaguely in the second flower. Then he found evidence to support his theory in the ancient tomb. Wang Lin proved that what he had suspected was accurate when he moved back behind Xian Luo and let Xian Luo to act. The eye fish should be the reason you can precisely identify my position, however I disregarded the relationship between the male and female eye fishes. Xian Luo gave a head shake. He did act carelessly in this regard. But Wang Lin had managed to track him down and identify him. Wang Lin had passed his test, in his opinion, and he was very happy about that. Is this old man's statement accurate? With a smile, Xian Luo turned to face Wang Lin. Wang Lin nodded once again, his look peculiar. As a result, you are aware of my identity in addition to the name of this elderly man? Xian Luo grinned even more broadly. He had been hidden next to Wang Lin for some time, and he was in a really pleasant mood. He thought that Wang Lin ought to have discovered him sooner, and there was an inexplicable sense of sadness as well. Wang Lin thought silently for a while before answering. The ancient Dao Grand Empyrean, one of the nine sons of the immortal astral continent, had a tremendous emotional upheaval upon learning about this via the avatar soul. But nobody had noticed because he was so good at hiding it. The reason the cultivators from Planet Five Elements gave up the fight for the third soul was because of Senior, Wang Lin replied slowly, glancing at Xian Luo. Because of Senior, they even came to assist. Junior is appreciative. Xian Luo's happiness increased as he continued to gaze at Wang Lin. Along the journey, Wang Lin had greatly satisfied him, and he laughed at Wang Lin's modest remarks. He was even more grateful that Wang Lin hadn't asked for his assistance, even though Wang Lin was aware of his presence. Wang Lin alone had been able to turn the tide of this whole war in the heart of the cave world. Wang Lin was the lone pupil who Xian Luo hesitated to accept. Follow me back to the immortal astral continent to the land of the ancient Dao, become the ancient Dao clan's lone disciple and protect it. Would you, little fellow? Xian Luo gave Wang Lin a tender glance. He spoke in a tone befitting a senior talking to a junior rather than being at all demanding. Wang Lin felt a surge of warmth at his tone and expression. Wang Lin, on the other hand, disagreed and started to think. Xian Luo had spent a lot of time observing Wang Lin and had some understanding of him. He speculated about Wang Lin's thoughts after observing Wang Lin reflect. Xian Luo sighed as he scowled and peered at the golden door. He scowled at what he assumed Wang Lin was thinking rather than at Wang Lin. The immortal astral continent is home to numerous cave worlds. Any sizable sect has its own cave world, it can be argued. But ever since the beginning of time, very little life has been able to emerge from cave worlds, much less destroy the cave world's owner. The seven-colored celestial sovereign would not have been sealed if it weren't for the fact that his soul was broken. Xian Luo spoke after glancing at Wang Lin. Are you aware of the reason? This is a result of the immortal astral continent's legislation. The law of the immortal astral continent prevents life inside the numerous cave worlds from transcending if they lack a bloodline from the immortal astral continent. Even though it is a rule, the force that divides the cave worlds can be thought of as a strong pressure. Xian Luo's ancient voice resonated, saying that any life without the bloodline that leaves the cave realm is crushed the instant it exits. Nobody can oppose this law from the immortal astral continent. I know what's going through your mind you don't want to go alone. Xian Luo groaned, you want to let everyone else go and see the immortal astral continent. After giving it some thought, Wang Lin remarked quietly, Junior won't compel them to leave if they don't want to, but if they do want to leave, then Junior does in fact have this concept in mind. Wang Lin abruptly raised his head in response to Xian Luo's statement, This is impossible forget you, but the woman named Wan Er in your dream Dao can't go to the immortal astral continent. She is also unable to go? Xian Luo displayed a bewildered look. He nodded, knowing how much that woman meant to Wang Lin. Wang Lin was momentarily stunned. But previously, I was informed that the legislation would have less force if there was someone on the immortal astral continent to greet me. Whoever told you otherwise is lying to you. This issue cannot be resolved unless the nine suns work together to oppose the immortal astral continent's ultimate law. The bloodline of the celestial ancestor and ancient ancestor formed the law of the immortal astral continent, and it cannot be changed. Wang Lin started to look pale, 
as though most of his blood had been taken out. The last mouthful of blood in his body appeared to pour out of the corner of his mouth as he staggered back a few feet. Without any delay, the brightness in his eyes vanished and a searing sense of hopelessness surged within him. I have examined one ER, the woman. The incompleteness of her spirit is quite peculiar. I looked through the entire cave world for you, but I couldn't find any evidence of it, and it appears that portion of it has vanished. This situation is really peculiar. But no matter what, she cannot awaken as long as her soul remains incomplete. Maybe I could rouse her up if her soul was whole. You can go directly to the immortal astral continent. Xian Luo stopped speaking and said, Later, when you have the chance to find the missing soul, you can then return. Wang Lin's eyes were filled with blood-laden tears, as he could see. Really? Impossible? Wang Lin bowed his head angrily. I wanted to open the door and go to the immortal astral continent for one ER, but I won't leave her here by herself and go there by myself. My first idea was to go to the immortal astral continent and find a way to wake her up. If she is unable to go, I could end up going through thousands of years by myself in the cave world until the day I die, Wang Lin mumbled, her tears becoming slightly red. If the intellect was sorrowful, the spirit was as sorrowful, if all of your possessions were submerged in grief and hopelessness, blood would flow. Dao Master Blue Dream heard Wang Lin's remarks. This time, he didn't feel enraged as he quietly listened to his daughter's lover who was so devoted to another lady. Rather, he thought of his own wife and was filled with grief and pity. Wang Lin caught Xian Luo's eye. After a considerable amount of time, he sighed and spoke abruptly. Wang Lin, it is not impossible. This old guy will put in his best effort once to assist you in using the Heavenly Sun Reincarnation spell to combat the law of the immortal astral continent. My magic will cause any of your pals who wish to leave the cave world to be reborn on the immortal astral continent. They will acquire a lineage and become inhabitants of the immortal astral continent after they reincarnate. But in order to unlock their sealed memories, you will need to locate each of them individually. This could be an arduous task. The elderly man is unable to determine the exact time. Reincarnation can happen in a few years for some people and take up to a thousand years for others. Furthermore, this old man is unable to pinpoint the location of their rebirth. It's only that the immortal astral continent is too huge. Finding them one at a time will require confidence and preparation. As for one ER, she cannot be reborn because her soul is incomplete, but this old man will assist her in this too. You have a 50% chance of successfully escorting her to the immortal astral continent while I'm defying the law of the immortal astral continent. Though Xian Luo would have to pay a heavy price for this, he answered, the possibility is only 50% once you fail, you will die with her tell me your choice. Wang Lin knew that there was no such thing as free support in this world. The only thing that might have produced different outcomes, like Duan Tian in the past and Xian Luo presently, was a change in practice. Wang Lin felt warm rather than cold in her heart, even though they had assisted with their own motive. Furthermore, Wang Lin had deep empathy for the people he owed, including Xian Luo and Duan Tian. Wang Lin bowed his head and peered out the golden gate, at the familiar scene beyond. He thought in silence. The remarks of Xian Luo stayed with him for a considerable amount of time. The words made the preparations for crossing over to the immortal astral continent and the associated implications clear to him. Wang Lin comprehended. Wang Lin mumbled, reincarnate. Maybe a few years, maybe a thousand years. This will be required of everyone who wishes to leave the realm of cave dwelling without a bloodline. They will eventually surface on the immortal astral continent someplace. Wang Lin gazed up at Xian Luo and made a deep bow, saying, I'll need to release their sealed memories when we meet 1000 years later. Wang Lin only dimly realized that Xian Luo would have to pay a heavy price in order to violate the immortal astral continent's laws in such a way. Junior is unsure of who and how many people will choose to depart from the subterranean world. But whatever transpires, Junior will never forget the generosity Senior showed me today. Wang Lin was bowing down to Xian Luo. There appeared to be an unseen bond formed between them. It was there, but it was impossible to understand or articulate. Wang Lin's statements were resolute, as for one ER, if we can't both live, then even if we die together in the door to leave the cave world, I will have no regrets. Throughout the star system, the phrase no regrets resounded. Not a regret. Not a regret. Not a regret. More than 2000 years ago, a fateful encounter outside the Sea of Devils was revealed by these two words, which also exposed Wang Lin's Dao heart. 
Wang Lin shouted as these words released his feelings of love, longing, and sadness. No lady in the world, save for his mother, could ever truly replace Li Muin in his heart. She was the most beautiful woman he had ever seen in the world. He'd let many beautiful shadows to flutter past him like butterflies, but none of them were her, with the song of the zither. Wang Lin had been involved in this love for over 2,000 years, and it would not go away until Wang Lin passed away. They believed that if they couldn't live together, they would prefer to die together. When Dao Master Blue Dream heard these two words, his eyes grew dimmer. He cast his gaze toward the celestial realm and thought to himself in silence. When Xian Luo stared at Wang Lin, who turned to face him, his eyes gleamed. He nodded after hearing Wang Lin say that she had no regrets. I would need to put in some preparation time in order to cast the reincarnation magic and rest the law of the immortal astral continent. Bring everyone who wishes to depart in a month, and I'll do the magic. As for you, this is a decision you have to make. Xian Luo is no longer persuasive. He had discovered a great deal about Wang Lin's character throughout this trial period. Wang Lin would not reverse his decision after he made it. This Wang Lin is a perfect fit for my needs. He would much prefer wait a millennium to locate his companions and trigger their recollections. This is righteous, he is a kind person who wants to go with all of his friends rather than by himself. Even in the event that they both pass away, he won't regret giving up his sweetheart. Such a sentimental and charitable individual. Once we show him kindness, Xian Luo will stop at nothing to preserve my ancient Dao clan forever, if I don't give up on him. A peculiar light suddenly appeared in his eyes, and he made up his mind. Wang Lin gave Xian Luo a thoughtful glance before bowing three times. He pivoted and departed. Dao Master Blue Dream walked along with him, thinking in silence. After bidding Wang Lin farewell, Tuo Sen thoughtlessly strolled toward the edge of the horizon, contemplating whether or not to go from the cave world and reincarnate into the immortal astral continent. The nebulas shone brilliantly, creating an unending system of stars. But Wang Lin couldn't determine if they were real or false in his eyes. He looked away from the stars for a while, then hurried through them. He proceeded to the former location of planet Dong Lin instead of departing from all heaven. Only a fissure remained after the fall of planet Dong Lin. The frozen second blossom resulted from the fissure. Wang Lin had several tasks to finish before departing. Yun Na, an ancient god, existed. She needed Wang Lin's assistance to get out of this frozen world. In all heaven, the other side of the golden door was planet Dong Lin. The golden light permeated this far despite the distance from the golden door, enveloping the star kingdom in a golden glow. Similar to a wound in the star system was the gap leading to the frozen world. It flashed, occasionally releasing chilly energy into the golden dyed star kingdom. Wang Lin materialized at this precise time as the area outside the rift warped. He eyed the rift and took a step toward it. His ancient Dao aura surged into his hands, causing him to ruthlessly seize the rift and tear. The split was further ripped open by Wang Lin's yell as the star system rocked. The frozen earth was exposed as the icy energy flowed forth. The only spot that remained intact was the frozen second bloom. Even after Xian Luo's power vanished, the ice on the earth remained solid. Wang Lin transmitted a message into the frozen realm while standing outside the rift using his divine sense. Yun Na, I'm here to get you out. Yun Na slowly opened her eyes on the enormous stone platform inside the frozen planet. She grinned as she peered out at the far off ice. He arrived, and as she closed her eyes, smoke billowed from her eyebrows. It vanished into the ice in front of her. The smoke escaped her body and moved in Wang Lin's direction. It soon materialized at All Heaven's entryway. Wang Lin caught her eye, but between the two was a coating of ice. Master created me to protect the Dong Lin sect. I left my ancient god body here and utilized its life force to sustain this area as a way of returning the kindness. As of right now, I will no longer be connected to this place. I hope you can take my soul away and assist me escape. Yun Na's message of heavenly sense resonated. Wang Lin realized, peering into the ice to see Yun Na's soul. Wang Lin did not firmly separate her spirit from her body when she initially entered the second flower, but she did seek for assistance. She withheld her spirit from her body until Wang Lin had crossed the five flowers eight doors and unlocked the cave world's door. His was perfect, after all, it was crucial that her soul and her body be kept apart. Of course, she had to exercise caution. Wang Lin didn't give this much thought and would honor his word. He spit a mouthful of ancient Dao energy into the ice near the rift. 
His breath was imperceptible, but as soon as it made contact with the ice, cracking noises were heard. Layer by layer, the ice broke apart as numerous fissures emerged. Sliver by slice, Yun and A's soul emerged from the ice as it broke. Her spirit reshaped itself into her appearance when the ice finally broke entirely. She had gotten away by using the gaps Wang Lin had made. Her eyes were serene as she studied the star system. Her eyes were quietly gazing without any waves. She finally bowed to Wang Lin after a long period. I appreciate your assistance. With a look that touched Yun and A's spirit, Wang Lin murmured, This is my promise to you. You may think of it as payment for your assistance. You must, however, choose between going to the immortal astral continent, which is home to your master, the seven-colored celestial sovereign, and the actual Dong Lin sect, or simply leaving to live in his cave world. Leave if you want to stay here. If you want to go to the immortal astral continent, you have to go through a terrible trial where you have to reincarnate for a thousand years. Wang Lin's statements were carefully listened to by Yun Na. She thought for a moment, then gazed ahead at the quiet star system and mumbled. One thousand years is not a long time. Reincarnation is nice. Wang Lin witnessed the confusion around the future and the bitterness of time. Maybe her decision to reincarnate was the right one. Wang Lin stopped talking and opened his palm while waving his right hand. Till Yun Na transformed into a fist-sized ball of light and floated in Wang Lin's palm, she slowly glided toward Wang Lin. Wang Lin put the light into his storage compartment and closed his hand. After giving the ice-sealed globe one more glance, he walked away. For Wang Lin, the entire subterranean world was familiar. He moved slowly as he surveyed his surroundings. Before he went, it appeared as though he was slowly turning around. Wang Lin had promised the same thing to someone else as well. Fan Shanlo was the name of the person who was in the cloud sea's depths. What a miserable lady Fan Shanlo was. She was the younger sister of Fan Shanman and the first concubine of the Celestial Sovereign. But because she had spent much too much time in the underground world, she was eventually duped by her older sister into believing that Wang Lin needed the blood of oath. She doesn't need to be reincarnated to leave because she is from the immortal astral continent, Wang Lin said as she moved onward, crossing all heaven and reaching the cloud sea. He entered the rift's depths, the location of Fan Shanlo. Wang Lin had nearly overlooked something in addition to removing Fan Shanlo. Just one month before he left, he had an epiphany. He had previously promised a minor character that he would give them a body of a specific cultivation level. That little character's spirit had been in his storage area for a very long time. One month would usually fly by in an instant, but this final month in the underground world was not like the others. Suddenly, ten days had gone by. It was during these ten days that Wang Lin discovered Fan Shanlu. She was the first consort of the Celestial Sovereign and descended from the immortal astral continent. She might go back to her house and exit through the door. Fan Shanlu departed, dragging the massive vessel with him. The mainsail had already been refined, and Wang Lin had complete control over it. He placed it into his closet. Wang Lin had also discovered a cultivation planet over these ten days. He located a recently deceased body and utilized his strong cultivation to transform it. He created an origin soul by incorporating the lesser character's soul into the body. Wang Lin then quietly made his own way through the stars. There was a hint of hesitation in the pit of his stomach. This feeling of hesitation was not very strong at first, but it grew stronger as he passed past all the familiar locations. Wang Lin sighed and vanished from the dazzling light. When he resurfaced, the celestial realm was situated at the intersection of the four major star systems. He entered the realm of celestials. Wang Lin's divine perception extended, enveloping the celestial realm as the ripples echoed. He conveyed the word that one must undergo rebirth in order to escape the world of caves. Wang Lin said, sitting on the peak he had used for closed door cultivation, if anyone wants to leave, you can come and find me. I'll leave half a month from now. Wang Lin then slowly closed his eyes. It was up to them to stay or leave. Wang Lin had just opened the door and would not step in. Wang Lin was unsure about the outer world's implications for the inhabitants of the subterranean world. He had given everyone the opportunity to make this decision on their own because of this. Sidhu Nan showed up two days after Wang Lin took a seat. There were white clouds beneath his feet as he walked through the air. He inched closer until he was standing next to Wang Lin, holding a wine jug in his hand. Sidhu Nan was dressed casually and had the same appearance as previously when he took a glass of wine. His long hair was flying in the wind. He appeared composed, 
yet there was a hazy suggestion of what was going through his head. Sidhu Nan mumbled, Wang Lin, please tell me if I can become the king of a mortal city on the immortal astral continent if I reincarnate. There was initially a sense of separation, but Sidhu's remarks really scattered this sensation. With a smile on his face, Wang Lin took Sidhu Nan's wine and took a large sip. Don't search for me too soon if I do, in fact, happen to reincarnate as a king by coincidence. Before you locate me, wait till I get to live a lifetime as a king. Sidhu Na grinned as she turned to face Wang Lin. You made up your mind. Sidhu Nan caught Wang Lin's eye. He had a friend and teacher in Sidhu Nan. Over two millennia of memories relived in their brains as they said their goodbyes. I've made up my mind. It would be unfortunate not to ruin the place given this old man's talent. Sidhu Nan laughed, and I ought to be much happier there. He felt so comfortable. Here on the immortal astral continent, we are free to spend our lives as we like. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Sidhu Nan returned Wang Lin's wine jug and took a long drink. Wang Lin studied Sidhu Nan with composure. Sidhu Nan sighed after a considerable amount of time as their gazes locked. You had best remember to come find me, you little brat. Sidhu sighed, and Wang Lin nodded. Damn it, reincarnation, this old man better reincarnate as a king. I promise to locate you if I'm still alive. Red Butterfly was by Red Butterfly's side when Ching Shui discovered Wang Lin. The father arrived simultaneously with his daughter. They landed next to Wang Lin after emerging from the emptiness. Ching Shui remained silent. He didn't say anything while he stood there searching for a long. Red Butterfly stood next to him, her eyes a little redder than usual. It seems like Wang Lin was unaware of something at the time they made the choice. There has to be a way for you to go back to the immortal astral continent, Han Yan. That way, our family will be reunited. Ching Shui looked at Red Butterfly with a loving father's gaze. In addition to Situ, Ching Shui, and Red Butterfly, Thirteen was the fourth person to arrive. Thirteen had extremely basic ideas. He had to follow Wang Lin as his disciple, whether it meant facing fire and sword or even facing rebirth. Even in reincarnation, in his heart, his instructor from one life would remain his teacher. Wang Lin was seated peacefully behind Thirteen. He had a far more subdued demeanor than before. His desire to kill had mostly vanished and was safely lodged inside his body. He withheld all of it from us. In this way, time passed slowly. More individuals arrived from all directions within the celestial realm and took seats behind Wang Lin. They made the decision to go. Li Qin Miai arrived on the ninth day following Wang Lin's return to the celestial realm. She looked much smaller than she had before, dressed in a white outfit. Although she had a somber appearance, she was full of tenacity and resolve. Li Qin Miai managed to conceal her own grief from Wang Lin. Li Qin Miai whispered gently, biting her lower lip, should I go? Wang Lin opened his eyes and fixed his long, hard gaze on Li Qin Miai. Li Qin Miai inquired again in a gentle voice, but her voice was shaking. Should I go? Wang Lin gave Li Qin Miai a glance. He observed Li Qin Miai's impotence and her internal conflict, which was similar to his own. His ears rang with those words from back then again. Should I leave? Li Qin Miai grinned. She turned to go, her jade-like hand holding her hair. Li Qin Mi's hand was taken by Wang Lin, and his voice resounded. Proceed to the eternal astral continent and bide your time until I locate you and unlock your locked memories. It can take ten, one hundred, or even a thousand years. You, are you going to wait? Li Qin Miai came to a stop and pivoted. She gave Wang Lin a quick glance but remained silent, nodding gently. I'll track you down. After giving Li Qin Miai a quick glance, Wang Lin gently drew her to sit by him. Two streams of tears fell from Li Qin Miai's eyes at the instant Wang Lin grabbed her. Her face started to stream tears, which then spilled down her clothes. I don't know whether I should go or not. Should I accompany my father here or wait for you on the immortal astral continent? Father is unwilling to leave. He will stay here with mother. Li Qin Miai bowed her head. There were two voices in her heart, but only one remained as Wang Lin took hold of her hand. Li Qin Miai bit her lower lip and peered up at Wang Lin, asking, You, do you really want me to go to the immortal astral continent? Her eyes were full of uncertainty. Wang Lin gave it some thought and nodded. Then, you need to locate me right away. I'll wait for you indefinitely. Li Qin Miai's eyes lost their bewilderment and gained determination in their place. Time moved slowly by. Wang Lin would be in the celestial realm for 15 days, and only 3 days remained. 
Over the previous few days, Wang Lin had seen a number of people he knew, but the number of those who had choose to leave was simply too little in comparison to the number who stayed. Not everyone was able to confront reincarnation and the mysterious outside world. They therefore considered this to be extremely risky. While Master South Cloud battled for some time before deciding to stay, Master Hong Shan made the decision to reincarnate. Wang Lin knew a few other persons as well, including Master Flamespark and Zhang Kongli. They refused to leave and all made the decision to stay. The half month was down to just two days left. One could not see very far because it was evening and the world was gloomy. All that was visible were the silhouettes of the mountains. The beauty of dusk was all its own, it like a masterpiece painted in gold. Three figures closed in on this painting-like world. The man in the middle was middle-aged, and he had an amazing appearance. There was no mistaking his age he was Qing Lin. Qing Shuang, his daughter, was standing next to him. She appeared uninterested in Zhou Yi and had a chilly expression. Zhou Yi didn't appear to be bothered by it and didn't seem to regret it. With the same hunger he felt in the past, he glanced at Qing Shui. Though it was a different face, he was still staring at the same person. Zhou Yi experienced a heart-stopping ache as a result of this emotion. He had to embrace it or give up. Qing Lin arrived beside Wang Lin and stated, Wang Lin, my daughter, and I are ready to leave and reincarnate. He sighed as he turned to face Zhou Yi. Zhou Ar Yu, Shen Gong Hu, and others came to Wang Lin after making their decisions over the course of the last three days. There were just about 20 persons that made the decision to depart. A light rain poured on the celestial realm in the final days. Miu Bingmei strolled in the rain while wearing all white. Wang Lin snapped his eyes wide and saw a stunning woman with an umbrella. Aside from the sound of the rain, her ethereal beauty seemed to silence everyone. Her long, black hair resembled a painting. A cloud of rain obscured her lovely physique, and a weird force appeared to make everyone forget about everything. This was Miu Bingmei's beauty, or more precisely, Lu Mei's, because at that precise time, Wang Lin would never forget Miu Bingmei's look, attire, and expression. I pray that the Lord grants me a safe journey. Miu Bingmei held the umbrella while she peered through the rain at Wang Linier. Her voice was quite sweet, not at all frigid, and her words resonated in the rain. Ultimately, she made the decision to stay. She had come for a final visit with Wang Lin. Who knew when their paths may cross again? Wang Lin was unable to infer her ideas. Miu Bingmei was not an ordinary lady. She had her reasons for saying what she had decided to say. He didn't want to ask, and he wouldn't ask. A fortnight went by as it rained. The rain appeared to get heavier at twilight on the final day and formed a curtain. The end of this fuzzy universe was visible to the unaided eye. Wang Lin got to his feet and stepped toward the sky. Everyone who was about to depart behind him shot up into the air and transformed into beams of light. In the rain, they unfurled a brilliant bloom. Wang Lin peered down at the world below him from his perch in the sky. Miu Bingmei was still standing there, holding the umbrella. She appeared to be observing Wang Lin as her form loomed in the rain. The long dress, the soft form beneath the umbrella, the hair that flew in the breeze. The figure had a sad expression on their faces as they parted. Wang Lin thought in silence while glancing at Miu Bingmei. Wang Lin eventually spoke the words, If I'm still alive, I'll return, hesitantly. With her umbrella slightly lowered to conceal her face, Miu Bingmei spoke a quiet If I'm still alive, I'll greet you. Wang Lin extended his right hand toward the empty air. Activating simultaneously, his seven essences collected in his hand. A crystal sword emerged when the rain reflected the light. The stunning power of this sword came from the union of Wang Lin's essences and his ancient Dao might. I'm not sure when I'll be allowed to go back to the realm of caves. Perhaps it will last for a millennium, ten millennia, or more. Perhaps I will never come back. I give you this sword. Wang Lin sighed and stepped into the sky, saying, take care. Everyone who wished to flee flew away behind him. After turning to face Miu Bingmei, Li Qin Miai walked away. Miu Bingmei stood staring at the light rays as they vanished. The world blurred in front of her as two streams of tears sprang out of the corners of her eyes. She appeared to be a wife bidding her husband farewell at the moment, standing at the front entrance while his figure drew more and farther away. Miu Bingmei whispered, so gently that only her could hear, take care. She stepped carefully out into the rain while carrying the essence sword Wang Lin had left behind. Wang Lin calmed down when he saw the familiar landscapes in the sky. There was a hint in his mind that the problems in the world of caves were far from solved. With the configuration there, 
There won't be another conflict between the inner and outer realms unless someone like the Sovereign arrives. Despite the fact that all five of the five masters are gravely injured, several of them are still alive. There should be no issues because Deo Master Blue Dream and Master South Cloud are present. I need to give a couple more ideas some more thought. Wang Lin quietly led the group of people out of the Celestial Realm. The Vermilion Bird General has left, and if the first generation Vermilion Bird in the Outer Realm has really separated from the Vermilion Bird General, then he should have left. I just don't know if the second generation Vermilion Bird and the others are still there. He avoided visiting the Fallen Land. Wang Lin's eyes brightened as he said, the Fallen Land is not so simple. The pointer of the compass for the heaven-defying bead though he had certain conjectures in his heart, it was not the right moment to pursue them. In addition, there was Master Scarlet Soul, whom I freed, and the enigmatic figure that aided me in my conflict with Deist Water but eventually fled the Wind Celestial Realm. This figure appeared to be sealed in the Wind Celestial Realm. I'm not sure where they are right now, but maybe the sound of the door opening may entice them to go. Wang Lin stepped forward and closed his eyes, saying, there are many places and things that can't be explained. He set aside all of those questions and conjectures to investigate after he got back from the immortal astral continent. My home is here, not on the immortal astral continent. This departure is like a child leaving home. When I come back, Wang Lin will open his eyes and they will glow. Wang Lin could have investigated all of these given his present cultivation level, but he chose not to. If I were still alive when I returned, I would have resolved all the unanswered questions. He left these secrets as a memento of his childhood home. One could argue that this amounted to an obsession. He wouldn't forget his home because of these unresolved issues, even if time caused him to forget everything else. Wang Lin guided over a dozen light rays as they soared across the stars. Since everyone had a high level of cultivation, they all moved quickly. Although Li Qin Mei moved a little slowly, Wang Lin's supervision made it unproblematic. Wang Lin summoned everyone to the door in all heaven with a few days remaining before the deadline of one month. The golden door glowed in the distance, casting golden light in bursts. This entrance appeared to support the star system and was far too big. Qian Luo was seated next to the door, surrounded by the golden light. A startling pressure sprang from his body and enveloped the area. Qian Luo opened his eyes as Wang Lin and colleagues approached. His gaze traveled past everyone, his eyes glowing golden. A few days beforehand, no issue at all. Xian Luo said, these people are all eligible to be reincarnated. His words reverberated through the heavens. His jaw dropped when he realized how many people were there. He would save a great deal of work because there were less than 20 persons. At first, he estimated that there might be thousands or even hundreds of people. For Xian Luo, it would have been challenging if things had been that way. After all, the reincarnation magic would get harder the more people it affected. There was never so many people. To be honest, Wang Lin hadn't informed everyone that they could leave, if she had, then more people would have wanted to try to leave. Qian Luo was the reason he didn't take this action. Wang Lin felt that this was the last time she would owe Xian Luo. He didn't want to bring too many people in case it stressed out Xian Luo too much or hurt him. Xian Luo got to his feet and sealed his hands. All around, there were tremors and ripples in the star system. A booming growl reverberated throughout the star system. At first, the sound wasn't very loud, but after a short while, it took the place of all other sounds in the universe with a rumbling, thunderous sound. Xian Luo's large shirt fluttered as though breeze was passing through his attire. His hair was still swinging. A massive sun with a red hue emerged behind Xian Luo. The golden hue of the star system grew dimmer once the sun emerged, as though it was unable to compete. Xian Lu's right hand made a seal and extended out toward the emptiness as soon as the sun appeared. Heavenly Spirit, Dragon Emperor, I, Xian Luo, call you Xian Luo's voice carried a strange energy. The rumble deepened as his voice reverberated. There were innumerable waves and then a massive vortex. The vortex was spinning quickly, and it appeared as though the star system as a whole would be drawn in. It was pitch black inside the vortex, as if it was attached to another planet. A loud, Dragon-like cry emerged from the vortex at the exact moment when its rotational speed surpassed a particular threshold. Wang Lin could feel the roar growing rapidly and buzzing in his ears. Hurrah! The boom became louder yet and reverberated throughout the solar system. The faces of those behind Wang Lin suddenly altered, and they all had terrified looks in Xian Luo's direction. 
Wang Lin's body remained motionless as he gazed at the vortex, even though the roar made his heart race. The vortex was still releasing roars. Wang Lin could see how a dragon would struggle to escape the vortex even if he was unable to see inside of it. Just as the system of stars was about to disintegrate due to the tremendous noise, a massive head emerged from the vortex. The vortex could not hold the weight of the large head. As the vortex broke apart, fragments of it scattered and a shockwave extended. The enormous head was that of a dragon. It possessed 2,000-foot-long dragon whiskers and a single horn. Its scales were purplish-black and its stare was icy and detached. All of this combined to create a monstrosity that would astound onlookers. The fact that the horn's tip was square rather than pointed made it much more strange. The tip of the horn almost resembled an emperor's crown when viewed from a distance. The head alone weighed around 10,000 feet. Just the head was seen at this point. Thunderous rumbles resounded as the dragon contorted its body. It appeared as though it would fully emerge. This dragon is one of my nine weapons, the Dragon Emperor. It originated in the untamed regions on the eastern edge of the immortal astral continent, home to innumerable dangerous creatures, of which this dragon was one of the greatest. Its cultivation was in the middle stage of Void Tribulant. It was killed by this old guy, who also took its soul, purified its body, removed its bones, and turned it into a whip-like weapon. As Xian Luo's speech resonated, his right hand went toward the dragon. This old man will use this whip to lash the law of the immortal astral continent to create a gap for you all to reincarnate. With a roar, the dragon's body shot out of the emptiness. It extended for 20,000 feet, 30,000 feet, 50,000 feet, and eventually reached hundreds of thousands of feet. It came ahead of Xian Luo and shrank fast, becoming a dragon whip the color of blood that was around a thousand feet long. There was a stunning pressure from this whip. When Wang Lin saw the whip, even his pupils narrowed, and he became privately scared. He believed that not even one blow from this whip could possibly hurt him. This whip had unbelievable power. Xian Luo swung out his Dragon Emperor whip. The whip shot straight for the door and went in. The door shook as a loud rumble reverberated. The interior golden pandemonium turned to haze, then abruptly crumbled. A strong force crashed through the door, tearing a hole in the confusion inside. It was unclear where the opening went because it was so deep. It appeared dark at first, but the chaos was under a strange pressure. The aperture quickly closed as the pressure increased. Xian Luo waved the whip again, his eyes brightening. With a thunderous rumble resounding after each of his nine consecutive lashings, the dragon whip extended to tens of thousands of feet in length. Ultimately, the whip crashed through the door and ripped through the confusion, creating a trail with its body. This road resembled the path of reincarnation as it led to the immortal astral continent. In addition to breaking the laws of the immortal astral continent, reincarnation carries the risk of losing one's identity. His hands formed a seal and pulled apart, echoing Xian Luo's words, remember to follow the dragon and you will be on the path to reincarnate. Xian Luo's hands moved and an illusion materialized in front of him as the second spirit, the mountain demon, appeared in his old man's name. There was a tall, seemingly never-ending snowy mountain and a world covered in snow. Anybody who saw it would be shocked because it was all white. An illusion will stand in the way of your ability to reincarnate. This mountain is a demon that I refined from its ancient form on the immortal astral continent. I gave innumerable souls to it until it developed into a celestial demon. With a wave of his right hand, Xian Luo prevented the snowy mountain from scattering his souls and it flew in the direction of the door. Cracking noises resounded as the dragon's path turned completely white. It went on forever. The snowy mountain now guarded the path of reincarnation, but it was not finished. With a wave of his left hand, Xian Luo called out to the third spirit, Sword Celestial, and a slip materialized between his eyebrows. A sword as big as a palm shot out. To create this sword, I refined 99,999 broken planets that were scattered around the immortal astral continent. After killing an equal number of Celestials, I slaughtered my way into the Celestial Land and refined their souls to make this sword. Xian Luo waved his left hand, and the sword revealed a fierce aura as it flew toward the door. This sword is fierce, the moment it appears, the Celestials feel fear. Today, I'll send this sword to escort you all on the path of reincarnation. This will keep you all safe along the way. The sword energy surrounding it was astounding. The snow-capped mountain served as a guardian, the dragon served as the path, and the unending, fierce sword led the way. Aside from the law of the immortal astral continent, 
the lengthy path had all other issues resolved, significantly lowering the chance of reincarnation. After the fourth spirit, Wind Devil, materialized in front of me, Xian Luo's preparations continued. The secret was to oppose the immortal astral continence law because the reincarnation this time was not taking place there. Xian Luo bit the tip of his tongue and spat out his priceless essence blood while he was speaking. Blood was red, but the moment it appeared, it turned black. Black gas erupted from the moving black blood. It instantly formed a figure that was surrounded by black fog before Xian Luo. This figure was blurry but was filled with devilish energy. This devilish energy was not from an ancient devil but from all the evil intent of living things. Once enough of these evil intents gathered, a devil would form. I have refined this devil for three reincarnations, and over the countless years, I have gathered the evil intent of 3.6 billion evil people. It has already gained intelligence and can be considered a devil spirit. In my ancient Dao clan, there is a devil tablet that absorbs the power of worship. It is one of my strongest three weapons. With this, it can turn into a seal so that your memories won't be damaged or go missing when you all reincarnate. Then, once you all are awakened, all your memories will be restored. It will also make it so that unless another Grand Empyrean searches your soul, no one else can find out the identity of your previous life. With this, the reincarnation will be complete. Xian Luo waved his right hand and the black fog flew toward the door. The path of ice inside the door was covered by black fog. The fog moved and looked terrifying, but it seemed calm and became something like a mirror. After taking out four of his strongest treasures, Xian Luo's expression didn't change at all. His cultivation was heaven-defying, and he was already prepared, so he recovered from this consumption instantly. He raised his right hand and formed a seal. A blood-colored sun suddenly appeared above his hand. This sun was originally invisible, but as Xian Luo looked at it, crackling sounds echoed. The originally illusory sun immediately turned corporeal. It could be touched, felt, and held. Wang Lin, this is made from this old man's grand empyrean power, and it can infinitely increase the power of your Dao spells. Use this with your dream Dao. Use this method to seal their memories in a dream until the day you arrive to awaken them. For them, this reincarnation will be a dream the fist-sized blood-colored sun floated toward Wang Lin and was grabbed by him. When Wang Lin touched the sun, his heart trembled. He could clearly feel an aura flickering inside the sun that he couldn't understand but made his soul tremble. Is this the power of the nine suns? Wang Lin looked at the blood-colored sun in his hand and silently pondered for a moment before he closed his eyes. His dream Dao activated the moment he closed his eyes. The dream Dao was Wang Lin's original spell and was already a formidable magic. With the treasure from Xian Luo, its power expanded many-fold and almost to the point of dreams becoming reality. An unseen ripple extended out from Wang Lin's body and engulfed everyone. Slowly, everyone, including Li Qin Miai, closed their eyes and were absorbed in a dream. Time moved slowly by. In a flash, one incense stick of time passed. A fuzzy mark developed between Wang Lin's eyebrows. The similar symbol flashed between the eyebrows of everyone else here as well. These marks seemed to resonate with each other like there was some inexplicable link between them. This relationship would allow Wang Lin to find them in the future. With a crackling sound, the sun in Wang Lin's fingers shattered. The minute the sun vanished, Wang Lin opened his eyes and everyone else opened their eyes. The marks between their eyebrows were no longer flickering but exceedingly obvious. An unexplainable feeling appeared in everyone's hearts. Whether their eyes were opened or closed, they could sense each other. This was especially true for Wang Lin, he felt it even stronger. After you all reincarnate, this feeling will be a lot weaker. However, if you're not far apart from each other, you may all feel it. Now hop upon the dragon's body and this old man will send you folks off to reincarnate. Xian Luo's voice was loaded with strength, leading Wang Lin and everyone else to silently think. Qing Lin let out a big sigh and marched forward. He was the first to walk toward the door out of the subterranean world and his daughter, Qing Shuang, followed. Zhou Yi was about to stride forward, but something wrapped around him, causing him to stop. Big brother Zhou, please wait for a moment. I'll try to aid you with your matter when you reincarnate. Wang Lin's remarks rang in Zhou Yi's mind. Wang Lin, we will meet on the immortal astral continent. Qing Lin looked to be at ease. He turned back and clasped his hands toward Wang Lin. However, the hesitancy in his eyes conveyed his actual sentiments. Qing Lin turned around and stepped into the mirror-like fog. Qing Shuang's demeanor was icy, as if nothing in the world could influence her. 
However, before entering into the fog, she halted for a second and gazed back at Zhou Yi. I hope you won't bother me. Her words were as cold as her expression, but it felt like there was a deeper meaning. Ching Shuang vanished amidst the mist. Zhou Yi thought for a moment in silence before showing his sour face. Wang Lin gave Zhou Yi a glance. They had been friends for almost two millennia, and he knew of Zhou Yi's fascination with Ching Shuang and their mutual history. Wang Lin sighed as he saw Zhou Yi's sour countenance. The mark between his eyebrows appeared to shrink slightly as his right hand swept past his own forehead, as if something had been removed. Next, he applied pressure to Zhou Yi's forehead. Big Brother Zhou, go. I give you the seal on the memory of Ching Shuang. There may be some connection between the two of you if you reincarnate. Maybe the two of you will cross paths. Zhou Yi gave Wang Lin a sour nod and held hands with her. Bewildered, he headed for the door, unsure of whether to cling on. He vanished behind the door. Ching Shui was the fourth person to go. He was standing close to Wang Lin when he smiled at her. I'll wait for you in the immortal astral continent, junior brother. Please take care of my kid for me if you discover her first. Grinning, Ching Shui turned to face Red Butterfly. He had a very strong fatherly love. Tears were streaming from Red Butterfly's red eyes. She took a few steps outside to say something, but in the end she bit her lip and remained silent. She observed Ching Shui approach the door and then vanish inside. She transformed into a beam of red light and shot toward the door like a butterfly, tears streaming down her face. One by one. The people standing next to Wang Lin left. They would all shake hands with Wang Lin before heading out the door to follow their dreams. Thirteen fell to the ground in front of Wang Lin. He lifted his head, determination shining in his eyes. Teacher, Thirteen is scheduled to leave. I will remember Master's generosity to me even when my memory is sealed. Thirteen spoke with a conviction that I will remember even if I reincarnate. Because of his unwavering determination, his instinct would still be present even if his memories were erased. His bond with Wang Lin as Wang Lin's apprentice was the thing that mattered most to him, based on this instinct. Following Thirteen was Sidhu Nan. Sidhu Nan, who had always been cautious, chuckled as he shot in the direction of the door. He produced a wine jug, which he hurled back towards Wang Lin. Wine jug was caught by Wang Lin. I enjoy drinking in this life, but I'm not sure if I will in the next. I'll hand you this pitcher. Give it to me when you find me. Laughing, Sidhu Nan said, Haha, this old man must reincarnate as a king damn, it must be a king. He disappeared through the door. It was unclear, though, if his wish could come true. Wang Lin and Xian Luo were not sure what it meant to reincarnate as a monarch on the immortal astral continent. Wang Lin made an odd facial expression, I hope it goes as he wishes. He sensed that things would not turn out the way Sidhu Nan had planned. Li Qin Miai was the final person to depart. She gave Wang Lin a smile but said nothing further. After uttering just a single word, she turned to face the door. I'll wait for you reincarnation after reincarnation, if you can't find me. Although she spoke gently, her true nature was evident by the determination in her remarks. Li Qin Miai would not regret the decision she had made. Only Xian Lu and Wang Lin were still outside the door. With a leisurely gaze, Xian Luo remarked to Wang Lin, They've all gone inside. I'm going to use this old man's magic to oppose the immortal astral continence law. When are you going to enter? Wang Lin had bright eyes. Can Senior send a few more people to reincarnate in the immortal astral continent? He said, glancing at the entrance. No issue. At first, I assumed there would be thousands or maybe hundreds of people. It's not too stressful for me because there were fewer than 20 individuals present. It won't matter if you don't invite too many people. Xian Luo grinned. I'll make senior wait for me for an additional five days. Wang Lin's eyes grew icy and his voice became soothing as he said, I'll bring some more people to reincarnate. Wang Lin hadn't brought along a few individuals since he didn't want to overburden Xian Luo. There wasn't any animosity between them or any direct hostility. They were, nevertheless, in a could be killed or could not be killed situation for the sake of the tranquility of the cave world. Following his hearing Xian Luo's remarks, Wang Lin had second thoughts. Wang Lin gave Xian Luo a handshake before turning and walking away. His form contorted, then vanished. He was at the edge of the formation between the inner and outer realms when he resurfaced. Wang Lin had created the new formation himself. Given his experience with it, he moved through without hesitation. He entered the ancient star system in less time than the half of an incense stick. The ancient star system's five masters. 
I have sealed the sovereign, and Blue Dream has relocated to the inner realm. Void God, Mia Yin, and Nine Heaven are left. These three will cause difficulty if I abandon them. Wang Lin's eyes was icy as he reached the ancient star system. Since their strength has diminished, I will locate them individually and send them to reincarnate. Suddenly, his holy intuition expanded in every direction. He had attained the pinnacle of spirit void following the events at the center of the cave world, and his inheritance of ancient Dao was nearly complete. Wang Lin was now capable of fighting late-stage arcane void cultivators. During this period, he was completely unmatched by these three wounded masters of the ancient star system due to his cultivation, seven essences, and ancient Dao spells. Wang Lin's eyes gleamed as his strong heavenly feeling passed by, he moved ahead and vanished from sight. There was a planet with a crescent form in the eastern region of the ancient star system. This planet exuded a deathly vibe and had an unusually asymmetrical shape. It even had a couple of really strong beats on it. Sand that was yellow blanketed the planet. On his planet, there was just darkness and no day. Because it was unfinished, there were only big rocks that revolved around the planet instead of trees or vegetation. The ground was dark and yellow sand floated in the air at the summit of the crescent form. There was a split there, and an elderly man was seated in the center of the split. As he healed, his eyes were closed and his face was pale. But then there would be sizzling sounds as black blood leaked out of the corner of his lips and onto the floor. Auras that resembled smoke emerged from the planet and entered his body to aid in his recovery. This elderly guy was actually Devil Master Nine from Heaven who had suffered severe injuries at the hands of Blue Dream. His soul had suffered harm and his Joss Flame realm had been destroyed back then. He had barely made it through, holding on to what life power remained inside his body. He was trying to revive his Joss Flame realm using the planet's death aura. The sky was black and the surroundings were silent, yet the old man abruptly raised his head. His pupils contracted as his eyes opened. In the pitch black sky, a brilliant light burst simultaneously. A young man dressed in white emerged as the planet's light began to shine. His face was expressionless and he had a head of white hair. Nine Heaven gasped at the sight of Wang Lin. Without hesitation, he stepped through the rift and headed into the planet's depths. Wang Lin's right hand tore at the ground below while his body stayed motionless. A massive rift spread out to the planet underneath it as the emptiness in front of him rumbled. The planet shook as the rift made contact with it and began to burst open. This crack widened quite rapidly. The earth split too quickly, and thunderous rumbles echoed. Wang Lin suddenly saw Nine Heaven, plunging into the planet's depths. Devil Master Nine nearly went insane. He could definitely feel a strong force tearing apart the earth behind him. He sensed Wang Lin staring him in the back. Are you going to kill me, Wang Lin? Heaven's scalp went numb, and a massive wave was set off in his heart. Let me free, and I swear never to visit the inner realm Devil Master Nine. There is no profound animosity between us. He was taken aback by Wang Lin's strength. He never thought Wang Lin would grow even more powerful so quickly. Avoid being terrified. Wang Lin stretched his left palm toward the planet below as he spoke, saying, I won't kill you, I'll send you to reincarnate. He used heaven ripping at the planet below with both of his hands. Kill if that's what you want to do. What does it mean that I'm going to be reborn? Nine heaven cried and formed seals in desperation. To fend off this startling energy, he laid out all of his spells in front of him and removed numerous valuables. The planet started to fall as the earth rumbled. Splits proliferated rapidly, and in an instant, Wang Lin split the planet's crescent form in half. The collapse's influence became a strong force that swept throughout the star system. Popping noises erupted before Devil Master Nine's heaven under this hit. His treasures and charms all fell apart. He tightened his teeth, longed to get away and coughed up blood. But still, in silence, Wang Lin materialized in front of him, placing her palm squarely between his eyebrows. Wang Lin's composed words resounded, I'm here to send you off to reincarnate and not kill you. Nine Heaven heard this last sound. Wang Lin sealed and stored his soul when his palm touched the ground. Devil Master Nine, who had been hurt by Dao Master Blue Dream, was easily sealed by Wang Lin. It had only taken him a few breaths to seal Nine Heaven from the moment of his arrival. Wang Lin turned to face the west, and his eyes grew icy. It was there, he sensed, that Miao Yin was mending. On a planet brimming with spiritual energy, Miao Yin found herself. From a distance, the planet appeared to be a water world with a few islands rather than continents. 
The oceans engulfed the remainder of the planet. The sea was golden instead of blue. The wind whipped up waves in the golden sea. A few creatures could be seen swimming in the water, occasionally exposing their shadows. They were enormous. Sitting in the deepest section of the sea, Mia Yin was enveloped in darkness. On the other hand, a sea of white bones would be visible if you looked closely. The majority of these white bones belonged to animals. Across some mysterious means, there seemed to be a roar across the water as Mia Yin healed in the depths of the sea. Wang Lin, Blue Dream, the two of you will not meet a happy ending, Mia Yin said, his face contorted. Blue Dream had wounded him, and his cultivation level had dropped to spirit void. To reach his best again, at least a century would pass. To try to reduce the time, all he could do was heal like crazy. Miao Yin extended his right hand toward the water while roaring. A long, black sea serpent shook as a vortex emerged, ensnaring it without the courage to fight. Grabbing the sea snake's head, Miao Yin bit its neck. He took a deep breath and exhaled the entire essence of the sea serpent. The sea serpent quickly transformed into a skeleton and was discarded. Just as he was about to proceed with his cultivation, his countenance abruptly changed, and he raised his head. Wang Lin left as the sky above the golden water began to twist. He stared down at the sea, his eyes like lightning. Today, Miao Yin, I came to bid you farewell to your rebirth. Miao Yin's look was strong, deep within the water, but fear flooded his eyes and his pupils contracted. You've already grabbed my avatar's soul and killed it. Why are you here trying to kill me when our feud should have ended? Reaching this level of cultivation is challenging for cultivators like us. If you behave this way toward me now, someone will undoubtedly do the same to you later on. The piercing voice of Dao Master Miao Yin resounded from the ocean floor. A massive wave was sparked by the sound, which traveled across the golden ocean. A massive vortex developed and shot in Miao Yin's direction. Miao Yin was beneath the sea, and Wang Lin was in the sky at this very time. Despite the vortex separating them, they were able to see each other very well. Unlike Nine Heaven, Mia Yin did not escape. He realized that there was no way he could get away from Wang Lin since his cultivation level had fallen too much. I will not murder you today. Wang Lin turned to face Mia Yin, who was trapped in the vortex. I'm just here to send you to reincarnate. He lifted his hand and made a casual gesture in Mia Yin's direction. A massive palm materialized and tore toward the ocean underneath. As he fixed his gaze on Wang Lin, Mia Yin's expression drastically changed. His heart was a big fight for him. Wang Lin was more understandable to him than Nine Heaven. Nine Heaven had attempted to flee after hearing Wang Lin remark, reincarnate, believing Wang Lin was going to murder him. However, Mia Yin disagreed. Where do you reincarnate? Mia Yin gave voice to a piercing scream as the enormous palm extended for him. Immortal astral continent a loud rumbling erupted as Wang Lin's words reverberated. The enormous palm reached out through the sea vortex and seized Mia Yin. With trembling in his heart, Mia Yin angrily gave up on any pointless resistance. He let Wang Lin grab him and closed his eyes. He was locked, put in Wang Lin's storage area, and combined with his avatar. The waves subsided as if nothing had occurred. Wang Lin pivoted and proceeded towards the heavens. Heaven Master Void Deity is still present, Wang Lin said, his eyes brightening as he peered into the distance. He discovered the location of Heaven Master Void God's primordial body. Wang Lin had gravely wounded the God's original body and slain his avatar, Heaven Master Void. Their troubles stopped there because he never again entered the inner realm. But in the long run, parting ways with this person would be problematic. He did not want to hand over all the issues to Master South Cloud and Blue Dream. He intended to handle it on his own. His body vanished as his gaze wandered over the heavens. There was a region of debris in the southern region of the ancient star system. This was once a planet, but it had collapsed, leaving behind a rock-covered expanse of death. God of Heaven, Master Void, stayed here. He had given up on both the goal of fighting and traveling to the inner realm. Still, not even he knew if this was a transient or permanent situation. He dared not venture into the inner realm, at least not just yet. He was filled with deep fear for Wang Lin. He was cultivating at this moment, sitting above a rock. He was sensing the changes around him and taking in the energy from the stars to fuel his body. He could sit here for thousands of years if no one disturbed him. He was convinced that no one would trouble him until his cultivation was fully restored, until he reached his pinnacle once more, and until he could emerge and shake the subterranean world. Actually, 
Heaven Master Void Deity didn't care if someone tried to bother him as long as it wasn't Wang Lin. But as lovely as this concept was, reality was harsh. The star system appeared normal on this particular day, yet there was an unseen pressure in the vicinity. This site became unstable when this pressure arrived. Numerous strewn rocks broke and were carried away by the wind. It appeared to be a halo scattering from a distance. Heaven Master Void, the god abruptly opened his eyes and showed a sour face. He noticed the indelible white form approaching him. His heart quavered, for that head of white hair was like something out of a nightmare. He still made an appearance. Heaven Master Void, God thought in silence as he watched Wang Lin approach closer and closer, desperation visible in his eyes. Wang Lin, I tried to assassinate you and take possession of you back then, but I was unsuccessful. I promised myself after my avatar died that I would never again travel into the inner realm. Would you please allow me to go in this one time? God rarely spoke in this way, but in this case, he had no choice but to say, Heaven Master Void. He got up and clapped his hands at Wang Lin as he was speaking. Wang Lin was a thousand feet distant from the god known as Heaven Master Void on a rock. He thought silently for a while before speaking slowly. You have no business being here. I'm heading to the continent of the Immortal Astral. Many have chosen to return to the Immortal Astral continent in their next lives. So that I can feel comfortable, you go too. Heaven Master Void God's expression shifted as innumerable ideas raced through his head, but in the end, he let out a deep sigh. You don't feel safe leaving this elderly man here, and you're going to leave. Have you considered the possibility that, in the ancient star system, new generations will emerge after you are gone for some time? Some may be more powerful than this elderly man. Will you eliminate them all? Wang Lin spoke calmly, but his words would startle anyone. I can't kill them all, but I can seal the various clans of the ancient star system and take the third step cultivators to be reincarnated if they don't obey, then I'll murder them. The deity Heaven Master Void remained silent for some time. He cast a far more frightened glance toward Wang Lin. God said, Heaven Master Void, he is really crazy. He is forcing me to reincarnate. What choice do I have? With a pitiful smile as he gave up resisting and closed his eyes. Wang Lin put the Heaven Master Void deity in his storage area and waved his sleeve before walking away. One Outer Realm clan that had taken part in the conflict was the Kangmang clan. The clan was small, although they did have a third step ancestor. When he realized things weren't going well, this ancestor made the decision to leave and stopped coming out. The Kangmang clan was situated in an area including about 100 planets, but Wang Lin was closing in on them this particular day. With every stride he took, his arrival sent shockwaves that could be felt all the way to the Kangmang sect. He entered a planet's atmosphere and strolled serenely in the direction of the tallest peak. A middle-aged man was seated in a big temple that stood atop the mountain. Wang Lin opened his eyes and showed terror the instant he arrived. Just as he was going to stand up, a right hand materialized behind him and his body began to quiver. He was unable to resist as it softly applied pressure to his shoulder, keeping him pressed against the ground. You are being sent to reincarnate. Before his eyesight became completely dark, this was the last sound he heard. He felt a terrible, fear-inducing energy come through his shoulder and seal him. Wang Lin departed the Kangmang clan a moment later. Nobody was aware of his arrival or departure. Wang Lin lifted his right hand and gave a small gesture toward the Kangmang clan's location as he walked away. A vortex was created when over a dozen ancient leaves materialized. As it approached the Kangmang clan, it sealed the star system and the clan as a whole. The clan's ability to travel through the stars is now sealed. Wang Lin waved his sleeve and turned away, saying, their cultivation can never break past Nirvana Shatterer they are never to step foot among the stars. The ancient star system's clans that had third step cultivators all met the same end as he advanced. The entire clan was sealed and the cultivators were made to reincarnate in the third step. Wang Lin carried out this startling and despotic act in order to secure the inner realm for many years. He took all of the surviving third-step cultivators with him. Every clan he came across, even those without a third-step cultivator, had their doors sealed. Third-stage cultivators would therefore find it extremely difficult to emerge in the ancient star system. For an indefinite period of time, there would be no cultivators among the stars since they would be unable to go from their planets. Since Wang Lin had surrounded their planets and clans with enigmatic seals, Wang Lin stepped outside the barrier that divided the inner and outer realms. There is no need to worry about the ancient star system. 
As for the other places, it is not time to explore them yet. He took a long, hard look at the ancient star system behind him before stepping into the formation and making his way to all heaven. Wang Lin was going to leave the underground world because he had completed the last task he needed to undertake there. The golden door glowed brightly in all heaven. Sitting there, Xian Luo peered into the distance and noticed Wang Lin. When Wang Lin's figure emerged, Xian Luo was bowed to. Junior has brought a few more people and completed all of my preparations. Eight persons materialized when Wang Lin waved his sleeve. I hope Senior will cast the ritual to resurrect them. Although they didn't dare to resist, their faces were dejected and their souls were full with hesitation. There will be no resentment between us once you've all reincarnated. Wang Lin said calmly, I hope you all know what's good for yourselves, and he waved his right hand. The eight of them were forced into the dark entrance by a strong wind. Senior, Junior is going to walk out. Wang Lin abruptly turned around after looking back at the stars, saying, We will meet in the immortal astral continent. He blinked at the entrance and vanished within, changing into a beam of light. Xian Lu got to his feet and cast a somber glance at the door. The door rumbled and closed slowly behind Wang Lin. About 30 minutes after it opened, just as it was ready to close entirely, a spectral beam of light materialized out of nowhere and vanished into the door. The route to rebirth was represented by the dragon's body. It led far away and seemed to go forever. Wang Lin was not the right person for this course. Gazing at the ice and then off into the distance, he stood atop the dragon. He appeared to be able to observe Li Qin Miai and the others travel along the road toward rebirth for a brief moment. Wang Lin, you have to take her and push your way into the immortal astral continent if you wish to save the soul. You have to get off this path in order to defy the immortal astral continent's edict. Wang Lin could feel Xian Luo's voice echoing in his heart, you may become lost, you may die. The immortal astral continent's law is imperceptible, but it feels like pressure. You could be able to leave if you can withstand it. But even with my assistance, there is only a 50% chance that it would succeed. Grand Empyreans have never been known to aid someone defy the immortal astral continent's law since ancient times. There's no need to be overly thankful to this old man because you should be the first to experience this. This is your own destiny. Take care of the individuals who reincarnated. If you can walk out, this old guy will take you as his disciple and take you back to the ancient Dao clan. If you end up dying, I'll assist you take care of them. Take care, Xian Luo sighed. He had grown quite fond of Wang Lin. During his rebirth, he planned to hand everything over to Wang Lin and allow Wang Lin to watch over the ancient Dao clan. He even intended to assist Wang Lin in determining whether it was feasible to become the tenth son by entering the immemorial god realm. He had considered this even though it was a difficult and unexpected topic. There are innumerable cave worlds on the immortal astral continent, and practically every group has its own. You need a heavenly Dao in order for life to emerge in a cave environment. While they aren't common, heavenly Deos are also not uncommon. It is possible that many lives in the cave worlds had attempted to escape at some point in time, but they were all destroyed by the immortal astral continent's laws. There may be numerous portals visible as you travel the dragon road into the immortal astral continent. The immortal astral continent's additional underground realms are accessible through these portals. Numerous corpses will also be visible to you, these are the remains of people who perished according to the immortal astral continent's law over countless years. I hope you will be the first to succeed, I'm not sure what kind of consequences someone from the cave world entering the immortal astral continent will face. I can't linger in the celestial land for very long. Wang Lin could feel the age of Xian Luo as he spoke, I'll wait for you for 10 years. If you're not out in 10 years, you should be dead. He materialized in front of Wang Lin. He glanced at Wang Lin with a kind gaze, as though he were looking at a descendant of himself. I am unable to put a mark on you using the law of the immortal astral continent to determine your distance traveled or safety. I can only make a judgment based on time 10 years. Wang Lin, my magic to assist you withstand the immortal astral continent law will break after 10 years. The immortal astral continent's law will be at its strongest. Maybe all it would take to ensure you're not lost is a strong heart. You have 10 years to go reach the immortal astral continent. Wang Lin stared at Xian Luo, thinking in silence. All of the things that Xian Luo had done for him would always stay with him. Tell me now, before you go, if you're willing to accept me as your teacher. Xian Luo spoke in a soft voice. It was warm when it got to Wang Lin's ears. 
Wang Lin's heart quivered at the resolve to continue to be willing to accept him now, rather than holding off until Wang Lin had arrived to the immortal astral continent. Teacher, Wang Lin had no excuse left to refuse this immense responsibility and goodwill. Wang Lin realized that this implied he now had an obligation to the ancient Dao clan that he could not renounce. This implied that, even at the cost of his life, he would defend the ancient Dao clan. This was intended as payment for all that Xian Luo had done for him. Xian Luo chuckled. He was overjoyed. He gave Wang Lin a look before assisting her in standing up. His laughter resounded as he gave Wang Lin a close inspection. Xian Luo spoke and waved his right hand, causing a portion of the ice along the dragon road to melt and create a space. Disciple, teacher will wait for you on the immortal astral continent, he said. Flashes of spectral light shot out of the opening. The immortal astral continent's law included this light. You will receive a gift for becoming my disciple since you're one of mine, Xian Luo said, striking him in the forehead with his right hand and biting the tip of his tongue to spit out a mouthful of blood. The blood became a blood dragon and emitted a red glow. With a roar, the blood dragon encircled Wang Lin and guided him in the direction of the opening in the ice. Since the teacher is one of the nine sons, a taste of my essence blood will temporarily shield you. Wang Lin raced toward the opening with the blood dragon and said, I'll now cast the spell to help you resist the law of the immortal astral continent. A stream of spectral light shot out from his right palm as it extended toward the empty air. The spirits and living creatures in Wang Lin's storage area were all represented by these spectral light beams. Almost everyone was there, except for the insane person. Everyone who was within Wang Lin's storage area materialized, including Su Liguo, Lu Jin Biao, the mosquito creatures, and so forth. Even the two big moon gazer serpent began to show signs of life. I ask teacher to send these creatures to the immortal, as they have followed the disciple for a long time. Wang Lin said, just as the troop of mosquito beasts commanded by Wang Lin's mosquito king showed signs of insanity in their eyes. In desperation, they took off for the opening in the ice. They appeared to have a strong longing for something outside, as they hurried out. Wang Lin was taken aback by this abrupt shift, and even Xian Luo seemed surprised. The black emptiness was filled with the immortal astral continent's unseen law. The mosquito monsters, on the other hand, started to undergo a startling metamorphosis without displaying any signs of pain. Their heads grew more larger, their bodies rapidly grew larger, and a popping sound reverberated throughout them. They exuded a spectral radiance, and judging by how at ease they were, this place felt like home. But soon after, something startling changed. The mosquito creatures screamed painfully for some reason, as they became comfy. A great number of mosquito monsters burst forth, howling with agony. They vanished, turning into a mist of flesh and blood. Wang Lin was taken aback and prepared to save them when the ones that did not collapse grew even larger until every single one resembled a mountain. But soon, more mosquito creatures fell apart, leaving the remaining ones to keep growing. Specifically, Wang Lin's mosquito king was drenched in blood and roared pitifully. It appeared to be merging with something and to be resisting a particular kind of energy. Because of their strong bond, Wang Lin was ready to assist the mosquito king right away when Xian Luo intervened. The mosquito king noticed Wang Lin's desire to assist as well, but it found it difficult to take off. With a determined expression, it turned to face Wang Lin. Don't stop, your herd of beasts is extraordinary. Xian Luo said with seriousness in his voice and shining eyes as he gazed at the mosquito beast. According to their appearance, their ancestors once lived in a location similar to this. They are acclimating to the emptiness that is filled with the law of the immortal astral continent. It feels to them like going back to their hometown. Despite not having grown up here, their souls understand that this is their home. Their deaths are a result of this, which is creating an issue with their spirits. Xian Luo thought as he peered at the mosquito creatures, this is like a fish that has adapted to life out of the water, but then, when returning to the water, they are likely to drown. You shouldn't stop them, it is an important metamorphosis for them. As Xian Luo continued to speak, more mosquito monsters perished, leaving fewer than 100 in the wild. But they were all surprisingly big. Their faces conveyed sorrow, and their bodies grew enormously. Not one mosquito beast retreated, even though millions had perished. They felt that this was the most important opportunity for their progress, and their minds were clear on that. If they were successful, they would resemble their predecessors. As they grew, memories of their forebears sprang from their souls. Among them, Wang Lin's mosquito king was the biggest and most impressive. 
about the same magnitude as the one Wang Lin had previously seen in the rift back in the wind celestial realm, its body stood hundreds of thousands of feet tall. A dreadful aura shot out of its form. It was half an incense period of time. Wang Lin became nervous, and the hundred or so mosquito creatures that were left fell apart again. Wang Lin could not wait this time. Rather than see the mosquito beast perish, he would prefer to see it fail in its evolution. Wang Lin regarded the Mosquito King as a family member, having lived with it for almost 2,000 years. When the mosquito creatures began to crumble, Wang Lin sprung from the ice and charged at them. A heaven-shaking roar came from the collapse as he closed closer. And then there were nine roars. These noises became coherent, causing even the emptiness ruled by the immortal astral continent to quiver. The Mosquito King ran out as the mosquito creatures crumbled. Its massive mouth would have made anyone's scalp go numb, and it was the size of a planet. Nine golden mosquito monsters trailed behind him. Wang Lin had seen the Mosquito King back in the Wind Celestial Realm, and each one of them was just as big. When Xian Luo noticed the fierce aura that they all exuded, his eyes gleamed. There are rumors that the immortal astral continent was initially a wasteland. The God Realm then materialized and gave rise to life. Then stars emerged, but they were beneath the continent. The immortal astral continent's law then plummeted like the water. The ancient ancestor was accompanied in appearance by nine distinct creatures. This, this beast has the ability to merge with the immortal astral continent's chaos. Could they really? Xian Luo's eyes became wide with incredulity. Wang Lin was filled with excitement. He glanced at his mosquito king and the other ten mosquito animals. He leaped out, the blood dragon encircling him, and landed on the head of the mosquito king. Guide, let's meet on the immortal astral continent. Wang Lin turned to face Xian Luo and clasped his hands. With a roar of fury, the Mosquito King launched himself and Wang Lin into the depths. The nine mosquito creatures trailed behind him like sentries. Through the hole in the ice, Xian Luo saw Wang Lin vanish from view. He waved his hand and closed his eyes after a long while. The opening in the ice closed and became smaller. Wang Lin's future is uncertain, it is possible that he will emerge on his own as the immortal astral continent's tenth son. That mosquito-like beast, could it be one of the nine beasts that was born in the law of the immortal astral continent along with the ancient ancestor? My ancient Dao clan will exist forever if he really becomes the tenth grand emperian, Xian Luo said, his face getting a little redder. The mosquito's absorption of the immortal astral continent's law astounded him. Numerous ideas raced through his head at this precise time. Following the dragon trail, Xian Luo eventually disappeared into the distance. A sun the color of blood emerged around his body. The surrounds were obscured by this blood-colored sun, which defied the immortal astral continent's law. The vacuum was lit as the blood-colored sun's rays weakly peeked through the surrounding ice. With this strategy, he fought the immortal astral continent's law alone. The law of the immortal astral continent lay in the boundless emptiness that separated the immortal astral continent from the cave world. It was linked to every cave world on the immortal astral continent not only the one belonging to Wang Lin. Numerous brilliant people from the cave planets have known the truth from the beginning of time, but they refused to accept their fate. They had eventually found their way into this emptiness outside the cave worlds using various strategies. But none of them had ever made it into the immortal astral continent, all of them had perished here. This is the way things have always been. Just as numerous influential figures on the immortal astral continent had attempted to cross into this emptiness, they intended to use this location to attempt and understand the law, or possibly to enter the subterranean society of a different sect. It was possible that a small number of people had found success, but it was simple to get lost in this place. Consequently, not many people have ever set foot in this location. Every now and again Wang Lin would see corpses floating by him, and they would linger here for all eternity. The emptiness resembles the ocean. Maybe this location can be perceived as an ocean brimming with the immortal astral continent's law. Wang Lin, perched atop the Mosquito King's back, gazed out into the boundless emptiness before him. No light, no sound, and no sign of life could be found. There was complete silence in this place. People would lose their minds due to the intense quiet. Their minds would grow increasingly restless the longer they were here, even those with strong opinions would struggle to settle down. Above all, it was very simple to become lost in this place. You would never find your way out once you got lost. Even if you did see portals, these are merely entrances to other sects' underground realms. It would be impossible for you to go. 
Wang Lin could not allow himself to go lost because his goal was to take Li Muin's soul with him. The immortal astral continent's law grew stronger the farther he traveled. There was an overwhelming pressure that stopped individuals in their tracks. While some relied on the pressure's strength to guide them, the immortal astral continent's law applied universally. Apart from the fact that the pressure increased with distance, there was another distinct feature, time. The pressure increased with the amount of time you were here. In addition to the fact that Wang Lin had the beastly mosquito with him, he was already used to being alone. He assured himself that he wasn't alone. The blood dragon was around him as well. It served to guide him in addition to lessening the force of the immortal astral continent's law. In this way, time passed slowly. Wang Lin glided through the emptiness with great composure during the first month. He peered at the bodies that popped out every now and then. He sensed these dead people's reluctance. Maybe those folks had been geniuses in a world similar to his own, down in the cave, but they had passed away years ago. Even Wang Lin became uncomfortable with this stillness after a year. This year, he had not spoken a word, and his eyes appeared to merge with the night. With or without his eyes open, the darkness seemed unending. There was not a sound all year long. Not even the sound made by flying too fast existed in this enigmatic place. He just knew that his course should be proper. He had no idea how far he had gone. The crimson dragon had faded a bit around him, but it was there, offering guidance. Wang Lin sensed that Xian Luo was accompanying his friends to reincarnate, even though he had no idea where Xian Luo was. In order to lessen the severity of the law of the immortal astral continent's impact on him, he was also assisting him in resisting it. Wang Lin's heart warmed up at this sensation. From time to time, he would turn to face the dark emptiness behind him. As he grew farther away, he had the impression that he could see the door of his hometown watching him. He appeared to be able to briefly observe Mu Bingmei holding the umbrella in the pouring rain. She was unable to adequately convey the complex emotion on that face hidden beneath the umbrella. Mu Bingmei was no longer the object of Wang Lin's hate. One more half year, two, three, four months. Wang Lin had spent a year in the emptiness. He really ought to have moved on from everything, but he was unable to do so. It would be the same as losing everything if he forgot the passing of time. Wang Lin whispered, there are still eight and a half years, on this particular day, one and a half years later. The blood dragon around him had grown dark, and his voice sounded raspy, as if he were an old man. Despite his lack of awareness of the immortal astral continent's laws, the nine mosquito monsters following him decelerated in speed. One day in the second year, all that was left of the blood dragon was a faint guiding. But it no longer had the power to nullify the immortal astral continent's law. This was the first time Wang Lin really felt the might of the immortal astral continent's law. His body felt as though a mountain had collided with it. The law of the immortal astral continent also made his essence's power feeble, and he was unable to regain it. All he had was what he could utilize. This was one of the things that made this nothingness so terrible. There would come a day when you would pass away, regardless of your strength, if you got lost or became stuck here. The years went by calmly in this emptiness the second, third, and fourth. Both quickly and slowly, it was quite slow. The heart was slow, yet the years passed quickly. For Wang Lin, the four years seemed like four hundred years. Wang Lin attempted to cultivate, but was unable to do so as the pressure mounted. There appeared to be a mysterious force within the emptiness that stopped all life from cultivating. All they could do was count the passing of time. This seems to be the sole amusement available in this place. Wang Lin spent these four years without coming into contact with another living being. All the corpses he had come upon belonged to cultivators or fierce beasts. It was getting too much even for the nine mosquito beasts behind him, even though they could merge with the law of the immortal astral continent. It was as though the stars were falling down on your body. Wang Lin's physique was nearly at its limit, and even his face had turned pale. To save them the agony of what was to come, Wang Lin stored the nine mosquito creatures in his storage area. But there was no hint of distress on the part of Wang Lin's mosquito king. It continued to move quickly even as it carried Wang Lin. By the time the fifth year rolled around, Wang Lin's body felt completely covered in silt. He felt excruciating anguish even to raise his hand, as though innumerable threads were entwined around his torso, yet he pressed on. He was carrying the heaven avoidance coffin on his back after removing it from his storage area. The storage area was unsafe once more. He felt comfortable only when he put it on his back and shielded it with his body. He realized that Li Muin behind him wouldn't be harmed by this energy as long as he lived. 
This occurred as a result of Wang Lin gathering power to defend Li Muan outside of his body. Luckily, he was beneath the mosquito beast. It had continued to go at a very high speed. It would be much harder if Wang Lin had to rely solely on his own power to push through the pressure and advance. Moving to the immortal astral continent was proving to be difficult for Wang Lin. The floating metropolis was located in the middle of the ancient Dao clan on the immortal astral continent. The guy in the royal robe was standing on the topmost pavilion of the ancient Dao palace, which stood in the heart of the city, staring up at the gloomy sky that seemed to be about to rain. A pearl that radiated a ghostly glow was felt by him. He could see the shadow of a woman's spirit dozing inside the pearl, even if the interior was a blur. Grand Empyrean has been gone for a while. It seems pointless to put in so much work for a cultivator in the cave world. He has become senile due to aging. This emperor is the only guardian the ancient Dao needs, aside from Xian Luo, and it will remain so in the future. I'm interested to see what kind of person that old guy brings back. Regardless of his status, he will have to bow down to greet me when he sees this emperor. The pearl was clasped in the fist of the ancient Dao emperor. The pearl was tough, but inside, the soul trembled as if terrified, because he was squeezing too tightly. Little soul, why did the imperial teacher say that you will be the key for me to reign over the immortal astral continent? The man in the royal robe said to himself as he raised his hand to look at the trembling spiritual being. Ignore it. Ye yeah, Dao, attempt to unite this soul with all the women you've brought for this emperor will take you as his empress because of how significant you are. As you command, a figure covered in black fog materialized behind the man wearing the royal robe. He took the order while crouching on the ground. It had been six years since Wang Lin had entered the abyss containing the immortal astral continent's law. There was no battle and all was calm on the immortal astral continent. The ancient and celestial races did not clash very often. Numerous geniuses had shone brightly throughout the 72 heavenly continents this year. Yun Yai Feng was the name of one of them. The celestial emperor who ruled over the 72 continents emerged this year, having been cultivated behind closed doors for tens of thousands of years. A limitless cosmic force enveloped half of the continents. Some cultivators from the cave world had reappeared this year, although it was unclear where they had disappeared to. This year not much happened in any of the three clans and the 36 states of the ancient countries. This year they had gone through with tranquility. The immortal astral continent had continents the size of dozens of cave worlds. It was enormous, with many common cultivators who had never ventured outside of home continent. The heavenly river between the ancient and celestial races was one such feature. This river was home to numerous strong beasts and a mysterious force. It was only accessible to ancient monsters who were as old as the world itself, and even then, they would not venture too far inside. If either side sought to invade the other, this was the first obstacle. This is how the year went by in silence. The Heavenly Bull Continent was one of the nine continents that were farthest from the Heavenly River among the 72 continents that make up the Celestial Clan. If this continent were to shrink infinitely, one may hazily perceive the shape of a bull. It was called the Heavenly Bull as a result. This continent was a long way from the Celestial Ming continent's imperial capital. It was once thought of as an outlying continent. It lay on the immortal astral continent's eastern portion, and together with the other eight continents, it made up the eastern continent. There were thirteen factions and nine sects on the eastern continent, headed by the Purple Sun sect. The most enigmatic sect was the Donglin sect. Furthermore, the 21 most well-known sects on the eastern continent included the Guiyi sect, the Great Soul sect, and others. There were a few lesser sects in addition to these nine sects and the 13 factions, but they were dwarfed by the monstrous 21 sects. In addition, there were rumors that one of the nine suns was held by the Purple Sun sect. Both the Guiyi sect and the Great Soul sect had an impact on the Heavenly Bull continent. A distant area of the Heavenly Bull sect was the birthplace of the Seven Dao sect. A range of dark mountains shrouded in vegetation. The mountain was surrounded by a veil of fog, and there were seldom any beasts present. There was a solitary summit in this range of mountains. It was the highest point, encircled by the thickest mist. The Seven Dao sect was located here. Su Dao shut down the Seven Dao sect after the cave world ended. The Seven Dao sect has collapsed after many years. This place was full with death and had not a single living creature. One also surfaced here after emerging from the world of caves. Anyone who had emerged from the subterranean realm with their immortal astral continent bloodlines, 
such as Yun Yifeng or Fan Shanlo, arrived here. Before heading out, they took a look at their weird yet familiar hometown. There was a day in the sixth year when the several pavilions of the Seven Dao sect could be seen if one could look past the thick mist. A very enormous pavilion, representing the Seven Dao sect's main hall, stood among them. The seven-colored celestial sovereign had previously utilized it for his cultivation behind closed doors. This day, a man gently emerged from the mist-covered mountain outside the pavilion. The man in black appeared youthful, yet the years that had passed could be seen in his eyes. Xian Luo was his name. Xian Luo sat down carefully after taking a quick glance at the seven Dao sect pavilion that was concealed by the fog. Everyone has reincarnated, Wang Lin, but I don't know when they will do it. Maybe it will take a few years or maybe a millennium before they show up. However, they are secure. Sighing, Xian Luo turned to face the pavilion. It was as though he could see Wang Lin fighting to emerge from the abyss inside the pavilion. The remaining time is less than four years. A flash of crimson light appeared between Xian Luo's eyebrows as he gently closed his eyes. Disciple, teacher has done everything he can. Now it will rest on you. To make sure Wang Lin didn't get lost, there was a red light. Wang Lin's face was deathly pale in the emptiness that separated the immortal astral continent from the cave realms. In order to withstand the insane pressure coming from every direction, he cycled his ancient Dao strength through his body. Wang Lin would have halted if not for the mosquito beast, who persisted in moving, as this pressure was already unbelievably strong. Even the king of the mosquitoes was going much more slowly and was straining now. Occasionally, it would howl silently. Wang Lin had bloodshot eyes. His body's essences had been depleted, and there was no way for him to recover. His ancient Dao body was the only weapon against the immortal astral continent's rules. He hadn't laid eyes on a corpse in over a year. It appeared that reaching this point was quite uncommon for anyone. The blood dragon had faded long ago. It was so gloomy that even the crimson stain it formed between his eyebrows was nearly invisible. Wang Lin had had a very tough seven years, particularly since he had to defend Li Muen and his wife from behind him. He had to endure considerably greater agony each day. He didn't regret it, though. A month, two months, three months, another year flew by in the blink of an eye. The ninth year saw an abrupt rise in pressure. The whole nothingness seemed to solidify and press on his form. Wang Lin was bleeding profusely from the corner of his mouth, and his eyesight went hazy. He had a hazy understanding that he was ready to collapse. Wang Lin groaned pitifully as he attempted to lift his right hand and place it on the head of the stumbling Mosquito King. After eight years of companionship, Wang Lin began to suspect that maybe this was actually the Mosquito King's ancestral abode. The Mosquito King was clearly more attuned to this environment than Wang Lin was. But it did not originate here. Maybe in a million years it would totally adapt, but for now it could not reach the bottom of the abyss. The Mosquito King was too exhausted to break in. To return to the state of its progenitors, it had to undergo many evolutionary changes and fuse with more of the immortal astral continent's law. You have been with me for more than 2,000 years, don't move forward with me. This is your home, so stay here. You can leave today. The King of the Mosquitoes roared and shuddered. This roar, full of its defiance, reverberated throughout the emptiness. For the first time, it disregarded Wang Lin. It was determined to push Wang Lin a little bit further and didn't want to go. It aimed to advance Wang Lin, even at the cost of death. Wang Lin grinned. Despite his excruciating discomfort, he was ecstatic. He gave a shake of his head and rose slowly. He found it incredibly difficult to perform this simple activity. His eyes regained light that had been hidden for a while the instant he stood up. His body made popping noises, and his ancient Dao strength burst forth. He was temporarily able to move on his own thanks to this. He prevented the Mosquito King from declining by sealing the deal with his right hand. He touched the beast's head with his hand. Wang Lin sprang off the Mosquito Beast and took off as soon as its range of motion was constrained. Wang Lin said, Go, this is your hometown, don't follow me, with a forceful sleight of hand gesture. Flying toward the Mosquito King were the nine mosquito creatures that remained. Wang Lin and the Mosquito King were now a significant distance apart. The Mosquito King let out a piercing shriek behind Wang Lin. This was a child's cry of desperation after being cut off from their family. This cry sent a stinging anguish through Wang Lin's heart, but he continued moving ahead with all of his might. This time, he realized he had fewer than 10% chance of surviving. Why bring down the Mosquito King along with him, given that this was the case? With bloodshot eyes, 
the Mosquito King behind him sprang free from its chains and surged forward. It was unwilling to part from Wang Lin. It desired to pass away beside its master, even if it had to die in this place. Ten seals on the palm Wang Lin had placed on the Mosquito King prevented it from moving ahead indefinitely. The Mosquito King and Wang Lin were now a considerable distance apart as a result of the halt. The Mosquito King was unable to locate its master, despite its best efforts. A somber wail resounded throughout the emptiness, extending far beyond the horizon. Even though Wang Lin was having difficulty moving ahead in the emptiness, he could still hear the Mosquito King's cry. After giving it a brief glance back, he clenched his teeth and kept moving on. The Mosquito King pursued for a long while, but he was unable to locate Wang Lin. The pressure built up till it trembled and finally ceased gently. It persisted anyway. Abruptly, it pivoted back toward the other nine mosquito-like creatures. It was going to rapidly return to its ancestral form by fusing with more of this aura. It couldn't move more quickly or locate its master till then. Now, the year was 19. It had been a year since Wang Lin and the mosquito beast parted ways. Wang Lin's body was at its breaking point. He moved heavily, putting all of his energy into keeping his wife safe behind him. Despite having dull eyes, he had a strong will. This was the unwavering will he had had for a very long time. He had bloodied his way up the Hung Yusek steps more than 2,000 years ago when he was still a mortal boy, but he had never quit up. More than two millennia later, Wang Lin remained the same obstinate individual. Chapter 19 The Seven Dao Sect Mountain on the Heavenly Bull Continent, the Eastern Continent, and the Immortal Astral Continent. After waiting for a number of years, Xian Luo was seated inside the pavilion on the mist-covered mountain. The ten-year contract he had with Wang Lin expired half a year ago, but Xian Luo had not moved on, despite the fact that the impression he had left on Wang Lin had entirely vanished. The red light's removal indicated that Wang Lin had either lost his guide or had passed away. Did he fail? Xian Luo sighed and closed his eyes, revealing grief. He was going to give it some more time. It was possible that a miracle might happen, even though the likelihood of it was low. Wang Lin was carrying the coffin and walking forward, his hair all over the place, amid the emptiness that lay between the cave world and the immortal astral continent. He took small steps ahead. He was mentally lost and had run out of strength. His determination was the only thing propelling him onward. He had used his body to defend his wife with this will, and he would never let up. It was half a year since the red glow between his eyebrows had vanished. The root ahead was no longer palpable to him. He had no choice but to press on and find a way out, even if it meant not turning back. It only took ten years to drive someone insane from the silence in this pitch-black nothingness. Wang Lin pressed his teeth together and pressed on. His mind would have crumbled long ago if he hadn't had the will. Honestly, if it weren't for a fortunate encounter he had after the red light went half a year ago, he would not have survived this long. Ultimately, not much of his cultivation of ancient Dao remained. At this very moment, a beam of light emerged from the darkness. This light appeared to be coming from a body and was quite feeble. The corpse was even more visible as he got closer. The elderly man had on a purple robe. He had his eyes closed, showing no signs of illumination. Still, there was something striking about the light emanating from his physique. The source of this old man's light was unknown, yet when it shone, a strange energy began to build within of him. Wang Lin's dark eyes gleamed when the white-lighted corpse materialized. He glanced up and sprinted in the direction of the body. He strained to get to it, and as soon as he got close enough, he touched the body. He took out the white light. Wang Lin's hand caught the white light surrounding the body, which quickly dissipated. Wang Lin was also possessed by the enigmatic entity within her body. Wang Lin perceived this power as being chilly, but it was precisely this chill that allowed him to see clearly. His essences began to heal after absorbing this force, and even his ancient Dao power somewhat returned. Wang Lin let go of his right hand and let the elderly man's body drift in the absence of light. Wang Lin's expression improved slightly. Wang Lin was unaware of the nature of this power. He had come across a corpse similar to this one six months prior. He could not have continued till he had absorbed this force. There was much mystery about this energy. It might aid in the restoration of his essences and ancient Dao power. Something like this shouldn't be possible yet it materialized in the emptiness in front of Wang Lin. Wang Lin had only come across two bodies like this in ten years. Wang Lin's eyes gleamed and his mind shook. In order to withstand the might of the law of the immortal astral continent, 
he turned on his cultivation. He then felt Li Muwen's presence when he touched the coffin behind him. Wang Lin advanced in silence. Even though he wasn't moving very quickly, he didn't stop. He just kept going forward in the same way. Wang Lin gritted his teeth and vanished into thin air. Ten years have already gone. I wonder where the end is. I shouldn't have strayed in the wrong direction, he said. This force is really peculiar. Wang Lin's heavenly sense extended, seeking the light, saying, if I can encounter more, I won't die of exhaustion. But it was entirely by mistake that the white light came into contact with the bodies. Finding more would be extremely challenging if you didn't change your course. He still hadn't come across a third body like this after a year. He resembled an oil lamp that had dried up since his cultivation had reached its limit. Wang Lin had lost a lot of weight to the point where even his acquaintances would have a hard time identifying him. He appeared lifeless as the light in his eyes faded to nothing. He was unsure of how far he still needed to travel. This feeling of not knowing would develop into a horrifying mood that would cause someone's psyche to crumble. Wang Lin's mentality was influenced despite his best efforts. But every time he touched the casket behind him, a resolve would well up in his heart, driving him to keep on. However, Wang Lin's awareness was obliterated by the harshness of reality three months later, at which point he departed away. Even though his aura had vanished from his body, he continued to guard the casket behind him. Without his protection, the casket would have crumbled even though it was covered in fissures. In the emptiness, a coffin and a person drifted slowly. The pressure from the law of the immortal astral continent vanished the instant Wang Lin lost consciousness. Wang Lin was unaware of this odd development. Even the three life magic had no effect on him, he remained lifeless. He carried the casket and floated off in a different direction, looking like a dead person. He resembled every corpse he had ever seen drifting aimlessly across this emptiness. A period of time that was indeterminate elapsed, spanning one, two, or three years. Wang Lin appeared to be dead since his eyes were still closed. Xian Luo sighed and got to his feet in the Seven Dao sect on the immortal astral continent. He had already waited 15 years before the previous period was added. Not that he didn't want to wait any longer, but from a distance came a strong wave of celestial energy that would not let him stay. Before the cosmic energy could have approached, a loud rumble reverberated throughout the sky. A figure was standing inside, as a golden sun emerged in the distance. Simultaneously, a different sun emerged from a different direction, and it cast a chilly stare. Xian Luo realized he had to depart. Take care, disciple. If you're not dead, come find me. Xian Luo waved his sleeve and sighed. He shot up into the sky, a giant blood sun emerging before him. Xian Luo departed. There would be no one waiting for Wang Lin to arrive going forward. Wang Lin had shifted in direction, and he was still floating in the emptiness. He had joined the ranks of the corpses in the emptiness, and it was unclear where he was floating. A few more years went by. A few had found new life in the immortal astral continent. There were many who were still on the journey, and their reincarnation might take hundreds or perhaps millennia. Even Xian Luo was baffled as to why the disparity was so great. This year saw the birth of a highly odd infant in a mortal town on the eastern continent. When he played with his friends when he was six or seven years old, he loved to refer to himself as king. He would kick and strike a child who refused to follow him. Because of his fierce nature, the playmates who lived nearby started to fear him. They started playing his king game gradually. There was also a youngster born in a given year on the immortal astral continent's southern continent. This child was truly exceptional as well. Even though he came from a broken household, he was already well known in his city as a liar by the time he was 10 years old. However, it wouldn't be beneficial for a liar if they gained notoriety. This youngster left home early and brought his gift for lying with him. Time went by slowly for a while. With a dejected countenance, Xian Luo had long since returned to the ancient Dao clan and had entered a cultivation behind closed doors. The ancient Dao emperor scoffed in his heart as he saw Xian Luo return by himself. He gradually lost sight of the reason Xian Luo had gone in search of someone. It seems that Wang Lin had faded from most people's memories. This was the immortal astral continent, and this was the cave world. A small number of people, meanwhile, were unable to forget this name whenever they thought back to the past. Miu Bingmei was such a person. Tang Shen on the immortal astral continent was the same, and Yun Yai Feng the new generation's brilliance, would also consider Wang Lin. Wang Lin was also on the Mosquito King's mind. Wang Lin halted the beast back then, and after that, 
it appeared to have gone insane after absorbing the law of the immortal astral continent together with its allies. In the last ten years, it had undergone four metamorphoses. During each transformation, the Mosquito King gained increased strength. This place would experience decreasing pressure until it seemed to vanish entirely. Finally, during the fifth transformation, the Mosquito King released an immense pressure that rocked the empty space. Its body had entirely transformed till it resembled smoke, no longer resembling a planet. The smoke appeared to be hazy, somewhat like a mosquito that had suddenly emerged from an ink drawing. But its fury was at an all-time high, the law of the immortal astral continent was then no longer absorbed by the Mosquito King. Before it set forth in the never-ending abyss, its body spread out like fog and devoured its nine comrades. It was going to locate Wang Lin and locate its owner. It had endured a grueling transformation and taken significant risks in order to quickly progress through its evolutionary stages. In an attempt to locate Wang Lin, its master, it had even eaten its comrades. Its somber wails resounded through empty space. It was just a fog cloud, no longer a body. It traveled quickly through the infinite nothingness. It grew agitated as it looked. After a brief pause, its body gave way entirely. The fog morphed into a million pieces, a million mosquito beasts, and a million directions of search. They all cried out, demanding to be heard by their master. A coffin and dead body hung there, deep in the emptiness. The corpse's right hand was holding the coffin firmly. Despite the arm's break, the corpse refused to release its hold. The body had spent decades drifting through space. Slowly, a pale white light emerged on this corpse. Wang Lin had taken in white light from the two bodies, and this white light was exactly the same. It was an enigmatic power from the emptiness that collected in the corpse's chest. A tiny, smoke-made insect the size of a palm flew out on this day as the body and coffin drifted. The insect kept roaring as it zipped by the coffin and body. But the insect quickly shuddered and turned to look at the distant body and coffin. Excitation erupted in a yell. The insect raced toward the victim as if it had lost its mind. It growled loudly as it approached the frail face of the deceased. Although it was unable to talk like a human, its cries were incomprehensible. It was a roar of a misery, it was the call of despair. As it roared, strands of smoke poured from the void, revealing a mosquito inside each. More than 100,000 came to form Wang Lin's Mosquito King. The Mosquito King's eyes were blood red. As it wept, its wide mouth gently brushed Wang Lin's face as if it was attempting to rouse the sleeping Wang Lin, but it failed every time. Innumerable tries and innumerable failures. The Mosquito King's body trembled as its cries became harsh from sorrow. When it eventually reached its master after much effort and time spent searching, all it saw was a corpse. It was too much for the simple-minded Mosquito King to comprehend. It took hold of the coffin and Wang Lin before taking off into the distance. For most, the nothingness would be very terrible, but for the Mosquito King who had transformed five times, there was no pain. In an instant, it transported Wang Lin and the casket across great distances. It had undergone five metamorphoses and retained some hazy memories of this emptiness. It sensed that here was a location where its master may awaken. But even it had to search for a very long time to find this site because it was so well hidden. It flew for an unspecified period of time and distance. After a protracted hunt, the Mosquito King eventually saw a round continent. Or it was more like a big platform than a continent. The platform had an odd shape that gave the impression that it was a component of something else. It was not very enormous, it was about 100,000 feet wide. It released bursts of white light that matched Wang Lin's absorption of the white light from the two bodies exactly. The platform was vacant, yet something could not pass through the unseen barrier surrounding it. The law of the immortal astral continent constructed this barrier entirely. Even Xian Luo would struggle to breach the barrier and gain entry, let alone Wang Lin. The barrier was only passable by the celestial ancestor, the ancient ancestor and the nine bizarre monsters that sprang from the immortal astral continent's law. The Mosquito King vaguely remembered that its ancestors were born on a circular platform similar to this one, so it knew that once its master stepped onto it, he would undoubtedly wake up. Wang Lin and the coffin were brought toward the circular platform by the Mosquito King. Wang Lin and the casket were halted outside, but the Mosquito King had already inside. Startled, the Mosquito King emerged right away. It took Wang Lin and gave it another go, but it kept failing. The Mosquito King grew agitated and started crying as a result. It charged inside again, taking a strand of Wang Lin's hair in its mouth. Once more, 
it got in, but this time the hair strand was stuck outside. The king of mosquitoes lost control and leaped from the platform. It growled at the platform and floated next to Wang Lin. Its enormous jaw narrowed and madness flashed in its eyes a minute later. It pierced Wang Lin's corpse and extracted a droplet of blood with caution from her desiccated body. The mosquito king ate this blood, which was shielded from the elements by layers of smoke within its body. Once more, it dashed toward the platform, but this time, it became trapped halfway in. It howled painfully and appeared to be frozen in place. It appeared as though it couldn't penetrate unless it spat out that drop of blood. With a heaven-shaking roar, the Mosquito King made an attempt to get inside. But the barrier was so strong that the King of Mosquitoes could only get halfway inside. No matter how hard it tried, it was unable to penetrate any deeper. The Mosquito King made multiple efforts before its mist-like body shrank and its red eyes turned into a small drop of blood, as though it had concentrated all of its essences around it. It spit forth the drop of blood, opening its mouth. Its long mouth and the front portion of its body were on the other side of the barrier. Blood spurted out of it and into the inner portion of the barrier. But nothing from the outside could penetrate the barrier because of its inside. Wang Lin's blood started to dissipate, and the Mosquito King's body suddenly sprang into view. The Mosquito King howled painfully as it utilized its body to defend the blood. Its body began to dissipate instantly, and it contracted greatly. Still, a sliver fell into the circular platform beneath its cover, even though most of the blood had disappeared. Most significantly, this occurred after the white light appeared on Wang Lin's body after he had passed away or gone to sleep. This was the first time that a drop of blood that was not generated by the law of the immortal astral continent had ever landed on this platform. In his more than 2,000 years of cultivation, he achieved the greatest fortune precisely because of all that transpired. It was sufficient wealth to rock the heavens. This platform was situated in the immortal astral continent's emptiness. Few people could pass through this emptiness, and those that did had either passed away or lost their way. Furthermore, the platform's position was always in motion. It would have been incredibly impossible to find, even after searching for many years, if not for the Mosquito King's hazy memory following multiple transformations. Even with their extreme difficulty, relatively few people could meet these two requirements. Furthermore, nothing not created by the immortal astral continent's law could enter this platform. It was made considerably harder by this, which was like a large fissure. It would be nearly hard to do, unless it were like the Mosquito King, who risked its life to try passionately. It was truly a fortune to create the Mosquito Beast that would never recognize an owner. These were not, however, the only requirements. The last requirement was for the individual to pass away or enter a slumber in order for the white light to manifest. This white light was actually a component of the immortal astral continent's legal code. It was only found on the corpses of a very small number of deceased individuals. Nobody was aware of the exact requirements for the white light to manifest. What was about to happen to Wang Lin would happen only after all of this. The blood was instantly absorbed by the spherical platform as soon as it hit it. The whole platform shook, and a space filled with invisible light. White light shot out of the emptiness in all directions, rushing in the direction of the platform. The gangplank groaned. With delight, the beastly mosquito flew out to protect Wang Lin. The platform started to move as the rumbling grew louder. The edges turned up and it softened. It resembled a hand making a fist before progressively shrinking to an empty shell. There was a mist of blood inside the empty shell. The white light was absorbed by the blood mist which was continuously flashing. At last, a human form gradually drew closer, and it was just barely visible that this was Wang Lin. Wang Lin cautiously opened his eyes after decades of sleep, watching as the shadow took shape and gradually became apparent. It was evident to him that a force had materialized in his blood, feeding his body from somewhere. His body's ancient Dao strength returned all of a sudden. Simultaneously, in an instant, his seven essences peaked. There was a faint sense that there was another version of him in this universe. Wang Lin heard the happy shouts of the Mosquito King as he gently opened his eyes. He noticed the enormous, shell-like stone and the ecstatic Mosquito King. He appeared to briefly see his former self. Wang Lin's thinking was momentarily bewildered by this. What is this? Wang Lin examined the shell that resembled fruit. He could feel another self inside of it, but he was unable to look through it at all. One may argue that he wasn't sure if he was inside or outside the stone shell when he closed his eyes. He could sense both his original body outside and himself seated inside the shell. 
Wang Lin had experienced this peculiar emotion previously, but not nearly as powerfully as she did today. This is. Wang Lin's eyes glowed with uncertainty. The king of the mosquitoes kept rubbing its mouth against Wang Lin while putting out happy noises. The mosquito king's body had shrunk significantly. It sent off a strong life energy even though it appeared to be a cloud of fog that could vanish at any time. Wang Lin narrowed his eyes at the shift in the mosquito king. Reaching up, he attempted to make contact with the monarch of mosquitoes. He was unable to feel anything substantial with his hand. But the mosquito king gave out a cozy vibe, as though it would be content and joyful as long as it remained close to its master. The mosquito king and Wang Lin had been following each other for a while, so their ideas coincided. Wang Lin extended his divine sense, merging with the mosquito king as his hand reached out. Wang Lin's thoughts soon filled with memories of what transpired after he drove the Mosquito King away. This was a communication, not a soul quest. This was nothing new for Wang Lin, the Mosquito King would not be harmed by it. Because they had been a group for over 2,000 years, they were able to do this. Wang Lin eventually witnessed the insane transformation and desperate evolution of the Mosquito Monarch. To find him, it had even eaten its nine comrades. The Mosquito King was already dead or sleepy when Wang Lin watched him split into 100,000 tiny mosquitoes and hunt the void for him. As the Mosquito Beast carried Wang Lin and Li Muin to this location, he sensed their anguish and despair. Wang Lin witnessed all of the subsequent events as well. Wang Lin finally experienced a wave of warmth return to his heart. He turned to face the ecstatic Mosquito King that was massaging his mouth. Lifting his hand, he gave the Mosquito King several gentle pats. It's been difficult for you. The Mosquito King was made even happier by the Master's tender touch, kind glance, and comprehension of other worlds. Ripples reverberated as light radiated from its body. Its happiest memory was this one. Wang Lin had never experienced the kind of loyalty that the Mosquito King had. Everything from Wang Lin's transformation into a mortal to their separation and the events that transpired in the vacuum suggested that the Mosquito King was prepared to sacrifice its own life for Wang Lin. Wang Lin was a kind individual. Additionally, he was prepared to go above and above for the Mosquito King, who was now his family rather than just a pet. His eyes landed on the stone shell that resembled fruit as he patted the mosquito's body tenderly. This site appears to be the same as where its ancestors were born, according to the mosquito's memories. What is this stone shell? Wang Lin's eyes brightened and he moved in the direction of the stone shell. Reaching up, he touched the stone shell with his right hand. But as soon as he touched it, the stone shell released a rejection force that knocked his hand away. He was unable to reach into it or touch it. He made multiple attempts from various angles, but the power of rejection persisted. Wang Lin ultimately gave up trying to control his avatar in order to go. He got a hazy impression that he would be extremely fortunate. The avatar that had grown inside the stone shell without anyone knowing was the lucky one. Maybe this avatar would emerge from its shell later on and possess a terrible power. Because this avatar was born under the immortal astral continence laws, much like the Mosquito King's ancestor, this power was the immortal astral continence law. Forcing it to break wasn't worth it. Wang Lin also realized that the avatar in the stone shell was the reason he was able to awaken and regain his cultivation. Given his bond with the avatar, it appeared that the avatar's development would strengthen his original body. Things like these were really odd and difficult to understand. Wang Lin thought for a long while in silence. He had come upon some old jade related to Feng Shui when he was in the cave world. This issue reminded me a lot of Feng Shui. The burial site is given a lot of consideration in Feng Shui. Then, having my avatar here would be the same as turning this into a grave, in this way, my original body will get stronger as my avatar grows. Wang Lin paused and took a slow step back. I thought these kinds of things were nonsense back then, but now it feels similar. Taking one look at the stone shell, he gave up on trying to smash it or make his avatar leave. The dragon vein is extremely important to mortal emperors. Wang Lin's eyes brightened, and he turned to rush into the emptiness. If they were buried in the dragon vein, their descendants would flourish. Now that I've buried my avatar here, I want to know what type of wealth I'll gain in the future. With great pleasure. The Mosquito King let out a cry and swiftly carried Wang Lin into the empty space. Wang Lin glanced back at the location of his avatar as they continued forward. His eyes were full of light. Wang Lin was expecting more from this avatar than from the foolishness that was Feng Shui. He could definitely sense the unbreakable bond he shared with the avatar. 
Wang Lin thought the avatar would transform the world when it emerged from its shell once it had finished developing. Wang Lin carried the Heaven Avoidance coffin with Li Muwen inside as the mosquito flew, and they dashed toward the door. He was unaware of the enormous shift that had taken place on the immortal astral continent at this precise time, inside the abyss, when the Mosquito King carried the blood to the platform and the platform absorbed it. Across the entire immortal astral continent, this enormous shift was shocking. Many strong cultivators emerged from closed-door cultivation. All the elders and chiefs of several sects emerged. Their celestial senses shot upward. The nine suns were even drawn to this disturbance, which resulted in the unusual occurrence of all nine suns emerging at once. This was a scene that will stay with people for many years to come. It turned into a riddle about which people conjectured. There were three signals upon the birth of the celestial ancestor. There were nine songs when the ancient ancestor was born, and the black soil and golden sky were one sign. One of them was the silver eyes. Ordinary cultivators were unaware of this, but those who had advanced to a particular level of cultivation or were part of a strong sect were aware of some of it. The sky above the celestial capital of the celestial Ming continent, which ruled over all the celestials, showed a distortion on this day. A massive vortex developed and started to expand in every direction. It was moving far more quickly than any cultivator. The surrounding 37 continents were instantly blanketed, and the sky turned golden. The powerful light's reflection caused the earth to oddly turn black as the golden light emerged. As a result, the celestial ancestor's approach was heralded by the sight of the dark ground and golden sky. Simultaneously, an indistinct shadow emerged within the vortex. Although this figure was hazy, it was somewhat visible that it was crowning itself with a golden robe. It released an astonishing amount of celestial energy while it was in the vortex. When someone saw this figure, they would instantly think of a moniker that excited them to no end. Heavenly Progenitor Numerous years ago, the celestial ancestor vanished into the emptiness. It was the first time the celestial ancestor's shadow has reappeared since then. A massive wave broke out among the celestial race as a result. The celestial race's grand empyreans all materialized and bowed to the sky. Simultaneously, a massive vortex emerged in each of the 36 states that comprised the ancient kingdom. This black vortex appeared to be in competition with the celestials as it moved across the 36 states. This vortex released a dictatorial and menacing aura. Everyone in the ancient nations knelt on the ground in joy at this. Simultaneously, Xian Luo and the two surviving old Grand Empyreans hurriedly left. They disbelievingly stared up at the sky's vortex as they hovered in midair. Rather than the celestial ancestor's shadow, there were two eyes. A set of silver eyes gazed in the direction of the celestial ancestor. The eyeballs emitted a terrifying silver light. Something seemed to boil over on the immortal astral continent as a whole. At the same moment, all nine suns emerged, and everyone shook from the pressure they unleashed. If this was it, there wouldn't be as much conjecture and everyone would just be shocked. A third enormous vortex emerged between the heavenly and ancient realms with the appearance of the shadow and pair of eyes in the sky. An unbelievable wave of shock and dread was unleashed with the emergence of this vortex. This. This is not feasible. How is it possible that a third vortex will emerge as the celestial ancestor and the ancient ancestor's illusions descend? What does it indicate that a third vortex has emerged beneath the celestial and ancient ancestors? Does this mean that something like to the celestial and ancient ancestors exists inside the third vortex? Feng Shui said that someone buried in a dragon vein would have a magnificent fate law, even if it was all gibberish. When the fate law was established, all of their descendants would gain. Wang Lin was not a fan of Feng Shui. He was a strong cultivator, capable of changing the earth, moving mountains and seas, and even creating stars. For him, it was possible to build and govern something akin to Feng Shui. However, he could still employ Feng Shui at this precise moment to decipher the shocking scene that stunned everyone on the immortal astral continent. Having a cave burial indicated that their offspring would be richer and experience fewer tragedies. If they were buried in the master cave, many of their future generals would be wealthy. If they were buried in the dragon vein, their offspring would be extremely wealthy. Similarly, their descendants could control a nation after they were buried in the vein of the master dragon. The location of Wang Lin's avatar was the cradle of the ancient and celestial ancestors. This platform was a component of the original platform even though it wasn't the same platform. This meant that Wang Lin had the same fate law as the celestial and ancient ancestors. 
This fate law went far beyond what could be attained through cultivation. Wang Lin's future would be unthinkable as time went on and his avatar expanded, but this fate law wouldn't expose itself too much. Wang Lin wasn't entirely clear on this issue. He was a man of many conjectures and little understanding. But he wasn't convinced by all of this, instead, he was more persuaded by his own perseverance and hard work. He was more looking forward to the day the avatar emerged and delivered its most powerful blow. Regardless of their status or level of cultivation, everyone on the immortal astral continent felt shock when the third vortex emerged. When the nine suns detected the third vortex, their attitudes became grim. It appeared that the third vortex had just formed and was unsteady. Though there were innumerable distortions, it did not collapse while existing outside the celestial and ancient ancestors' vortexes. And it was growing at a fast pace. The three vortexes gently vanished from the boundless sky after a long while. They vanished into thin air, as if they had never been. Everything went back to normal, but the terror that had been in everyone's hearts had crept in and grew. Everyone felt as though this issue was an omen bearing down on them, making it hard to breathe and for an endless stream of thoughts to arise. After the three vortexes vanished, a ten-year-old child was living in a town on the immortal astral continent. He was holding a wooden stick in his hand and making a regal gesture with one hand on his waist. Two scowling cultivators were leading a group of kids to a local sect so they could be tested. Anyone with exceptional talent would be accepted as a disciple into the group. The child's heart was filled with the insistent voice, I will become a king one day. A small child who appeared to be a heavenly child was wearing a deo robe that he had acquired someplace on this continent. He was inside a large family's home. As a number of individuals bowed before him with respect, he had a smile on his face. This elderly man has been cultivating for three millennia and has suddenly become a youngster again. In order to regain my cultivation, I must undergo nine reincarnations. Since I was invited by all of you from the country, I will stay for a while and create a Deo connection. Even mortals were able to sense the child's ancient aura. It seemed as though the elderly man seated in front of them was thousands of years old rather than a little youngster. Especially, there was a spirit in those eyes that seemed to see right through life and compelled you to believe them. The room was dark and foreboding due to the decaying vibe. The boy appeared normal to the frightened mortal struck by this deterioration, but inside he was grinning like a flower. Oomph, oomph, I've learned this little lord's trickery without the help of a teacher. Even I thought these statements were genuine, as though I had truly resurrected. If this is the case, I must have been a heaven-shattering liar. I'll stay here for a while to make up for the few months I wasted with the remains at the cemetery. There are also travel costs from the next nation to consider. I have to give it all back tenfold. Wang Lin's body was enveloped in mist in the emptiness. The fog that carried Wang Lin forward was the king of the mosquitoes. The law of the immortal astral continent appeared to diminish significantly as it surged ahead. He could handle the quantity he was feeling. The mosquito beast seemed to sense something even if he was lost in direction, and it kept moving in that way beside Wang Lin. The beast of the mosquito was quite enthusiastic along the trip. Occasionally, it turned to face Wang Lin and wept joyfully. It truly enjoyed being in Wang Lin's presence. It was as at ease as if it were with its parents. But as they descended farther into the emptiness, the might of the law of the immortal astral continent grew stronger despite the mosquito king directing the way. Even though Wang Lin's avatar was feeding his own body inside the stone shell, Eventually the pressure became too much to handle. His primary concern was making sure Li Muen was completely unharmed. The current Wang Lin would not be in conflict with the law of the immortal astral continent if Li Muen had never existed. He had already been used to the Mosquito King and his avatar. Even with this advantage, he was still in pain. This demonstrated just how scary this emptiness was. Wang Lin thought to himself in silence, no wonder no one without the right bloodline has ever come out of this void. Carrying one ER was equivalent to giving up the bloodline. Time had already become unimportant to him. Although he was unsure of his exact tenure, he was aware that ten years had passed. I'm afraid teacher is running out of time. Wang Lin's eyes gleamed with determination. If he has returned to the ancient Dao clan, then I will have to rely solely on myself once I arrive at the immortal astral continent. There is no issue here. I had gone out on my own from planet Suzaka back then to explore the brilliant void. I then traveled across all heaven, the cloud sea, and the brilliant void. I visited the ancient star system on my own later. It's okay, I'll just head to the immortal astral continent by myself now. 
However, I have to rapidly raise my cultivation level in the immortal astral continent. In addition, I have to visit the Donglin sect once. Wang Lin had this idea when she said, if I can enter the Donglin pool. His heart raced. One could argue that Wang Lin's desire to enter the Donglin pool was genuine. He yearned to turn the fifth flower's illusion into reality. In order to combat arcane tribulent cultivators, he yearned for essence genuine bodies. I wonder who has succeeded to reincarnate, although there are still some old pals on the immortal astral continent. Hehe, he, I wonder if Situ Nan ever became a king. I'm not sure if Lu Jin Biao will keep up his dishonesty. And there's Su Liguo, that fiend. What fate awaits him on the immortal astral continent, I wonder. Wang Lin was not alone in this Ovid because he had the Mosquito King and his memories to go with him, along with Qing Shui, Red Butterfly, and Li Qin Miai. For one, two, or three years. Three years passed slowly as Wang Lin thought back on the past. The King of Mosquitoes had slowed considerably. However, it had led Wang Lin to the edge of the nothingness. They were just next to the door. This exit might have been at a location the Mosquito King had followed based on its hazy memories, rather than where Xian Luo had anticipated. This location could lead to the Heavenly Bull Continent or to another location. It might even be one of the 36 states of the former nation. Wang Lin gave Li Muwen the entire attention of his cultivation over these three years. She was very safe with him watching over her. He could see light in the darkness in front of him this day. This light, which emerged from a thin fissure in the emptiness, wasn't very bright. Beyond the rift, he was able to see mountains. From the gap emerged bursts of aura exclusive to the immortal astral continent. Wang Lin's weary body began to quiver right away. The king of the mosquitoes was likewise exhausted. Despite its best efforts, it was unable to bring Wang Lin to the rift, instead, its body dispersed into mist. Wang Lin's right hand went out to the mosquito king as his heart grew heavy for him. Wang Lin was left with an ink tattoo of the Mosquito King on his arm. He was afraid to unlock his storage compartment. He sensed that it was going to close and was unsteady when he opened it the last time. He had no idea whether the storage area would remain on the immortal astral continent or if it would explode if he opened it. It would take time for Wang Lin to solve these mysteries. Inside were the lunatic and the woman dressed in silver, along with a few drugs and riches. Unless they were like Wang Lin, who was attempting to defend someone while entering the immortal astral continent, these two would not have any issues even if they were in the void due to their bloodline from the immortal astral continent. Wang Lin removed the beast made of mosquitoes, then lifted Li Muan and straightened himself. He gazed at the fissure after opening his eyes. It felt like a flashback of his attempt to flee the foreign battleground after transforming into a soul devourer. He unleashed his entire cultivation and dashed in the direction of the fissure. He moved quickly and closed in on us right away. He was using all of his energy to keep Li Muin safe and all of his energy to accelerate. He was charging forward with nothing but his body. He was drawing nearer and nearer. Until he was about 10 feet away, the distance was 1,000 feet, 500 feet, 300 feet, and 100 feet. Although Wang Lin appeared to be in excruciating pain and that his body was on fire, his eyes were brilliant. I, Wang Lin, am approaching the immortal astral continent. Part of the eastern continent, the territory of the celestials, was the heavenly bull continent. It was a far-off place with lots of mountains. The majority of the heavenly bull continent was covered in mountains when viewed from above. There was a rumor that the celestial ancestor slaughtered a fierce heavenly beast known as the heavenly bull continent and brought it to this location in the beginning. More theories circulated claiming that all 72 continents were actually 72 seals meant to stifle 72 powerful extraterrestrial creatures. Legends like these also arose in the 36 states of the ancient kingdoms. But since it had been too long, nobody was certain of its veracity. Maybe only the royal families of the two races and the nine sons knew. Other cultivators couldn't perceive the presence of the ferocious monsters, therefore this was meaningless to them. The myth of the heavenly bull continent dates back thousands of years. That vicious beast's bones formed each mountain, which is why there were so many of them. There were two well-known sects in the Heavenly Bull Continent. The Great Soul Sect and the Guiyi Sect. There wasn't much conflict between these two sizable sects because they rarely encountered each other due to the Heavenly Bull Continent, which was equivalent to dozens of cave worlds. These two sects belonged to the nine sects and thirteen factions of the Eastern Continent. The Great Soul Sect has an odd behavior. 
They cultivated a great variety of techniques, but soul and illusion were the most crucial. As a follower of the Great Soul Sect, Fan Shanmang demonstrated the sex strength through a variety of illusion spells. There were rumors that the Great Soul Sex illusion spells had nine layers and that, at the end, they would transform illusion into reality. It was really, really scary. The Guiyi Sect concentrated on the five components. They were also well known for their distinct armor forging technique. The dispersed tiny sects were below the Great Soul Sect and the Guiyi Sect. The Guiyi Sect or the Great Soul Sect held authority over them. They would occasionally have to send offerings to the two groups. Among these was the Seven Deo Sect, founded by the Seven Colored Celestial Sovereign. But because he had accepted a disciple of the Great Soul Sect as a Deo partner, the Great Soul Sect in the Heavenly Bull Continent was protecting him. He was treasured by the Great Soul Sect for a reason his gift was equally extraordinary. But in recent decades, Yun Yifeng, a central figure in the Guiyi Sect, rose to prominence. There was a rumor that he had spent a considerable amount of time in closed-door cultivation and that, upon his release, he was outstanding. He has defeated all of the main followers of the Great Soul Sect in his challenges. He was superior to even the common Great Soul Sect elders. Yun Yifeng's fame thus increased, and he eventually ascended to the top of the new generation of pupils of the Heavenly Bull Continent. Additionally, some referred to him as one of the Five Peaks, along with the previously mentioned four heavenly geniuses of the eastern continent. This Yun Yifeng, however, was extremely modest and frequently shook his head at comparisons to the four heavenly geniuses of the eastern continent. His feelings of scorn toward them were not that he thought he was inferior to them. Yun Yifeng harmed nine disciples and three seniors of the Great Soul Sect with a single blow ten years ago during a tournament between the Guiyi Sect and the Great Soul Sect. He uttered something that stunned the entire Heavenly Bull Sect when people compared him to the four heavenly geniuses of the Eastern Continent. Many people can be wounded by my sword, I even dare to fight those four heavenly geniuses. I may not win, but I'm not going to back down. However, I came across a cultivator who had only been there for a little over 2,000 years, and I was afraid to draw my sword in front of him. It's not fair to call those four heavenly geniuses geniuses. In the eyes of the younger generation, he is unmatched. There was a commotion and thousands of waves were sent off by this line. When they heard this, everyone was shocked and had the same thought. Who was this individual? Who is able to force Yun Yifeng to utter such words? To make him afraid to pull out his blade in front of that person? That individual could accomplish this despite having only cultivated for slightly over 2,000 years. Should all of this be accurate? then the four Eastern Continent geniuses were truly undeserving of the title genius prior to that individual. Although this line caused a lot of controversy, many others also had doubts about it. But nobody in the Great Soul Sect questioned it, as though they were familiar with this individual. This odd occurrence appeared to cause a major commotion. The silence of the Great Soul Sect led many people to conjecture. Who was this individual? He had the power to prevent Yun Yifeng from drawing his sword. He had the power to exclude the four geniuses from their status as such. He was able to prevent the Great Soul Sect from daring to dispute this. It seemed as though the Great Soul Sect had implicitly acknowledged the existence of such a person. Even the Guiyi Sect remained mute following the remarks made by one of its disciples. They seemed to be aware that there was someone like that. Who was this individual? He'll show up. This was the last thing Yun Yifeng said about that enigmatic guy, and you will know when he shows up. Even after a few years had gone, stories about this enigmatic individual continued to circulate over the Heavenly Bull continent. The rumor grew more and more false as news of it got out. But there was no solution to this inquiry. None of the individuals who knew the solution spoke. This rumor became less serious with time and gradually sank to the bottom of everyone's hearts. Maybe they would learn this person's identity one day. The territory of the mid-level Blue Dragon sect was about half that of the Brilliant Void. It was nonetheless enormous, even though it was not as big as the Thunder Celestial Temple or the Cultivation Alliance from the viewpoint of a cave world cultivator. On the immortal astral continent, though, it was merely mediocre. There were said to be 30,000 heavenly sects on the immortal astral continent. Every group was, in fact, substantially distinct from the others, whether that was real or not was unknown. Though the cultivation procedures their students utilized had nothing to do with dragons, the moniker Blue Dragon Sect would lead one to believe they were tied to a dragon. The disciples of the Blue Dragon Sect were all skilled in creating puppets to aid them in combat. 
It was frequently necessary for disciples to perfect their live puppets before venturing outdoors. The puppets also possessed varying ranks and abilities. In addition to requiring specialized wood or machinery, cultivator or beast carcasses might also be turned into puppets. The mystery surrounding puppets was not very great, cultivators of other sects all knew a bit about them. But the puppet spell of the Blue Dragon sect had a unique focus. To become immortal, it would turn a person's body into a puppet. There was a rumor that Grand Elder Du Ching, the first person in the Blue Dragon sect to attain the Void Tribulant stage, was a wood person. There was a rumor that Grand Elder Du Ching, the first person in the Blue Dragon sect to attain the Void Tribulant stage, was a wood person. He had a regular appearance, but when he cast spells, his wooden body was revealed. There was a nasty moniker for the Blue Dragon sect in the Bull Continent, the Heavenly. Even the elders and disciples would resort to violence in order to get what they desired, even if it meant murdering people in order to steal valuables. Nonetheless, few sects ventured to provoke Grand Elder Du Ching and the Great Soul Sect because of their close relationship, which allowed them to do as they pleased. The individuals and groups that the Blue Dragon Sect attacked were also carefully chosen. They would stay away from the target if they didn't want to provoke them. Those from other continents were their primary targets. That was their best bet if a cultivator from another continent happened to pass by. The disciples spent most of the year outside, exploring, looking for information to report back to the group. They would frequently order additional fighters to launch a collective attack if they came into a challenging foe. Kong Ren was a Blue Dragon sect disciple of the third generation. He was well known among the third generation and was both crafty and nasty. The cult likewise held him in high regard. He had an excellent eye and could frequently identify at a glance whether someone could be provoked, preventing problems for the group. It was difficult to believe that this attractive man could be cruel. Not even a few disciples from the second generation dared to offend him. Kong Ren was soaring across the sky on this particular day. To see if any outsiders were passing by, he traveled to the edge of the so-called Heavenly Bull Continent. The distance abruptly changed while he was flying. Over there, he saw a rift open up and a figure dropped out with a flash of ghostly light. As it disappeared into the distance, the figure appeared to be carrying a coffin. It all happened so quickly. The hole in the sky vanished as if it had never been there as soon as the figure fell. Kong Ren massaged his eyes, astonished by this abrupt transformation. It was something he had never seen before. He thought he was seeing things when he gazed at the location of the rift. But his eyes glowed with excitement and he soon became animated. He sprang in the direction where the coffin-carrying figure had fallen. Kong Ren's heart raced when he realized there was a strange creature, a dilemma, and a prize. When Du Qing established the Blue Dragon sect, this was the first line in the sect's regulations. Over time, every follower of the Blue Dragon sect had committed this line to memory. Stranger things always meant there was a problem, and if there was a problem, treasure was probably involved. Even so, Kong Ren gently shielded himself with treasures while flying at top speed. He heard a rumble, muffled, as he flew. The guy with the coffin landed on the mountain in the distance. The impact caused more than half the mountain to crumble, exposing a young person with white hair who was still. What a powerful body, Kong Ren said, his eyes gleaming with avarice as he approached closely. At first, Kong Ren made many laps around the neighborhood. He watched intently for some time before gradually advancing toward the crumbling mountain where Wang Lin was hiding. His eyes, full of uncontrollable excitement and greed, were fixed on Wang Lin, who lay there. What a strong body. This is quite unusual for those who are not from the old land. He doesn't have the same aura as those brutes from the ancient country, and he doesn't have the stars between his eyebrows. This is not the person to be a traditional country farmer. I'm curious how a cultivator with such a strong physique managed to lick his lips and cause his heart to beat even more quickly. It seemed as though his opportunity had come, the heavens had bestowed upon him this fortune. When he was just flying through the skies, he had no idea that something like this would fall in front of him. This guy is in a semi-dead state and has completely lost his aura, which makes him ideal for me to turn into a puppet. Kong Ren grew even more ecstatic as he considered this. With this puppet, I can sweep through all second-generation disciples in the Blue Dragon sect if I can capture the eye of the ancient ancestor and become recognized as a disciple, then I'll pierce the heavens. Despite his excitement, he remembered to exercise caution. He pulled up a few hundred feet away from Wang Lin and even made plans to flee in case things went south so he could notify his group. 
Even if he was unable to obtain it for himself, alerting the sect about it was still a noteworthy accomplishment. A rift developed on his wrist as his right hand sealed itself, but it vanished in an instant. A jade the color of ink materialized, and a furious aura shot out of it in an instant. Kong Ren held this jade and flung it without thinking. Wang Lin was struck by the jade, which fell to his chest. The jade burst with a loud bang, shaking the mountain with its might. Kong Ren recoiled 1,000 feet beneath this shock, his excitement growing even more intense. He did not retaliate. Kong Ren shot a short smile, then rushed forward, soon getting at Wang Lin's side. He had to be dead, not simply faint. Despite the jade's strong impact, Wang Lin was not hurt in the slightest. Actually, even if there were tens of hundreds of jades, Wang Lin would not be harmed by one with the combined strength of a Nirvana cleanser cultivator. Regarding the heaven-avoiding coffin, Wang Lin continued to guard it, therefore it sustained no harm at all. Forget about Kong Ren, it would be impossible to harm the coffin even for a cultivator who had used multiple arcane tribulants. Kong Ren's eyes narrowed as he got closer to Wang Lin, focusing on the heaven-avoiding coffin that was hiding behind Wang Lin. Inside, he spotted the woman. Though the woman was breathtakingly gorgeous, something about her sleeping appearance made him think bad thoughts. Haha, <laughs> it looks like there was a female cultivator here, I didn't get a good look previously. Excellent, I'll turn this female cultivator into a puppet as well and use her to help me. What a happy thing. Kong Ren sealed his palm and kissed his lips before pointing up at the sky. On his right wrist, there was a rift, and a big net shot out. Wang Lin was imprisoned, as was the coffin on his back. Then a dark wind engulfed Kong Ren as he waved his sleeve. He took off, believing he had struck it lucky, and disappeared into the distance. Heaven has eyes, and it really wants me to make it big, exclaimed Kong Ren, who was ecstatic and dared not stay outside for too long. His only thought was to return to the group and work on the puppet there. Situated amidst a vast range of poisonous mountains lay the Blue Dragon sect. The surrounding mountains had been carved out to create innumerable cavernous stone chambers. It was challenging to perceive this never-ending mountain range's finish with the unaided eye, though there were around 50,000 members of the Blue Dragon sect, the majority were either outside or engaged in closed-door cultivation. It was uncommon for them to meet one other outside of the yearly conference. Behaving like a beam of light, Kong Ren advanced on the sect. The poison that ringed the mountain moved aside as soon as he stepped inside. It was clear that he was carrying a defense mechanism against the poison. Kong Ren charged into the poison, and then a massive mountain materialized in front of him. On the mountain, countless caves were visible. There was a roar from within just as Kong Ren was ready to cross into the valley. Who's brave enough to enter the valley? Enter your name here. You will pay the price if you fail to report in three breaths. When Kong Ren stopped outside the valley and yelled, Virtual Cloud, what is the meaning of this? There was a brief moment of ice in his gaze. Oh, I see. It's Junior Brother Kong after all. It was too thick of a fog for me to see well. Junior Brother Kong left, didn't he? Why have you returned already? Using the puppet net, what were you able to catch? A young person with a hunchback emerged from the valley as the voice became informal. The young man was quite attractive, but the good energy he would have given off with his beauty was ruined by his hunched back. Rather, it appeared like there was something peculiar about him. You're too inquisitive, Kong Ren snorted icily and lunged into the valley. The youth with the hunchback looked at Kong Ren's destination with a savage expression on his face. As he pondered, he left a puppet here and flew toward the valley. There is something strange, there is a problem, and there is a treasure. Regarding Kong Ren, he swiftly traversed the valley and approached a mountain. Without delay, he moved into a cave and gestured with his left hand. The cave door slowly closed, and a formation made the door incredibly powerful. Still not sure, he waved his hand and nine different aged puppets materialized to defend the entryway. Two additional dark-skinned wooden figures emerged from the cave at the same moment. The two men made of wood had ghostly light in their eyes as Kong Ren left. As he passed them, Kong Ren didn't even bother to look at them. He reached the cave's lowest point. Here was a night pearl that emitted a gentle light that filled the cave in silence. But because it wasn't very bright, the cave felt rather dark. A roughly 100-foot-wide formation glowed with a purple halo when illuminated by the night pearl. The formation appeared really weird due to this glow. Kong Ren stood next to the formation and waved his right hand. He brought Wang Lin, and Wang Lin landed inside the formation. With bright eyes, 
Kong Ren looked at the formation surrounded by fog and rubbed his hands joyfully. I have to have it refined as quickly as feasible. That virtual cloud is quite cruel. Parts of the materials used by the Blue Dragon sect to refine puppets flew out toward the formation as Kong Ren waved his right hand, signaling that once he finds out that I've brought a puppet back, he will have some scheme in mind. His left hand sealed itself around the formation at the same moment. With a rumble, the formation came to life. A vortex developed in the fog. The cave began to fill with heat as a fire source was drawn from the earth beneath the structure. Kong Ren's brow started to perspire as soon as the heat wave touched his body. I have to use the earth fire every time I refine a puppet, and it gets too hot. The only power homes that are immune to the earth fire are those that possess fire essence, in fact, they can even use it to cultivate. I'm not sure when I'll develop into a strong cultivator too, Kong Ren said, his eyes full with desire. He started refining as soon as he could extract the earth fire. His excitement was evident in the way he continued tossing things into the arrangement. Whoever you were before, you will become my puppet now that you're in my control. I'll definitely refine you. The white-haired old man was in front of the hunchback teenager, who was standing politely atop another mountain when the formation materialized outside the cave. This old man's white hair contrasted shockingly with his purplish black features. From his body emanated the aura of an early-level cultivator of Nirvana Void. You think you can pry open this old man's closed door? Cultivation for something so insignificant? The elderly man's eyes brightened as he spoke, penetrating Kong Ren's cave, even if you have a personal grudge against the Kong Ren. He sensed the rumbling of the puppet refinement formation. The young person with a hunchback crouched down and murmured, Teacher, there's something off about the puppet he brought back. Rarely does Kong Ren act in such a hurry. He must have a problem because I have known him since he was a young child. I hope the teacher can take that puppet, which must be a treasure, and give it to the disciple. After staring into the horizon for a considerable amount of time, the elderly man's pupils contracted and he got to his feet. The teenager with the hunchback looked happy to see the old guy stand up. The old man waved his sleeve and left the cave. To extract so much fire, there is indeed a problem. Forget it, follow me to see what kind of puppet he is refining. The teenager with the hunchback followed fast, scarcely controlling his eagerness. Though he was drenched in sweat, Kong Ren was even more enthusiastic. He was now strolling about the formation instead of sitting. He kept adding different materials and sealing them in. His eyes glowed with even more excitement. I've utilized every resource I have. After I managed to perfect this puppet, he he, Kong Ren had moved even more quickly and had forgotten everything. Wang Lin was laying in the mist, surrounded by what appeared to be flames. He was not burned in any way by the flames surrounding his body, though, they kept going inside his body, as if they were excited. At this very time, Wang Lin opened his eyes abruptly. The ink tattoo of the Mosquito King on his right arm opened its eyes the instant he opened his. The terrifyingly icy stare filled the Mosquito King's eyes. Wang Lin was going to shake the entire immortal astral continent for the first time after opening his eyes to it. It was the first time he had ever laid eyes on the immortal astral continent. He had never before felt the immortal astral continent's aura on his own. Wang Lin looked at the heaven-avoiding coffin behind him as soon as he woke up. Once he was certain there was nothing amiss, he looked around him at the earth fire. How could Wang Lin be burned by a simple earth fire, and would he dare? The removed earth fire was just a tiny, inconsequential fire. Not only did the earth fire not hurt him because he had the fire essence, it hastened his awakening. Additionally, when this earth fire combined with Wang Lin's fire essence from the cave world, a startling transformation happened because it originated from the immortal astral continent. On the immortal astral continent, nothing like this has ever occurred before. This was a conflict between the fire essence of the immortal astral continent and an alien fire essence. Wang Lin's fire essence would be consumed and integrated into the immortal astral continent if the immortal astral continent's fire essence prevailed. Wang Lin would still possess his fire essence and his cultivation level would remain unchanged in that scenario. But as fire is a property of the immortal astral continent, he would not be the world's ruler of all fire. However, Wang Lin's fire essence would be above the immortal astral continent if he prevailed. He was going to be the true ruler of fire. Wang Lin peered at the mist overhead. A weak cultivator that he could feel moving all about him was hurling seals and strange objects at regular intervals. These objects not only helped the formation below operate better, but they also hastened the fire. 
A strange power sprang from the creation, attempting to penetrate his body and perform a number of transformations. Wang Lin used his intelligence to make an educated prediction right away, despite the fact that he was unconscious and had no idea what had transpired. This person brought me here to be refined when I was unconscious. Judging from the formation, it appears to be related to puppets. Is he trying to turn me into a puppet? A brief moment of iciness appeared in Wang Lin's eyes. Nobody had the audacity to attempt turning him into a puppet in the realm of caves. People feared the sovereign, even though they hadn't done so. Wang Lin didn't think the formation was worthwhile of his attention. It had mysteries of its own, but now was not the time to investigate. This earth fire piqued Wang Lin's interest more. He paid little attention to Kong Ran, who was still enthusiastically honing his craft and was unaware that Wang Lin had awoken. Wang Lin's heavenly perception extended straight beneath the surface. His goal was to locate the source of this ground fire. What was the difference between his own fire and the fire of the immortal astral continent? Wang Lin's eyes showed an odd light as his divine intuition expanded. He noticed that there was a mass of fire veins beneath the tens of thousands of kilometers of mountains in the area. This mountain range was perched above a branch of an earth fire vein that, despite appearances, was extremely thin. It was linked to the principal source that pointed toward the unknowable. Wang Lin was startled to discover a sophisticated network of earth fire beneath when his divine senses expanded once more. The lower he descended, the hotter the fire grew. The veins of fire resemble a massive formation of fire, Wang Lin said, withdrawing his heavenly sense. Having just woken up, he was unsure of his surroundings, thus forcing an exploration would be inconvenient. Going deeper won't be inconvenient, but I can extract more fire to feed my fire essence. With a gentle tap of his right hand on the ground, Wang Lin thought. This caused the whole blue dragon sect to quiver, and it appeared to ignite all of the flames beneath this mountain range. It all came rushing in from all sides and went inside Kong Ren's cave. Kong Ren was installing seals when he was surprised by this abrupt change. He moved quickly backward, enveloping himself in a maze of defense. He was shielded from the fire that had suddenly burst by the nine puppets manning the door and the two wooden ones that surged out in front of him. A sea of flames erupted inside the formation and transformed into a pillar of fire as soon as Kong Ren withdrew. It burnt like crazy, clearing all the fog and obstructing all lines of sight. Numerous fissures formed, suggesting that the cave was about to collapse because it was clearly unable to withstand it. When the fire struck the nine puppets in front of Kong Ren, they burst into flames right away. Those two wooden puppets were also present. Without being able to resist, they also fell to the ground. Kong Ren's eyes became hopeless and his scalp turned numb. He stared as the intense heat threatened to engulf him like a gaping maw. Just then, a beam of spectral light emerged from the flames and encircled him. He was unharmed by the flames that passed by him. Nevertheless, having experienced the brink of death, Kong Ren collapsed to the ground in terror. His heart was filled with horror as he gazed upon the fire that enveloped the cave. What sort of person did I bring back with me? Virtual Cloud and his teacher arrived outside Kong Ren's cave just as the earth fire burst. The old man with the white hair's countenance drastically changed at this point. With haste, he seized his follower and withdrew thousands of feet. A heat wave emerged from Kong Ren's cave as he withdrew and the entrance crumbled. In a sea of fire, every pavilion on the mountain vanished. The followers of the Blue Dragon sect were startled by this abrupt shift as the surrounding mountains shook under the flames, seemed ready to erupt. They all bolted from their caves, casting fearful glances down. The progenitor has left. What caused the earth fire to change? The instructor of Virtual Cloud was dejected as he gazed at the strike of the sea of fire. He peered into Kong Ren's cave. Three strong auras emerged from the Blue Dragon sect at the same moment. The three transformed into individuals who materialized next to Virtual Cloud's instructor. There were two guys and one lady among the three. The other man was middle-aged, and both the woman and one of the males had white hair. There was an air about them all, third-step cultivators. They were not cultivating at a low level. The man in his middle age was in the middle stage of spirit void. As soon as he appeared, he let out a yell toward the heavens. Disciples of the Blue Dragon sect, listen to my command. The earth fire goes through a transformation once every 10,000 years. This time, it's a bit early, but don't panic. His words resounded like thunder as he quickly set the heavenly water formation in motion. The minds of all the Blue Dragon sect disciples who heard this trembled, and they immediately sat down in the sky. 
Their hands formed seals and countless clouds came out of their bodies. The tens of thousands of disciples quickly created large formation. This formation rumbled as it appeared. From a distance, it looked like a large, dark cloud that covered tens of thousands of kilometers. This cloud was very dark, and it contained the tens of thousands of blue dragon sect disciples that were present. At the same time, aside from the middle-aged man and virtual clouds teacher, the other two third-step cultivators charged into the dark cloud without waiting for a command. They used some unknown spell and turned into two long dragons inside the cloud. These two dragons were almost 100,000 feet long. A moment later, they revealed their giant dragon heads and opened their mouths at the burning mountain below. Rain fell from the sky and large amounts of water came out from the mouths of the two dragons. Elderly, you were the first one to arrive. What happened here? As the rain fell to fight against the fire, the middle-aged man gloomily looked at the white-haired old man beside him. The earth fire changes once every 10,000 years, and it should be 3,000 more years before it appears. There must be a reason for it to appear early the middle-aged man's gaze moved away from the white-haired old man and glanced at the hunchback youth. This gaze caused the youth's heart to tremble, and he almost couldn't remain standing. Elder Zhao, if this is not the normal change to the earth fire, it might be related to the third-generation disciple Kong Ren. Kong Ren? The middle-aged man frowned and couldn't recall this name. The white-haired man looked at the sea of fire below and pointed at Kong Ren's cave. This person has brought back two bodies from somewhere unknown, and the change to the earth fire happened when he was refining the puppets. The sect master and old ancestor went out to the great soul sect. I have already sent out a message Jade, so they should be on their way back. Since it is possible that this is being caused by the two bodies Kong Ren brought back, then this old man will see what kind of bodies can cause the earth fire to change there was a flash of killing intent in the middle-aged man's eyes. This change to the earth fire had caught the blue dragon sect was off guard. Although there were no deaths, a lot of buildings had been destroyed along with large amounts of celestial herbs that were growing and in storage. The price was simply too big. As he spoke, the middle-aged man's body flickered and water vapor surrounded him. The water vapor turned into a bubble 30 feet wide and he charged down into the burning mountain to where Kong Ren's cave was. The door to the cave had long broken and there was nothing blocking him. The middle-aged man moved very fast and instantly arrived at the cave. He looked very fast, but he was, in fact, very cautious. He felt like this matter was somewhat strange. However, he didn't take it too much to heart, he was very proud of his strength. Just as he entered the cave, the middle-aged man saw a youth wearing the Deo robe of the Blue Dragon sect. The young man looked like he was in a daze and his body was trembling. His eyes were filled with extreme fear as he looked into the depths of the cave, where there was a pillar of fire. Following the young man's gaze, the middle-aged man saw the pillar of fire in the depths of the cave, and his pupils suddenly shrank. He was someone who already had an essence, and he was at the late stage of spirit void. In the Blue Dragon sect, he was above many and below few. Even on the entire heavenly bull continent, he was among the top. The moment he saw the pillar of fire, he vaguely saw a figure covered by fire with a coffin on its back. The middle-aged man felt an aura that made his heart tremble looming inside. What kind of corpse is this? The middle-aged man's expression was gloomy as stared at Kong Ren, who was stunned from fear. He let out a cold snort and walked toward the fire. He knew he himself had a high cultivation level and he didn't feel an aura that was too strong coming from the person inside the fire. With that in mind, he charged toward the fire. He was originally not far from the fire, so he closed in on it with one step. The bubble touched with the fire and popping sounds echoed. The fire seemed to be pushed aside, making an opening for the middle-aged man. What wild cultivators dared to mix into my blue dragon sect? If I don't refine you into a puppet, then we will become a joke in the heavenly bull continent the middle-aged man took another step and his body was halfway inside the fire the fire raged but it didn't break the bubble around his body however just at this moment wang lin suddenly opened his eyes and a cold gaze flashed the expression of the middle-aged man changed as he felt a terrifying aura erupt from the white-haired man inside the fire this aura was very strong heaven shaking even compared to it he was like a firefly next to the moon Terrified, the middle-aged man's footsteps stopped. Scram out of here Wang Lin's cold words echoed and he raised his right hand. As he spoke, the entire cave seemed to become as cold as ice, and this coldness spread outside the cave. The falling rain seemed to almost freeze, 
and the sea of fire dimmed as if it was going to be extinguished. The middle-aged man felt this even more intensely. His body felt cold and cracking sounds came from the bubble around him. The bubble shattered and the middle-aged man turned pale as he coughed out a mouthful of blood. His eyes were filled with fear and disbelief. He had lost control of his body. When Wang Lin spoke, it felt like 100,000 mountains had smashed into his body. The middle-aged man retreated again and coughed out more blood. He flew like a kite with a broken line and was swept out from the cave. Before the eyes of the tens of thousands of cultivators outside, the middle-aged man was thrown out and coughed out a third mouthful of blood. He was thrown out tens of thousands of feet before he stopped. His face was deathly pale and the fear in his eyes was indescribable. Who are you? The middle-aged man immediately let out a scream. This sudden scene not only shocked all the disciples of the Blue Dragon sect, but even the two elders that had turned into dragons. Virtual Cloud's teacher's eyes widened and were filled with disbelief. Who is inside the cave? Even the late-stage spirit void elder Zhao was instantly knocked back and seriously injured? Noisy amidst this uproar, Wang Lin's cold voice came from Kong Ren's cave. The moment this voice appeared, everything became quiet. Even the rain that was falling from the sky seemed to stop. The drops hung in the air and seemed unable to fall. Looking at how the rain was not falling, the white-haired old man's face was filled with fear. Word of law, everything freeze. This means he is at the arcane void stage or higher. Who, who is this person? Who did that Kong Ren bring back? This person must be famous in the heavenly bull continent, he can't be nameless. Inside the cave, Kong Ren's despair had reached the extreme. He saw the extremely high status elder Zhao get knocked back and then coughed out blood from just one word from the fire. He watched as the fire broke out, and knew he had caused a huge disaster. This. What kind fortune is this? That was an ancestor. Inside the fire, Wang Lin closed his eyes once more. When the fire erupted, his divine sense had already swept the area. There was no one here worthy of his attention. However, he understood that this was the immortal astral continent and that there were many powerful people here. He also heard the words outside. The sect master and old ancestor of the sect were out and were on their way back. The area here was vast, so much so that even third step cultivators couldn't arrive in a short period of time even if they could merge with the world. However, the immortal astral continent was different from the cave world. Wang Lin had noticed this when he awakened. At this moment, the fire had surrounded his body and was constantly being absorbed and refined by him to nourish his fire essence. After pondering a bit, Wang Lin's right hand reached out. Kong Ren, who was trapped by Wang Lin, immediately flew into the fire, and Wang Lin grabbed his throat. His cold gaze looked at Kong Ren. Kong Ren's eyes met with Wang Lin's gaze, and his mind rumbled as if 100,000 bolts of thunder had exploded in his mind. He didn't resist at all, and his eyes were filled with fear. He looked at Wang Lin with despair in his eyes. Sen. Senior have mercy. Wang Lin ignored Kong Ren. His divine sense rushed out from his right hand and entered Kong Ren's mind. After finding the memories he needed, he threw Kong Ren out of the fire and restrained him once more. Early stage arcane void sect master and early stage void tribulant ancestor, Du Ching. Wang Lin frowned. Early stage arcane void was not worth mentioning, but early stage void tribulant was somewhat difficult. It is not convenient to open my storage space, as it is likely an accident will occur. So I can't take out my treasures and I can't use the ESI puppet. As a result, I'll be at a disadvantage while facing a void tribulant cultivator. While pondering, Wang Lin absorbed a large amount of earth fire to nourish his fire essence, causing his fire essence to become even stronger. Forget it, I should leave this place to study the problem with my storage space. In addition, my other essences seem to have changed here as well. I need to familiarize myself first. Wang Lin's eyes lit up and he made a decision. He had just arrived on the immortal astral continent and wasn't too familiar with the place. With his personality, he didn't want to be too arrogant. At this moment, he made his mind. His hand formed a seal and he waved it. The earth rumbled and even more earth fire rushed out. The fire filled the cave and some even spread out. From the outside, the middle-aged man saw this. Being able to cultivate to this point meant that he was not dumb, so he immediately saw through what Wang Lin was trying to do. He is going to run the middle-aged man's expression was gloomy. What had happened before made him feel fear, but what he feared even more was the anger of the old ancestor once he returned. Once the ancestor became angry, he might just refine him into a wooden person. 
he had seen the old ancestor do something like this, and now his heart was filled with fear of the old ancestor. We can't let him escape before the old ancestor returns. Once he escapes, we won't be able to withstand the anger of the old ancestor thinking about this. The middle-aged man gritted his teeth and let out a roar. Li Cheng Tian, Sun Mend, Han Xian, this person is going to escape. Don't let him escape, otherwise, the old ancestor will be angry, and you all know the consequences all blue dragon sect disciples. Stop the heavenly water formation and activate the Deo mumble as the middle-aged man spoke, he suppressed his injuries and charged out. Behind him, the expression of the white-haired old man changed. He gritted his teeth and charged out. At the same time, the two dragons in the clouds twisted and turned into a man and a woman. The two thought about how terrifying the old ancestor was, and they erupted their full cultivation as they charged at the cave below. The four great elders of the blue dragon sacked, four third-step cultivators, were going to stop Wang Lin from leaving. The tens of thousands of blue dragon sect disciples gave up the heavenly water formation under the command of the middle-aged man. Their hands formed seals and they all began to mutter. The mumble of tens of thousands of people resonated over the sky. The Deo mumble spell was a spell of the great soul sect. The blue dragon sect and the great soul sect had a very strong relationship, therefore the great soul sect had given the blue dragon sect this spell as a sect protection spell. If you listened attentively, you would hear that these tens of thousands of disciples were merely chanting two words, Deo and Soul. Deo Soul. Soul Deo. Deo Soul. Their voices encompassed the earth below and reached the cave, reaching Wang Lin's ears. Wang Lin's heart trembled and he felt a power invade his body. It was melting his Deo intent and fracturing his spirit. This feeling quickly made Wang Lin feel annoyed. There was a spark of coldness in Wang Lin's eyes as he let out a frigid snort and took a stride. With this phase, he used the heartbeat thunder he had learned in the ancient tomb. The sound of a heartbeat emanated from his body and swiftly spread out, growing more violent. It promptly collided with the Deo mumble spell outside. At the same time, as the four elders ran inside the cave to lock it to prevent him from leaving, Wang Lin raised his right hand and reached toward the earth. He displayed an angry expression. Extract the soul of the earth fire. The Deo grumble resonated across the blazing blue dragon sect generating a peculiar sound. This sound was neither shrill or loud, but it had a weird force that made Wang Lin's soul detach from his body. Even his thoughts were affected, as well as his seven essences. This technique was exceedingly difficult to accomplish alone, thus it had to be employed by a big group of cultivators. It is clear that the disciples of the Blue Dragon sect desired to employ this strategy to prevent Wang Lin from departing. In the realm of caves, Wang Lin had come across spells of this type but none with such potency. Admittedly, he was still impacted even though he was now able to battle against opponents who had used multiple arcane tribulants. This demonstrated the horror of it. But this spell was not unlike the heartbeat thunder that Wang Lin had understood in the ancient tomb. His heartbeat had the global resonance of thunder. When it contacted the tens of thousands of disciples of the Blue Dragon sect, it became more ferocious, causing their hearts to race. This put them on an equal footing. Wang Lin emerged from the tunnel as the four elders hurried in, yet despite coming from the subterranean realm, his cultivation level made him strong even on the immortal astral continent. He extended his hand to touch the floor. The subterranean fire burst forth and the whole blue dragon sack soil rumbled. Even more fierce than before, the fire burst from the cave. Wang Lin employed the enchantment that took from the underground realm the spirits of planets and mountains. He was taking out the earth fire vein's soul this time. There was an immense network of earth fire veins that branched off into many directions throughout the entire heavenly bull continent. It resembled a massive formation that was enclosing something. Wang Lin's cultivation level prevented him from extracting the main vein's soul, but the branch beneath the blue dragon sect rumbled loudly. The four elders and tens of thousands of cultivators had different looks as the flames roared and the rumble continued. The four elders saw Wang Lin surrounded by fire the instant they reached the cave. A massive dragon head that was already too big for the mountain to hold was beneath Wang Lin's palm. Waving whiskers identified this as a fire dragon. The mountain fell in the instant it appeared. The stones were dispersed all over, but they didn't travel very far before ash formed. Tens of thousands of cultivators observed the disappearance of the mountain Wang Lin was on. A whole mountain vanished in front of their sight and the rumbling continued to resound in their ears. 
A fire dragon with a head the size of a mountain and a body 100,000 feet long emerged from underground as the mountain vanished. The fire dragon was a bodiless being. It had the aura of an ancient soul and was formed of fire. This fire dragon was what kind? Clearly, it was the earth's fire vein soul. A man was standing over the dragon's head. With a coffin behind him, his white hair flew and his eyes glowed like stars. He exuded confidence as he stood there, seemingly atop the universe. He exuded a demeanor that was devoid of optimism. He was difficult to stare at directly because of the flames that glowed behind him. The tens of thousands of cultivators in the sky ceased to emit a deo. The hearts and souls of these tens of thousands of cultivators were filled with fear. The man atop the fire dragon appeared to be one of the nine suns. Their vision became fuzzy, leaving them with only their fear-filled, quivering hearts. They were unable to defeat this type of person, this kind of momentum, and this sort of fire dragon. It knocked the four elders back. The four of them were powerless against the impact of the earth fire and the strength of the earth fire's spirit. They were forced to back off. Before Wang Lin and the fire dragon, they were like ants even though their cultivation levels weren't low. Wang Lin was this person. Even though he had just reached the immortal astral continent, he was at the top of the cave world. It everything transpired in a matter of breaths. With a roar fit for a god, it stood atop the fire dragon. Hurrah! The roar was so loud that it broke the heavens and made the sky's cultivators spit up blood. Everyone withdrew, and nobody ventured to obstruct Wang Lin, they even cleared a way for him. The 100,000 foot body of the fire dragon materialized, lifting Wang Lin into the sky. Old ancestor is on his way back and will be here shortly, so we can't let him go. The middle aged man let out a harsh shout, his face pallid. We simply need to hold him for a bit. He lunged in Wang Lin's direction. The three that were left clenched their jaws and hurriedly fled. They were terrified, but they were much more terrified of the old ancestor's fury. Not even their nirvana void cultivation could withstand the anger of the old ancestor. At this point, the blue dragon sect as a whole was all but obliterated. The ancient ancestor's rage upon his return could only be imagined. Once again, the four of them raced toward Wang Lin. They would do all in their power to prevent Wang Lin from going. Wang Lin appeared composed upon the arrival of the four of them. He rushed into the sky, fusing with the fire dragon. He gave a damn about the four of them obstructing him. The fastest of them was a middle-aged man who materialized front of the fire dragon in an instant. He sealed his hands and applied pressure to the fire dragon. He gave voice to a heaven-shattering roar, and his face began to swell with veins. A little while later, the middle-aged man was accompanied by the elderly man with white hair. He sealed his hands and spit out essence blood by biting the tip of his tongue. The blood became a mist that obscured the fire dragon and appeared to be haunted by demonic spirits. And there were the two men and women. They both became enormous dragons that blocked all avenues. The fire dragon spoke in a chilly tone, mere fireflies dare to compete with the shining moon. A loud rumbling resounded as the fire dragon advanced on the middle-aged guy. There was a lot of water vapor all over the middle-aged man's body but it all quickly vanished. His skin was covered with fire spots, and his hair started to burn. His genesis soul and soul were wounded by this fire in addition to his body. This was, after all, the soul of an earth fire vein, not just any old earth fire. He was powerless against the soul of a branch of the earth's fire vein, not to mention how Wang Lin's startling cultivation increased the fire dragon's impact. The man in his middle age was unable to hold his breath. He had the impression that he was within the earth's and the heaven's fire. He would be reduced to ashes if he didn't flee. This was the first time that terror had overtaken his apprehension of the elderly ancestor. He backed away hundreds of feet and spat up blood without thinking twice. Then he retreated hysterically, coughing up blood once more. His arms were largely unburned where they had come into contact with the dragon. He had backed down, but the wind struck his arms and turned them to ashes. The dragon struck the white-haired old man's blood mist, causing it to collapse and crash back into the guy. His body gave way and his origin spirit fled with a terrified scream, leaving popping sounds in its wake. He was no longer brave enough to stop Wang Lin at this point. The fire dragon swept the two elders who had transformed into dragons. They fell into two collapsed dragons, coughing up blood. Similar to the elderly man with white hair, their bodies burst. Their original spirits fled with a feeling of terror they would never get over. Wang Lin and the fire dragon couldn't be delayed for even a second by the combined might of those four. 
The tens of thousands of students of the Blue Dragon sect remained silent as they saw this, every one of them gravely hurt by a single blow from the fire dragon. Wang Lin materialized atop the fiery dragon as it leapt into the sky, he peered down. No one was killed by me, the reason for today's issue is that your cult wanted to turn me into a puppet. Under everyone's terrified eyes, behave Wang Lin turned away from those icy words and took the fire dragon with her. He continued on and on till he vanished behind the horizon. One person could not be stopped for even a moment by an entire sect. All members of the Blue Dragon sect became quite familiar with Wang Lin as a result of his aura and power. Wang Lin was bound to become well known in the Heavenly Bull continent as a result of this conflict. The middle-aged man who had lost his limbs and the three seniors who had lost their bodies were still thinking one incense stick of time after Wang Lin had left when the middle-aged man began to quiver. A startling howl of rage resounded from around the earth. The world went dark as the roar erupted, and the fire on the ground went out, turning into wisps of black smoke that billowed into the sky. The four elders felt their hearts quiver at this sound. They noticed two bright rays approaching when they looked up, and one of the beams nearly tore the globe apart. Within the beam of light, there stood a young person. His teeth were white and his lips were crimson. His eyebrows resembled swords, and he should have been extremely attractive but the rage he displayed made him appear fierce. He moved too quickly, giving the impression that he was far away before appearing over the Blue Dragon sect. He gazed down at the ruins and thought to himself in silence. The four great elders felt a great deal of anxiety and fear from his silence. Another beam of light appeared at this precise instant and changed into a woman. This woman was really attractive and personable, but her attitude changed dramatically when she saw the ruins below. Without hesitation, she moved away from the young person. The youth spoke carefully and stated, Only I, Du Ching, can steal other people's things and destroy other sex caves. Whether he was happy or upset could not be determined, but a weird distortion spread across his physique. He appeared to transform into a wood-based person. No one has ever dared to destroy my sect, exclaimed the young man with a voice that would rock the heavens. The globe shook, a great deal of cloud was split apart, and a great deal of black smoke was dispersed as he shouted. This has never been attempted by anyone. Kill my sex adherents and destroy my sect, you are all dead. The young guy yelled as a horrible aura burst from his body, saying, if you're in the heavenly bull continent, you're dead. I'm going to capture you, I'm going to split you into pieces, I'm going to make you suffer for thousands of years, I'm going to make you regret. Before they all perished, the closest thousand disciples hardly had time to let out a cry. The young man swung around and made a move at a follower, saying, I'm going to kill you. The young man seized the disciple's head, and the disciple became terrified. His strong divine intuition forced fully penetrating the disciple's mind and soul. The fact that this was a follower of his religion didn't bother him at all. The disciple screamed in agony and passed away. A cloud of blood burst from his body. The youth's eyes vividly showed Wang Lin's appearance after he had the desired recollection. Shaking with fear, an elderly dragon-shaped figure uttered, Old. Old ancestor. That person is named Wang. He. He said he didn't kill anyone, old ancestor. It was only because someone attempted to turn him into a puppet that he destroyed the group. The middle-aged man who had lost his arms sighed and his heart skipped a beat as he was speaking. The old ancestor doesn't care about the blue dragon sex fate, he only cares about face. This sun man hasn't been in the Blue Dragon sect long enough to grasp the old ancestor's attitude. The kid turned around while the elderly man named Sun was speaking and gave him a fierce look. He killed thousands of disciples just now. As an elder, you should have stopped him even if you lost your body by blowing up your original soul. The kid extended toward the nothingness and said, I'm going to refine you into wood and seal you for 100 years as punishment because you didn't do your job. The elderly guy called Sun shuddered and turned to back away, but the young man grasped him before he could struggle to resist at all. Grey light entered the old man's body and infiltrated his original soul when the kid cast an unidentified magic on him. With a dejected howl, the old man's original spirit transformed into wood. The old man who had been transformed into wood collapsed to the ground as the young man released his grip. The wooden elderly man vanished and a vortex formed. The disciples of the Blue Dragon sect were all so horrified by this that not one of them dared to speak. I'll only give you three months to find this guy, so unleash the power of the entire sect to do it. All of you will perish in three months if you are unable to locate this person. 
Send out a notification to all of the bull continent, which is heavenly. The price will be paid by anyone who dares to protect this individual. Swiftly gliding across the immortal astral continent's sky was Wang Lin. His divine awareness expanded as he gradually became used to this strange new environment. I can use my divine sense to cover most of the subterranean world with my current cultivation level, but it feels like an invisible law is suppressing it here. Its size is only half of what it was in the world of caves. Since no divine sense from the Blue Dragon sect had extended to latch on to him at this moment, Wang Lin's assessment was undoubtedly made by everyone, not just by me. On the immortal astral continent, spatial bending also lost its effect. Wang Lin scowled and made numerous attempts, but he was unable to unite with the world. I shouldn't be the only one with this. The ancient progenitor of the Blue Dragon sect is not able to travel back in time, even though he is at the same early level of Void Tribulant as Old Ghost Jean and Seven Colored. He obviously isn't able to use spatial bending. Wang Lin raced across the skies while he considered this. Though they appeared to be the same, the worlds here and in the cave were very different, as far as he was aware. This place was real, and the subterranean world was not. He could not join with the immortal astral continent, but he could merge with the world of the subterranean world. He was therefore unable to employ spatial bending. There ought to be a way to accomplish that, but a greater level of cultivation is needed. Wang Lin thought in silence. Since he had just arrived, he was unfamiliar with everything. Luckily, he had looked through Kong Ren's recollections. He was still very ignorant, but his knowledge of the bull continent the Heavenly One was extensive. The two strongest sects on the Heavenly Bull Continent are the Guiyi Sect and the Great Soul Sect. This is the Heavenly Bull Continent in the Eastern Continent ruled by the Celestials. They belong to the 13 groups and 9 sects. Wang Lin felt confused. These two sects were not unfamiliar to him. There is also Yun Yifeng from Kong Ren's memory. This is the sect that has terrifying illusions, the Great Soul Sect, Fan Shan Meng, and Fan Shan Lu Sect. He has developed into the Guiyi Sect's genius. Wang Lin sighed, alas, I arrived late. Teacher probably thought I had died, so he didn't wait. But the fact that the Seven Dao Sect was situated on the Heavenly Bull Continent was what really moved him. The Heavenly Bull Continent, which is larger than several dozen cave planets, is just too large. Even at top speed, it would take hundreds of years to go from here to all 36 of the old country's states if spatial bending weren't used. Wang Lin scowled. The size of the immortal astral continent was just too great. Ignore it. I had to go look at the Seven Dao sect, no matter what. I promised teacher that if he is not there, I will go to the ancient Dao clan no matter how long it takes. This is the ultimate objective. I have to go to the Dong Lin sect first. Wang Lin's heart raced as he considered the secrets surrounding the Dong Lin pool. I have to utilize every trick in the book to get inside. But first, I still need to figure out what's wrong with the storage space. I wonder how the lunatic and the woman in silver are doing. Wang Lin was aware that these two were descended from the immortal astral continent, so they would be safe even if the storage space broke. He moved like a beam of light through the sky as he thought. After a while, even Wang Lin found this type of flying which solely required his cultivation to be intolerable. It was not a smart idea to summon the Mosquito King here since he was too special. Half a month later, a massive mountain range loomed before Wang Lin. As far as the eye could see, there were numerous connected mountains. There must have been more than 10,000 mountains based only on a quick look. The Bull Continent, dubbed Heavenly, was dotted with mountains. Wang Lin had witnessed this first hand over the previous two and a half months, and he had learned of it from Kong Ren's memories. This place is pretty good, Wang Lin exclaimed, darting into the mountain range below as his eyes brightened. He raced to the entrance of an ordinary-looking mountain. With a wave of his hand, Wang Lin caused the mountain's interior to vanish, revealing a massive stone cave. It became Wang Lin's makeshift cave. He took a seat inside the mountain and sealed himself with his hands. Various limitations materialized and settled atop the peak. He was limited to using constraints to conceal his aura because he was unable to remove any riches. Wang Lin continued to carry the Heaven Avoidance Coffin on his back even after fortifying the mountain and closing it off. The land of caves was not like the immortal astral continent. He needed to exercise caution in order to avoid mishaps as there were numerous strong cultivators in this area. He would only feel safe carrying it on his back. That Kong Ren has a storage area as well, but it's not the same as the cave worlds. 
he unlocked the storage compartment within himself. There are therefore no limitations and he is free to remove things whenever he pleases. Although this type of approach is somewhat enigmatic, it is not anything I have never seen before. This was done by the Celestials from the Land of Caves. I should have prepared back then. The Seven Dao sect members all used the same method. Wang Lin shook his head. He was wily, but not smart enough to hide everything. Wang Lin lifted his right hand as he sat there. He started to waver. He was unable to predict the repercussions of opening the storage area. In the cave world, my storage space opened. There would have been some interruption even if I had opened it in the empty. Wang Lin had a headache. After all, the vacuum is still connected to the cave world. But what should I do now that I'm on the immortal astral continent? He waved and glanced at his right hand. Before he could remove anything, he saw a rift open in front of him, but as soon as it did, it vanished into little points of light. Though Wang Lin had a serene expression, his conjectures shone in his eyes. He'd made the storage area he just opened to house odd garbage. He wouldn't lose anything of value even if it vanished. He had experimented with it to support his theories. Not every object will fall apart. They will scatter into the unknown, some of them damaged. Wang Lin thought about it. It is necessary to remove the blood sword and the golden print that the teacher solidified. It is really helpful to me and has the strength of an early arcane void cultivator. The soul lasher, too. Its area of expertise is the Genesis soul. It would be unfortunate if it vanished into the storage area. Additionally, there is the ghostly sail puppet and the ESI puppet, who are both as powerful as a void tribulant cultivator. Wang Lin felt a headache and rubbed his temples. As he hesitated, word spread that someone by the name of Wang had started the earth fire, destroyed three seniors' bodies and the arms of another, burned the Blue Dragon sect, and killed hundreds of disciples. The sect of Blue Dragon was enraged. All of the disciples were launched on a mad search by them. Because they were dissatisfied with the Blue Dragon sect, many sects laughed at this situation. But they gave in because of Du Qing's cultivation level and his ties to the Great Soul sect. They were all secretly relieved to learn that the Blue Dragon sect had suffered such a big loss, with thousands of disciples dying and the four seniors suffering terrible injuries. As for helping with the hunt for the enigmatic individual, it was all surface work. Nonetheless, several sects collaborated completely in the effort to find Wang Lin. The Bull Continent, dubbed Heavenly, was just too large. Even news this dramatic didn't travel very far, it just traveled locally. Big sects like the Great Soul Sect or the Guiyi Sect, on the other hand, hardly ever gave such things much thought. After a few days, there were absolutely no hints. Du Qing, the ancient ancestor of the Blue Dragon Sect, became more enraged. He ventured outside and searched the neighborhood with his divine sense, but he came up empty-handed. The Heavenly Bull Continent was, after all, just too big. It would be as hard to find someone hiding as it is to find a needle in the ocean. The divine awareness of the followers of the Blue Dragon sect surged across the mountain that Wang Lin was on. But they were too far away and Wang Lin's limitations were too great for them to locate any hints. No one else would notice an anomaly until Du Qing personally visited. Though he was furious, he was unlikely to come and personally inspect in the absence of a definite location. The Blue Dragon sex search didn't get any less rigorous over time in fact, it got more so. This was observed by Wang Lin while he was considering how to unlock his storage area so that he could remove his riches. Wang Lin was contemplating his storage space during this month, but he was also taking in the heavenly energy to fuel his body. He was also examining how the essences here differed from his own essences. He gradually picked up on certain hints. There was no difference between the immortal astral continent and the cave world when it came to the ethereal essences. After all, Wang Lin's own knowledge generated the ethereal essences. But the physical essences such as the fire essence had transformed. The essences of fire, thunder, and water that had partially completed themselves were all the same. Not much changed in terms of the slaughter and restriction essences, albeit some did. Wang Lin opened his eyes on this day as he was seated within the cave, saying, it's almost time, I can't hesitate anymore. His eyes were resolute. He was not a person of indecisiveness. He would not have been so hesitant if the storage space hadn't been too vital. But now was the time to make a choice. Even if it gets ruined, I have to remove a few things. Since I can amass so much and find new treasures in the immortal astral continent, the majority of items are irrelevant. Additionally, if I move quickly, the storage area might not totally collapse. 
Wang Lin had made up his mind and was not debating anymore. Without seeping out, his entire cultivation extended and gathered inside the cave. His cultivation was still condensing in the cave, and this caused the surroundings to warp. This distortion gave the impression that everything in the cave had solidified, resembling a slow-moving ripple. Though not entirely solidified, this might slow down anything in this place. In order to delay the collapse of the storage area, he extended his entire cultivation to create the impression that the cave was a swamp. And time was what Wang Lin required. Wang Lin inhaled deeply as the environment calmed down and his aura had fully extended. His left hand shot up, and his eyes brightened. The stop spell collected on his index finger as he made a seal. He clenched his teeth and raised his right hand, reaching at the nothingness in front of him. He had done this many times before, but he had never been this frightened doing it. A fissure sprang up in front of him as he extended his hand. Wang Lin used this gap as a storage area. The stop spell that Wang Lin had collected on his left hand pointed forward as soon as the rift emerged. He had used the stop spell numerous times, and it had long since changed as he gained more knowledge of it. These days, it stops not just people but also time, space, spells, and treasures. Wang Lin, however, was unsure of his ability to prevent the storage area he had transported from the subterranean world to the immortal astral continent from collapsing. A ghostly light emerged from within as soon as the fissure developed, and there were indications that it was about to collapse. But time slowed down due to the cave's solidification, and the stop spell momentarily stopped the collapse. However, it barely hesitated briefly before collapsing violently. Wang Lin had a laser-like focus. His heavenly instinct kicked in like mad just as the storage area opened, ready to empty everything out. But Wang Lin did not have enough time to process everything during that break. He saw rift after rift open up in his storage area. The lunatic and the silver-clad woman approached a gap and vanished inside. While some valuables did not fall, the rifts consumed those that did. Wang Lin was unable to halt it all since it happened so quickly. His divine sense split into multiple copies before he could even perceive what he had taken out. They left their imprints on the treasures that vanished and followed the valuables into the rifts. He closed and vanished the storage area that hadn't collapsed in order to stop it from falling in the future. Wang Lin perspired profusely after a few while. His eyes were crimson and his breathing was shallow as he stared forward, thinking. A golden pattern and a bleeding sword hovered in front of him. The golden print emanated the aura of Void Tribulant, and the crimson blade was laden with murderous intent. Additionally, a hint of the Grand Empyrean aura was there, indicating that one of the Nine Suns generated this. It doesn't matter that some insignificant treasures broke, what matters is that they fell. Three treasures, meanwhile, remained intact and were captured by the rifts. Maybe one day I'll locate them, because I was ready and had bestowed my heavenly intuition upon them. Oh, madman, and that silver-clothed woman. Wang Lin exhaled deeply. He had given it his all. The ESI puppet is still there and wasn't carried away by the strong collapse. Wang Lin said as she dispersed the solidification aura surrounding him and the cave gradually returned to normal. I should be able to open my storage space a few more times, but each time I open it, the collapse will get worse until it is destroyed completely, Wang Lin said. Wang Lin's eyes brightened as he studied the blood sword and golden print in front of him. He lifted his right hand and applied the technique he had learned from Kong Ren to create a storage place inside his body. There was a split on his right wrist. There was total darkness within the chasm, and a suction force emerged from within. Before it vanished from Wang Lin's wrist, it absorbed the blood sword and the golden print. Accessing a storage area through one's lineage. Only the people of the immortal astral continent are perfectly capable of doing something like this. As Wang Lin thought, the blood sword shot out of his right hand and vanished in a blaze of crimson light. The golden print in Wang Lin's right palm materialized together with a golden light. This occurred multiple times until Wang Lin was comfortable with the procedure. He needed to ensure that he wouldn't inadvertently cause irreparable damage during a combat by accidentally opening his storage area. It was only then that he felt secure. What if I misplaced some valuables? Wang Lin peered out, seemingly able to see the darker sky beyond the mountain and thinking, I can obtain more treasures on the immortal astral continent. Greed, I'm looking forward to our first reunion on the immortal astral continent. As long as he is here, I'll not be short of treasures. I just need to meet him to solve a lot of problems, Wang Lin said with a hint of a smile. But that greed is really peculiar. Like Qing Shui, 
He is a portion of the soul of the seven-colored celestial sovereign, but unlike Xing Shui, he managed to escape the cave realm. Xian Luo also provided assistance, though it is unclear why this is the case. Wang Lin had been thinking about this topic for a while, but he was unable to come up with a guess. Forget it, I might learn more when I encounter greed in the future. Further contemplation would be futile. I have to figure out how to put out this earth fire and my fire essence first. Du Qing of the Blue Dragon sect is not weak, and if he finds me, it will be a bloody struggle. Wang Lin said with a chilly look in his eyes, I've just entered the immortal astral continent and don't want to cause too much trouble, but it seems like I have to be a bit more high profiled so I can have a solid footing. There was an opulent palace in the Celestial's imperial capital. This palace resembled a heavenly palace and was hundreds of feet tall. The palace's golden light was stunning. Visible even from a great distance was the blinding light. A middle-aged guy wearing an imperial robe with nine dragons was sitting on a massive dragon chair in the vast hall. This man had closed his eyes, as though he was dreaming, but now he opened them. The aura emanating from his noble blood stretched out, and his pupils like suns. A pressure beyond description emanated from his body. The middle-aged man wearing the imperial robe flashed his eyes and reached toward the void in front of him. The imperial teacher has divined that Deo Fei's disappearance won't be life-threatening and that it will be a fortune. Now that his aura has appeared in the God's burial, let's bring him back. A woman was standing next to him. A vortex emerged in the hallway as the middle-aged guy dressed in the imperial robe reached out. A spectral light emerged. It seems to lead somewhere unknowable. The man in the imperial robe drew two fuzzy shadows out of the vortex as a howling sound reverberated inside it. The insane man and the silver-clad woman were the unconscious man and woman. The middle-aged man looked at the crazy, ignoring the woman in silver. With a frown, he moved onward. The middle-aged man put his right hand on the madman's chest as he moved forward, feeling his body float unnaturally in midair. The lunatic felt a strong cosmic force surge into his body. The madman's body began to burst in an instant, resembling thunder resounding across the hallway. The divine force was so strong that it flowed through the madman's body like a river. It released the madman's bloodline power and unlocked the restricted meridians. The lunatic, however, remained comatose and did not awaken. Eh. The middle-aged man frowned and waved his sleeve. Behind him materialized the shadow of a massive sun that soon engulfed the entire palace before extending far into the universe. A golden sun shrouded the palace, even from a distance. The middle-aged man waved his right hand and placed it on the madman's breast, saying, Deo Fei, wake up. The lunatic felt a surge of golden divine light enter his body and head toward him. It opened up several closed blood arteries and veins right away. A filthy aura that had accumulated for countless years was dispersed after they were opened. Big brother, at this point, the lunatic opened his eyes and his face grew scarlet. He coughed out a mouthful of blood and passed out once more, letting out a yell of astonishment. The sun's shadow gradually vanished behind the middle-aged man as his eyebrows relaxed. Two strands of golden smoke rose in the hall as the majestic voice boomed, send Prince Deo Fei to rest. This woman, send her as well. They changed into two women, and they took the unconscious lunatic and the woman in silver out of the hall after bowing to the guy in the imperial robe. Sitting on the dragon chair, the guy in the imperial robe thought for a while before slowly closing his eyes. Deo Fei has been absent for a long time. I need to talk to him when he wakes up since I don't know what occurred and he was hurt so horribly. His bloodline also became a little weaker. Right now Wang Lin was in the cave he had made inside a mountain. A sea of fire enveloped his body as his hands formed a seal. Behind him, the sea of fire blazed brightly and gradually transformed into a massive vermilion bird. The sea of fire burned even hotter as the vermilion bird circled over Wang Lin. He had created a new storage area inside his body and placed the heaven-avoiding coffin he had been carrying the entire time. Right then, the fire surrounding him transformed into seven fire dragons that shot straight into his left eye as his hand sealed itself. In an instant, they were absorbed by his left eye, creating an imprint of fire there. With the fire's light no longer present in the cave, the imprint flashed and was incredibly striking. It is incompatible with the earth fire of this heavenly bull continent. My own fire essence has already evolved and is even somewhat stronger than when I was in the cave world. A master needs to choose between the two fires. Elsewise, another person with fire essence will be able to discern an issue quickly. 
Wang Lin had already spent a month at the immortal astral continent and had already seen the variations, also, the earth fire here is too different, which disadvantages me. He had complete control over all the fire in the subterranean world. He never had to worry about using up his fire essence, just like the emperor of fire. He could easily regain it as long as he continued to breathe. But out on the immortal astral continent, things were different. His fire essence was an outsider as well, making him an outsider overall. He would have a very hard time regaining his fire power. In the blue dragon sect, although it appeared easy for Wang Lin to retrieve the soul of the earth fire, it was not easy when he faced a stronger opponent. This was not an issue if he faced a weaker opponent. Although he didn't actually need to remove the soul in order to leave the blue dragon sect, he did so in order to verify that the fire was being rejected in this location. The force of rejection was incredibly powerful. After leaving the blue dragon sect, the fire dragon attempted to revolt against Wang Lin's coercive influence. Ultimately, the fire dragon subsided into the earth as a result of Wang Lin's suppression. The fire here is rejecting us quite strongly. I don't need the immortal astral continent's fire to recognize me, as it doesn't recognize me. Wang Lin's eyes showed a chilly stare. I'll stifle it and absorb it to strengthen myself. He snorted coldly and closed his eyes. The origin soul of Wang Lin burst into his left eye, transforming into a vermilion bird that shot forth. Wang Lin's primal soul produced the vermilion bird. It rose to a high temperature inside the cave before submerging. Underneath every mountain, a vast earth fire vein ran the length of the heavenly bull continent. Wang Lin sensed oppressive heat rising from below at the exact moment his primal soul submerged. Although Wang Lin was unaffected by this aura, the origin soul was severely damaged by it. He sent forth a heat wave from his body to fight against the ground fire as he charged toward the bottom. Everything that he saw was different from what he saw while he was in his physical body since his origin soul was underground. Here, there were just fire sparks rather than soil. It appeared to be a fiery world. A roar sounded in the distance as he descended into the earth. The primordial spirit would definitely feel this roar, even though it was audible to the human senses. A stronger heat wave rushed at Wang Lin at the sound of the roar. The heat wave's inside temperature is so high that it might melt all valuables and scorch every living thing. A brief moment of iciness appeared in Wang Lin's eyes. This roar was more akin to a challenge, representing the collision of two distinct fire kinds at their meeting point. Wang Lin's vermilion bird howled sharply as the roar reverberated. The cry of the vermilion bird was this howl. The cry became into a jagged blade that sliced through the earth in the direction of the roar's origin. Wang Lin charged deep beneath, moving very quickly. Every few breaths, he traversed immeasurable distances and soon found himself at the source of the noise. It was a massive, violent-looking fire dragon that radiated a crimson light and was hundreds of feet in length. Coiled there, glaring at Wang Lin's vermilion bird, was this fire dragon. Wang Lin approached, and it roared again. This was a really startling scene. The vermilion bird and the dragon squared off in this underworld realm. When their cries and roars collided, a firefight broke out between them. If one were here, their naked eyes would see something entirely different from what their heavenly senses would sweep by. All they would be able to witness was a massive, crimson, fire vein that seemed to go on forever as it was buried into the earth. The fiery dragon that was howling at Wang Lin was this enormous fire vein, it was the fire vein's branches spirit. In a similar vein, one would not perceive a vermilion bird if they were to gaze at Wang Lin's vermilion bird with the naked eye. All they would witness would be a fire that originated somewhere and was incompatible with the fire there. There was only one term for fire in this universe, and while flames could occasionally stand in for fire, they could never truly replace the word fire. The fire was oppressive. It could only merge into one, it couldn't coexist. With a roar, the fire dragon lunged forward. Its body was encircled by dense fire, which shot at Wang Lin's vermilion bird. It parted its lips, ready to eat the vermilion bird. Wang Lin's vermilion bird has brilliant eyes that showed no signs of flinching. Wang Lin was not capable of retreating due to the soul of a single branch of the fire vein. The vermilion bird hissed as it lunged at the fire dragon's mouth. Wang Lin's divine sense echoed beneath with the overwhelming power of fire. Every fire in this world must listen to my command and worship me as its master. Even the fire of the immortal astral continent must obey. After devouring the vermilion bird, the fire dragon displayed a distressed expression. Its body contorted, and flames shot out of it. The flaming dragon gradually revealed the vermilion bird. 
It grew enormous until it covered the fire dragon, at which point it became visible. It kept absorbing the fire from the fire dragon even after it became evident. The fire dragon grew stronger, yet its roar grew softer. But the fire dragon started to resist even more fiercely as it was being swallowed. Where Wang Lin was, thunderous rumbles resounded above ground. Everything burned as flames shot out of the ground, causing the earth to quake and split open. This was not a protracted process. The fire that was shooting out of the ground instantly contracted and vanished back into the earth's crevices after one incense stick of time. The vermilion bird was now fully visible, and the dragon had given up battling. When it opened its eyes, a chilly stare was seen. My fire essence has strengthened so much after absorbing the soul of a branch of the fire vein. The vermilion bird transformed into a sea of fire and charged to the surface. It returned to the left eye of Wang Lin. When Wang Lin's primordial soul returned, his body shook and he opened his eyes. Wang Lin's eyes displayed an odd brightness as he glanced at the ground, saying, This was a rare and large supplement for me. Someone must have noticed the alteration in the earth fire vein. Staying here is not convenient. Wang Lin lifted his sleeve and gestured. He removed every last restriction that was in place. Wang Lin was careful not to give the persons pursuing him any information, especially considering his aptitude for restraint. An additional layer of mystery provided an additional layer of security on this weird continent. The limitations vanished into thin air. It would be difficult to tell if they were formed by a treasure or by a person, even if someone saw. Wang Lin torched the cave's walls more than a foot through while waving his sleeves, leaving no trace. Wang Lin left the cave and stood in the sky after completing all of this. There were no clouds in the pure and gorgeous sky. Wang Lin swiftly took off into the distance while inhaling the energy of the immortal astral continent. With lightning speed, he vanished into the distance like a beam of light. He was moving more quickly than previously. He took off at full speed at this point and quickly covered more than 100,000 kilometers. The light broke through this mountain range on the third day after Wang Lin's departure. Du Qing, the ancient ancestor of the Blue Dragon sect, was one of these rays of light. He gave the mountain a melancholy glance before placing his palm on its summit. A massive wooden arm that was more than 1,000 feet thick appeared, and the world trembled. It crashed into the mountain and was engulfed in flames. A deafening roar sounded, and the mountain gave apart, sending many pieces flying. The ground fire here underwent a transformation three days ago. Du Qing waved his arm as he declared, killing intent appeared in my eyes. That cultivator named Wang was obviously hiding here despicable, I have used my full speed but was still late. Leave this area and carry on your search. Taking a deep breath and bawling his fist, Bull Continent Du Qing said, I don't think he can escape from the heavenly dot. It appears that I will need to seek assistance from the Great Soul Sect if this individual hides. It will be challenging to discover him. Wang Lin had no intention of avoiding the opposing group. He could choose a distant mountain and hide within if he truly wanted to hide. Eight or ten years later, there would be no more issues. He had departed primarily because he had discovered something that could significantly feed his fire essence. Wang Lin's divine perception extended, enveloping the planet as he flew across the sky. His delight was reflected in his brilliant eyes. There are thousands, if not more, branching of the earth fire vein on this heavenly bull continent. Should I take in every one of them, including the primary earth fire vein? Will I develop a true essence body similar to what I had in the Dong Lin pool? Wang Lin's breathing became labored as he considered this. He hazarded a guess that none had ever taken in the fire from the bull continent, which was considered heavenly. They were all now third step cultivators having learned to recognize the fire and understand its essence. If their essence was sufficiently potent and they attained a particular cultivation level, they might ascend to the position of Fire King. Ultimately, nevertheless, it differed greatly from Wang Lin. Since Wang Lin was not from the immortal astral continent, he was unable to understand the fire in this place. There would inevitably be rejection because he failed to get the fire's acknowledgement in this place. It was akin to obeying the heavens will while rebelling against them. However, Wang Lin was also going to significantly enhance his fire essence by consuming an earth fire soul as a result of this. No one from the subterranean worlds has ever been able to leave by force on their own, according to Xian Luo. I did not grow up on the immortal astral continent since I did not reincarnate here. It's not a dangerous place for me, the immortal astral continent is a treasure trove, Wang Lin exclaimed as he advanced into yet another mountain range. This mountain had no signs of fire and was entirely green. 
But using Wang Lin's fire essence, he was able to sense a massive fire dragon that was dozing beneath the mountain. The fire dragon unexpectedly opened its eyes the instant Wang Lin's sight touched it. Through the flames, Wang Lin was met with a sea of fire that served as its eyes. Hurrah! The ground shook and a roar resounded. The top of the mountain wavered as if a strong wind were coursing through the range. Ordinary folks, however, were unable to hear it. It would be challenging for even cultivators to detect. This howl of intense rejection was audible only to Wang Lin, someone with a different kind of fire essence. Wang Lin snorted coldly and his eyes brightened. An insignificant vain spirit dares to scream at me? What bravery Wang Lin shown by moving forward and landing atop a mountain. Abruptly, he extended his right hand below him. Take out the earth fire soul. A sea of fire erupted from the soil below and the mountain rumbled as his right hand lifted up. Gravel flew everywhere as Wang Lin watched as the mountain under her toppled. A fire dragon's head shot out of the toppled mountain. The blue sky turned fiery red, almost as if it was burning, the instant it emerged. Lava gushed out of the earth, causing crackling noises to reverberate throughout the planet. Compared to the dragon Wang Lin had sucked, this one was a little larger. Its fire may have destroyed a spirit void cultivator in its entirety. The fire dragon roared, its enormous head slamming at Wang Lin as it closed in. It appeared to be a fiery meteor falling from the sky directly at Wang Lin. Any cultivator would have to alter their expression due to this startling momentum. Wang Lin, on the other hand, maintained a composed demeanor throughout, even displaying coldness in his eyes. He lifted his right hand and punched the fire dragon as it charged toward him. Around the world, rumblings of thunder were audible. Wang Lin's body shook a little, but he remained motionless for the entire step. But the fire dragon's head exploded, and it gave out a sad roar. The fire dragon showed indications of regenerating and transformed into a sea of fire before it collapsed. The dragon's eyes reformed first, and they blinked with rage. Wang Lin, though, prevented the fire dragon from changing. His left eye glowed with fire as he took a step forward. He saw a vermilion bird in his eye, and it lunged at the fire monster. Wang Lin's commanding voice resounded throughout the universe as the vermilion bird consumed, saying, Soul of the Earth Fire, you still don't know your place. The vermilion bird swallowed the fire dragon's crushed head as its body shook. The earth shook and the hues of the world shifted as the absorption grew. The vermilion bird consumed the entire fire dragon, transforming it into a sea of fire. The vermilion bird's body grew to hundreds of thousands of feet wide after absorbing two earth fire souls. The whole sky appeared to be obscured by it. The vermilion bird let out a heaven-shattering cry as the fire roared. This cry became a wave that centered on the vermilion bird and expanded outward. Wang Lin advanced and rose to his feet atop the vermilion bird's head. A sea of fire engulfed his body. The vermilion bird cried out and lunged ahead at once. It appeared to be a cloud of flames traveling forward from a distance. Wang Lin was pleased by this growth because, in the subterranean world, his fire essence had stopped evolving. He could definitely feel it getting stronger. Wang Lin had believed that his fire essence had run its course and was no longer available. He could never quite put his hands on what was missing, but he always felt as though something was lacking. Wang Lin didn't find a door to a higher path until he came to the Dong Lin pool inside the fifth bloom. It gave him the knowledge that his fire essence could create an essence real body, and he would never forget the overwhelming sensation that occurred when this happened. The most basic alteration was that he was using two spells instead of just one, which combined to create a much more potent spell than Wang Lin had ever dreamed conceivable. His fire essence was stronger now, getting closer to becoming an actual essence body. Raising his level of cultivation was the most thrilling thing to do in this new land full of strong cultivators. Wang Lin rode the enormous vermilion bird onward without pausing. His celestial senses extended, searching for the next vein of fire. Two days after Wang Lin departed, a light beam appeared in the distance. This time, Du Qing, the ancient ancestor of the Blue Dragon sect, arrived quite quickly and was a little taken aback when he touched down. With his eyes fixed on the mountains below, his lids quirked. There's a problem. It could be an accident if he changes the earth fire vein once or twice, but since this is the third time, it is clear that he is doing it on purpose. But why is he doing it? Du Qing scowled. It eluded him to solve. When he landed on a mountain, his heavenly intuition expanded. He examined the earth closely and continued his search below ground. He gasped at this, and his face drastically changed. 
The ground fire burned brightly for a while before fading away. Even if a cultivator possessed the fire essence, they would not dare to forcefully absorb the earth fire because it is dead and he is absorbing it. When it's finished, their bodies will probably reject it, and the heavenly bull continent's earth fire will attack them. How did he do it? What action will he take? Ching had a look of terror in her eyes. There was no one, as far as he knew, who could take in and consume the earth fire vein. To gain notoriety, the cultivators possessing fire essence had all made sacrifices to the flames. Nobody could or had ever dared to devour. Du Ching raised his gaze to the far-off sky. He had the hazy impression that the person he was pursuing was a terrible being. He could not help but feel a great deal of trepidation in his heart. He wasn't sure if he ought to keep going after her. After a long while, Du Ching's eyes were chilly and he gritted his teeth. I refuse to give up at this point. I had to catch up and have a peek, no matter what. I'll kill him if all of this is merely a delusion of power. However, if his cultivation level is good and on PAR with mine, then I need to adjust my viewpoint. It is impossible to undo the destruction of the Blue Dragon sect. Should he become a member of the Blue Dragon sect? Du Ching, the elder ancestor, would significantly boost the sect's influence. He was temperamental, but it did not mean that his intellect was normal. Once he had made up his mind, Du Ching reached out to the empty space in front of him, and a paper crane materialized. When he flung it, it spread out and became a smoke crane. It cried out and shot ahead. Du Ching trailed it out into the horizon. This guy won't be able to get away for very long with this strange treasure from the Great Soul Sect. A massive, fiery vermilion bird shot out of the heavenly bull continent as a loud rumble shook the whole planet. The globe grew warped and the ground dried out, seeming as though it would soon fall. Wang Lin perched atop the vermilion bird's head, his eyes gleaming brightly, his white hair flapped. He had been consuming the second earth fire soul for five days now. Wang Lin had not wasted any time at this time, instead, he had been advancing quickly. He would absorb the soul of whatever earth fire vein he came across. Wang Lin had consumed nine earth fire veins in the last 30 days. Once the two from before were combined, the number of earth fire dragon souls increased to 11. Wang Lin's eyes appeared to go crimson as he continued to eat frantically because his fire essence was now more potent than it had been in the cave world, having more than doubled in intensity. Wang Lin had known for a long time that he was being pursued. He knew exactly who was pursuing him, even if he hadn't seen them. This individual had to be the Void Tribulant Du Ching, the ancient ancestor of the Blue Dragon sect. It was not hard to study this issue. It showed confidence in one's might that they dared to follow him for such a long time. Only the ancient ancestor of the Blue Dragon sect has the strength among all the people Wang Lin had irritated since arriving on the immortal astral continent. The old ancestor is believed by Kong Ren to be in the early stages of Void Tribulant, but Kong Ren is not qualified to know whether that is true or not. It is possible that Du Qing's cultivation level was based solely on Ken Ren's memories, and Wang Lin would not accept that he had gone through nine arcane tribulants to reach the early stage of Void Tribulant, or that he was still in the arcane tribulant stage. Wang Lin's eyes brightened, and the vermilion bird beneath him roared startlingly. The vermilion bird grew quicker the more earth fire veins it consumed. While it was not as swift as the Mosquito King, it was nearly as quick as Wang Lin. The vermilion bird gave a loud cry and vanished from sight. A half day later, Du Qing emerged as a ray of light closed in. After pursuing Wang Lin for almost two months, he was getting closer to her, but his attitude was growing more and more depressed. He had spotted nine fire veins that had faded away in the last six weeks. His level of shock increased as the feeling of incredulity grew stronger and stronger. His very first ideas started to waver. Goddamn, another location, how many more will this person eat before he stops? How am I going to chase? Du Qing's scalp became numb as he saw the withered earth fire vein below. How could I dare to keep chasing? Not only will I be unable to compete with him by the time I catch up, but he will also harm me. Then my quest will turn into a big joke. Du Qing keeps thinking about this. After a brief moment of hesitation, he roared at the sky. He intended to take a chance. He wasn't going to back down like this until he saw the other party's precise cultivation level. I'm actually only at my seventh arcane tribulant, but I've told the outside world that I'm in the early stages of void tribulant. My firewood body, however, is significantly stronger than that of typical cultivators. My physical makeup is similar to that of the inhabitants of that ancient nation. 
Even if his cultivation level is equivalent to mine, his body can't be as powerful. Du Qing seemed to have found confidence in his roar. I don't think I can't fight him. With the smoke crane as his guide, he charged even more quickly. The vermilion bird beneath Wang Lin had grown much bigger after seven days. As it flew, it appeared to cover the sky. He has taken in three earth fire dragon souls during the past seven days. Wang Lin's fire had become much more powerful due to the 14 earth fire souls. Compared to the cave world, it had double the power. Du Qing's face was pallid as he arrived to the withering fire vein Wang Lin was previously at, behind him. He had never experienced the kind of torment he was going during these days of pursuit. He had witnessed the withering earth fire veins one after another. This type of torment was not affecting the body, only the mind. It was enough of this feeling to drive him insane. To avoid this torment, he would sooner never pursue Wang Lin or harm his own cultivation in the process of fighting Wang Lin. Four days later, the sound of a dragon's roar gradually faded in a different region of the bull continent, the Heavenly One. A massive vermilion bird emerged from beneath the surface. Du Qing's figure reappeared after 30 minutes. He gazed at the soil for a considerable amount of time, bewildered. 16. Du Qing was wondering now if Wang, this mystery individual, was a soul of the earth fire vein. Two days later, at the most mountainous region of the northern bull continent the heavenly section. There was no sign of vegetation, and the mountain ranges stretched on forever. The entire space was pitch black, lending an ominous vibe. The earth was fractured and dry, and there seemed to be a burning glow that radiated out into nothingness. It was a fairly isolated location, and not many cultivators visited. This was a silent spot most of the time, but right now something startling erupted from these mountains' depths. Wang Lin had never heard a roar like this one before, it was the roar of the fire dragon spirit. The earth trembled and this roar seemed almost real. He was not the only living thing who could hear it. This was a soul strong enough to produce a true roar, not just a soul roar. Wang Lin was unable to consume this earth vein after consuming so many others since it held such a dreadful soul. A massive vermilion bird emerged from the mountain, and Wang Lin glanced back at the creature. The mountain range that extended for hundreds of thousands of feet crumbled behind him. A fire dragon charged up, its body unknown in size but with a head 100,000 feet in diameter. This fire dragon appeared to be real, yet it was obviously a soul. It was clear that this branch possessed significantly greater strength than a typical branch. Wang Lin's eyes gleamed, this is a child branch and not a sub-branch. He had looked around thoughtfully earlier. He was much more sure of his conjecture after realizing the soul's strength. Many smaller branches could branch off from a major fire vein. A kid branch was quite different, though. It may have formerly been a part of the main vein, but it has since split off and developed into its own existence. In essence, a kid vein was the main vein's offspring. There was no distinction between it and the main vein other than strength. I wonder how many veins belong to children in the heavenly bull continent. Obviously, not too many. Eating a kid vein is equivalent to eating a significant number of subveins. There's no reason to let it go now that I've encountered it. The vermilion bird beneath Wang Lin cried out and spun around in the sky. It lunged toward the approaching dragon soul, Earth Fire. The dragon spirit of Earth Fire was ferocious, and vast swathes of fire engulfed the sky, encompassing hundreds of thousands of feet. Wang Lin and his vermilion bird were among them. The fire consumed all of the breathable air, sealing off the surrounding area. The smoke was black. Everything in this area became hazy at the same moment that even the surrounding space started to warp. The enormous fire dragon was the only one to close in, charging at Wang Lin's vermilion bird with its despotic character evident in its fierce gaze. Wang Lin gave a sardonic snort. Despite the strength of this kid vein, which was comparable to that of a mid-stage arcane void cultivator, Wang Lin was unable to back down. He pointed at the fire dragon while forming a seal with his right hand. As soon as Wang Lin's words reverberated, 16 fire dragons surrounded the vermilion bird and charged at the approaching fire dragon. 16 earth fire branch veins, appear in my name. At this precise instant, a light beam approached from a distance. At last, Du Qing had caught up. He saw the hundreds of feet wide flame that resembled a cloud. His body began to shake as soon as he heard the flame roar. His once young physique developed cracks, and he changed into a purple wooden man. Fire shot from his body and encircled him as he transformed into a wooden man, but the wood was unharmed in the slightest. Du Qing was a fire essence as well. 
The roar symbolized the fire of the heavenly bull sect, and Du Qing was a fire essence cultivator acknowledged by the heavenly bull continent, which is why the fire essence had appeared on its own. Had it been a regular vein, Du Qing's fire essence would not have been impacted, but it may have that impact because this child vein was the same as the major vein. Du Qing's face took a turn. His eyes fell on the distant plume of fire. He was able to witness the bizarre sight of sixteen fire dragons and a vermilion bird consuming a fire dragon that was concealed by flames. On top of the vermilion bird's head stood someone else with white hair. In the fire, his white garments stood out a lot. Even though Du Qing could only see the rear, he thought he was staring at a mountain. When Du Qing saw him, his eyes gleamed. Right now, he's attempting to eat this earth fire. He cannot consume it as easily because this earth fire is not like others. The time to kill him is now. Du Qing cast a determined look. Without hesitation, he charged into the flames. Du Qing noticed Wang Lin. Wang Lin sensed Du Qing outside the fire as well as inside it. Du Qing emanated an aura that was eerily similar to Void Tribulant. Wang Lin could feel this even more clearly when his body turned to wood. Wang Lin maintained a composed expression. He was expected to be caught up to as he had known for a long time that Du Qing was pursuing him. He didn't panic or even give Du Qing a second thought at this point. Charged at the approaching fire dragon created by the infant earth fire vein were the sixteen fire dragons and the vermilion bird. The two didn't live too far away. The two sides crashed into each other as they got closer. Even though Du Qing wanted to charge in, he was a step too slow. The sixteen fire dragons were the first to come in contact with the young earth vein soul, and a thundering rumbling echoed over the planet. The moment the two clashed, Wang Lin pointed down as he stood on the head of the vermilion bird. The sixteen fire dragons roared and coiled around the infant earth fire vein like chains, binding it down. The spirit of the vein let out a loud howl. At the same time, the vermilion bird beneath Wang Lin charged out and overlapped with the kid earth fire vein soul. It began its wild consume and fusing. All of this happened in an instant. From Du Qing's perspective, everything had happened smoothly without any delay. The kid earth fire vein soul's body twisted and it continued to roar. It was no longer furious but exhibited a sorrowful expression. One could vaguely see the vermilion bird inside it and the white-haired Wang Lin standing between the horns on its head. Wang Lin raised his left hand and commanded the sixteen chains made by the fire dragons. He appeared to be grasping the shackles. Any farmer who witnessed this would have their heart shaken by the awful scene. Fire enveloped Wang Lin as though he were the fire emperor. It appeared as though the dragon beneath him had to give way in order to become his mount. Heaven shaking was the dragon's roar. At this very moment, Du Qing surged forward through the sea of fire, closing in on Wang Lin. Wang Lin looked up just as Du Qing got closer. With Wang Lin's left hand pulling the chains, the fire dragon beneath it had to raise its head. With a roar that could have torn the planet apart, it released fire in every direction. In the same instant, Wang Lin's body was invaded by an unending stream of fire that burst from the sixteen chains in his left hand. From the fire dragon underneath Wang Lin came the cry of a vermilion bird. A strong blast of earth fire shot at Wang Lin from the fire dragon below as the vermilion bird wailed out. His control over fire's strength was heaven-shattering at this precise instant. Wang Lin lifted his right hand and gestured at the empty space in front of him. This wave held his fire essence, which had multiplied in strength. This fire essence's power in the cave world was equivalent to the total power of all of Wang Lin's essences. One essence was similar to the previous seven. It was Wang Lin's developing fire essence that kept him thrilled along the journey. The universe shook with this wave, and the sea of flames around him. It created a massive handprint as it combined with the fire essence within his body. Wang Lin's right hand, which was thousands of feet tall and burned everything in its path as it rushed toward Du Qing, was the handprint with the distinct fingerprints. Du Qing's eyes narrowed. A great distortion materialized all around him as his right hand sealed in a seal. After the distortion transformed into a vortex, a massive wooden arm extended in the direction of Wang Lin's handprint. It all happened in the span of a single eye blink. A terrible shockwave shattered as the handprint and the wooden arm clashed with a tremendous rumble. Wang Lin's handprint fell apart, but the wooden arm that Du Qing had fashioned was encircled by a sea of fire from the handprint's collapse and started to burn. Du Qing groaned inaudibly. He took three backward steps and glanced up abruptly. Wang Lin was standing atop the fire dragon, seemingly unfazed. But the fire dragon's body shook and started to collapse heavily. 
it appeared as though its skin and flesh were being torn apart. This occurred as a result of Wang Lin applying all of the force from Du Qing's strike on the fire dragon. In order to gravely hurt the fire dragon he was still unable to consume, he had appropriated Du Qing's might. With a dejected howl, the fire dragon withdrew. Its body kept collapsing, and with each collapse, the vermilion bird within it became even more visible. Du Qing's demeanor darkened, and a melancholy look came into his eyes. He was aware that the white-haired cultivator was using his ability to put out this earth fire, but he had seen through it. Wang Lin's icy stare locked with Du Qing's for the first time when he looked up. Wang Lin had exposed Du Qing's cultivation with this blow. This individual was still in the arcane tribulant stage and had not progressed to the void tribulant stage. He was more powerful than the sovereign based on the force of that assault, but he was not as strong as the seven-colored deist or old ghost Shan. Although Wang Lin was able to see through Du Qing's might, Du Qing was unable to see through Wang Lin. Based on the aura, it appears that this person is just at the beginning stages of spirit void, not even close to reaching arcane void. However, a cultivator of that caliber could not have resisted my blow or consumed the earth fire. My spell should have caused his body to crumble, but his look remained the same. Furthermore, the majority of his force was transferred into the dragon spirit beneath him, making it impossible to discern his actual cultivation. The two exchanged glances and started speculating about one another. But I don't think he is only at the peak of spirit void he must be hiding his cultivation level, otherwise, he wouldn't have escaped back in the blue dragon sect. Due to his natural caution, Du Qing felt hesitant after encountering various situations. His eyes gleamed as he gazed at Wang Lin, having seen his onslaught repulsed, and he remained composed. Who are you? What made you destroy the sect of Blue Dragon? Du Qing's eyes flashed cold as he spoke, saying, If you don't give me an explanation, then you can stay here. The follower of your Blue Dragon sect desired to turn me into a puppet. I just killed everyone in your sect and destroyed it. That was just me trying to be kind. The 16 fire dragons that Wang Lin was using to restrain the big fire dragon quivered. These dragons were under his control. The body of the earth fire spirit crumbled even more, and it roared. As the devour came to an end, the shadow of the vermilion bird started to overlap with the dragons. Du Qing was about to transform back into a wooden person when he noticed this and his body started to wriggle once again. The little vein's roar disturbed the fire essence in his body, making it restless. What an absurdity. Du Qing looked at Wang Lin and the fire dragon spirit beneath him. You killed thousands of my blue dragon sect disciples, and you say you didn't kill a person? He asked. He started to hesitate once more. Du Qing felt uneasy about what he observed, and Wang Lin exuded mystery. Wang Lin just made the decision to stop speaking after hearing Du Qing's remarks. He maintained control of his fire essence as he stood atop the fire dragon's body, consuming its soul. The fire dragon's soul became quiet for a little while before roaring in a very emotional and nervous way. Beyond his control, Du Qing's fire materialized, and his eyes grew even more icy. His fire essence might begin to turn against him if he disregarded the fire's call. Please explain this to me, Du Qing yelled as he charged at Wang Lin. Wang Lin sneered as he got closer, pointing up at the sky. After a rumbling and churning of the clouds, a massive palm print emerged in the sky. The spirit of the war was print. The universe burst into color as soon as this print showed up, and it surged at Du Qing. When Du Qing saw the palm, his expression drastically changed. The grand handprint of the world sect, the spirit of war you belong to the world sect on the soul cloud continent. The moment Wang Lin heard Du Qing's remarks, her heart skipped a beat. He created another seal and gestured up at the sky as the war spirit print descended. In an instant, Wang Lin was surrounded by a seven-colored haze that enveloped the surrounding region. The seven-colored lands quickly formed as the seven-colored light rapidly accumulated. Du Qing's pupils contracted in terror as soon as the lance appeared. Instead of charging forward, he took a few steps back. You, the seven-colored spell of the Donglin sect, are a follower of the Donglin sect or a member of the world sect. What do you think? Wang Lin lifted his right palm after casting two distinct spells, and millions of limitations shot from it into the sky. The world abruptly changed hue when Du Qing saw a massive, antiquated umbrella materialize in front of him. Du Qing displayed a look of incredulity as his body shook. Unconsciously backing away a few paces, he cast an intense look of fear into Wang Lin's eyes. Du Qing's face turned deathly pale and his scalp went numb. 
the strongest sect in the 72 continents personally appointed by the Celestial Emperor, the Three Deo Sect. Song Yun Deo's spell that is not passed down. Realm Burning Umbrella. He didn't believe Wang Lin had obtained this knowledge covertly. These spells were not something that could be learned covertly, and they appeared quite real. What in the world are you? Du Qing had cultivated for many years and gained a great deal of experience. He even had a wooden body. Few things could frighten him as much as he had been terrified by numerous things in life. However, the white-haired farmer in front of him had shocked him, causing his scalp to tingle repeatedly. It was all the dried-up earth fire veins at first. Then, when he finally caught up, it was the Three Deo Sect, the World Sect, and the Dong Lin Sect's spells. Du Qing was unable to determine Wang Lin's identify or place of origin because of all of this. He believed that Wang Lin was covered in a cloud of mystery. There were innumerable layers that may be removed after one. It's possible that he actually stole them, going into all those sects to learn these spells that are not taught outside of them. As he took a hundred steps back, Du Qing's expression changed and many theories surfaced in his heart. Or he has a very deep background. To get these spells from those sections. If the former, then that someone is exceptionally sly and adept at hiding. Even though he will be challenging to deal with, he shouldn't have any issues if I kill him because of his cultivation level, which should not be what it seems. But if the latter is the case, Du Qing's pupils contracted. If the latter, this individual cannot be provoked. It is already challenging to get the world sect and the Dong Lin sect to grant him such spells. However, in order to force the Celestial Emperor's appointee Song Yun Deo of the Three Deo Sect to hand up the Realm Burning Umbrella. That is, that is just too terrible. What kind of background can do this? Du Qing's face grew even paler as he considered something. Wang Lin could see through part of Du Qing's shock even though he was trying to hide it. He was standing on the dragon soul, taking in the fire's energy. It would take some time for him to finish, and while he didn't mind being interrupted, it would have a larger impact if he could do so quietly. When he looked back on it now, he realized that he wouldn't need to engage in a bloody combat with Du Qing in order for him to depart. Wang Lin climbed atop the dragon's head, his look composed, do you still want to battle with me? He took in the fire and spoke. His voice carried majesty that was felt all throughout the world. The latter is not likely to occur. Perhaps these three were all he knew. Maybe he scared me away by using them before me. Du Qing had cultivated for a long time, how could he be easily tricked? He laughed at hearing Wang Lin's words. He lunged for Wang Lin. His body turned purple and become wooden as distortions erupted all around him. His body erupted in flames, enveloping him. This was a startling sight from a distance. I don't think you are familiar with a fourth spell from one of the major sections. Wang Lin laughed as Du Qing spoke, closing in on him. Du Qing's pulse pounded upon hearing this because he sensed a trace of contempt in that laughing. Wang Lin waved his right hand at the sky while he sat there, in possession of the sixteen fire dragon chains. There was a black wind all throughout the planet. There were roars from within, and the dark wind swirled. Within the black wind moved thirteen black dragons. Simultaneously, the thirteen black dragons released the wind of extermination by opening their mouths. Raindrops in their thousands danced in the breeze. It resembled the Dragon King calling for rain. It wouldn't be shocking if that was all there was to it, but as each drop of rain dropped, it released a brilliant, golden light. Raindrops became souls, and each one roared loudly as it headed toward Du Qing. The earth trembled as Wang Lin's icy voice could be heard, call the wind, summon the rain, magic arsenal. Lands collapse, mountains crumble. Numerous fissures surfaced on the surface of the ground and fictitious volcanoes emerged on the terrain above the Earth's fire vein. Endless lava spilled from the volcanoes as they all burst into black smoke. With a yell, dark moon clear sky Wang Lin gestured up at the sky. Abruptly, a bright moon emerged in the black wind blotched sky. It was obviously daytime, therefore this moon's appearance was really peculiar. Wang Lin gestured to the approaching Du Qing as soon as the moon rose. On Du Qing's face, the mark of a moon materialized swiftly and spread. How is this spell working out? Standing on the fire dragon's head, Wang Lin waved his sleeve and peered down at the pale-faced Du Qing, who was shocked again. Thunder roared in Du Qing's mind. Dark Moon Sect. The first spell of the Dark Moon art. Among the thirteen factions and nine sects on the eastern continent was the Dark Moon Sect. Du Qing's eyes were bloodshot when he abruptly raised his head. Although Wang Lin's exhibition of spells had stunned him, 
he had been pursuing Wang Lin for some time and had no face to turn back. So yet, he had only launched one attack. What does it matter if you possess a lot of spells from other sects? If you weren't trying to stop me with these kinds of tactics, your cultivation level must be lower than mine. You simply wouldn't dare attack Du Qing if you did this, shouted. It was unlike anything he had ever experienced for him to be so hard to back out of. He charged out, suppressing the shock in his heart, determined to give it everything he had. A great deal of fire condensed in his palm from his body as he waved his right hand. Along with his wooden body, a great deal of purple gas sprang out and soared toward Wang Lin's direction. I got this old man's cultivation all by myself. This elderly guy has experienced arcane tribulence with three essences, how could I be afraid of someone like you who just has the fire essence? I have three essences, while not having as many fancy spells as you do. Du Qing roared into the sky, and the fire in his right hand mixed with the purple gas to form a sea of purple fire. This old man wants to see how many essences you have to be so arrogant, he said. As Du Qing advanced near Wang Lin, a heat wave engulfed him and the environment took on a purple fire hue. Du Qing, the great earth essence, moved forward and extended his left hand to touch the earth beneath. Everything shook as cracks sprang from the ground below, and tiny crystals that resembled sand yellow flew out. They gathered like a mist of yellow fog in front of Du Qing's left hand. There was a strong aura of earth essence inside the mist. The earth contorted as the aura expanded. It appeared as though the surroundings became a vast desert. Weight essence Du Qing roared as he raised his head to the sky. Aside from his body, his weight essence was what allowed him to become an arcane void cultivator and pass through multiple arcane tribulants. This essence also explained why the great soul sect provided him with sanctuary. Weight essence is the understanding of all weight, regardless of size from a grain of sand to a whole continent. When it grew, he would be able to adjust his weight with only a thought and would also comprehend changes in weight. On the immortal astral continent, this weight essence was uncommon and took a unique talent to understand. Although Du Qing did not initially have the necessary qualification, the weight essence traced in his wooden body allowed him to gradually understand it. When it appeared, it was inconspicuous, but it added weight to Du Qing's purple sea of fire. There have been two distinct ways of understanding fire since ancient times. Whether or not the fire had weight was the main distinction between the two. There was a disagreement about whether fire had weight or not because some believed that fire was only a phenomena. There was still disagreement about this issue even now, but spells were unaffected. Du Qing contributed his weight essence to his fire weight. His fire's potency therefore significantly enhanced. Simultaneously, the weight essence caused the earth essence mist in his left palm to shift, giving Du Qing the impression that he was clutching a continent. It all happened in the span of a single eye blink. Du Qing, like a war celestial, charged at Wang Lin after revealing his three essences. Who you are doesn't matter, die for this elderly man. Wang Lin's pupils contracted as he remained perched atop the fire dragon spirit. The fire dragon roared and withdrew, thinking. The spells Wang Lin had cast earlier all flew in the direction of Du Qing at the same moment. The ancient umbrella opened, the dark moon clear sky inside the black wind, the seven colored lance, and the war spirit print all flew forward. This was Wang Lin's greatest power, and they were all well-known spells on the immortal astral continent. Wang Lin had a connection to the fire dragon because of its existence. The dragon neutralized much of the aftershock, allowing Wang Lin to confront Du Qing. He even ventured to battle old ghost John and the seven-colored deist after sealing the sovereign. How could one be scared to confront this diminutive Du Qing? Du Qing would have lost once the YSI puppet was revealed if Wang Lin hadn't been unable to access his storage area. Even though loud rumblings could be heard, Du Qing's cultivation was too strong. Those three essences were the strongest attacks he could have utilized, even without the usage of any spells. All four of Wang Lin's spells failed as the thundering rumbles echoed, yet the force of Du Qing's essences still sent a shockwave that reached Wang Lin. Wang Lin's fire dragon soul finally broke beneath the weight of it all, crying aloud before collapsing out of nowhere. Wang Lin was encircled by a massive ball of fire that had transformed into the fire dragon. Du Qing surged past the four spells that crumbled. He was going to close the distance and strike Wang Lin fatally. However, Wang Lin's voice was just now slowly emerging from the fireball. Are you saying that I only have one essence, or that having three essences is excessive? If Wang Lin hadn't said that, Du Qing could have ignored it, but for some reason, once Wang Lin did, 
Du Qing's heart began to pound. The Earth Fire Dragon collapsed, engulfing Wang Lin in a massive ball of flames. The sixteen fire dragons raged outside the fireball, fusing with it. Inside the fireball, a vermilion bird silhouette was somewhat visible. This flame appeared to be an egg from a distance, and something startling was happening within. The side of the fireball facing Du Qing warped and a face emerged as Wang Lin's voice reverberated. This was Wang Lin's face, and it was icy. With a chilly gaze on Du Qing, Wang Lin's expression communicated slowly. Just three essences. Thunder essence, a pure thunder erupted from the sky and loud rumbles accompanied Wang Lin's words. The world turned colorful as soon as the thunder started, giving the impression that innumerable lightning bolts had struck the sky. A massive war chariot materialized in the illusion as thunder erupted from all around the earth. Although the chariot appeared bronze, thunderbolts shaped it. The chariot appeared to be being pulled by six thunderbolts that were attached to it. This lightning chariot appeared to have a fuzzy human standing atop it. Though it was difficult to discern, the individual was dressed in a blue cloak. Du Qing was not surprised that Wang Lin had two essences, but he was shocked that Wang Lin's thunder essence could cause this. This. This is the thunder war chariot of the thunder essence only someone with a powerful thunder essence can cause this kind of change to occur this person. Not only does he have the fire essence, he also has the thunder essence. The essence of life and death, Wang Lin's face on the fireball spoke again. Black gas emerged from the soil and white gas emerged from the sky as he spoke. Wang Lin was confronted by a vortex produced by the black and white gases. The vortex was the source of the life and death auras. Wang Lin had already conducted tests to confirm that the immortal astral continent had no effect whatsoever on the ethereal essences. The auras of life and death, which shouldn't mix, flawlessly merged. Du Qing's countenance turned unpleasant. Ethereal essence this person. This person is the same as me, two corporeal and one ethereal. Already, this was more than he could have imagined. He believed Wang Lin to have just one physical body and one etheric body. Wang Lin cut him off before he could finish, saying, So the reason you're so arrogant is because of these three essences even if it's three. Du Qing screamed. Wang Lin's statement, three. Karma and true and false essences, come out, altered Du Qing's countenance. He gazed with disbelieving eyes and a racing heart as two vortexes materialized in front of Wang Lin. One vortex alternated between being real and not. Du Qing felt as though something was pulling at his mind when he stared at it. He gasped at this. 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 The karma was in the other essence. Karma was incredibly intricate and majestic Dao-like. It was chaotic within, and similar to karma, the changes in it were imperceptible. Du Qing's eyes filled with wonder as he subtly took a few steps back. Three ethereals, three. This person actually has such luck to obtain three ethereal essences. Even the essences of earth and fire in his hands darkened. With three ethereal and two corporeal essences, what kind of talent does he possess? Even in the great soul sect, this is unheard of, Du Qing thought back to his own remarks. To this person, three essences were really nothing. Even if you possess five essences, so what? Du Qing was surprised again, but he clenched his teeth and growled. Having many essences does not necessarily mean that you are powerful. 5. Slaughter Essence, Emerge Wang Lin's face cracked between his eyebrows during the firestorm. A ruthlessness laced with carnage surged into the globe. The earth was covered in blood snow as a result of the intensely thick aura of killing. Du Qing took a few more steps back before this aura of slaughter. He was looking at Wang Lin in pure panic now instead of fear. Du Qing nearly shrieked, slaughter, slaughter essence it's the slaughter essence you actually have the slaughter essence. The slaughter essence was much rarer on the immortal astral continent than his weight essence. The slaughter essence would be sufficient for someone to become a ruler even if they only had one essence. The process of the slaughter essence resulting in the discoloration of hands was bloody. It took the death of innumerable lives to reveal the core of killing. This at least, was Du Qing's belief. He truly possesses the essence of murder, damn it. He has killed how many people? This individual is really nasty. Wang Lin's words, restriction essence, appear, struck Du Qing's body with such force that he had to retreat more than a hundred paces. He noticed veins of blood forming in Wang Lin's eyes. They formed a restriction and took off. The restriction essence's aura burst. Du Qing stepped back again and studied the seven essences flying between him and Wang Lin. Seven it wasn't six, but seven he, he, 
He experienced numbness on his scalp and heard deafening rumbles in his head. Wang Lin had shocked him too much, but the shock he was feeling now was even more intense. His mind kept returning to the idea of turning around and running away. This kind of person cannot be provoked. They possess seven essences, powerful sect spells, the ability to forcefully absorb the earth fire vein, and the ability to change the thunder. It wasn't because he lacked cultivation, but he was unaware of the sheer number of scary things that would materialize in the face of Wang Lin. Wang Lin had yet to remove how many aces? He didn't even slightly hurt Wang Lin in his last two attacks. That led him to conclude that, even though Wang Lin's cultivation level was lower than his own, it ought to be comparable. How could he fight in this situation with Wang Lin's mystique and Du Qing's caution? Even if you possess seven essences, so what? Would you be brave enough to join me in combat? Du Qing tightened his mouth. He wanted to go away, but not before saying a few words, or else this chase would be too embarrassing. Are you truly looking to fight? Inside the fireball, Wang Lin's expression brightened and his eyes gleamed. A frightening pressure burst from the fireball as he spoke. This pressure was startling, and as soon as it expanded, Du Qing's eyes filled with panic. Without hesitation, he backed up swiftly, and a horrified expression came on his face. Golden light emanated from Wang Lin's warped face as he peered at it in the fireball. Like a sun, the golden light extended far and wide. A head-sized golden print slowly emerged from the fireball. The golden light surrounded the area and shone brightly once it appeared. Although the golden light exuded the aura of an exceptionally pure celestial bloodline, it contained another force. When Du Qing felt this aura, he gasped once more. Even if there wasn't much of it, the aura emanating from the golden print had the power to tear the globe apart. It was enough to drive anyone experiencing it or comprehending it nuts. Grand. Grand Empyrean. Blood flowed out from the corner of Du Qing's mouth and he quickly retreated. His original spirit had been wounded by the shock of the print. This print was a spell that a Grand Empyrean had condensed into a treasure, as far as he could determine at first glance. This treasure's true ability was to shock people, its strength was really incidental. Everyone would be shocked for Get Du Qing and all the strong sex on the Heavenly Bull continent would quake in terror upon sensing the aura from the Golden Print. Because as soon as this treasure was in the hands of anyone other than a Grand Empyrean, it would fall apart instantly. The immortal astral continent was aware of this. Such jewels were frequently bestowed upon intimate devotees of the Grand Empyreans. They used this tactic to let everyone know that this individual could not be touched. Du Qing was unable to determine which Great Empyrean had succeeded due to his cultivation level. In all the years he had lived, he was not even eligible to see a single Grand Empyrean. However, this aura was something only a Grand Empyrean could have one that made him shudder in terror and outclassed all other strong cultivators. Du Qing spat out a large amount of blood. He screamed as he stepped back, casting an angry glance at Wang Lin. Damn it, get that kind of treasure out sooner. If you had done so, the only people who would have tried to find you would be ghosts. I would pretend I hadn't seen anything, even if you had destroyed the entire Blue Dragon sect. There is no one like you because you are just too cruel. Wang Lin was even astonished by Du Qing's performance. He wasn't prepared for this golden print to create such an impact. Du Qing fully ignored his status and began to yell out such words and cough up blood. Wang Lin's eyes brightened and his mouth parted as a result of the impact this golden print had. When he breathed in, the golden print vanished and Wang Lin's face which had emerged atop the enormous fireball came into focus. The golden light vanished from this planet along with the golden print. Wang Lin carefully murmured, I won't send you off, as she placed the golden print away. In secret, Du Qing was relieved when the golden print vanished. He took a couple backward steps and turned to walk away. Wang Lin had stunned him numerous times throughout the chase. Ultimately, he gave up on battling after seeing the golden print with the Grand Empyrean aura. He was eager to get out of there. Cruel simply too cruel Du Qing withdrew 100 feet, looking pretty dejected. Abruptly halting, he turned to face Wang Lin, who was encircled by the ball of fire. This individual had a very strong past, and a Grand Empyrean gave him a treasure. It's my good fortune to meet someone like this. How can I be so blind and just walk away like this? Getting advice from a Grand Empyrean will undoubtedly raise my cultivation level. I won't have to worry about the Great Soul Sect if I pursue him and find that background. I won't have to submit the good riches I find to the Grand Soul Sect anymore. 
Du Qing's glum countenance vanished as he considered this. Yes, that is all there is to it. This is a chance that many cultivators only dream of. A different group on the bull continent would go insane if they discovered that he was in possession of a treasure given to him by a grand emperor. They would extend an invitation to him as a guest right away and fulfill his every want. My fortune has come, the heavens have eyes. I am the only one who knows who he is right now, and I have to keep that a secret. Du Qing's body was made of wood and had no heart, but he felt as though he could hear his heart beating right now. This advantage is for me alone. I'm just not sure which Grand Empyrean is standing behind him. This really is a heavenly fortune, you say with a laugh. Du Qing glanced at Wang Lin's fireball as his eyes glowed. After inhaling deeply, he forced a smile. A miscommunication, miscommunication. This, my fellow cultivator, is a miscommunication. I had intended to rebuild the Blue Dragon sect since I felt it was too old. A fellow cultivator arrived to assist just in time. As a matter of fact, I apologized to fellow cultivator. Du Qing spoke without even blinking. Oh, I see. Wang Lin gave Du Qing a strange, non-smiley look. It seems as though he had read Du Qing's mind. How could I leave if this topic is vital and fellow cultivator is consuming the fire? Wang Lin's stare didn't startle Du Qing, you may be confident that I'll keep you safe and not let anyone close. He pointed up to the sky and continued speaking because he was worried Wang Lin wouldn't believe him. Today, with no malice in my heart, I shall protect my fellow cultivator under the law of the immortal astral continent above. Or else let the heavenly thunder destroy my Dao and my soul with that. A ray of red light appeared, holding Du Qing's oath, and blasted off into the distance. On the immortal astral continent, this was the symbol of an oath. Since the law of the immortal astral continent was the witness, few would violate the oath. With a meaningful glance in Du Qing's direction, Wang Lin sighed and murmured, forget it. I'll give you the option to assist in watching after me since you desire to. Du Qing got excited at hearing this. He was afraid Wang Lin would grow wary of him and even angry because of their previous misunderstanding. He would miss his opportunity to approach Wang Lin and potentially win a sizable sum of money once that occurred. Wang Lin's agreement caused Du Qing to become spirited. He nodded to Wang Lin as his countenance darkened. As he said that, the elderly man moved forward, appeared to be a thousand feet in the air, and took a seat. Fellow cultivator Wang can rest assured, this old man will risk his life to keep you safe. His heavenly awareness enveloped the surrounding area, yet left Wang Lin's vicinity unaltered. He took this action to put Wang Lin at rest. Wang Lin maintained a neutral expression. Wang Lin could see that Du Qing had no intention of hiding. Wang Lin's golden print was the reason behind this. It was obvious that Du Qing desired to be near the Grand Empyrean who had given Wang Lin the golden print. This is also rather good. Since this is my first visit to the immortal astral continent, there are a lot of things that I don't know. Wang Lin scoffed in his heart and closed his eyes. There are a lot of things I can't locate with a soul search, therefore I need such a person around. And he asked me, instead of me asking for his help. He crept cautiously into the orb of flames. Du Qing diligently examined the surroundings while adhering to his pledge. Du Qing resolved to make up for the harshness of the previous performance. Time moved slowly by. Three days flew past in the blink of an eye. Wang Lin had a glimmer of heavenly intuition outside protecting him from Du Qing during these three days. His body was inside the fireball at the same time, quickly absorbing the fire element within. A child's vein generated this fireball. Since it wasn't a branch vein, absorption was sluggish. It had laws hidden inside and a significant amount of fire essence. The fire's will was this law. Wang Lin needed to consume not just the fire essence but also this will. Over the course of these three days, the sixteen fire dragons moved around the fireball and gradually vanished as they fused with it. From the explosion, a will of fire extended outward. The first person to sense it was Du Qing. He did not say anything, only turned to face the fireball. The darkness was banished on the sixth day when the sun emerged from the sky. Wang Lin's fireball let off an earth-shattering boom at this same time. This was a really loud sound, and the flame began to get smaller until it was about a hundred feet across as the rumbling persisted. A vermilion bird was circling Wang Lin, and his figure could be just barely seen out inside the roaring fire. The vermilion bird's cries resonated from within the flame, and as they did, the fireball shrank again. It was not quick, and after a few hours, its width had increased to 70 feet. However, 
a will of fire extended inside the 70-foot fireball. The planet appeared to be enveloped by this will, which appeared to be opposing the Earth fire's will. On the heavenly bull continent, it appeared as though two wills of fire had materialized. It was an odd feeling. The Earth fire vein of the heavenly bull continent was one of those wills. The 70-foot fireball Du Qing was staring at was the other will. Du Qing gasped as she peered at the fireball. Yes, a person deserving of a prize bestowed by a grand emperor. Here, his fire essence could even withstand the earth fire's will. Wang Lin emerged from the 30-foot fireball as the fireball's rumble intensified and shrank from 70 feet to 30 feet at this precise instant. As he took a seat next to the fireball, his white hair flapped. With a very serious attitude, he pointed at the flame and made a seal with his palm. The vermilion bird's call inside the fireball was described as heaven shaking after this. The 30-foot flame contracted once more, to a mere 10 feet. A vermilion bird, reduced in size by many folds, was observed encircling the 10-foot fireball. The flame was causing bird cries to burst into vermilion. Du Qing's eyes began to glow strangely as a result. As he continued to stare at the blaze, an idea began to cross his mind. He is channeling all of the fire essence from this earth fire vein into the vermilion bird, which is the body of his fire essence. When Du Qing considered this, his eyes grew wide and he became afraid once more. Could he be? Is it possible that his goal is to create a genuine, authentic body? Du Qing let out a gasp, and his eyes lit up with horror. Once an essence is obtained, the third step nirvana void can be reached. A corporeal essence is easy to obtain, but in order to reach arcane void, one must personally comprehend an ethereal essence. From there, they can use the essence to absorb the power from the wide globe and become invincible. One grows stronger the more essences they possess. The cultivators of the immortal astral continent are aware of this. Layers are also distinguished in experiences. From the initial stages of essence formation, to the condensing of an essence treasure, and ultimately to the point of completion. One by one, each of these steps needs to be completed. Legend has it, nevertheless, that some geniuses may go beyond realizing their essence and transform it into a true body. In my entire life, I have only ever seen the elderly ancestor from the great soul sect with a soul essence. An essence true body is extremely rare, and once it appears, its power is beyond terrifying. Du Qing stared at Wang Lin in surprise, thinking, this fellow cultivator Wang is really trying to form an essence true body. The ancient kingdoms comprised 35 states on the immortal astral continent. There were 12 states in the ancient Dao country. The royal capital was situated in the sky state. There was a location with verdant mountains and a river that flowed. The river raged and the leaves fell. There was a blue altar set deep within the mountain. There was a young man dressed in black sitting on this altar, which exuded an impression of antiquity. Despite his youthful appearance, he exuded an air of antiquity, as though he had been around for a while. Xian Luo was his name. Xian Luo suddenly opened his eyes as Wang Lin removed the golden print from the heavenly bull continent, where he had been engaged in closed-door cultivation. He's on his way, Xian Luo grinned. He was aware that the student he had selected would reach the immortal astral continent and avoid dying in the vacuum. Now that he has arrived, there is no rush to pick him up. Let him hone his skills so that he can become even better in the future, Xian Luo whispered to himself. With my golden print, he should be fine in the celestial land. He refused to enter the divine realm. It was not a good idea to go too often with his status, after all, since it could lead to unneeded difficulties. Similar to how the ancient kingdoms would be forced to eject or even siege the Grand Empyrean of the Heavenly Sphere if they continued to visit. Despite having left, he had sustained some injuries on the previous journey, which is why he had entered cultivation behind closed doors. He had also entered a state of closed-door cultivation since he regretted not being able to wait for Wang Lin. His injuries no longer presented a problem, since that the regret had subsided. Disciple Wang Er, your hometown is the ancient Dao, and your home is the immortal astral continent. Teacher is waiting for you back here. Xian Luo grinned kindly and closed his eyes slowly, losing himself in the process of cultivating. Wang Lin was seated close to the fireball in the heavenly bull continent, sending seals into it. As a result, the roar of the vermilion bird inside grew louder and more distinct. Essence True Body Form Wang Lin opened his eyes and roared a few hours later as the vermilion bird became much more visible as the fire's will became stronger. Du Qing heard this roar, which made his heart pound like thunder. He got to his feet, 
an unfathomable horror in his eyes. It really is an essence true body he really is forming his essence true body. Wang Lin's words were followed by a ten-foot fireball rumbling and the motionless vermilion bird inside. The vermilion bird's tail feathers started to burn and gradually transformed into two human legs. Slowly, the genuine body's essence began taking shape. When Du Qing saw this firsthand, his demeanor turned incredulous. This was the first time he had seen the genuine substance of a body being formed. He benefited greatly from it, and it even cleared the way for his future cultivation. This road was hazy at first, but it got much clearer now. This is a real body, I was present for the entire process. I, Du Qing, genuinely witnessed this kind of incident, which is incredibly uncommon. Du Qing appeared thrilled. He had defeated seven arcane tribulants, but he was unsure about the eighth and ninth ones and wouldn't risk it. What he had just witnessed strengthened his fire essence. Although Wang Lin appeared to be under no pressure, the scenario was actually under extreme strain. His forehead was drenched in sweat, which turned to gas immediately. It gave the impression that he was concealed by fog. Although his fire essence was insufficient to create an essence true body, he had consumed a child vein, 16 branch veins, and the fire will within them. Wang Lin's fire essence developed its own volition as a result of everything. His fire essence battled the earth fire of the heavenly bull sect as a result, trying to control the fire in this realm. Wang Lin conceived the notion of producing an essential genuine body as a result of this expansion and change. But this was really challenging, and despite using all of his strength, he was only able to make two legs. Over time, the ten-foot fireball grew progressively dimmer and began to exhibit indications of extinguishing. The two-legged vermilion bird inside continued to keep still, but it started to progressively wither. The fire essence was insufficient. With gleaming eyes, Wang Lin lunged for the soil underneath. His hand touched the earth when he touched down on the mountain. Wang Lin then released his divine sense from his palm, entering the ground and spreading swiftly. Millions of kilometers, hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, or perhaps hundreds of thousands of kilometers. This was the first time that Wang Lin had traversed such a vast area and extended his divine sense on the immortal astral continent. In spite of this, he didn't seem to cover even 5% of the heavenly bull continent let alone 10% of it. Still, this scale was eerily near to the dimensions of the cave world. There were two infant earth fire veins and 172 branch earth fire veins in this location. 172 earth fire souls, come out for me, roared Wang Lin, raising a hand. The ground rumbled beneath his lifted hand. Wang Lin felt the veins of earth fire in her divine senses begin to quiver. With a strong spell, one could witness the collapse of numerous mountain ranges and the fire dragon soul shooting out above. There were a few grasslands with visible fissures. They exploded in lava, and the spirits of dragons surged out. Rivers abruptly stopped flowing and dried up. Those dragon spirits soared through the heavens. Across all, 172 earth fire dragon souls roared across the sky as they rushed out throughout this vast expanse. Only certain third-step cultivators were able to feel their bodies, ordinary cultivators were unable to see them. These 172 dragon spirits appeared to be being drawn in Wang Lin's direction from all directions at this very instant. The cultivators were nothing near as swift as these dragons. They arrived in the skies above Wang Lin and Du Qing in an instant, moving as if they could employ spatial bending. Du Qing looked at this with a bewildered expression. It appeared as though he had lost consciousness. He heard the dragons cry fiercely, as though they were about to rebel. They dashed into the fireball that was ready to go out, but they were unable to defeat the fire's will. They closed in, controlled by this will. Wang Lin was the owner of this will of fire, which he had acquired by absorbing the infant earth fire vein. Except for the principal vein, this will would govern all other veins. As the 172 fire dragon souls charged into the fireball, thunderous rumbles resounded. The fireball became brighter still. Again came the roar of the vermilion bird, which had created the legs of the actual body. When the 172 fire dragon souls surged into the fireball, the ensuing thundering boom was described as heaven shaking. The hands of the true body of essence appeared as the vermilion bird inside absorbed the fire dragon souls, and it let out a joyful cry. Du Qing shuddered and withdrew as the four limbs had materialized, leaving just the head and body. This was when Wang Lin's true body his fire essence would take shape. Even as an outsider, he could sense the difficulty of forming an essential real body. 
Not even such a strong fire essence could build a real essence body. This scene gave him the chills. It makes sense why an essence real body is so uncommon. It is too tough to form the essence of the genuine body, and the more the true body forms, the more difficult it gets. That's when it really demonstrates how terrible a real body's essence is. If all seven of this person's essences combined to form true bodies, then he, Du Qing gasped and dared not dream. Panting on the mountaintop was Wang Lin. He examined the fireball and the vermilion bird, which had come together to form the four limbs, but it was far from finished. Wang Lin smashed his palm to the earth, gritting his teeth, two child vain dragon souls, come out for me. A roar could be heard as thunderous rumbles resonated. Two strong variations appeared within the reach of his divine perception, and they came from opposite directions. A snow-covered mountain that had not melted in tens of years rattled to Wang Lin's east. All of the snow suddenly melted at this point and flowed down to the earth as a sea. But before it went very far, all of the water changed into white gas, and sizzling sounds echoed. Within the white gas materialized the soul of a child with earth fire vein, charging toward Wang Lin. The heavenly bull continent encircled an inland sea to Wang Lin's west. There was a mountain range at the bottom of the sea that resembled a dragon. The mountain began to tremble at this point, and a massive vortex emerged in the sea. A shifting of the soul emanated from the mountain as the sea raged. A sea dragon formed out of a mass of sea water that rushed out of the water. Although the sea dragon didn't appear to be related to fire, every drop of water had an infinite amount of fire essence. The water turned to lava and the sea dragon's blue body turned red, causing its body to quiver. With a roar, this lava dragon lunged in Wang Lin's direction. Everything transpired in a split second. Wang Lin raised his hands and the two kid earth fire vein dragons raced over, letting forth two startling roars come from the east and the west. Two long scorch marks appeared, as if the sky itself was being burned. The two dragons' ferocity was so great that Du Qing's expression changed. Wang Lin raised his head, and his eyes gleamed. He jumped up and moved in the direction of those two dragon souls. I'll give you a chance, Du Qing. As he charged at the lava dragon created by the sea water, Wang Lin's words, contain one of the dragon souls for half an hour, echoed. Du Qing tightened his teeth and his demeanor quickly shifted. His body was surrounded by purple light. He changed into his wooden form and advanced on the other dragon soul, child of the earth with fire veins. Even though Du Qing had not yet reached the early stage of void tribulant, he was still unfathomable having gone through seven arcane tribulants. It would be hard for Du Qing to give up if Wang Lin hadn't so many strategies. This was also a very changeable and cautious person. He could flex to suit his needs. He pulled out all the stops to assist Wang Lin. His weight essence materialized as a purple light enveloped his body. The soul of a dragon roared. It shuddered as if its weight had multiplied tenfold as it got closer to Du Qing. With a cry, it collapsed from the sky. It struggled on, but it could not break free. Fire shot from Du Qing's body uncontrollably as if it was going to lash out at him in response to the dragon's roar. Wang Lin saw this and gained a new understanding of Du Qing's weight essence. He was no longer really focused on Du Qing. Aside from the sliver of divine sense to guard against Du Qing, Wang Lin focused on the lava dragon before him. The purple fire dragon gave off a high temperature, and as it closed in, it burned the world, creating large amounts of black smoke around it. It didn't look like the soul of a fire dragon but a demonic dragon. As the fire dragon's soul surrounded by black smoke charged at Wang Lin, he stepped forward and raised his right hand. His hand formed a seal, and with a wave, there was a flash of blood light. The blood sword appeared before Wang Lin and sliced down on the fire dragon soul. This slice caused the world to change colors and thunderous rumbles to echo. The moment the blood light touched the fire dragon, there was a loud bang. The fire dragon felt pain and retreated to dodge the blood sword. But the blood light was too fast. Just as the fire dragon's soul retreated, the blood sword swept by and a portion of the fire dragon's soul was cut off. Thunderous rumbles echoed as the fire dragon's soul that had a section cut off retreated. Wang Lin had bright eyes. He was at a key moment of forming his essence true body. He charged forward without hesitation and grabbed the section of the fire dragon's soul that he had cut off. He then threw it into the fireball. The fireball absorbed that piece of the dragon essence and became even more intense. The essence real body that had developed its limbs began to show symptoms of constructing its torso. Wang Lin moved like lightning and spans 10,000 feet, appearing above the dragon soul. He moved like the clouds, 
and although he couldn't suppress the dragon spirit with one essence like Du Qing, his sword was wonderfully keen. At this instant, above the fire dragon soul, Wang Lin raised his right hand and golden light appeared in his palm. This golden glow caused Du Qing's heart to quake. His pupils reflected the golden print in Wang Lin's hand. The minute the golden print appeared, the mere fire dragon shivered and its eyes were filled with fear. It didn't want to come here, it had been called by Wang Lin. When it spotted the golden pattern, it just wanted to leave. In a flash, it fled thousands of kilometers away until only a dark dot could be seen. Wang Lin stayed cool and pointed at the departing fire dragon. The golden pattern flashed brightly and floated off into the horizon. Wang Lin didn't even look at the result before he turned to gaze at the fire dragon that was being suppressed by Du Qing. Just as he turned around, a thundering rumble rumbled from the distance. There was a burst of golden light and the golden prince soared toward Wang Lin. The fire dragon roared desperately, and it was obvious that it was there. Du Qing felt his heart skip a beat at this scene. Du Qing grinned at Wang Lin, his eyes lighting up, no wonder it is a treasure made by Grand Empyrean. From the looks of it, he hasn't even used its full power. You are a fellow cultivator, congratulations on acquiring the two child veins of earth fire. Soon, your genuine essence body will be completed. Wang Lin gave a mild head shake. His right hand made contact with the golden print while he remained silent. A dragon soul shot out in the direction of the fireball. A roar as loud as thunder followed the absorption of one fire dragon by the fireball. The torso of the genuine body started to take shape. But the fire dimmed and appeared to be about to go out after forming half of a torso. Wang Lin gave Du Qing a scowl. Du Qing remained silent but was able to infer Wang Lin's intentions. He repressed the dragon's soul, and it flew toward the fireball. In a second, it closed in, and the fireball devoured the soul of the fire dragon. The fireball consumed the soul entirely as it roared. The flame surged again after taking in another vein of kid earth fire. The genuine essence body's torso started to take shape again. The essence of the actual body at this point consisted of a torso and limbs. All that was left of the vermilion bird was its head, giving it an odd appearance. However, the fireball abruptly disintegrated since the fire's power had reached its maximum. It became little bits of fire that were absorbed by the real body the one without a head. An incredibly strong pressure emerged from the incomplete essence of the actual body as the fireball imploded. Du Qing was startled to feel the pressure when he realized it was not far away. He wanted to run away into the distance, even with his body. This demonstrated the potency of a real body's essence. Even though this body isn't entirely real, it exerts such strong pressure, Du Qing said, drawing in a deep breath and showing longing in his eyes. His goal was to form his actual body, his essence. Even with 188 branch veins and three kid veins, I'm still unable to build the essence body. It's just too hard and takes too many resources. Given how hard it is, it seems sense that it could never form in the world of caves. It is just not possible to build even one essence real body in the cave world due to a lack of resources. Wang Lin exhaled deeply. He felt emotional, knowing now how hard it was to construct an essence genuine body. The more fire essence it needs, the further it advances. The fire essence true body, which was lacking a head, transformed into a sea of fire and entered Wang Lin's left eye. I wonder how much fire essence is required to form the head, Wang Lin wondered. His left eye underwent a startling transformation as it entered. The typical fire mark vanished, and double pupils took its place. There was something really diabolical about these twin pupils. Wang Lin turned his head and took a step forward. A shadow emerged behind him as he moved. Though it was difficult to see, it appeared to move with his body. It was this abrupt shift that made Du Qing gasp. Could this be the transformation that occurs after acquiring a shadow, or an essence real body? I have had a couple encounters with the ancient progenitor of the Great Soul Sect. He always appears to be being followed by a shadow. Everything you do causes imitation. This is particularly valid while employing spells. Wang Lin scowled. After the essence true body materialized, he appeared to sense the difference in his body. He thought for a while, and then the shadow behind him started to lighten and eventually vanish. Let us return to the sect of the Blue Dragon. I have to stay there for some time. Wang Lin gave Du Qing a glance. Upon hearing this, Du Qing's spirits instantly rose and he grinned. This is my honor, he said, clasping his hand. Wang, a fellow cultivator, need not worry. All of the disciples will be sent to look for the earth fire dragon veins, 
and the elders will go extract them so that the fellow cultivator can use them. Wang Lin nodded slowly, his demeanor unchanged. With Du Qing, he transformed into a ray of light and departed. The kid vein beneath the mountain gradually dried up. Two streaks of light streaked across the sky in the heavenly bowl sect. Due to his superior cultivation level, Du Qing was inherently quicker than Wang Lin. Du Qing looked at Wang Lin as they proceeded and started to think. What level of cultivation is this individual at? It appears that he is at the pinnacle of spirit void, yet he was able to withstand two of my strikes without appearing to have utilized all of his strength. Speed is also a good indication of cultivation level, even though it could be hidden. Let's see how fast he is, Du Qing thought to himself in silence as he gradually picked up more speed. The farther they were apart, the faster he flew past Wang Lin. I just need to see a little bit, but I can't make it too evident. Ultimately, I must depend on him to establish communication with that Grand Empyrean, so Du Qing refrained from going too far. His eyes narrowed just as he was about to slow down, realizing that Wang Lin was not keeping up. Due to Wang Lin's icy stare meeting Du Qing's eyes, a black mist materialized as Wang Lin waved his right hand. Through the dark fog came a loud roar. This roar might really jolt one's head since it was so harsh. Du Qing, who was nearby, felt his heart quiver at the sound of this roar. He even believed for a moment that his body would give out. Something incredibly fierce appeared to be the source of this roar, one that was capable of tearing this body apart. What sort of animal is this? Du Qing's face took a sharp turn. From beneath the dark fog emerged the Mosquito King. Du Qing was horrified by its enormous jaws, its body that resembled a mountain after it had shrunk, and the black spikes covering it. Wang Lin murmured softly, Fellow cultivator Du, you're too slow, you have to keep up, before moving into the Mosquito King. The monarch of mosquitoes darted ahead and vanished into thin air. Its swiftness astounded Du Qing. Du Qing looked with a bitter gaze at Wang Lin and the Mosquito King that had vanished into the distance. He flew to catch up, wanting to smack himself and smother the agony in his heart. Du Qing went on to console himself, but he still felt insulted. Ah, this person has many treasures and essences, even his beast is extraordinary. He has a powerful background and has even formed an essence true body. He can't be provoked or compared to. Why am I so poor? I really can't compare, Du Qing exclaimed, being increasingly depressed. After a half day of flying, he was still unable to overtake Wang Lin. I cannot compare to this person because they are a genius of the heavens, comparable to the genuine follower of those powerful sects, yet, I, Du Qing, have attained my cultivation level and my treasures all by myself. He may be superior to me, but everything he owns was probably given to him by that Grand Empyrean. He's simply lucky, that's all. Only until Du Qing considered this did he begin to feel somewhat better. His heart would not be so balanced if he discovered Wang Lin's true identity, place of origin, and the details of his more than 2,000 years of suffering. He would not have been able to emerge from the cave world like Wang Lin after 2,000 years if he had been born there and possessed the good fortune of greed. Half a month passed quickly. Wang Lin stopped multiple times throughout this half month to let Du Qing to catch up. Even after flying non-stop for two weeks, the Mosquito King didn't seem tired or down in spirits. It had undergone numerous transformations before reaching an alarmingly high speed. Even Du Qing was unable to keep up. It could cultivate like a cultivator by absorbing the immortal astral continent's aura while in the air. It soared faster and faster as a result, eventually beating Wang Lin's solo speed by many times. Du Qing was in a regretful and behind schedule state. He had been flying non-stop for the past two and a half months. He was always depressed when he saw Wang Lin and the beast he feared was waiting for him. Disbelief clouded the Mosquito King's eyes as he looked at him. In his life, he had saw many fearsome creatures, but few with this level of swiftness. Ah, it was just too harsh to remove the golden print earlier. Now that I think about it, it's obvious that he had the ability to stop me from catching up, but he purposefully allowed me do so. This person is too vicious, Du Qing grinned coldly. A few more days went by. Just as Du Qing thought he was about to lose control, the Blue Dragon sect materialized in the distance. Du Qing turned toward Wang Lin, who was extremely composed and not at all out of breath, while glancing at the Blue Dragon sect. The beast beneath Wang Lin caught his attention, it appeared as though it had not flown far enough. Du Qing was at a loss for words. All of the Blue Dragon sect's disciples emerged as soon as the two approached. 
The three elders who had not been sealed took flight as well. At first, they believed that the ancient ancestor had taken the victim and returned. But when they noticed that Wang Lin was quite composed and the elderly ancestor was gasping for air, they were taken aback and unsure of what had happened. Why are all of you standing around like this? Come greet the nice companion of this old man. My close friend has been a wonderful help to us. He's been invited here to say thank you by this old man. The stare of Du Qing instantly led the Blue Dragon sect members to disperse. With a smile, Du Qing said, Fellow cultivator Wang, please, please. He then met Wang Lin. All of the Blue Dragon sect disciples' emotions changed in response to this abrupt shift, but they said nothing because of their irrational fear of the ancient ancestor. They observed the elderly ancestor welcoming the vile individual onto the back mountain. The middle-aged man's eyes brightened up as he recovered from losing his arms. Something powerful is present. One could describe the ancient ancestor as having a very vengeful nature. The only plausible explanation is that the elderly ancestor is treating the strange Wang like a guest because even he dread him. The other two seniors stared at one other and saw the horror in each other's eyes. The elderly ancestor had probably fought this person and was not his match. Wang Lin followed Du Qing to the back mountain. This location had also been demolished, yet the mountain and the cave inside remained intact. The caves inside was extremely opulent. The cave was filled with night pearls the size of heads, shining brightly like stars. There were several chambers, including ones for alchemy, closed door cultivation, and refining. It contained all the necessities for a cultivator. Fellow cultivator Wang, I trust you can put up with this place's simplicity while the cult is being rebuilt. After that, you can choose a better spot to relax. Du Qing gritted his teeth. He was already of the opinion that this place was excellent. The Eastern Sea Stone, which served as the ground, enhanced the aura of the world gathered here. The night pearls were unique, they imitated the starry sky, giving the impression that the world was boundless. The alchemy chamber was opulent as well. Everything therein was pilfered by him. It's all right. After glancing around, Wang Lin took a seat. With a quick glance at Du Qing, he spoke up. Hello, cultivator Du, I'm from South America. Where in the Heavenly Bull continent is the main earth fire vein, I wonder. The Heavenly Bull continent was too large for Wang Lin to locate the main vein quickly. It would take him a long time to find it. Du Qing realized Wang Lin's intention upon hearing this. He thought for a while, then took a seat across from Wang Lin and started talking. The fire element is found on the Heavenly Bull continent which is primarily composed of earth fire veins. There is a rumor that the heavenly bull is suppressed by a formation formed by the connections between the earth fire veins. According to legend, the celestial ancestor slowed the heavenly bull. Its primal soul is being repressed by the fire, while its body became the continent. This is merely hearsay. Years and years of searching have yielded no results. But there's a different rumor. The heavenly bull's veins, not the celestial ancestors, are what give the area its fire color. The primary earth fire vein is the one that runs the length of the heavenly bull. Du Qing's voice abruptly fell silent as he finished, saying, the great soul sect has a connection to the vein. With a wave of his right hand, barriers seemed to close off the space. The great soul sect is one of the nine sects and thirteen factions, Du Qing muttered. They have many enigmatic spells and an endless supply of experts. We need to be cautious when discussing this sect just in case. One of my essences is fire, and I have a great connection to the ground fire. My body suppresses the fire inside every time I visit the great soul sect. It seems as though all fire yields to a strong will. My investigation indicates that location should be the primary earth fire vein of the heavenly bull continent. It is even possible that there is a member of the great soul sect with an exceptionally potent fire essence. Additionally, I am aware of the exceptionally high cultivation degree of esteemed green bull the ancient ancestor of the great soul sect. Du Qing's eyes glowed with horror as he spoke of esteemed green bull, he is just like you and has a real body. Wang Lin strained his eyes as he recalled this name. I am only eligible to advance to the rank of outer elder in the great soul sect given my current level of development. An inner elder of the great soul sect is my predecessor. The great soul sect is protected by that relationship and my role as an outer elder. You are to be treated as an honored visitor, as fellow cultivator Wang possesses a treasure that was gifted to her by a grand emperian. Du Qing said, hinting at something, but if you were to harm the main earth fire vein, then. Wang Lin didn't modify her expression. 
of the members of the Great Soul Sect, he knew only two. Are you aware of Fan Shan Meng and Fan Shan Le, two disciples of the Great Soul Sect? Wang Lin turned to face Du Qing. Fan Shan Meng Du Qing's countenance shifted. Fan Shan Meng is a core disciple of the Great Soul Sect, and one of the two geniuses of the Great Soul Sect fellow cultivator knows her. I've heard of her name. I am aware of her. After giving it some thought, Wang Lin shifted the topic of conversation. How about the sect of Guiyi? That group resides on the Bull Continent, which is heavenly. What is their relationship to the Great Soul Sect? Due to his low degree of cultivation, Kong Ren was unable to match Du Qing's level of knowledge. Based only on the information he had taken from Kong Ren, Wang Lin didn't know much. The Great Soul Sect appears to be somewhat suppressed at the moment by the powerful Guiyi Sect. The thirteen factions and nine sects may be rearranged in order. Over the last five years, a disciple named Yun Yifeng arose in the Guiyi Sect. He is incredibly talented and has a very strong cultivation. Apart from the senior population, he is the foremost authority. I've communicated with this individual. Du Qing thought, he is extraordinary. He considered how Yun Yifeng had only swept his sword, forcing several members of the Great Soul Sect to back down. In relation to Yun Yifeng, I just had an idea. He had mentioned that there existed a person with incomprehensible cultivation who had just cultivated for a little over 2,000 years. Before this person, not even he dared to brandish his sword, and the four geniuses of the eastern continent were not deserving of the title of genius. This matter caused a major wave back then. There were plenty of questions, but neither the Guiyi sect nor the Great Soul sect offered any clarification. Now that many years have gone, there's an 80% likelihood those statements are untrue. This old man doesn't think such a person exists. Du Qing didn't realize Wang Lin's eyes had briefly brightened while he was speaking. I have the utmost respect for someone who could cultivate for 2,000 years and prevent Yun Yifeng from drawing his sword. Du Qing paused in mid-sentence and appeared to recall something, saying, if that kind of person really exists, then wouldn't he already be famous? He could be accepted as a disciple by a grand emperor. He glanced at Wang Lin and blinked. Abruptly, his pupils contracted and a daring notion sprang into his head. He gasped at this realization, and his unsure gaze shifted to Wang Lin. Does any of the neighboring continent contain thunder veins, given that the heavenly bull continent possesses earth fire veins? Wang Lin steered clear of the subject Du Qing had raised. This is it. I have only visited the peaceful soul, the Kong Yang, and the cloud wave continents. This only makes up roughly 50% of the eastern continent. There are no thunder veins in any of these three continents. Although I can't truly answer your query, I can assist you in making an inquiry about it. Maybe there's a member of the Great Soul Sect who knows. Ultimately, the Great Soul Sect is among the 13 groups and 9 sects. Their followers test themselves in the outdoors and frequently report back to the group on what they discover. They are trained to do this. Du Qing gave a head shake. There was no end to the immortal astral continent, and very few people had traveled the whole length of the eastern continent. Already, Du Qing's life had taken him to four continents, which was remarkable. Wang Lin gave a nod and thought. After a minute, he turned to face Du Qing and appeared to talk informally. The Dong Lin sect is where? Dong Lin sect? Du Qing's face went completely still. He paused to think for a moment before continuing. Among the thirteen groups and nine sects is the Donglin sect. It is located in the Great Sage Continent's northern region of the eastern continent. There are rumors that this cult is incredibly secretive and that very few of its members ever leave. Wang Lin continued to query for a while before showing signs of exhaustion. Given his devilish cleverness, how could Du Qing have failed to discern Wang Lin's true intentions? He stood up hurriedly to go, leaving an oath behind him. You may relax, fellow cultivator. The whole group will be launched by this elderly guy in search of the earth fire vein. I'll let the disciples bring them back to fellow cultivator if they can extract it. As he had promised Wang Lin, Du Qing issued several decrees as soon as he left. Each of the three elders sent forth a group of disciples of the Blue Dragon sect in three different directions. Additionally, there was the elder who had been punished by being sealed and turned to wood. Du Qing set him free and offered him atonement for his transgressions. He was dispatched to find a kid vein. Inside the opulent cave, Wang Lin sat by himself with the light of the night pearls shining on him. He appeared to be in an impossible place, engulfed in fog. Du Qing's remarks were still ringing in his head as he continued to mull things over. 
After all, there might be some exaggeration in Sudeo's memories. I need to build a true essence body for my thunder essence as well. I can't place all my hopes into the Donglin pool. I need a lot of thunder to build my thunder essence true body. Since the immortal astral continent has earth fire essence, thunder essence is also necessary. Wang Lin scowled. But for now, the most important thing is to form my fire essence true body. I might have to travel to the great soul sect personally. He saw the great soul sect as an enormous, unstoppable force. Wang Lin rubbed his temples and sighed. Du Qing says that the cultivation of the old ancestor of the great soul sect is inconceivable and that he has also developed an essence true body. My level of cultivation is not high enough, but it's not like I don't have any techniques, Wang Lin said, his eyes brightening as he considered the Guiyi sect. Ultimately, the elderly guy called Ma was aware of his relationship with Xian Luo. Wang Lin soon abandoned his plan to seek assistance from the Guiyi sect. He disliked using someone else's name to compel others to do anything, and there were simply too many unknowable variables. I have to depend on myself. Wang Lin shut his eyes and stopped thinking about his actual body, even though it was still challenging if he could utilize spatial bending on the immortal astral continent. He started looking for ways to fit in with the world gradually. This spell had a significant impact on Wang Lin's subsequent activities. His chances would rise if he got it back. Despite Wang Lin's best efforts, he was unable to merge with the universe as his divine sense gradually dispersed and enveloped the world outside the cave. He could incorporate, at most, a thin slice. This sliver could only teleport a small distance, so it wasn't enough to get him too far. Wang Lin did not wish for this. He could not seem to get inside due to an unseen barrier. This was a pressure and a law of the immortal astral continent. A person's divine intuition would struggle to emerge under this kind of pressure. This was not the world of caves where pressure or an unseen barrier existed. Any cultivator with an understanding of spatial bending is able to move by fusing with the environment. However, because of this pressure, he was unable to use spatial bending and integrate with the world. Wang Lin had a hazy understanding that the immortal astral continent as a whole was under the same pressure, not just him. Because of this, Du Qing was unable to succeed despite his cultivation level. Wang Lin said after a few days, perhaps only after my cultivation has reached a certain level can I force my way in and move like that? Wang Lin had made numerous attempts but was still unsuccessful. But he persisted in trying. This was the way Wang Lin had always been. The harder it got, the more determined he got. As he tried to fit in, his divine sense kept shifting inside the blue dragon sect. Time moved slowly by. One month passed by in the blink of an eye, for the entire month, Wang Lin remained a closed-door cultivator, yet the movement of his divine sense prevented the Blue Dragon sex followers from approaching the back mountain. Du Qing continued to belong to the Blue Dragon sect. Du Qing knew that Wang Lin had revealed his heavenly intuition for the first time, but he was unable to discern Wang Lin's intentions. After observing for a few days, he at once realized what Wang Lin was trying to say. It is simply impossible for him to try to fuse his divine sense with the world and then move by doing so. While teleportation is a possibility, this approach is clearly employed to travel much farther than teleportation. It can only be accomplished by those elderly monsters at the pinnacle of Void Tribulant who are strong enough to withstand pressure and have a thorough understanding of the law of the immortal astral continent. Du Qing gave a shake of his head and gradually turned away from Wang Lin's behavior. The Blue Dragon sex followers were unable to locate an earth fire vein outside of Wang Lin's divine sense after a month of searching. Even the four elders were unable to accomplish this. They continued to expand their search. Wang Lin had not realized how much time had passed. He kept attempting to unite his divine sense with the material reality. He persisted in trying and never seemed to tire. He would attempt twice if he failed the first time, and ten times if he failed the second time. Wang Lin attempted for a further three months he couldn't even recall how many times but the outcome remained unchanged. Even though additional Blue Dragon sect followers were still looking, after four months some had discovered some fire veins that had not dried out. Wang Lin persisted in her attempts. The completion of his remaining ambitions would be challenging if he didn't keep working on understanding spatial bending. Du Qing was accustomed to Wang Lin's supernatural intuition concerning the Blue Dragon sect. His heart was filled with contempt as he saw Wang Lin make numerous attempts and never give up. Though he would never admit it, the contempt in his heart was growing more and more intense. 
This is just not feasible. This is a waste of time since this person is too obstinate. Anyone could integrate with the globe if it's that easy. Despite the obvious fact that his cultivation level is insufficient, he persists in attempting. I have no idea how a grand emperian saw him, but he was foolish. Du Qing gave a head shake. Another three months went by quickly. Wang Lin studied this spell in a closed-door cultivator for seven months. His eyes were bloodshot, and his divine sense was tingling. He was seated there. When Du Qing saw this, he scoffed. I'm not sure if I should let him know that he thinks too highly of himself. His current acts are an overestimation of himself, despite the fact that he has attracted the attention of a grand emperian, possesses numerous valuables, and has an exceptional beast. I'd like to know how long he intends to attempt. There was jealousy mixed with a tinge of disdain in Du Qing's eyes when he realized that he would still fail in the end. Why didn't a grand emperian accept me, Du Qing? Do grand emperians all think idiots like this? Du Qing was not persuaded. Over the previous seven months, Du Qing's perspective gradually shifted due to Wang Lin's seemingly foolish behaviors. It seemed to him that Wang Lin was mentally unstable. The bloodlines in Wang Lin's eyes grew even more numerous within the cave. Even he found it nearly intolerable after seven months of expanding his heavenly awareness, but he persisted. He was forcing himself now, even if he was still attempting to meld with the universe. More accurately, he was utilizing this technique to agitate his avatar, which was developing in the emptiness inside the stone shell. Wang Lin discovered after doing it for a few days that he was unable to overcome the pressures of the outside world due to his cultivation level. His only remaining option, though, was to use the avatar that was forming in the emptiness. This avatar was created in accordance with the laws of the immortal astral continent and might possibly be considered a component of the law itself. Therefore, the avatar would determine whether his divine sense could blend in with the outside world. Wang Lin sensed that his avatar was dozing off and that a specific technique was required to wake it up. For this reason, Wang Lin had kept expanding his divine sense throughout these seven months, even to the point where he grew weary and his original soul began to wither. Wang Lin's origin soul began to wither on the final day of the seventh month as a result of not having had a chance to heal for seven months. A flash of light shot from his eyes at this precise moment. There was a massive stone shell floating in the space between the immortal astral continent and the subterranean world. Wang Lin's sleeping avatar was inside at this very time, and he opened his eyes abruptly. Du Qing was waiting mockingly for Wang Lin to make a fool of himself the instant the avatar opened his eyes, but his attitude altered. He disclosed the terror he had displayed seven months prior. He was completely taken aback when he abruptly stood up. His breath left him as he saw what he saw. This is not feasible. Du Qing's forehead broke out in a cold sweat as he turned to face the cave in the rear mountain. After existing for seven months, Wang Lin's heavenly sense abruptly vanished. Wang Lin didn't lose his divine sense in this absence, rather, it vanished completely, as though he had blended in with the surroundings. The abruptness of this transformation was excessive. Du Qing was completely unprepared and couldn't have imagined it occurring. It happened out of the blue when he was watching a joke. Du Qing was startled for a minute before he dashed outside, his heavenly senses stretching out behind the mountain. His body gave a tremendous shudder when his holy intuition passed by. Wang Lin, who had been sitting in the cave for seven months, was nowhere to be found. Du Qing was completely unaware of Wang Lin's disappearance. Wang Lin appeared to have vanished in front of him. It's inconceivable. It defies logic. Du Qing stood on the rear mountain's summit, grass beneath his boots. He mumbled, his expression lifeless. He expanded his holy sense again, massaged his eyes. He made numerous attempts, but he was unable to locate Wang Lin. His divine perception is impossible to blend with the world. Nothing like this has ever occurred before. Old monsters at the pinnacle of Void Tribulant are the only ones who can accomplish it. He just can't. Du Qing's face was pale, and fear was evident in his eyes. Suddenly, he had the impression that the previous seven months had been a dream. A serene voice resounded behind Du Qing, who was still unable to locate Wang Lin. His heart was refusing to accept this. Are you trying to find me? Du Qing abruptly turned around as his body began to quiver. When he spotted Wang Lin standing calmly behind him and appearing completely normal, his pupils contracted. Wang Lin appeared to be following some ripples, but they quickly vanished. You, you. Du Qing took a couple involuntary steps back. He hadn't observed Wang Lin at all 
and his appearance had come too quickly. He would have suffered terrible injuries had Wang Lin attacked. Wang Lin seemed to exude a feeling of coldness. The blue dragon sex aura swept over Wang Lin, dispelling this chilling aura, but Du Qing still felt as though a blast of frigid air had brushed across his face. His eyes went from full of astonishment and terror to fear. In Du Qing's view, Wang Lin became even more terrible and strange at this very time. Du Qing calmly stated, Nothing. Most of the disciples have returned, and they have found a lot of sub veins and child veins. Some sealed veins were also brought back. Despite the shock that was still inside of him, Wang Lin glanced at Du Qing nonchalantly. Du Qing bowed his head subtly beneath his gaze. Wang Lin went forward and soared back to the cave saying slowly, bring them to the cave. Not until Wang Lin had departed did Du Qing unwind. But now that Wang Lin had taken off again, doubt surfaced in his heart. Absolutely impossible. His aura vanished earlier, suggesting that he must have teleported. He shouldn't have blended with the world, otherwise, he would have fled in an instant. Indeed, it seems that he teleported. Du Qing felt more and more correct the more he thought about it after failing so many times, he must have done this to save face. It even made him laugh that he had been frightened himself. He couldn't unite with the outside world, as I've already stated. He's obviously overestimating himself. He can't even pull it off. Du Qing waved his sleeves to go, but all of a sudden, his body shook, and he fixed his gaze on Wang Lin's position in the grass. His eyes nearly jumped out, and he felt a terrible terror well up in his chest. His head heaved as though innumerable thunderclaps had burst within it. All that was in front of him vanished leaving only Wang Lin's position. After a while, Du Qing's face went white and he inadvertently took a few steps back. His stare veered between dread and confusion as he turned back to the cave. Wang Lin had been standing on some lush snow-covered grass not far away. It melted gradually as it gleamed in the sunlight. Only the heavenly mountain to the far west had green snow throughout the entire heavenly bull continent. Du Qing would require several months to travel back and forth, even at maximum speed. This person, is a heavenly genius, Du Qing said, standing motionless for a considerable amount of time before murmuring just one sentence. Snow of the heavenly mountain. The scorn and disgust he had harbored for Wang Lin for the previous seven months vanished at this same moment. A feeling of mystery and ambiguity took its place. Something inside him began to grow fearful of Wang Lin. This was more about the mystery surrounding Wang Lin than it was about cultivation. Wang Lin brushed his clothing in the cave, threw off his coat, and took a seat. He'd finally awakened his avatar in the abyss after seven months. At the avatar's awakening, Wang Lin sensed an inexplicable sensation of comprehension emerge from the faraway emptiness. Suddenly, the barrier that had been bothering him vanished. It was as though the immortal astral continence law, which was preventing him, had vanished. His mind was filled with various forms of enlightenment. Even while it seemed obvious at the time, it was actually somewhat ambiguous. Wang Lin was aware of this since the avatar was still expanding. Wang Lin would be able to understand every detail of the law of the immortal astral continent after the avatar had completed growing. Simultaneously, the intense pressure abruptly dissolved like ice. Wang Lin's divine intuition instantly blended with the world instead of trying to push its way in as numerous fissures appeared. It was all a result of his avatar. His body vanished and blended in with the surroundings at the same instant that his heavenly sense did. He was experiencing the same sensation as when he had utilized spatial bending in the cave world. It had been a long time since he had felt this way. He suddenly materialized on this continent's heavenly mountain and noticed the green snow that was falling. Wang Lin's first usage of spatial bending here was aimless, he had just wandered aimlessly. However, the vision of the blue dragon sect became crystal clear in his mind upon his return to the sect. He emerged from behind Du Qing in the rear mountain of the blue dragon sect. It took him half the duration of an incense stick to arrive and depart. Even Du Qing would not have known where Wang Lin had disappeared if it weren't for the green snow that covered his feet. Wang Lin had long sensed this in his heart. The avatar has only grown for these few days and it has already brought such a powerful boost. If there is more time, my avatar will become the strongest body. It's time to enter the great soul sect and take in the primary vein of earth fire. In order to determine how much of the fire essence real body I can build, I must first absorb the remaining kid veins. Wang Lin was aware that it would get harder the more comprehensive it was. He needed more than simply fire essence to build the head. His greatest need was a strong determination to burn. 
Thirty minutes later, Du Qing arrived to greet him carrying a map and some of the earth fire veins that the disciples had exacted. The kid veins were noted on this comprehensive map of the bull continent, which was described as heavenly. Wang Lin absorbed those veins of earth fire without even trying to be courteous. They did not, however, significantly aid in the construction of his genuine fire essence body because there was not sufficient fire will present in them. Nonetheless, Wang Lin found great value in the map. Wang Lin bid goodbye to Du Qing and took the jade. Du Qing was aware of Wang Lin's plans. He would not report Wang Lin, but he could not take part in this either. He still desired to win Wang Lin's favor, after all. More significantly, Wang Lin had given him a very serene look before departing. Under Wang Lin's feet, there were echoes and a startling disappearance. More frightening than any danger was this scene. When Wang Lin finally vanished, Du Qing finally sighed after feeling his heart quiver for a long while. I'll never forget how I was assisted by fellow cultivator Du. I'll give it back to you if I have the chance. Wang Lin's remarks rang in Du Qing's ears after he departed. The Heavenly Bull Continent saw a fire surge on the seventh day following Wang Lin's departure, causing the infant earth fire veins to collapse. The air itself seemed hot, and the mere act of breathing it would aggravate one. The fact that this occurred in numerous places throughout the Bull Continent the Heavenly One drew the interest of the different cults. Numerous disciples were dispatched, and occasionally elders went personally to investigate, but they came out empty-handed. When they arrived, all they could see were the shriveled veins. Sixty-two days later, Wang Lin emerged from the mountain, tearful, at the sight of the former Seven Deo sect, which was encircled by a dense fog. This was where he had to come. He could sense the energy of the underground world and Xian Luo's years of anticipation from here. Wang Lin emerged from the dark mist and turned to face the inside mountain. He sighed and turned away after giving it some thought. Wang Lin started to depart, and a feeling of loneliness emanated from his spine. Situ, Qing Shui, Li Qin Miai, and all others that have reincarnated. Where are you all now? One day, as the green snow began to fall, a white-haired youth stood on top of the sky at the heavenly mountain which was home to the Great Soul Sect, on the eastern portion of the Heavenly Bull Continent. Through the falling snow, he could see the other side of the mountain. From this vantage point, the young person could make out an unending mountain range and, inside it, a distant red mountain that broke through the clouds. Great Soul Sect. The young man with white hair mumbled, his eyes gleaming brilliantly. The mountain range containing the cloud-piercing mountain was home to the Great Soul Sect. It glowed crimson, giving off the appearance of a burning mountain. The mountain was reverberating with ripples. There appeared to be soul force in the ripples, and innumerable hidden figures appeared to be roaring silently within. This location was home to the Great Soul Sect, one of the two most powerful sects on the so-called Celestial Bull Continent. There was green snow atop the heavenly mountain. Wang Lin's body, hair, and the ground were covered in snow. In the snow, he stood perfectly still. The Great Soul Sect didn't appear too far away from here, but even if one flew, they would need to do so for several days. Aside from the mountain, the Great Soul Sect's waves caused a visual gap, which is why it felt that way. Wang Lin closed his eyes and extended his heavenly sense after a considerable amount of time. He felt the main vein of fire beneath the Great Soul Sect, although it was unclear. It sprung forth innumerable branches that dispersed across the Bull Continent, which was described as heavenly. This primary vein had a remarkable will of fire. This made it impossible for anyone to invade, and it only became much weaker during the time of the Great Soul Sect. At the Great Soul Sect, the main vein emerged from beneath the ground. It may be argued that the mountain was the primary earth fire vein that extended above ground, not the Great Soul Sect. This was created by the natural process of evolution rather than by human hands. All in all, the Great Soul Sect had chosen a pretty cunning position. There was a tremendous jolt of energy within the Great Soul Sect. Wang Lin discovered at least 100,000 cultivators in this never-ending mountain range using a crude sweep. Although 100,000 cultivators was a sizable number, nary a trace could be found because they were concealed behind the mountain ranges. The mountain ranges were full of incredibly potent essence auras. These were the cultivators of the third phase. The immortal astral continent's Great Soul Sect is incredibly powerful. A single sect can take over the world of caves. Wang Lin studied this calmly, thinking. Wang Lin would not have provoked such a giant if it weren't for the fire essence real body. But Wang Lin was just too attached to the great soul sect's primary earth fire vein. He had to try, 
even if it meant extracting a tiger's teeth. He'd soaked up a lot of child veins in these days. There was no more fire essence in his body than there had been in the child's veins. He was ready for this to happen already. This was like taking medications, after all. The more identical quality pills you took, the less of an impact you would get until you ran out of options. Unless he could ingest even more potent medications, such as the will of this primary earth fire vein. With a small closing of his eyes, Wang Lin's body glided soundlessly onward, toward the great soul sect. His body glowed as he moved. He seemed to teleport as he made a swift forward motion. Wang Lin arrived at the mountain range home of the great soul sect after traveling for several hours along a road that would normally take cultivators several days. The soul power fluctuated much more intensely and densely at this point. Wang Lin was barred from entering this area by forces that were concealed here. I wish I could have been able to borrow the ghostly sail's power to join the great soul sect, but alas, I am unable to remove it from the storage area. Wang Lin paused and peered at the nearby mountains. With a groan, he turned to face the red mountain. He had lost every trace of his aura and appeared to be immortal. He took a seat, shut his eyes, and bided his time. His body blurred and became a thread of smoke that drifted there the instant he sat down. An extremely potent formation around the area of a sect such as the Great Soul Sect. Anybody who touched the formation would instantly be identified as one of their disciples. He would have to wait for a disciple to pass through and disrupt the formation before he could enter. If it was a regular disciple, he would opt to join the Great Soul Sect by assimilating into its body, but that decision came with its own set of disadvantages. Despite the fact that it sounds nice, the Great Soul Sect's use of the word soul in their name indicated that they understood the soul very well. They couldn't have cast the multi-layered illusion magic otherwise. Wang Lin would therefore probably be discovered by the formation before he even realized anything was amiss if he entered a disciple's body in order to enter the formation. Wang Lin could only attempt one entry, and he would not take that kind of danger. His belief in his own cultivation and understanding of restrictions was his preference. He was waiting for some volatility to show up in the formation. Three days went by very quickly. In all, 314 disciples had come and gone over these three days, and the formation had changed 314 times. Wang Lin kept watching instead of moving erratically. He looked for a weakness using his knowledge of constraints. Wang Lin did, after all, possess the uncommon restriction essence. He didn't feel nervous. He was patient and had ample time to watch in peace. Seven more days elapsed. The disciples entered and exited the formation nearly a thousand times throughout the course of these seven days. Wang Lin gradually became aware that the variations varied according to the disciples' identities. Wang Lin had seen nearly a thousand different great soul sect followers in these ten days. He had noticed certain physical alterations that were exclusive to the great soul sect. As an instance, their souls. If the soul of each follower of the great soul sect was a flame, then it was a tremendously strong and stable flame. Wang Lin had not done anything at all over these ten days. He kept observing for an additional ten days. The smoke Wang Lin had transformed into surged out on this particular day as a disciple of the Great Soul Sect entered the formation. This invisible fog materialized just next to the disciple's corpse. The disciple and Wang Lin both entered at the same time, causing the formation to ripple. Wang Lin's restricting essence seemed to balance the formation the instant he stepped in. Then he quickly mimicked what he had discovered during the previous 20 days of observation. In the briefest of breaths, he transformed hundreds of times. The smoke Wang Lin had transformed into did not emerge from the formation until the disciple had left it and fled off without a trace. Nothing about the formation changed as a result of his admission, rather, to be more precise, the ripple effects of that disciple's arrival concealed all the alterations. Silently, the smoke that Wang Lin had transformed into passed through the mountains. He noticed many followers of the Great Soul Sect. None of them noticed Wang Lin as they hurried by. Wang Lin proceeded cautiously pausing frequently as he drifted ahead. He moved slowly in the direction of the Red Mountain, towards the bottom of the mountain range. The primary ground fire vein felt stronger the closer he came. Three rays of light flew toward the Red Mountain, and he was not far from it. Two women and one man were present. They took off straight for the Crimson Mountain. Wang Lin did not give them a brotherly glance. Such rays of light had already been witnessed much too often by him. But at this very time, a holy sensation emerged and plummeted from the Red Mountain. The majority of the mountain was swiftly covered. 
This was a very strong heavenly sense, beyond the reach of the average cultivator. The person had advanced to the early level of void tribulant after completing nine arcane tribulants. There was a trace of yin in this heavenly sense, something that one could only notice if they had attained a particular cultivation level. Wang Lin could tell this was a female cultivator as soon as he felt the divine sense. Too soon, this celestial impression dispersed. Wang Lin would have been discovered in Anaic if he hadn't been on guard. The smoke Wang Lin had transformed into withdrew as the divine awareness expanded. He followed the divine sense's pace, expanding and contracting at the same time. But this divine sense, with the crimson mountain at its center, dispersed like a fan. Wang Lin was able to evade it for the time being, but he would soon be discovered. The great soul sect was sealed as the divine sense passed by, sending ripples throughout its construction. Wang Lin was surprised by this scene. Might I have been discovered? With the divine sensation bearing down on him, Wang Lin had no time to reflect. He pulled back, but it didn't seem like he had anywhere to run. He took off in the direction of the three far-off light beams. He charged into the man's body, moving as quickly as possible. The heavenly sense was that of a woman, not the man's cultivation level, which was the explanation. According to Wang Lin's observations, the majority of women at this cultivation level were conceited and denigrated the male pupils, so they wouldn't examine too closely. A thorough search was, after all, akin to staring at someone in their underwear. The divine sensation passed by the instant Wang Lin entered the man. It swept past into the distant without pausing. It spread to encompass the whole mountain range before gradually fading. The formation stopped sealing the region and resumed its regular operations as soon as the divine sense dispersed. I wasn't found, rather, the great soul sect has a practice of having a strong cultivator on duty who occasionally extends their divine sense. Wang Lin congregated within the man's body and created a vortex that was encircled by boundaries. The woman sitting next to Wang Lin chastised him as he thought. For what purpose are you standing there? We will face consequences if we fail to bring the soul split fruit to senior sister on time. With a panicked gaze, the man answered right away. They became light beams that shot in the direction of the red mountain. Wang Lin had an idea just before he was ready to leave the man's body. He continued in his present state and followed them. Maybe it was because one of the divine senses had just expanded and there were no more divine senses to check the three of them. They were able to get near to the red mountain. We must go more quickly. We cannot wait to reach the other major peaks after we have finished with ancestor Yin Lu. We'll wait for your head, Song Yin. The woman who had spoken first remarked, catch up once you deliver them, and the other woman nodded. The trio dispersed. The Red Mountain was attacked by a woman by the name of Song Ying. Wang Lin and the other woman made a direction shift. They continued into the distance, avoiding the Red Mountain. Without pausing, Wang Lin turned into smoke and fled the man. With Song Ying in tow, he encircled her and they took out for the Crimson Mountain. The female disciple, Song Ying, was quite attractive, seemed young, and exuded a virginal scent. She transformed into a crimson light beam and shot up toward the top of the mountain. Outside the mountain, she came to a rest in midair. The mountain was shielded by a hazy light veil. She pulled out a red jade and prepared to apply pressure to the light curtain. Wang Lin directed a portion of his divine sense toward the red jade at this very time, studying it with all of his might. From the jade, a faint cracking sound emerged. Wang Lin pulled back his divine sense as soon as the jade was crushed up against the light curtain. There were ripples and trembling in the light curtain. After putting away the jade, the woman entered the bright curtain. The smoke Wang Lin had transformed into was now warped inside her clothing. He had imitated the jade with his restriction essence, and he came in softly with her. He felt excitement well up in his chest the minute Wang Lin walked in. There seemed to be a lot of fire essence inside, as though inhaling once would make it stronger. Wang Lin, however, was afraid of a female farmer who was an early stage void tribulant. He stayed with this woman for a time rather than leaving right away. The heat in here seems to be bothering this woman. She smelled sweet sweat as soon as she walked in. She took off to deliver the soul split fruit towards the caves. This mountain contained a total of 19 caverns, as Wang Lin noted. She sent a fruit to all the other caves except the one at the top. Every cave brimmed with life, and within each rested a student of the great soul sect. The woman appeared outside the final cave shortly after that. The heat wave had left her drenched in sweat by this point. The fruit with the split soul is here, senior sister. Speaking outside the cave, the woman's voice sounded a little faint. Set it aside. 
A quiet voice emanated from the cave's locked door. Wang Lin's mind shook upon hearing this. That's her. Wang Lin thought about it. The woman, her sweat all over her clothes, removed nine greenish-white celestial fruits that were exploding with icy vitality. He moved away from the woman and clung on a fruit's leaf. Song Ying, the woman, shook hands and walked out politely. She vanished as she flew out of the light veil. Simultaneously, the cave's door opened slightly, and the fruits were drawn within by a suction force. The cave's door shut after that. There was a fluorescent light within the cave. On a stone table were the celestial fruits that had been hauled inside the cave. A woman in a pink outfit was seated nearby. She was the epitome of beauty for a generation because of her stunning appearance and unique attitude. She had a sad expression on her face and was frowning. Instead of cultivating, she was looking forward, it was unclear what was on her mind. Wang Lin gazed at the woman while hiding on the fruit sleeve and thinking. The woman in pink eventually sighed and closed her eyes in an attempt to cultivate. But at this very moment, a serene voice entered her head. Fan Shanlu. The woman in pink opened her eyes and trembled her right hand under her sleeves at the sound of this voice. Without delay, she lifted her right hand and gestured. Mist appeared as a result of this wave, totally closing off the cave. Where are you, Wang Lin? After inhaling deeply, Fan Shanlu cast a glance about. Her right palm trembled, belying her apparent calmness and the shock in her heart. Although Wang Lin did not show up right away, she did observe the mist that Fang Shanlu had produced. This mist was highly peculiar, its purpose was to completely enclose the cave's aura, preventing anyone from the outside from sensing anything within. This was Fan Shanlu acting in an unconscious manner. Wang Lin examined these details in order to see the wider picture. After giving it some thought, the smoke from the fruit leaf disappeared, and he materialized in front of Fan Shanlu. It's been a while. Wang Lin smiled, mist sweeping across his misty eyes as he glanced at Fan Shanlu. Fan Shanlu was momentarily surprised upon seeing Wang Lin and then broke into a smile. I didn't think you would come here. It's been a long time. This fog is for when core members of the Great Soul Sect enter closed door cultivation. It's safe here because once the fog rolls in, teacher's divine sense won't pass by carelessly. Fan Shanlu had a happy smile. She was surprised to see Wang Lin at this place. Her appreciation for Wang Lin, though, remained strong and had not faded over time. Her life had been shaped by the events that transpired in the underground world. She would not have been able to go home if Wang Lin hadn't been there. Wang Lin was also admired by Fan Shanlu. Wang Lin took a seat. Wang Lin became slightly more at ease after listening to her justification and seeing her responses. He was still being cautious, though, and he would strike without holding back if Fan Shanlu thought of anything else. Fan Shanlu grinned and turned to face Wang Lin. You're still as cautious. But that is good, you need to be cautious on the immortal astral continent in order to survive. I brought you up at our meeting with Yun Yai Feng of the Guiyi sect three years ago. We had not heard of you even though our calculations indicated that you ought to have visited the immortal astral continent long ago. Maybe something happened, or maybe you were out of town. I never anticipated seeing you here today. Fan Shanlu chuckled while blinking. I apologize for being a little late, there were a few mishaps on the way. I'm happy you're here. Wang Lin grinned. Wang Lin felt a tinge of warmth, it was unusual to meet someone acquainted on the immortal astral continent. Fan Shanlu actually experienced a tinge of warmth. She had lived in the cave for the most of her life, after all. She was no longer familiar with the Great Soul Sect and her affiliation with it was merely nominal. Talk. There must be a reason why you visited my cave and the Great Soul Sect. I will do everything in my power to assist if it is needed. When Wang Lin arrived, Fan Shanla's melancholy emotions vanished and were replaced with genuine happiness. Wang Lin's heart warmed as he sensed Fan Shanla's happiness. After a little interval of silent smiles, he spoke. It might have an impact on this main earth fire vein. I need to cultivate. After giving it some thought, Fan Shanla nodded. No issue. I can show you where the earth fire vein is grown, behind locked doors. A teacher ought to be amiable. She spends most of her time in closed-door cultivation, but every now and again she lets her divine senses run wild. In order to avoid upsetting the cultivation disciples, she won't check on them too frequently. My older sister is the real issue. She is also on this flame mountain, but she won't just come out of nowhere because teacher has noticed her. How about this? I'll go with you to the fire room, and I'm in closed-door cultivation if others ask. 
It can't take long, though, or else more people will start to inquire. Fan Shanlu acted decisively and thought of an idea fast. After thinking for a while, Wang Lin remarked, that would not be beneficial for you. Fan Shanlu smiled and shook her head as she heard this. Her demeanor softened. No issue. Teacher knows her limitations, and she defends her own. Wang Lin stood up and gave Fan Shanlu a firm handshake, his demeanor solemn. Many thanks. I wanted to thank you, but you don't have to. I could not have made it back to the immortal astral continent without you. Fan Shanlu stood up. We should not put off dealing with this issue, we must go forward. When Fan Shanlu stated, I'm going to have to ask you to endure hiding in me, she reddened. With a nod, Wang Lin transformed into smoke. He slipped inside her sleeve and wrapped his body around her. Wang Lin would be able to see any covert motions she made right away. His guarded demeanor would not alter based on the individual, setting, or their remarks. Fan Shanlu straightened her garments, and when her face was normal again, she waved her jade-colored palm to clear the air. She left the cave by walking. She made no stops along the route. Moving at a moderate pace, she headed towards a massive cave situated at the foot of the Crimson Mountain. It was the location next to the primary earth fire vein that their teacher had made available for her students to utilize in cultivation behind closed doors. Fan Shanlu was unhindered in any way as she traveled to the cave beneath the mountain. When they realized it was Fan Shanlu, they stopped caring even though she was passing by their caves. They believed that their teacher's supervision prevented an outsider from entering this area. Fan Shanlu was one of the core disciples as well, their teacher had taken an interest in her elder sister. It appeared as though their teacher would name her the heir. Fan Shanlu wouldn't have any issues with the other sect members as a result. With ease, she reached the bottom of the tunnel and came to a stop outside a room made of stones. This stone room had a red door that radiated heat in all directions. A typical cultivator would get a burning sensation in their body simply by standing outside, let alone inside. More accurately, this stone chamber was opened within the primary earth fire vein. Cultivating within meant cultivating within the primary earth fire vein. This area is intended for more than just cultivating the fire essence. All other ethereal essences, except water essence, might be cultivated here by the will of the earth fire vein. The secret was to use the pressure that the fire created here to create a time warping effect. The pressure was such that a day in here was worth many days outside. The most valuable area of this mountain was this stone chamber, which was only accessible to core disciples. As they neared, Fan Shanlu informed Wang Lin of everything. Fan Shanlu waved her right palm outside the stone room at this precise instant, causing the crimson door to slither open, allowing someone to pass through. The door opened and a madman's howl erupted from inside. A sea of fire emerged from the opening shortly after and transformed into a fire dragon that made an effort to eat Fan Shanlu. Fan Shanlu's gaze brightened. She uttered a peculiar sound and murmured softly as the fire dragon approached. Joe, the fire dragon shuddered at the sound, collapsing into a mass of embers in front of Fan Shanlo. She stepped into the door's opening without hesitation. The door closed slowly behind her. At that moment, a young woman, perhaps 30 years old, dressed in a white daist robe, at the top of the mountain cave, opened her eyes. The young lady was breathtakingly beautiful and could make anyone's heart skip a beat. Her eyes resembled a phoenix, her eyebrows a crescent moon, and her forehead was adorned with a dazzling cluster of five stars, giving her a very seductive appearance. With a seemingly carefree glance forward, her heavenly intuition descended to the stone chamber beneath. Her holy feeling, however, did not enter, it reappeared after sweeping once. Since rejoining the sect, Lu Er has not visited this location before. She should let go of everything that has been bothering her. The teacher of Fan Shanlu was this young lady. This young woman stood opposite a woman who resembled Fan Shanlu but who was visibly colder. Fan Shan Meng was the woman Wang Lin knew the most about. She slowly opened her eyes as her lashes fluttered. She sighed and closed her eyes to continue cultivating after giving it some thought. Fan Shanlu felt the heat wave from the cave within the stone room at the base of the mountain, and she started to perspire. This was merely incidental, a strong pressure was created by a will of fire that emanated from the cave's walls. This pressure would envelop everyone who ventured inside. First, you would have to take a seat and get used to the pressure. I can't go too far within the stone chamber. Fan Shanlua said, I can only wait for you here since I haven't been here in a long time. A wisp of smoke emerged from her sleeve as she spoke. 
Beside her, Wang Lin materialized. Wang Lin appeared, and the heat from the surroundings shot at him. But just as they were drawing near, Wang Lin breathed in the heat. Wang Lin didn't change her expression. The heat wave he inhaled became fire essence, fueling his body. Yes, that is the primary vein. There are almost a dozen branches in this heat wave. Wang Lin had bright eyes. This was where he was supposed to be. Upon closer inspection, the stone room was not square and lacked the characteristics of a true stone room. This was a lengthy stretch with red walls all around it. The red hue become more startling the deeper one went. There are 370 feet in all, with a new level every 10 feet. The ideal location for your needs can be found. Fan Shanla sat down at the door, nearly drenched in sweat in a matter of seconds. You have three days to depart. Here, I'll probably take a little longer. You won't be too affected if I bring about some change if you do that. Wang Lin gave Fan Shanlu a handshake before entering the room's interior. He traveled over 200 feet in an instant. A great wave of fire engulfed him as soon as he touched down, but it was quickly absorbed by him. Wang Lin descended another 370 feet into the cave. This was the cave's lowest point. Wang Lin took a seat and immediately pressed his palm to the ground. He was within the main fire vein right now, consuming its fiery essence and will, and doing so in front of the great soul sex titans was like to removing a tooth from a tiger's maw. Fan Shanlo observed Wang Lin's figure descend into the cave's depths. He was out of sight because of the wall's increased heating. She sighed after a while and closed her eyes to start cultivating. Wang Lin, meantime, put his hands on the ground and his eyes gleamed. Fire essence surged in waves that reached his hands and infused his body. Three days after the fire began to encircle Wang Lin's body, his aura vanished. He was very hard to find now that he had merged with the earth fire vein. This is when his divine sense began to slowly extend toward the earth fire vein that runs along the bottom of the stone room. Wang Lin's body was already full of fire essence, he couldn't complete his real essence body by absorbing more. His task was to consume the earth's fire vein's will. Wang Lin could only fully manifest his fire essence true body form by consuming that will and rising to the position of ruler of the fire in the heavenly bull continent. This is my chance to succeed. Wang Lin's heavenly sense transformed into the earth fire vein of his actual essence. The head still had the unusual appearance of a vermilion bird, but what was frightening was the fire's essence and will. Wang Lin's divine sense revealed that the infinite fire dragon buried deep within the earth was the primary source of earth fire vein. It seemed to have formed over countless years by the main earth fire vein and had an ancient sense of decay. It was just a will, it lacked intelligence. This will exerted constant pressure on Wang Lin, akin to the strength of the heavens. The eyes of Wang Lin's essence genuine body glowed with a chilly smile. Not only did he not duck, he started to devour the will as it got closer to him. Consume this will. Nourish his own volition. Create his own fire will. The whole main earth fire vein quivered as he devoured. Subsequently, an even more formidable fire will materialized, seemingly determined to bring Wang Lin down. However, this was not Wang Lin's actual body, rather, it was his true essence. Not only did it not hurt him, but it also made it possible for him to eat even more. Changes were starting to appear in his head. He no longer had a vermilion bird's chin, instead, skin was seen. Wang Lin became spirited as a result of this transformation. Turn this will toward the head of this primary earth fire vein. Wang Lin didn't hesitate because he realized that time was of the essence and that if he could absorb the will there, his essence true body would be complete. He descended into the earth's interior by following the primary vein of earth fire. He had to finish building his essence true body before the powerhouses of the great soul sect found him, or else everything would be lost. He was going to find the head of the soul of the main earth fire vein. Three days went by very quickly. Fan Shanla's eyes opened. Wang Lin was no longer palpable to her. She stood up and left the stone room after giving it some thought. Wang Lin's divine sense was temporarily sinking into the soil as a result of the unrelenting pressure of the will of fire, but this was only the case while Fan Shanla was gone and no one entered the stone room or observed Wang Lin's presence. Like a man running out of time. He surged toward the head of the earth fire vein, the source of the will. Three more days went by. By the third day's dusk, Wang Lin had gone underground for an undetermined length of time. Now he was able to perceive the head of the earth fire vein's soul. Hundreds of thousands of feet was the size of its head. It appeared old, and decay permeated even its breathing. 
The actual body of Wang Lin surged forward and penetrated the dragon's skull. The primary dragon spirit of the main earth fire vein sent up a startling roar as soon as he stepped inside. The vein quivered as this noise moved closer to the surface. Massive boulders toppled from the mountain above, and a thick sea of fire erupted from it. The young woman in the cave at the top of the mountain changed her look at this abrupt change. Without hesitation, her holy sense expanded and engulfed the mountain. What bravery the young lady dashed forward, reaching the base of the mountain in a split second. She dashed inside the cave, blasting open the stone room's red door. Wang Lin's body was 370 feet distant and surrounded by flames when the door was burst open. His body was pulled into the main earth fire vein below by a suction force that emerged from below. Do you want to sprint? The young woman had murderous intent written all over her face. Wang Lin was ready for the possibility that the young woman at the top of the mountain, an early stage void tribulant, would eventually notice him. The young woman's movement caused the remnant of his original spirit to borrow fire, drawing his body closer to his genuine essence. He was surrounded by flames along the way, yet he didn't feel the heat. This occurred as a result of his fire essence true body absorbing a significant amount of fire will. Wang Lin's body could not have withstood the heart's pressure once his true essence vanished. It also explained why, prior to the young woman's arrival, his body had not touched the planet. The young woman had murderous intent in her eyes. She could sense that someone was drawing heavily from the main vein of earth fire. Her heart began to grow focused on murder as a result. Are you really going to play this prank on me? The young woman reached the 370-foot mark in the cave immediately. You're tempting death. She moved quickly and followed Wang Lin into the subterranean. They swiftly descended farther below the surface as a pair. The red mountain was about to fall as the ground shook. One by one, the disciples flew out and turned to face the red, quivering mountain. Among them was Fan Shanlu. She grinned bitterly in her heart, knowing that this had something to do with Wang Lin. She considered how Wang Lin could bring about a heaven-shaking change wherever he went. Amidst the crowd stood Fan Shan Meng whose eyes glowed at the red mountain. She abruptly turned to face Fan Shanla, her younger sister, a moment later. The words little sister, it was you who brought the outsider into the stone room reverberated in Fan Shanla's thoughts from Fan Shan Meng. Despite being my older sister, please don't talk so nonchalantly. You tried to frame me now after using me for so long in the realm of caves. Are you still morally upright? Fan Shanla's chilly eyes met her older sister's as she turned to stare. She would never forget that in the cave world, her older sister had even tried to control Wang Lin by using her. She was awakened and left with a cold at that dangerous time. Fan Shan Meng stopped talking and thought in silence. The auras of the strong cultivators of the Great Soul Sect dispersed as the Red Mountain shook. This scarlet mountain was encircled by terrifying divine senses. This mountain was just one of the 49 main peaks that made up the Great Soul Sect. While not all of the peaks contained early-stage void tribulant cultivators, the Great Soul Sect's strength was evident. Fire was rapidly encircling Wang Lin's corpse as it descended down into the main earth fire vein. The girl was running after him, determined to murder him. But Wang Lin was moving like a fish in water because the earth fire vein held the will of his actual essence body. For her part, the young woman struggled to unleash her full potential because of the will. As they approached the main earth fire vein, the gap between them did not get smaller. The genuine body of Wang Lin was sitting there, consuming the dragon's will with all of its might, deep within the dragon's skull, in the vein of earthly fire. There was danger everywhere and time was of the importance. Wang Lin was too busy to consider other ideas. He was simply thinking about how to feed this fire's will. The primary dragon soul roared painfully as he devoured. The chin of Wang Lin's actual genuine body had entirely changed, no longer resembling a vermilion bird. This kept going till it formed his lips and reached his mouth. The actual body of Wang Lin appeared to be moving quickly. In his heart, he roared, devour more, faster. The dragon's body kept twisting as it let out a roar. It experienced the crisis of death due to the agony of being consumed. Shock waves shot out all around it as it twisted. The great soul sect shook as a result of this. Specifically, the pinnacle of the red mountain broke apart and rumbled. Suddenly, as if it wanted to scorch the sky, a sea of flames shot out into the sky. The Great Soul Sect became aware of this alteration. All of the disciples in the mountain withdrew. What's happening? Is it possible that someone approached the main vein of the earth fire? 
More adherents of the great soul sect arrived as roars resounded. Clearly, the young woman beneath sensed the shift above the surface. Her lovely face was iced over and she had a depressing appearance. She turned to face the fleeing Wang Lin, and a seal appeared on her right hand. She held a bronze mirror that materialized. Deo pattern of the ancient mirror, transform into the shadow of the heavens and earth, and murder that individual. The girl flicked her right palm, causing the ancient mirror to gleam brilliantly. A face shaped like a ghost emerged from the mirror, filled with a lot of black gas. The phantom face roared and shot forward, moving at a fast pace. It was still closing in, and in a moment it was less than 300 feet away from Wang Lin. It had closed in more than half the distance in an instant. Half of Wang Lin's intellect was absent. In essence, one was a real body meant to eat the will of fire, and the other was a body meant to get away from the young woman. Wang Lin whirled around and his eyes flashed coldly the minute the phantom visage was 300 feet from him. Wang Lin's eyelids fluttered as he took a stride with his right foot under the influence of the ghostly face spell of the great soul sect. Echoes resounded, and he vanished into thin air. The phantom face raced over and ate up Wang Lin's place the instant he vanished. Deep under the earth, thunderous rumbles could be heard. The young woman couldn't help but grimace when she arrived and stopped here. This is, she thought to herself as she sensed Wang Lin emerge from the earth's depths once more. The young woman had attempted to teleport beneath the influence of the main earth fire vein but had been unsuccessful. He is able to teleport inside the main earth fire vein, I can't underestimate him, the woman said. She wasn't really concerned about it, even though Wang Lin's ability astonished her. Since he had never teleported before, it had to have been expensive for him to do so now. With a frigid snort, the young woman waved her jade-like palm, saying, I want to see how many times he can teleport. She was drawn farther into the ground to pursue Wang Lin by the reappearance of the ghostly visage. The actual body of Wang Lin kept charging downward. He would teleport away each time the ghostly face and the woman were about to catch up. He never, however, went straight toward his actual body, instead, he consistently veered slightly off course. Because of this, even though he made slight moves, the final direction was quite different. Since the young woman was distracted by Wang Lin's body, his true body was in a relatively safe state and no one could disrupt it. It started to eat even more quickly. As Wang Lin kept eating, his true essence gradually took the form of a nose. Despite its fierce efforts, Wang Lin's real essence body was able to absorb the primary earth fire vein. This was a consuming between two sorts of fire, not related to a cultivation level. It was clear that Wang Lin was not a match for the primary earth fire vein. The vermilion bird eyes in Wang Lin's actual essence body soon gave way to two peaceful human eyes, yet beneath the calmness, one could see two fires raging within those eyes. Every time the earth fire vein struggled, its spirit would produce violent oscillations. Thunderous rumbles resounded, and the earth shook. Wang Lin's genuine essence created a seal, and his forehead transformed from a vermilion bird to real skin with a loud roar. His genuine body's essence revealed a heaven-shaking will the minute his nose, eyes, and forehead developed. Though it was still young, it was expanding quickly as he ate the main earth fire vein's soul. Wang Lin's genuine essence appeared to have entirely transformed from the forehead down when viewed from a distance. The only parts of him that still resembled a vermilion bird were the top of his head and his hair. The long feathers of the vermilion bird were clearly the hair. Wang Lin's eyes brightened, only the hair remains, then my essence true body will form completely. However, the young woman pursuing Wang Lin stopped and emerged from the ghostly visage at this precise moment because the struggle of the earth fire vein was producing such a strong vibration. She gave several different looks before clenching her teeth. A mistake deeper down, this individual has an avatar. He attracted my interest with his original body, and I unintentionally neglected his avatar as I pursued him. While I was chasing him, the main earth fire vein should have stopped trembling, but instead it got much more powerful. Damn it, the young woman reacted, her desire to kill intensifying even further. She gave up trying to find Wang Lin's original body and descended into the main earth fire vein in search of Wang Lin's actual essence. Wang Lin saw the young woman's direction shift as soon as she stopped pursuing. He flashed a serene smile. Aside from the fact that his previous body couldn't endure the heat before his true body consumed enough of it, he had left his original body in the stone room to divert the attention of the people pursuing him. He'd managed to postpone for a while now. The young woman wasn't incompetent. Even if it was someone else, 
They would assume that person was the issue if they observed someone wrapped in flames leaving the stone room and spotted a problem with the earth fire vein. They would follow that person instinctively and would always overlook something. Ultimately, it was rare to find flawless individuals in our world. Wang Lin might not have recognized that it was merely a diversion right away even if he had come across something comparable. The young woman was unusually good at spotting it right away. She gave up chasing after him and lunged into the earth fire vein. Wang Lin flashed a chilly smile upon realizing this. The earth fire vein now held two wills. The owner of the earth fire vein, the dragon spirit, was one, and his actual body, the fire essence, was the other. Wang Lin's eyes brightened as it was now my chance to attack. He wouldn't let anyone stop his genuine body's absorption of essence. This was a profound shift in both his nature and himself. This would significantly boost his strength as someone who arrived on the immortal astral continent from the cave world. He was gone in an instant, and ripples resonated beneath his feet. With the ghostly visage around her, the young woman hurried, which made her go extremely quickly. She stepped to the side without hesitation after experiencing an unexplainable emotion as she was moving forward. A ray of blood light shot through the ghostly visage and shot past her body in an instant. It passed her by and smashed into the vein of earth fire in front of her. The sword was made of blood. This blood sword had an aura reminiscent of the ancient Dao and exuded a horrific determination to kill. This crimson sword caused the young woman's countenance to drastically shift. The young lady turned around and saw the blood sword flash once more. The blood slaughter sword, one of the seven swords of the ancient Dao you're not a cultivator. As Wang Lin left, there were echoes in the direction where the blood sword had gone. Slaughter sword of blood, Wang Lin's eyes gleamed. The recollections were fragmentary as he had lost his left eye even if he had inherited Yemo's fortune. He was unaware of the sword's name, all he knew was that Yemo had received it from the ancient Dao's ruler. Wang Lin appeared looked up at the sky, and said nothing. Seven-colored light bursts formed above him, converging in front of him to form a seven-colored lance. The young woman was hit by the lance. With a chilly snort, the young woman waved her right hand carelessly. With a cry, the spectral visage in front of her took off in the direction of the seven-colored lance. Suddenly, the two sides clashed. The ghostly visage ate up the seven-colored light, which was completely helpless against it, and then soared in Wang Lin's direction. The young woman ran toward Wang Lin, following the ghostly face, with a look of murder in her eyes. Wang Lin heard a chilly voice reverberate through the earth fire vein, saying, Since you came yourself, then stay. Wang Lin stepped back and gave a sleeve wave. When Xian Luo's golden print emerged, the ghostly face was muted. A tiny bit of Xian Luo's might was there in the strong aura emanating from the golden print. With a loud crash, the spectral visage emitted a pitiful cry and vanished in front of Wang Lin as it rapidly closed in on it. The young woman was being approached by the golden print as the golden light shone brightly. The young woman startled as she saw the golden print. Her pupils contracted, and she came to a sudden stop. Wang Lin's eyes brightened at the same moment, and he withdrew, re-entering the earth fire vein. Simultaneously, the print ceased to advance and the golden light faded. It vanished with the sword of blood. Stop chasing now, I am not at all hostile to the great soul sect. Wang Lin said, I just need to use the main earth fire vein to cultivate a spell. The young woman heard his voice echoing in her head after he departed. The young lady just stood there thinking in silence. She was scared when she sensed the Grand Empyrean aura within the print at that very instant. She had a lot of ideas when she was in that aura. It took a while for the coolness to return to her gaze. What does it matter if a Grand Empyrean gave him a treasure? The blood sword, possessed by this individual, is a member of the ancient Dao clan. That clearly identifies the Grand Empyrean. Even though the Grand Empyreans of the ancient countries are strong, they cannot subdue a Celestials. Even if I make a mistake and kill the Grand Empyrean behind him, I will still be justified because he attacked the main earth fire vein of my great soul sect. Plus, even Grand Empyreans can't be that unreasonable, I'm only trying to stop him. The young woman whispered to herself as she raised her head and charged for the main earth fire vein once more. The woman had a fiery attitude, and her level of cultivation at the time was strongly correlated with her personality, meaning she was not one to give up quickly. The golden print startled her, but she had already made up her mind. There was nothing like this for Du Qing. Wang Lin's actual body sensed the young woman's movement at a different area of the main earth fire vein and sighed. 
People that are actually in the void tribulant stage of cultivation are all driven individuals. They won't be able to flee from a prize created by a grand empyrean easily, so let's see who can move more quickly. Wang Lin's stare hardened, and he vanished. The dragon's resistance weakened as Wang Lin's actual essence continued to absorb the primary vein of earth fire. At this point, black hair emerged at the roots, leaving just the feathers that made up the essence of the actual body. There appeared to be a gloomy light spreading around this black hair. The essence of the genuine body would fully form once it had spread. Time moved slowly by, the fundamental essence of Wang Lin was totally focused on absorbing the main earth fire vein, utterly disregarding any exterior threats. He was fighting for survival time. Wang Lin's efforts would be in vain if the young woman showed up before he was able to establish his essence true body. It would be quite tough to come by another opportunity like this one. He used charms to keep his original body from going ahead, appearing in front of the young woman. But after she repeated this action multiple times, the young woman just turned her back on him and charged into the earth fire vein. It was hours upon hours in a flash. The girl was drawing nearer and more. The soul of the primary earth fire vein had become somewhat weaker. Its body appeared to be gently relaxing as its roar grew quieter. But this was only how it looked on the outside, there was a brilliant brightness in its eyes. It let out a loud roar and its still, motionless form started moving again. With this roar, a sea of flames engulfed the enormous dragon soul, causing it to rapidly contract. It decreased to 100,000 feet, 10,000 feet, 1,000 feet, and 100 feet from its infinite size. The dragon soul released its greatest resistance as its body began to contract. From 100 feet, its body contracted to 50 feet, 30 feet, and 10 feet. Its resolve also compressed as a result of this insane condensing. Eventually, it contracted to a ball of fire the size of a fist. The dragon blasted a fist-sized ball of fire directly toward Wang Lin's essence true body's forehead the instant Wang Lin's essence true body was knocked off it. The ball of fire struck the forehead of the essence true body and entered it with a loud crash. Wang Lin felt a quiver in his divine sense the moment the ball of fire entered his genuine essence body. It appeared as though he had reverted to mortal form and was battling aboard a lone boat on the choppy sea. Wang Lin felt a very strong will try to destroy his ability to feel the divine and inhabit the genuine body. The fire dragon's will was this one. In its last ditch effort, it had given up its body and invaded Wang Lin's actual body. It was going to attempt to assume Wang Lin's actual, fundamental body. In this way, this real essence body would serve as the vehicle for its will. Wang Lin was about to have her heavenly sense crushed by this enormously strong will that had taken the form of a gigantic hand. There was a lot of difficulty and an unwavering nature to this will. It was roaring as though it were threatening the heavens. Wang Lin sensed heat and saw a light in the distance. The world's fire was created by the union of heat and light. The fire's will was to consume everything, even itself. It had an unwavering, heaven-defying will that would burn the entire world with just a tinge of madness. Wang Lin's divine sense and all else would be reduced to ashes by it. Fire the heart of the candle that sways with the wind but never goes out is where my understanding of fire comes from, not the vermilion bird. The candle dies and turns into smoke as the wind howls and tries to blow it out. Nevertheless, the candle struggles and trembles furiously each time the wind blows. It is unwilling to perish and refuse to become smoke. The essence of fire that I, Wang Lin, have understood is that which is the will of the candle fire, my Dao, and my ongoing battle with the heavens. Are you going to destroy my will? Is it possible to remove it? When Wang Lin's actual essence body opened its eyes, they were aflame. As his divine sense within the real body's essence battled the fire dragon's will, it let out a roar. It resisted giving in. Similar to the candle and its flame, this roar seemed to be loaded with the will to resist as it reverberated within the main vein of earth fire. The young woman heard this from a distance, and her expression changed. Wang Lin's original body trailed behind her. One by one, the two kept sinking farther and deeper into the ground. The young woman proceeded at full speed, paying Wang Lin no mind at all. He was unable to stop her since Wang Lin's cultivation level was much below hers. Still, he was under the stop spell. He had not yet used the spell, though. For this magic to work best, it had to be cast right before something crucial happened. The young woman approached Wang Lin's actual body more closely as she flew at top speed. Her divine perception expanded to encompass all that was visible. Her expression drastically changed when she saw Wang Lin's genuine form. 
He is truly taking the earth fire vein from a fire essence true body. This is an essence true body. The young woman's body shook and she gasped. Subconsciously, the right hand concealed beneath her sleeve trembled. The shaking was just as strong as it was when Wang Lin removed the Grand Empyrean treasure. Since she had seen an essence true body multiple times but had never seen a Grand Empyrean, it was actually even more intense. Esteemed Green Bull, the ancestor of the Great Soul Sect, has an essence true body as well. This young lady was well aware of the power of one and how hard it was to make one. She believed that in her lifetime, she would only see that one pure essence body. She was not prepared to see here a second, entirely other essential true body. It makes sense that he was taking me in a different direction and that he desired to go far into the earth fire vein. It also makes sense that he came here despite possessing a prize from a Grand Empyrean. The young woman's face turned pale, and coldness sprang out of her eyes. All of this was because he wanted to from an essence true body that is extremely difficult to form, to the point that it's almost legendary. As she aspired to construct a true body, she was well versed in the essence of bodies. She realized that the earth fire vein would collapse and vanish when the essence true body formed. I must prevent him from succeeding, the young lady clenched her teeth. She didn't want to allow this essence true body to grow, for whatever reason the intense jealousy she harbored or the harm the withering earth fire vein would inflict. Her body merged with the blood she coughed up. She moved ten times quicker than previously in an instant, moving like a shadow toward the direction of Wang Lin's genuine body. Wang Lin's actual body's roar of will was followed by the collapse of the Dragon Soul's will. The final vestige of the Dragon Soul's resistance gave way to Wang Lin's will. Wang Lin's will took over and started consuming the remaining Dragon Soul once the Dragon Soul's will crumbled. Wang Lin felt a rumble as loud as a thundercloud. Wang Lin's divine awareness expanded forth in all directions as the rumble continued. From somewhere beneath the earth fire vein, he heard a wretched roar that he could not quite place. He had just taken in the last of the dragon soul's fire when the roar entered his thoughts. The roar appeared to create an illusion and reverberate in his thoughts like thunder. When his vision cleared, he realized he was in space. This room felt infinite, and it was just too vast. Wang Lin stood looking around vacantly, as if he had no body. It eluded him where he was. A thundering rumble sounded in the distance, confusing him even more. Wang Lin's pupils narrowed when he turned around. He observed a bull. A massive bull encased in ice so thick it might freeze the stars. It was enormous and appeared to go on forever. It roared as it emerged from the sky. Its body emitted an unfathomable sense of horror that expanded in all directions. Even Wang Lin's thoughts appeared to be sluggish and his body to be immobile. Wang Lin had never in his life seen a beast so terrible. The beast's aura was just as strong as Xian Luo's. Wang Lin was unexpectedly struck by the words Heavenly Bull and the stories and folklore surrounding the Heavenly Bull continent. A foreign bull had been murdered by the celestial ancestor, who also transformed its body into a continent. This location was given the appellation Heavenly Bull Continent since this is where its soul was sealed. Once cultivators migrated here to create sex, mortals started to appear. After many years, this was added to the celestial clan's 72 continents. Wang Lin felt her heart quiver. The rumor flashed into Wang Lin's consciousness, and a golden light appeared over the heavenly bull. There looked to be a person wearing a crown and an emperor's robe as the sky was covered in golden light. Space itself shook with the appearance of the figure. A mysterious celestial force materialized and struck the icy aura. It was amazing to see as the world shook. Wang Lin, the celestial ancestor, didn't have to speculate. He knew this person he couldn't see the appearance of was the fabled celestial ancestor based on the legends. Could it be that the faint roar from the earth's bottom transported me back to the moment the celestial ancestor sealed the heavenly bull after I had consumed the will of the dragon soul? However, the heavenly bull is ice, so why is it fire elemental? When Wang Lin witnessed this, his heart began to quiver. The heavenly bull roared once again after the figure in the emperor's robe materialized. The ice quickly expanded throughout the heavenly bull, creating crackling noises in the process. Not even a peak seven-colored celestial sovereign could withstand this dreadful force. Maybe only Xian Luo could try to combat it with all of his might. The emperor in the robe reached up and crushed down with his five fingers, sealing the sky as the ice did. Simultaneously, a regal voice rang out. Extreme Fire Deo, 8th Level Celestial Deo. As soon as those words were heard again, the individual wearing the emperor's robe released a green vapor from his fingers. 
After making nine rings around his fingers, the smoke shot up toward the heavenly bull in the sky. As the nine smoke rings spread out across the sky, they appeared to be nearly infinite in size. They struck the heavenly bull with speed. The icy aura of the heavenly bull was instantaneously dissipated when the first ring struck it. The heavenly bull was hit by the second smoke ring that broke through the ice. One by one, the final seven rings came to rest. The heavenly bull raged and struggled, but it was trapped in the smoke rings and could not escape. The heavenly bull's ice aura vanished completely with the landing of the eighth smoke ring. Rather, a terrifying fire emerged, turning the hitherto heavenly bull into a flaming bull. You will be punished for daring to invade my celestial clan, your body will become the earth, your origin soul will nourish the spirits, your bones will become the veins, and your soul will be suppressed under the immortal astral continent for countless years. With a wretched howl, the heavenly bull's body dropped to form an infinite continent. The bones of the heavenly bull became veins, and countless mountains abruptly emerged from the ground. The bones of the heavenly bull became the veins of fire in the soil, and an endless flame emerged. The soul of the heavenly bull was restrained at the bottom of the earth. Occasionally, all that could be heard from deep within the ground was an unwilling roar, and nobody appeared to be able to hear it. Wang Lin's vision blurred after witnessing everything. He was back in the earth fire vein when his vision cleared up. He appeared to be able to hear the roar of the heavenly bull from below ground for a brief while. When Wang Lin's feathers quickly transformed into black hair and the hair of his actual essence changed, the confusion in his eyes had not yet vanished. The genuine body of Wang Lin was going to emerge. A terrifying crimson light was flashing in front of Wang Lin's actual body right now. The young woman inside the blood glow was stunning. She felt uneasy when she noticed that Wang Lin's genuine body's hair was growing quickly. With murderous intent visible in her gaze, she cast a spell to demolish this soon-to-be-completed essence real body. Behind the young lady, there were echoes, and Wang Lin's natural body emerged. There was a brief flicker of coldness in Wang Lin's eyes as the young woman prepared to assault. The stop spell he had been practicing along the way sprang into action. Stop the spell, stop the earth and heavens, stop the mind, stop everything. Wang Lin used this stop spell. Not only did it halt the body, the young woman's body momentarily stopped when she used the stop spell, breaking her enchantment. Wang Lin coughed up blood at that very moment, and his body made popping noises as a lot of blood mist came out of him. He didn't hesitate to charge ahead, though. He did not, however, assault the young lady. He deduced that she must possess a safeguarding relic of some sort. His origin soul was entire again as he teleported to where his essence genuine body lay, right in front of the young woman. Wang Lin's genuine body's hair completed turning into a full head of black hair at the same moment. The essence real body of Wang Lin exploded into a tremendous aura. Wang Lin's fire essence real body had now fully formed. The young woman's torso straightened and her eyes sharpened at this point. It's not enough, even if your avatar and real body have fused, the young woman said, her heart quivering. It was the first time she had ever seen a spell that could truly halt her. The backdrop to this spell was profound, she could not know. Wang Lin looked up and lifted his right hand just as the woman charged at him. Extreme Fire Deo, 8th Level Celestial Deo. Despite not having the Celestial Ancestor's bloodline, he had other strategies. 8th Level Celestial Deo, Extreme Fire Deo The Celestial Ancestor sealed the Heavenly Bull with this potent enchantment. Although Wang Lin was still in a trance, a portion of his original soul had just emerged from the illusion. He was still in a trance when he fused with his body, and the Celestial Ancestor's Extreme Fire Deo magic was all that was on his mind. Wang Lin's genuine body's shadow materialized when he talked. It appeared that there were two Wang Lin's standing here from a distance. It was really peculiar. Since the genuine body's essence was fire, as soon as it materialized, a heat wave expanded. The area surrounding him appeared to warp. Wang Lin's strong will was also a part of his actual essence. This was the will of the Fire Lord, the will of fire. With his right hand lifted, Wang Lin gestured towards the young lady and his genuine body was also pointing in her direction. Wang Lin's fingertips simultaneously developed a stand of green gas, revealing his true body. This green gas was so faint that it was only seen with great difficulty. It appeared as though it wanted to circle Wang Lin's finger once as it slowly curled around it. In the same instant, Wang Lin's actual body and essence released a strong pressure. The young woman's expression changed instantly as the pressure increased. She could definitely feel her bloodline trembling. 
Her body began to make popping noises as a result of this odd shift. What spell is this, exactly? It has the power to upend my ancestry. The young woman instantly sealed her hands and her pupils contracted. Her body's 36,000 pores emitted a black vapor that engulfed her before transforming into 36,000 spectral faces. Wang Lin was afraid and this army of ghostly faces raced at her to break the spell. Wang Lin's avatar inside the stone shell opened his eyes in the space between the immortal astral continent and the cave world almost immediately after the green gas appeared on his right finger. Green gas also emerged around his finger when he raised his right hand. Abruptly, the green vapor whirled around his finger once. Wang Lin and his actual real body simultaneously sensed a strong energy from the law of the immortal astral continent, deep within the earth fire vein. The 36,000 ghostly faces were closing in on him, and the green gas once again surrounded his finger. A ring of green smoke appeared on Wang Lin's finger at this precise moment. It grew and blasted at the 36,000 ghostly faces that made up the army. On the finger of Wang Lin's actual genuine body, a ring of scorching smoke likewise materialized and shot forward. Double the impact with just one spell. This was the clearest and most straightforward way to empower someone. Wang Lin's smoke ring shot out first, slamming into the 36,000 spectral faces that had leaked from the young woman's pores. Numerous ripples and a loud rumble reverberated across the earth. Let out a deep, deep rumble. Screams resounded as the terrible sound of thunder continued. As the 36,000 spectral faces fell beneath Wang Lin's smoke ring, they all screamed horribly. The young woman saw the smoke ring emerge from behind the army of ghostly faces. The young woman shuddered and backed away swiftly. She spit blood out of her mouth, biting the tip of her tongue to create a three-foot figure that resembled her. But this was not her original spirit, rather, it was something that the young woman had created with a very cruel technique. The three-footed small creature exhaled a harsh shriek after emerging. The wave of sound struck the ring smoke that had entered the army of 36,000 spectral faces. The three-foot-tall small guy vanished and the smoke ring disintegrated with a loud explosion. Wang Lin and the young lady felt a strong blow. Even with the ancient Deo's physique, the collision knocked Wang Lin back a few paces. He coughed up blood, yet his visage was filled with murderous resolve rather than weakness. The young woman withdrew as well. What a powerful body, to resist the impact from the collapse of my spell. Her mouth was bleeding profusely from the corner. However, this was not yet the end. Wang Lin would have been at a disadvantage if he lacked the essence true body, but at this point, the essence true body was complete. His actual body formed a ring of smoke that permeated the impact and flew in the direction of the young lady. The woman was bitter after seeing this scene. She realized that fighting someone with one body was the same as fighting two. This was the essence of the genuine body. The girl gritted her teeth as the ring of smoke drew in. With a lift of her right hand, she held a blue umbrella. Stardust bursts shot out of the umbrella. The earth seemed to quiver the minute the umbrella materialized. An atmosphere of terror emanated from the umbrella. This was no typical umbrella. In an instant, the young woman lifted the umbrella. The umbrella was big enough to hide her entire body. The blue umbrella and Wang Lin's actual body clashed to make a smoke ring. The earth quivered violently as thunder rumbled again. The great soul sect shook as the vibrations rose to the surface. Earth's crust was tearing apart, causing even the mountains surrounding the great soul sect to quiver. The smoke ring broke, but before it did, the young woman's blue umbrella gave rise to a startling cry that she would only let out if she was gravely hurt. The spirit of the umbrella was the source of that cry. A crackling sound indicated that the umbrella had been ripped open as the rumble continued. The light transformed into blue and was compelled to return to the young lady's body. The woman withdrew as her heart yearned for the umbrella. She was staring at Wang Lin with even more deadly determination now. Wang Lin had a somewhat pallid face. Wang Lin's energy and essence true body were not sufficiently consumed by the extreme fire Deo spell he had employed while in a trance. But he could sense that it was draining his avatar's force in the emptiness. Wang Lin would not allow that avatar to be damaged because he had great aspirations for it in the future. The power of this celestial ancestor is incredibly strong. Even though I was in a trance, I was able to match this early stage void tribulant woman with just one green gas ring. She wouldn't be my match if I could construct two rings. But this spell uses up my avatar's power, which explains why it's so strong. Wang Lin was aware of how enigmatic his avatar was. If his prediction came to pass, 
that Avatar would eventually take on characteristics of the celestial and ancient ancestors, or they could be said to have been born via the same process. He could not equal the celestial or ancient ancestors right now, but in time, his avatar will become even more fearsome. His greatest ace was this one. Wang Lin could not possess the 8th level celestial Dao of the celestial ancestor at his cultivation level by simply witnessing it once. Something like that, maybe only a grand emperian could do. It was made possible for him to use it by his avatar. After Wang Lin's original body viewed the spell, it was his avatar that understood it. This understanding was then transferred back to the real body. Wang Lin was able to use the final spell as a result, sealing the heavenly bowl. This spell could lock the heavenly bowl with nine rings, and it could even seal a grand empyrean. Still, his present avatar was a far way from that. Wang Lin had these ideas rush through her mind. With a fierce aim to kill Wang Lin, the young lady removed her blue umbrella at this precise time. Wang Lin snorted coldly and his eyes brightened. Waving toward the empty space, he raised his right hand. Behind him, his genuine essence waved a hand as well. The whole vein of earth fire quivered. The main earth fire vein would not wither quickly, even having lost its dragon spirit. It was just too large. Fire energy surged into Wang Lin's body as he waved his hand. A strong sea of flames erupted, and the entire earth's fire vein rocked. The great soul sex red mountain instantly caught fire because the sea of fire was just too large. Even the surrounding soil emitted fire. Wang Lin raised his right hand, summoning the war spirit, and all of the fire that remained in the earth's fire vein condensed into a massive fire palm print, originating from all sides. Wang Lin's actual essence body moved simultaneously, and an even bigger fire palm print emerged behind him. The small and large fire palm prints shot toward the young woman as Wang Lin thrust his right hand forward. Wang Lin did not wait to see the outcome, he simply vanished after taking a stride and causing ripples to resound. The sea of fire raged, and the earth shook. Many cultivators were startled to hear a loud rumble that shook a tiny area of the heavenly bull continent. A woman's shriek, loud and fierce, resounded deep under the earth. Wang Lin had already merged with the earth at this point, appearing on the heavenly mountain outside the great soul sect through the usage of spatial bends. The true body of fire essence has developed. My eyes shone as Wang Lin stood on the mountain. Although my cultivation level hasn't changed, my strength has doubled. Although I can't match an early stage void tribulant cultivator yet, I have the strength to protect myself. If it comes down to life or death, I can kill a void tribulant cultivator if I use ancient Dao, no celestial along with the extreme fire Dao. The price would be too high, though. His feet started to feel slick, and he turned to walk away. Little friend, you came as a visitor to my great soul sect and you're about to depart right now? Wang Lin heard an old voice behind her. Wang Lin seemed unsurprised at all, as though he had anticipated this voice's appearance. The voice materialized, and Wang Lin pivoted. A white-haired old man with a deist robe was sitting in the snow and staring at him as the snow fell. This old man seems to have been waiting for Wang Lin for a very long time. He employed spatial bending in the earth fire vein as if he knew Wang Lin would show up here. His eyes glistened with unending insight. He gave Wang Lin a look as though he could see right through Wang Lin's thoughts. As soon as he turned to face Wang Lin, Wang Lin began to absorb the elderly guy as well. His pupils narrowed abruptly before rapidly expanding again. There was essence in this elderly man's eyes. This was not his birth body, rather, it was a true body in essence. Wang Lin had never before seen a real essence body other than his own. At this point, it was clear who this elderly man was. Junior welcomes Honorable Green Bull. Wang Lin clasped his hands, still appearing composed. With a slow gaze, the esteemed Green Bull's essence true body murmured to Wang Lin, reveal your essence true body and let this old man see. Wang Lin's left eye's fire flared as he raised an eyebrow. Behind him, a shadow materialized and became his actual body. It began at the essence of the genuine body of esteemed Green Bull and had the exact same appearance as Wang Lin. Esteemed Green Bull's genuine essence body stood up as the two essence bodies exchanged glances. There was a terrible aura that enveloped the heavenly mountain. The screaming wind carried the blue snow away. You are the third person I have seen in my life who has an essence real body, aside from myself. It is indeed an essence genuine body. Wang Lin pondered in silence and remained mute. Suddenly, the essential body of the esteemed green bull replied, Your name is Wang Linier. Wang Lin maintained his composure, 
acting as though this old man knowing his name didn't surprise him. It wasn't shocking that the elderly ancestor of the Great Soul Sect recognized him since Fan Shan Meng was acquainted with him. Wang Lin stated coolly, It's me. Those who emerge from the world of caves are in fact not easy at all. The genuine core of the esteemed Green Bull side. The question I wonder, what essence formed Senior's essence true body? Gleamed in Wang Lin's eyes. The real body of the esteemed Green Bull grinned. Wang Lin's question did not annoy him, instead, he grinned. The true body of this elderly man is made of his chili essence not water do you get that? Wang Lin scowled and took a long, hard look at the elderly man's actual body before he spoke. Water is physical, and coldness is an aura. Reputable Green Bull grinned and gave Wang Lin a shameless admiring glance. As soon as you joined the Great Soul Sect, I knew. I witnessed your ascent up the Red Mountain, your encounter with Fan Shanlo, and your absorption of the primary earth fire vein. Since you and my great soul sect are destined, there's no need to depart quickly. You have formed this fire essence true body in my great soul sect. Become an elder in my great soul sect, Wang Lin. What say you? Wang Lin didn't say anything, but his eyes brightened. On the immortal astral continent, unless you create a sect yourself, you need to ally with a sect in order to grow, remarked the true form of esteemed green bull, turning to face Wang Lin. Rejecting the offer is an option, but eventually you will have to make this decision. One of the thirteen factions and nine sects on the eastern continent is my great soul sect. Become of an elder of my sect and I'll give you your own peak and cave everything you need, the great soul sect will supply, and as long as you reach the conditions, you can learn any of the Deo spells of the great soul sect how about it? What the esteemed green bull had said was very alluring. He didn't threaten Wang Lin and completely ignored the fact that Wang Lin had destroyed the earth fire vein, fought with that woman in the earth vein, and caused a huge fire in the great soul sect. But the more he ignored these things and seemed to not care, the more Wang Lin understood the invisible pressure. However, Wang Lin's expression remained neutral and his heart was calm. He had long made speculations on everything that could happen after he entered the great soul sect. This naturally included precautions against esteemed green bull. When Wang Lin sat the other party hadn't come with their real body but only their essence true body, Wang Lin had already guessed his true intent. To use the essence true body to tempt Wang Lin's heart. Everything that had been said was just the warm-up, the real offer hasn't been laid out yet. Seeing that Wang Lin was still pondering, esteemed Green Bull's true body smiled and spoke once more. Also, this old man will be the most helpful person to you because we both have essence true bodies. I can tell you the secret of the essence true body. Wang Lin was waiting for this and his eyes suddenly narrowed. However, he remained silent and didn't refuse or agree. He looked at esteemed Green Bull's essence true body. I will give you one incense stick of time to think esteemed Green Bull waved his hand and the surrounding snow gathered to form an incense stick. This incense stick silently burned and slowly melted, it was no different from a real incense stick. Time slowly passed. Shortly after, only half the snow incense stick remained, and Wang Lin suddenly spoke. How did you know I would appear here after leaving? My great soul sect has a Deo spell named Soul Ideo. This spell can divinate a lot of things. There are many people on the immortal astral continent, and among them, there are many ways to divinate. In my celestial clan, the imperial teacher in the imperial capital is number one. With the power of one person, in terms of divination, he could match the three imperial teachers of the three ancient countries. My great soul sex soul ideo is but a glimpse at the path of divination. It does not focus on divinating others, but changes oneself to make it difficult for others to divinate you. If you want to learn it, I can teach you. Time is about up, I'm waiting for your decision. Esteemed Green Bull's real body smiled as he spoke. Wang Lin looked at the snow incense stick without much time remaining and his eyes lit up. He took a step back and his essence true body also took a step. Ripples echoed and he disappeared from the heavenly mountain. His sudden movement wasn't stopped by the esteemed green bull, not even his expression changed. He saw Wang Lin disappear and slightly shook his head. If you are really the person the ancestor talked about when he chose to build the great soul sect on the main earth fire vein, then you will return before the snow incense stick finishes burning. I have the spell and information you need, but if you don't return, then you're not so. As he muttered, he closed his eyes. Not much of the snow incense stick remained, it slowly melted. 
far away from the heavenly mountain, a place in the heavenly bull continent that would take Wang Lin one month to fly to, there was a mountain covered in a green forest. Ripples echoed in the sky and Wang Lin walked out. Mountains filled the area, and they were all irregularly shaped. The mountain range was dense and endless, a classic type of terrain found in the heavenly bull continent. Sol Ideo. Whether this spell really exists, I can simply test it to find out Wang Lin's eyes lit up and he looked around. He didn't notice any anomalies. Although there were many living things nearby, none of them were a threat to him. The wind here was strong, and when it blew into the forest on the mountains, it caused the leaves to create a wonderful sound. Wang Lin turned around and was about to leave, but his body trembled as he had if he vaguely spotted something. He suddenly looked down at the mountain range below. The earth was very ordinary, as if there was nothing wrong. But Wang Lin's pupil suddenly shrank and the feeling of all his hair standing up appeared. He waved his hand and a gust of wind blew across the mountains, causing the trees to sway. In the blink of an eye, the mountain and the swaying trees seemed to form a word. This word was very simple, it was a Wang. After pondering for a long time, Wang Lin's eyes revealed a strange light and he merged with the world once more. When he reappeared, he was far away, near the Blue Dragon sect. Wang Lin had been here before. This was where he had absorbed the first child vein and where he had encountered Du Qing. The location that formed Wang is somewhere I've never been to before. There are many ways to explain why a word would appear there. Now I'm going to a place I have been to before. I want to see if a miracle can really happen Wang Lin appeared in the sky and looked below. However, what he saw caused his body to tremble. His mind rumbled as he stared at the earth. Due to the withering of the earth fire vein, cracks had appeared on the earth, and the cracks formed the word Lin. One had to look from above to see the word Lin. After looking for a long time, Wang Lin closed his eyes. He was sure that all the cracks had just appeared here and were not changed by anyone. This meant that these cracks had all appeared naturally. While pondering, Wang Lin disappeared. This time he didn't choose a target, he moved unconsciously. He didn't know where he was going. He appeared in the sky above a random part of the heavenly bull continent. Wang Lin's divine sense spread out and he no longer saw the earth writing out any more words. Beneath him was a curved river, and this river looked very common, it was not in the form of any word. Wang Lin seemed to relax, but soon his expression became serious. He saw the remains of an ancient, stone bridge that used to be here a long time ago. It had already collapsed, and only the parts on the shore still remained. There was a stone tablet that seemed to have the name of the bridge written on it. In a flash, Wang Lin landed next to the stone tablet, and after taking a look, his body trembled violently. Return bridge. Wang Lin muttered. Wang Lin return. These three words seemed to be made of bolts of thunder, and they flashed in Wang Lin's mind. This caused him to retreat several steps from the broken bridge. Wang Lin's expression became uncertain as he looked at the broken stone tablet, and his gaze gradually became cold. Interesting. I didn't expect to encounter such an interesting thing on the immortal astral continent. Divination that calculates the flow of time. This divination method is really interesting. Is the great soul sect fated with me? Wang Lin thought about this for a moment. I don't know what I might encounter if I teleport a few more times, but there is no need to try whether it was a steamed green bull or a powerful ancestor from countless years ago, someone divinate the fact that I would come to the great soul sect and absorb the main earth fire vein. The fact that they waited here for me means that they want to form a relationship with me. Wang Lin pondered for a moment and suddenly smiled. This plan is very easy to break, but why should I break it? The Great Soul Sect wants me to become an elder and I want to borrow the Great Soul Sect to learn more about the immortal astral continent Wang Lin retreated a step. Ripples echoed and he disappeared. The blue snow fell on the heavenly mountain was if it would never get tired. The snow in the mountain was hit by the sunlight. The light spread out and gave off an indescribable feeling that connected the earth and the heavens. A steamed green bull's essence true body was sitting in the snow. His hair didn't move at all under the wind. It was really peculiar. Before him, the incense stick formed by snow was slowly melting. Only a small portion remained, it wouldn't take long for it to completely melt. Time unknowingly passed like this. Just as the snow incense stick completely melted, a vortex formed and Wang Lin walked out. The moment he landed on the mountain peak, the snow incense stick melted to nothing. You've returned. A steamed green bull's essence true body opened his eyes and smiled. This is the soul eye spell. A steamed green bull's essence true body raised his right hand and grasped the void. 
A purple jade appeared in his hand. This jade gave off an ancient aura, as if it had existed for far too long. He waved his hand and threw the jade at Wang Lin without even waiting for Wang Lin's response. Wang Lin grabbed the jade and swept it with his divine sense. He calmly put the jade away. Let's go, we'll return to the Great Soul Sect. A steamed green bull stood up and wiped the snow from his essence true body. He stepped forward and a three-foot cloud appeared under his feet. The cloud was made of gas and looked like a swirl of rapidly moving air. A steamed green bull stepped on the could and rapidly moved forward. Wang Lin's expression remained calm and he stepped forward. He didn't merge with the world but turned into a ray of light to follow a steamed green bull. They both moved very fast and disappeared over the horizon. There were many main peaks in the Great Soul Sect. The Red Mountain connected to the main earth vein was just one of them. If one looked from above, one would see endless mountains and peaks that pierced the sky. Some were surrounded by fog and extremely gloomy. Some were even surrounded by a giant, ghostly face that let out silent howls that turned into ripples that circled the area. A total of 360 main peaks formed the Great Soul Sex Roots. Some mains peaks were very far apart and some were close. The valleys in each mountain range contained countless gorgeous pavilions, temples, squares, and caves. The Great Soul Sex 100,000 disciples lived in these valleys and cultivated a lot of different cultivation methods. The Great Soul Sect had a lot of spells. Aside from those that were passed down after destroying countless sects over the years, they had a lot of spells that the disciples could learn now. At this moment, the Red Mountain had changed completely. It was no longer red and was now dark purple. There were many cracks, and it was in a sorry state. The young woman who owned the mountain was named Yen Lu. She looked gloomy and her hair was slightly scattered. There was a hidden anger in her that could erupt at any time. The moment Wang Lin and a steamed green bull appeared in the horizon, Yen Lu looked over. Her gaze became cold and her face was filled with killing intent. All disciples of the Flame Vein Mountain, listen to my order and follow teacher to kill the thief that destroyed my peak Yen Lu turned into a ray of light and flew forward with more than a dozen core disciples following her. This included Fan Shan Meng and Fan Shan Lu. At a glance, this group of teacher and disciples were all women, and they were all very beautiful. They took the shape of a phoenix as they flew forward and appeared before Wang Lin and a steamed green bull. After returning to the Great Soul Sect, Wang Lin's expression remained the same, but his emotions were very different. He had snuck in when he first entered, but the second time, he had come through the front door. He didn't speak with a steamed green bull along the way. Seeing the Great Soul Sect, a steamed green bull was about to speak but suddenly frowned. Wang Lin also noticed the giant phoenix flying out from the Great Soul Sect. This young woman was very beautiful, but she was filled with killing intent. She was the owner of the main earth fire vein, that one that had chased Wang Lin underground. Little thief, you destroyed my mountain. I won't let this matter go the young woman simply didn't give a steamed green bull time to speak at all. With her cultivation level, how could she not see the problem? The old ancestor had brought Wang Lin back, but not as a prison, more as a guest. She said this immediately so that even though it was the old ancestor, he would have to give her an explanation. After all, she was an elder of the Great Soul Sect. Not only was Yen Lu beautiful, she was also very cunning. She hadn't just come out herself but brought all her core disciples. If the old ancestor protected Wang Lin, it would be the same as giving up her faction. If her disciples saw this, she would be forced to leave the Great Soul Sect. This was the same as burning a bridge. In addition, Yen Lu had caused the Phoenix Shadow to appear immediately, and this shadow was very large. This immediately caused a big commotion within the Great Soul Sect. This commotion was not for the old ancestor, but to attract her friends and the elders of the other main peaks. They all flew out from their respective peaks. Such behavior meant putting this matter into the public view. She was also on the right, which made it difficult for the old ancestor to choose a side on this matter. Yen Lu's acts included so many intents, revealing that she was extraordinary. As she pushed forward, powerful auras emanated from the peaks of the Great Soul Sect, and they all soared toward this area. Those figures had varying cultivation levels. The strongest was at the early stage of Void Tribulant and the weakest was still at Spirit Void. I thank the ancestor for capturing this little thief. Little thief. I want to see where you will flee this time Yen Lu quickly charged at Wang Lin. He saw the gorgeous woman morph into the head of a phoenix, as its big beak closed in on him. From far away, it seemed like a blazing phoenix devouring the heavens. 
The aura of a void tribulant cultivator emerged from the phoenix, but the cultivation seemed a bit fragile and ready to topple. The gorgeous young woman was visibly injured by Wang Lin's various strikes from before. In addition, she was grieved by the plight of the mountain and filled with fury that harmed her psyche when Wang Lin had reappeared before her. Wang Lin's eyes shone brightly. Rather than withdrawing, he let out a chuckle that spread in all directions. Since he had decided to join the Great Soul Sect and become a Great Soul Sect Elder, then he needed to prove his might. There was no need for Wang Lin to hold back because the ancient ancestor of the Great Soul Sect was aware that Wang Lin was from the cave world and had to be aware of his ancient Dao heritage. How to hide it was an issue for the elderly relative to resolve. Wang Lin took a step forward and raised his right hand after deciding. He balled his fist and punched the empty air. God shiver, army gathering. The sky rumbled and distorted when this punch crashed in it. A massive vortex emerged and spun quickly. Everything appeared to be rotating, including the earth, yet Wang Lin stayed still. Yen Lu's phoenix was drawn in at the exact instant the vortex materialized and the globe spun about. The distortion gave the phoenix the appearance of about to topple. Old Ghost Zhan was in the early stages of Void Tribulant when Wang Lin cast this spell on him. It was just as startling that Wang Lin was using it now. The elders of the Great Soul Sect all had different expressions the minute this spell materialized. Yen Lu's pupils even dilated. Although she had been fighting Wang Lin for a few rounds, she had never witnessed Wang Lin employ this magic. The Ancient Dao Aura This individual is not a cultivator of my celestial clan, but rather has the aura of a farmer from the ancient kingdoms. He is a native of the ancient nations. With a sigh, a steamed green bull scowled and waved his right hand. This place was enveloped in a strong energy that concealed Wang Lin's ancient Dao Aura, preventing the others from sensing it. Wang Lin's white hair fluttered, giving him a majestic appearance as he stood there casting the demonic spell the fiery wind turns into a mountain. He waved, opening his hand to make a palm. The phoenix shadow surrounding Yen Lu vanished with this wave. A fierce wind emerged from the distortion, encircling Wang Lin with eight smoke pillars. Horrible howling enveloped the area from the smoke pillars. The eight smoke pillars revolved around Wang Lin in a manner akin to a storm instead of remaining still. They surrounded Yan Lu as they flew in her direction. Gestural roars resounded throughout the terrain. When the elders of the great soul sect in the area observed all of this, they grew grave. The magic cast by Wang Lin was just too unexpected. When they witnessed this, even their hearts skipped a beat. This is not my celestial clan spell, this is a pure ancient Dao spell. Most ancient Dao spells follow a sequence of combinations before their whole force erupts at the last minute, rather than displaying their full might all at once. The identification of this person is too delicate. Why was he brought back by the ancient ancestor? Even if this person's cultivation appears ordinary, I would have to back off because of the spell, if I were even slightly negligent, I would perish. The physical attributes of the cultivators in ancient countries are astounding. He must possess great physical strength. Yen Lu had unkempt hair. The firestorm, eight pillars of smoke rising from the ground, surrounding her. Everything was dark, and she felt as though her body would burst from the suction force and the roar in her ears. Her heart was filled with a sensation of life and death. How on earth could he be? It was too late for Yen Lu to consider that his smoke ring magic was even more scary than I had imagined. She spit out a mouthful of blood after biting the tip of her tongue. Her jade-like hand sealed itself then snatched up the blood and squeezed viciously. Yen Lu's voice was fierce and had a cutting edge. Use my essence blood to summon the the great soul sex ancestor, break the void soul fantasy origin. Everybody outside could hear her voice through the firestorm. As Yen Lu squished the blood, tiny droplets of blood spurted out of her fingers. Before long, a blood road formed from the copious amounts of blood mist. This track of blood reached into the unknown and the never-ending emptiness. At the end of the crimson road, there seemed to be a loud rumble, as if a portal to an unfamiliar place had opened. A shadow of blood, veiled in an interminable resentment, emerged from that peculiar place. The world's hues shifted as soon as it entered the blood road. The ninth ancestor is this one. When did Yen Lu's soul fantasy origin become capable of calling forth the ninth ancestor? Luo Yunhai was the tenth ancestor. The sect has murals that show his life of massacre. He was the leader of a generation and there are a billion bitter souls around him. The ninth ancestor faced off against Grand Empyrean Dao Yi at his height. The Grand Empyrean killed him because he failed. But because of how exceptional he was, 
His soul was spared and he was permitted to rejoin the group. The world was rocked by sudden noises as the blood shadow behind Yen Lu erupted from the blood road. The blurred image of the blood shadow's body made its visage unrecognizable. But it emanated a heaven-shaking aura, and it moved only a step after it did. The planet trembled at this move, and a pressure of murderous purpose erupted in all directions. It appeared as though the firestorm surrounding Yen Lu was overwhelmed by the pressure and retreated. Wang Lin was also astounded, and his eyes gleamed. The Deo spells of the Big Soul Sect are truly remarkable. Being an elder is a big benefit to me. All of the spells are very potent, whether they are this soul fantasy origin or the soul eye spell. Wang Lin's eyes brightened, and he took three steps back as a result of the dreadful pressure. I have to study them. A massive ancient Deo shadow materialized behind him as the ancient Deo aura burst from his body. This shadow seemed quite real, and it solidified swiftly. It bore a striking resemblance to Wang Lin while donning an armored costume from antiquity. Wang Lin pulled back, pulling his right hand and sticking out his index finger. Life and death reversal with Devil Deo. With this, Yen Lu's expression shifted again. She felt the immense life energy in her body change into death aura. A feeling of weakness spread across her body. A strong death aura enveloped the globe when Wang Lin utilized the Devil Deo. This death aura included every one of the innumerable deceased members of the Great Soul Sect. When this death aura accumulated, it resembled a sea and created a sea of death beyond the Great Soul Sect. It covered the region with roars that resonated. Without hesitation, the elders of the Great Soul Sect withdrew under the influence. There were just a few individuals with high cultivation levels left, and they had somber attitudes. They regarded Wang Lin with intense fear. This air of doom quickly collected, yet it was not finished. Wang Lin appeared to hear a low growl emanating from the Earth's interior as the death aura began to swiftly intensify. That noise was the heavenly bull's roar. This continent contained the heavenly bull trapped beneath it. In actuality, the heavenly bull was dead. Its body was the ground, its primal soul was used to support life on it, and its soul was suppressed. However, its indomitable will still survived. At this moment, Wang Lin's devil Deo reversed life and death, resulting in a stunning death aura exploding from the earth. The world appeared to be covered in fog as it charged out. Following this, the death aura raced out and joined the sea of death, forming a massive, heavenly bull. The heavenly bull's eyes were bloodshot and it had a menacing attitude. It gave birth to a startling roar that expressed its resistance to dying. The entire great soul sect was rocked as the heavenly bull materialized. The elders in the area shook and had shocked looks in their eyes. Heavenly bull. This, is the heavenly bull that he assumed the form of. This isn't feasible, how is it possible? Shock even reached the ancient monsters who had not yet materialized and were merely observing with their divine senses. As they all broke free of their peaks, they turned to face the startling heavenly bull that the death aura had created. Some old creatures were moved, even if they didn't think this conflict was worth their time. An elderly man sat on the tallest peak, at the heart of the great soul sect. This elderly man bore a striking resemblance to the actual essence of esteemed green bull. This was his former physique. His eyes sprung wide, revealing a rare look of enthusiasm. A soul capable of setting off the heavenly bull. He is the person the ancestor spoke about many years ago. The ancestor selected this primary earth fire vein and relocated the entire great soul sack to the heavenly bull continent in order to await one individual. This person is him, this person is from the cave world, this person has the ability to activate the heavenly bull. He originated in the land of caves, he is not a resident of the immortal astral continent. He resembles the 72 animals hidden beneath the 72 continents in certain ways. The heavenly bull did not originate from the immortal astral continent, rather, it originated from beyond the heavens. Since he is the same, he has the ability to awaken bull's heavenly soul. Yen Lu's face grew deathly pale the minute the death aura, dubbed the heavenly bull, arrived. She was not prepared for this struggle to take this turn. The heavenly bull of death screamed and charged at Yen Lu with the sea of death aura, causing a roar that reverberated across the entire universe. The crimson shadow behind Yen Lu on the blood road elevated its foot and took three steps at the same moment. Yen Lu's face grew paler with each stride, and the blood shadow's pressure increased as he tried to withstand the heavenly death aura. Rumbles of thunder resounded. Bull, the heavenly death aura, and the blood shadow were far apart, yet the pressure they generated caused them to clash. This impact seemed to turn the universe upside down. 
The heavenly bowl of death crumbled and the death aura evaporated simultaneously with the distortion and final disappearance of the blood shadow. The power of the real heavenly bowl was far greater than that of this death aura bowl, which only held a small portion of the original bowl's will. But it wasn't weak either. Wang Lin muttered, God, demon, devil, ancient Dao, no celestial, and held out his hand in the palm position. Within his body, the three auras of the ancient clan melded fast. Then he balled his fist and delivered a blow. Wang Lin's attack caused the armored ancient Dao behemoth behind him to roar inaudibly and launch a punch in response. When this blow hit nothing but nothing, nine waves reverberated. There were crackling noises everywhere the ripples traveled. A gray flash terrified everything in sight, including the pavilions, the grass, the mountain, the sky, and everything in range. With a mouthful of blood, Yen Lu coughed and backed away immediately. Her face had completely transformed, and she was staring at Wang Lin terrified. The universe abruptly erupted in a roar as the nine waves raced toward Yen Lu. Enough Yen Lu, give up. You can't treat the new elder rudely. This elderly man will make up for your fire peak. A holy sense that was like a storm enveloped the region as he roared. The ancient Dao, no celestial charm cast by Wang Lin caused ripples that collided with it. Immediately, the nine layers of waves broke up and vanished into tiny points of golden light. This divine feeling knocked Yen Lu's body back. It took her almost a thousand feet to withdraw before she halted. All the elders of the Great Soul Sect thought solemnly as the strong divine sensation enveloped the region. The world's dramatic transformations gradually came to an end. An elderly guy materialized between Wang Lin and Yen Lu as the divine feeling fell. This old man had white hair and was dressed in a green robe. It was the original body of the esteemed green bull. His true body came at the exact instant his body developed, merged with it to form an ambiguous shadow behind it. The old man radiated a frightening aura. Wang Lin thought that the seven-colored celestial sovereign's pinnacle was surpassed by this atmosphere. Wang Lin, the late-stage void tribulant, appeared composed, but there was a slight decrease in the size of his pupils. Greetings, ancestor. The elders of the great soul sect in the vicinity all bowed as the elderly man's body emerged. Even Yin Lu bowed politely, her visage dark and ever-changing. Only Wang Lin remained motionless and unbowed. He was staring at a steamed green bull with composure. Yen Lu, I've invited Elder Wang. He is going to be among my great soul sex elders now. With a leisurely gaze at the stunning young Yen Lu, a steamed green bull stated, as for your fire vein mountain. This old man will make another mountain for you and allow you to enter the soul scripture pavilion for three days. Yen Lu thought in silence. Though initially opposed, she nodded quietly as she considered Wang Lin's horrifying magic. This will now conclude the matter. Within my great soul sect, everything concerning Elder Wang is kept secret. The regulations of the sect would punish anyone who disobeys them. A steamed green bull took a careful look at everyone around him before focusing on Wang Lin. Elder Wang, salutations from the esteemed green bull of the great soul sect. Wang Lin grinned as well and gave a steamed green bull a courteous handshake. Wang Lin smiled as everyone turned to gaze at him. I was a little careless when I came here and caused a fuss. I'm hoping that nobody will take it personally. Wang Lin appeared rather courteous, and he smiled and spoke without conceit. As soon as he was done speaking, the other elders of the Great Soul Sect swiftly responded in a courteous manner, having witnessed his wonderful spells and his manners. Elder Wang is overly courteous. Since we shall all belong to the same sect, we will inevitably assist one another. Hey, Elder Wang's magic is incredible, and your spells are wonderful. People who cultivate like us honor the powerful. Is there anything worth taking risks with? Not a single issue, not even one. Please come to my relaxed cloud mountain if Elder Wang has time. We can sip tea and discuss Dao while I pour some celestial tea. Many kind words were exchanged by those in the vicinity. Wang Lin responded to each person with a smile, showing patience. The elders then went back to where they had been. Before long, the only people outside the great soul sect were Yen Lu, Wang Lin, and esteemed Green Bull. In the distance stood Yen Lu's disciples. Among them was Fan Shan Meng, whose complicated gaze was fixed on Wang Lin. Choose a peak to serve as your cave, Elder Wang. I can help you arrange it, this old man. You can find me once you've become familiar with the great soul sect. There is a chance for every elder of the great soul sect to go into the soul scripture pavilion. There are numerous spells available within. In addition, there are three gifts that have been prepared for you for a long, long time. Since you're here, 
This old man will give them to you on behalf of the ancestor. They will be useful to you esteemed Green Bull's words revealed how much importance he put on Wang Linear when Yen Lu heard this, she silently pondered. She let out a cold snort in her heart but didn't speak. Wang Lin nodded slightly and looked at the Great Soul Sect. From this position, he could see that the originally Red Mountain was now a mess. Wang Lin pondered a bit. There were no deep grudges between Wang Lin and Yen Lu. It was also Wang Lin who had provoked her first and made a mess of her cave. If it was anyone else, they would find it difficult to accept. Senior Green Bull, there is no need to look for another peak for me. That fire vein mountain is enough Wang Lin pointed to that wasted mountain. As for the new cave, give it to Yen Lu. Wang Lin smiled at the beautiful young woman. The young woman was startled for a moment and her expression softened a bit, but she couldn't let go of the anger in her heart. Seeing Wang Lin smile at her, she let out a cold hum and stared at Wang Lin viciously. Old ancestor Green Bull saw this and laughed. He nodded and said, that's good too. Come to the green heavenly peak to find me in three days after he spoke, his right hand grasped toward the void and a jade flew at Wang Lin. This jade will allow you to enter and leave most of the restrictions in the great soul sect. Wang Lin accepted the jade and no longer spoke. He flew toward the peak and went past Yan Lu's many disciples. Wang Lin suddenly stopped and glanced at Fan Shan Meng. Feng Shanmen's heart trembled as Wang Lin's glance swept by, and she lowered her head. Her cultivation was lacking, she was only at seven arcane tribulants, like Du Qing. She and her sister becoming the seven colored celestial sovereign's Dao partners had nothing to do with her cultivation, but the fact that she was a disciple of the great soul sect. There was an even deeper reason and a lucky occurrence behind this. Otherwise, with the seven colored celestial sovereign's early stage void tribulant cultivation back then, he wouldn't have taken her as a Deo partner. The seven-colored celestial sovereign had gone through many things in his life. He had many infatuations that outsiders hadn't seen. However, even after he reached the mid-stage of Void Tribulant, he still stayed with Fan Shan Meng. This just shows how much he cared for her. Perhaps it was precisely because of this that he was so angry when he found out that Fan Shan Meng and Lian Deo Fei might have had an affair. My cave lacks a servant girl. This woman is pretty good. Yen Lu, give her to me. As Wang Lin walked away, he looked at Fan Shan Meng and pointed at her. Fan Shan Meng's heart trembled when she heard Wang Lin's words, and her expression changed greatly. Don't you dare Yen Lu had finally calmed herself, but Wang Lin's words immediately caused her to erupt with killing intent. Such an extreme contrast gave her a strange sense of beauty. Wang Lin laughed and flew into the great soul sect. His point had another meaning. After Wang Lin left, Yen Lu suddenly looked at Fan Shan Meng with a strange light. It was unknown what she was thinking. Fan Shan Meng bit her lower lip after being stared at by her teacher. She was nervous and she lowered her head. She didn't dare to speak. Inside the Great Soul Sect, Wang Lin stood on top of the dark fire vein and his divine sense spread out. The mountain was trash after the fire vein withered. Even the mountain felt like it could collapse with a little push. However, none of this was a problem for Wang Lin. With a gentle stomp from his feet, his fire essence true body appeared behind him and flew into the mountain. The moment his essence true body entered the mountain, a sea of fire erupted from the mountain and connected to the sky. The entire mountain was burning. Since you lost the power of fire, I'll give you the fire. Since you lost the will of fire, then my will will become the mountain Wang Lin muttered. The sea of fire rumbled and all the restrictions in the mountain were burned away and new restrictions were formed. The color of the mountain was changed from the dim red back to bright red like the sun. It was even more intense than before. The fire on the mountain looked like it could burn forever and never extinguish. When Yen Lu saw this, she immediately clenched her teeth. The hint of satisfaction she felt about Wang Lin accepting this wasted mountain disappeared completely. The two of us can't coexist. She suppressed the sense of anger in her heart until Ancestor Green Bull arranged a new peak for her. After he left, she immediately summoned Fan Shan Meng. Fan Shan Meng, go to the Flame Vein Mountain. That person named Wang wants you to become his servant, go be his servant. Teacher Fan Shan Meng's expression changed and she knelt down on the ground, trembling. She looked very pitiful and tears appeared in her eyes. When Yen Lu saw her expression, she let out a cold snort. That person named Wang is the person who you told me about before. The person from the cave world. Hmph, put away your charm. Your charm is useless against your teacher your nature is licentious and you cursed your Deo partner, 
the seven-colored celestial sovereign, to death. You even caused Liendeo Fii to disappear into the Seven Deo Sex Cave. Your teacher doesn't have your ability, but if you use it well against that person named Wang and curse him to death, teacher won't treat you badly. Fan Shanmen's body trembled. She raised her head and was about to speak. Don't say any more. You're going whether you like it or not. Go curse him to death this is what you're good at, and with your charm, you can do it Yin Lu waved her sleeve and a powerful gust of wind carried Fan Shanmeng out of the mountain. Outside the mountain, Fan Shanmeng silently pondered for a long time. She turned toward Wang Lin's peak and her eyes were filled with viciousness. If not for Wang Lin's words, Yan Lu wouldn't have forced her out. Curse him to death. Her teacher's words still echoed in her ears. Fan Shanmeng took a deep breath and the viciousness in her eyes disappeared. Instead, a calm charm replaced it and she lightly walked toward the mountain. In the Great Soul Sect, the mountain Wang Lin was at was very unique. It was constantly burning and the fire never extinguished, but there was no smoke. The world around the mountain seemed to distort due to the heat. Everything around the mountain looked like an illusion. The mountain was very hot, and if one got close, they would be covered in sweat. If one moved even closer, they would feel like their blood was boiling. Wang Lin only maintained three caves in the Fire Vein Mountain and destroyed the others. As of right now, he was the only person in this mountain. He was sitting inside the cave that originally belonged to Yen Lu. His essence true body appeared and slowly fused with the mountain as if becoming one with it. Wang Lin cultivated for a time before he opened his eyes. His eyes shined brightly. Great Soul Sect. Wang Lin flipped his right hand and a purple jade appeared. This jade gave off an ancient aura and a trace of decay. Soul Ideo. The person I knew who was the best at divination was the all -seer Ching Lin also had a similar Deo spell. That spell was very good at divination. Back then, I borrowed the all -seer's avatar to divinate, and it saved me from a lot of life and death crisis. Now, with the Soul Ideo, I must learn it otherwise, it will be difficult to move in the immortal astral continent. More importantly, it will help me hide myself and make it difficult for others to divinate me. Wang Lin pondered as his divine sense entered the jade in his hand. However, just at this moment, Wang Lin suddenly looked up. The entire fire vein mountain had merged with his essence true body. It could be said that this mountain was his essence true body. He clearly sensed a woman walking toward the mountain. The woman stopped outside the mountain. After pondering a bit, she bowed and her soft and charming voice echoed. After Elder Wang requested a meeting, disciple Fan Shanmeng obeyed teacher's orders. Fan Shanmeng. Wang Lin smiled and ignored her. His divine sense entered the jade in his hand and he began to study it. Soul is Deo, Deo is soul, to use Deo to search through fate. When Wang Lin's divine sense entered the jade, an old voice echoed in his mind. This voice contained a strange force and allowed Wang Lin to immerse himself in the soul I Deo in the jade. Time slowly passed. In a flash, one day went by. Fan Shanmeng was still standing outside the mountain, waiting outside with her head lowered. The temperature here was very high and her clothes were soaked in sweat. Her clothes were clinging to her body, making it very uncomfortable, but she still waited for Wang Lin's summon. She was feeling helpless. Thinking about everything that had happened, there was a flash of resentment in her eyes, but she soon hid it. Inside the cave, Wang Lin opened his eyes. He looked at the jade in his palm and pondered for a while. 4.9 billion inscriptions. Every inscription must be imprinted after a certain amount of time to the soul. 100,000 as small completion, 2.7 billion as intermediate, and 4.9 billion to master. This spell is very strange. It is easy to learn, but to move further, it becomes extremely difficult. The further one goes with this spell, the more complex the inscriptions become and the longer it takes to imprint them on the soul is this the great soul sex soul ideo. Wang Lin pondered a bit with a strange expression. According to the time given on the jade, this spell only takes three days to learn at the start. As long as one has achieved the third phase, nine out of ten people may complete 100,000 inscriptions on their soul. But if one wanted to reach the intermediate level, it would take 999 years and one must spend all that time in closed-door cultivation. This is also possible, it is not uncommon for a cultivator to go into closed-door cultivation for 1,000 years. But in order to reach great completion with 4.9 billion inscriptions, it will take close to 178,000 years. This. Wang Lin frowned. 
He vaguely understood why old ancestor Green Bull had given him the soul ideo that seemed so precious so casually. It was simply impossible to master this spell at most, one could only reach the intermediate stage. Wang Lin let out a cold snort and closed his eyes. He continued to immerse himself in inscripting the imprints on his soul. At the dusk of the third day, while the sky was golden, Wang Lin opened his eyes. Surely the same as the time predicted in the jade. Three days to inscribe 100,000 imprints on the soul. Wang Lin raised his right hand to form a seal and pointed to between his eyebrows. His head emitted soul energy, which quickly materialized into a tiny person standing over him. This little person was only three inches tall and was formed by the 100,000 imprints in Wang Lin's soul. This little person did not look like Wang Lin. It only had a pair of eyes, it didn't even have a nose, a mouth, or ears. It gently jumped off his head and landed before him. Then, as Wang Lin stretched out his right hand, the little person jumped into Wang Lin's palm. Looking at this little person, Wang Lin's eyes revealed a strange light. Before him was the little person formed by 100,000 inscriptions that were constantly moving. The only way to see this small person was with their eyes. Should one's divine perception pass by, nothing would remain. As Wang Lin looked at the little person, it was looking back at him. Its eyes were clear and gave out an unspeaking sense of emotion. When their gazes collided, Wang Lin felt like he had entered a trance. The soul eye is all-seeing. Search for my own mysteries Wang Lin suddenly said and then searched for dangers in his future. The minute he spoke, the little creature trembled and gave off a ghostly radiance. It knelt down near Wang Lin and kowtowed at him. When the head of the little person contacted Wang Lin's hand the first time, a weird force exploded from the little person and flowed into Wang Lin's consciousness through his palm. Wang Lin's vision got fuzzy and he vaguely saw fog. This fog was filled with blood glow. He observed numerous hidden people but couldn't see them well. At this point, the small figure kowtowed once again, and when its forehead brushed Wang Lin's palm, there was a thundering rumble in Wang Lin's consciousness. The cloud before him seemed to be blown apart by force. He dimly saw a peak encircled by thunder. It was like a thunder mountain built by the heavens. He spotted a person there, and that figure looked to be restrained by the thunder mountain. Bolts of thunder landed on the mountain, and he vaguely saw a big chariot composed of thunder in the sky. A thunder-shaped figure was observing the land below. With a flutter in his heart, Wang Lin glanced directly at the person who was being repressed. But his vision was fuzzy, and he was unable to see well. The small object in his grasp shook at this very instant and bowed a third time. Wang Lin's body shook as soon as its forehead made contact with her palm. He seemed to see the face of the person hidden as another wave of force seemed to cut through the mist. That individual was himself. Wang Lin's illusion vanished in front of him when he realized this. Almost immediately, he felt as though a cultivation planet had struck him, and his divine feeling quickly faded. In the future, who will use the Thunder Mountain to silence me? Wang Lin had a menacing look. His heavenly sense remained as all around him crumbled. He raised his gaze to the man atop the thunder-powered chariot. He was going to see the person's appearance up close. Again, Sol Ideo was unable to see it clearly, but how could Wang Lin quit up at this point? The small object in his fingers shook and bowed for the fourth time when he gave the order. The entire world appeared to light up with a massive thunderclap. Wang Lin was able to view the figure on the chariot clearly as a result. Wang Lin's body and mind both shook at the sight of the person. He was still in the cave when he looked up after the world in front of him crumbled. It was immobile, the small creature in his palm with sad-looking, dim eyes. Wang Lin thought about it for a while, but the last image he remembered was of the person he saw. Impossible. How can it be? Wang Lin's eyes glowed with uncertainty. He held his hand closed for a while. The child in his grasp entered his spirit to feed it. This situation is too bizarre, but this soul ideo can see the changes that lie ahead. Wang Lin thought as he smothered the shock in his heart, I'll need to cultivate this more, then perhaps I can use it to find Situ, Ching Shui, Li Qin Miai, and the others. Because of his upbringing and life experiences, he was able to deny even heaven-shattering events in order to find inner peace. Wang Lin's eyes lit up as he considered the various illusion spells the Great Soul Sect had, including the one Yin Lu had used to summon the soul of the Great Soul Sect's ancestor. I wonder what the three things old ancestor Green Bull has prepared for me. He also said I can enter the Soul Scripture Pavilion to choose spells, Lin said after three days. Wang Lin considered this for a moment before moving on and exiting the cave. 
As soon as he stood on the summit, he spotted Fan Shan Meng, who was incredibly frail. She remained in that position. Her expression became difficult when she spotted Wang Lin. Wang Lin exited the Fire Vein Mountain and strolled past Fan Shan Meng just as she was ready to speak. Fan Shan Meng's eyes were filled with rage, but she controlled it. As Wang Lin walked away, she kept her gaze fixed on him. Then she composed herself and kept waiting. There was nowhere else she could go. Wang Lin transformed into a ray of light and advanced toward the Great Soul Sect's depths. He was handed a chart of all the peaks in the Great Soul Sect by the Jade Old Ancestor Green Bull, which let him get past the sex constraints. This gave him the precise location of the Green Heavenly Peak. There was a mountain that rose sharply out of the Great Soul Sect. This mountain was an intense green that gave off the impression that it was much taller than the Earth. The Great Soul Sect considered this to be a prohibited land. Old Ancestor Green Bull lived like this. All the limitations in Wang Lin's path echoed as he flew fast, yet none were able to stop him. He paused in front of the Green Heavenly Peak and held hands. He could clearly be heard speaking toward the mountain. Junior Wang Lin is here. Senior Green Bull, are you here? The boundaries of the Green Heavenly Mountain vanished as it shook. A voice from long ago resounded from the peak. I'll wait for you here at the top. Wang Lin surveyed the mountain subconsciously, spreading out his heavenly awareness. The mountain had an air of power within, despite its typical appearance. The mountain was the source of this glow. Wang Lin raced through the clouds toward the mountain and soon reached its summit. This is a mountain formed by a treasure. The Heavenly Green Peak. The revered green bull sat with his white hair and green robe billowing in the breeze. When Wang Lin reached the other side of the esteemed green bull and took a seat, he appeared composed. Wang Lin sat there and said, very slowly, the soul ideo is really remarkable. Perhaps it can compete with the celestial imperial teacher after 178,000 years of cultivation. I respect the great soul sex profundity. Esteemed green bull laughed when he heard this. He appeared to be rather composed rather than embarrassed. Yes, what Elder Wang said is true. It is very good to enter my great soul sect and to take pride in my great soul sect right away. This old man concurs, in fact. A person might be able to challenge the imperial teacher if they could truly enter a closed door cultivation for 178,000 years and fully cultivate the soul ideo. There comes a point after 178,000 years of cultivating oneself when one's level of cultivation never rises. There wouldn't be enough life force in the body, so how could someone like that exist? Wang Lin spoke in a direct manner. The requirement of 178,000 years left him feeling pretty helpless. Well, in any case, this old man hasn't heard of anyone who has mastered the soul ideo within the great soul sect. Only 4.1 billion inscriptions could be found on the ancestor of the first generation. But Elder Wang has incredible talent, and you have experienced a lot. Maybe you can learn the greatest spell of my great soul sect. With a smile, the esteemed green bull spoke. Bullshit Wang Lin wasn't polite at all. He rarely spoke like this, but he considered the expression of the current esteemed green bull simply too nasty. After Wang Lin spoke, esteemed green bull was startled for a moment. He didn't expect Wang Lin to respond like this. After blinking for a time, esteemed Green Bull certainly felt a bit guilty and smiled mischievously. Forget it, let's not talk about this anymore. I have three gifts the Great Soul Sect has prepared for you. They should be of great use to you after he said this, he waved his right hand and three lights appeared. There were three boxes, and they soared toward Wang Lin. Wang Lin waved his sleeve and placed the three boxes away without even looking at them. Could it be that it will take 178,000 years before I can open the boxes? Old Ancestor Green Bull coughed and hastily said, This old man does not know. These three presents were made by the first generation ancestor and have been passed down through the centuries. Now they are yours. As for what's within them, I don't know. If something is wrong with them, don't come to find me. Esteemed Green Bull got up and pointed with his right hand at the sky when he noticed Wang Lin scowling. A rift developed outside the mountain like a big spatial rift. Inside the rift was another large area with a massive nine-story pavilion. This pavilion appeared to loom there, shrouded in fog. There was a soul pressure seeping from the crack. Wang Lin was feeling the pressure even before she had entered. This elderly man still needs to refine a furnace full of pills. You can select a spell as you enter the soul scripture pavilion. Over the decades, the rule has been that you can only select one. Requirements for the cult must be fulfilled before you can re-enter. 
When a steamed green bull finished speaking, he swiftly departed and vanished. Disregarding a steamed green bull's departure, Wang Lin got up. He studied the fissure for a while before intervening. He felt a strong pressure surround him the instant he stepped inside the fissure. There was no earth or sky in this hazy void. The only thing that existed was the vast, nine-story pavilion enveloped by fog. Outside the pavilion were two enormous, lifelike statues of fearsome beasts. There was silence within the pavilion, its door locked. The sixth story had a flashing light that gave the impression that someone was moving about inside. Above the door were three huge words. Soul Scripture Garden. This was the great soul sex sacred territory, where all of the spells from earlier ages were kept. Wang Lin sensed the concealed traps here even though everything appeared peaceful. This place was full of scary traps. Wang Lin thought for a time before moving in the direction of the nine-story pavilion. He turned abruptly to face the enormous stone statue of the ferocious beast as he approached. This vicious creature had a Kylan-like appearance, but it wasn't one. Suddenly, the terrible beast moved as Wang Lin was looking over. Wang Lin noticed a distortion in the surroundings and heard a voice. Transfer the jade over. Wang Lin had bright eyes. He could see that this statue contained the sealed soul of a very strong beast. The soul and the statue had united, transforming into a multitude of spells. The jade that the esteemed green bull had given Wang Lin materialized when he raised his right hand. Wang Lin merely felt something sweep past, then noticed a crimson flash, and suddenly the jade vanished completely. The statue's mouth opened and closed as if it was chewing, and then it spat out the jade. Once you enter the Soul Scripture Pavilion, you can select one spell to cast. The stone statue will stop moving after sending forth a divine sense message. After the spatial distortion vanished, the statue had a typical appearance. How quickly Wang Lin's pupils contracted. He was unable to perceive the statue's actions clearly. He thought about it for a time before realizing that the red light was the beast's tongue. The nine-story pavilion began to open up where the stone statue had stopped moving. The pavilion released a wave of soul fluctuations that increased the pressure. As Wang Lin moved approached the door and into the opening, his expression remained unchanged. He discovered the soul scripture pavilion's secret as soon as he stepped onto the first floor. The chamber was around 10,000 feet in width, and all around it were innumerable seven-inch miniature humans. Despite having closed their eyes and staying still, they all exuded a strong cultivation. Wang Lin looked beyond the thousands of tiny people. All of them, young and old, men and women, were soul bodies without exception. Every soul had some kind of enchantment in it. Wang Lin mumbled, Soul Scripture Pavilion, as he looked at this floor and noticed the steps leading to the second story. One couldn't ascend if their cultivation level wasn't high enough in the ghostly light. It was clear that the spells got more and more spectacular the higher one climbed. Wang Lin reached the stairs by waving his sleeve and flying past hundreds of soul bodies. As soon as he set foot on the stairs, it seemed as though a rejecting force stopped him from ascending. All cultivators who were not at the third level may be stopped by this powerful rejection force. But Wang Lin didn't think much of it. He climbed the steps to the second floor with grace and composure. Thousands more soul bodies might also be found in the soul scripture pavilion's second stratum. Though their auras were far more potent than those on the first floor, Wang Lin was unable to locate the desired spell with a quick glance. He was searching for the incantation that would call forth the ancestors' souls from the great soul sect and the multi-layered illusion. These spells can exhibit remarkable strength and are primarily intended for nirvana void cultivators, but they are useless for me. After giving it some thought, Wang Lin went up the stairs to the second story. Wang Lin didn't pause for very long on any floor until he reached the fifth floor the third, fourth, and fifth floors. There were just 500 or so spirit bodies in this tier, a significant decrease. They radiated auras that surrounded Arcane Void. Clearly, this was intended for cultivators of Arcane Void. Wang Lin sensed that each of them was incredibly powerful even if he was unable to see how they changed or their shouts. Wang Lin understood that if one of the spirit bodies here were transported outside, terrible things would happen, but he had no idea what would happen if it was placed in the subterranean world. Though tempting, these spells were not what Wang Lin desired. He turned to face the stairs leading to the sixth story. His eyes brightened up, and he moved over. Wang Lin felt as though someone had struck him when his foot touched down. His fu fell to the step as his body shook. His body didn't move at all. Yen Lu was sitting on the sixth floor, a soul body hovering over her head. 
Soul energy strands were exiting the soul body and entering her head. Wang Lin's foot touched the sixth floor stairs, and Yen Lu opened her eyes in an instant, revealing an odd light. Wang Lin is most likely the person entering the soul scripture pavilion at this time. His cultivation is peculiar, therefore it is unlikely that he is merely nearing the end of his spirit void phase. When he is able to come here, I will be able to assess his cultivation. Wang Lin's arrival at the sixth floor stairs caused a steamed green bull, who had gone to refine a furnace of pills, to open his eyes. The spells he desires are not on the first five floors. A void tribulant cultivator's willpower is needed to reach the sixth story. Although Wang Lin is not yet at the void tribulant stage, he has a lot of seacrest in his body. Maybe he could get into the sixth story. But the sixth story is where he stops. When someone enters the seventh or eighth floor, an illusion will appear over the Great Soul Sect. The Great Soul Sect allows only five individuals to enter them. As for the ninth floor, I am the only one who can enter. Wang Lin would require 300 years to reach the ninth floor, according to the first ancestor's divination. A steamed green bull gave a small smile and closed his eyes. On the steps leading from the fifth level to the sixth, Wang Lin remained still. His eyes brightened and he exhaled deeply after a long while. What a potent illusion. He was besieged by illusions all around him at that very time. To him, those few, half of an incense stick seconds seemed like hundreds of years. His eyes brightened and his left foot took a step up now that he was sober. Though his expression remained unchanged, his thoughts was racing. His right foot came up as his left foot collapsed. He took a succession of seven steps up. With each stride, his head rumbled and a strong pressure tried to topple him down the stairs. Wang Lin's eyes glowed with old devil and demon stars, saying, A simple constraint cannot stop me. His body reverberated with popping noises, and he had to use all of his strength to push against the pressure to up five more stairs. He was now less than eight steps away from the sixth story entrance. He would be on the sixth floor once he reached that level. This restriction merely mimics the pressure of a void tribulant cultivator, and I have battled with them. I, Wang Lin, entered the immortal astral continent after leaving the land of caves where I was born. Wang Lin suddenly showed amazing resolve as he strode up the stairs. I have an avatar born of the same origin as the ancient and celestial ancestors. This restriction is not worth worrying about. He moved approached the sixth step without pausing. Wang Lin had ascended seven steps, but still one remained. Wang Lin's vision became hazy just before his foot touched the final step. He was standing close to a cliff's brink when his vision cleared. His foot would hit the bottom and he would plummet into the chasm. Depressing howls resounded deep within the chasm. Ghosts that resembled smoke shot out toward Wang Lin. Wang Lin thought as she watched the ghosts leaping out of the chasm. He took time to take in the oddness of his surroundings, not hurrying. This limitation appeared to be straightforward. All that was required to pass seemed to be the strength of will to disregard the abyss and the ghosts and to step down. But Wang Lin sensed that something was off. The spirits from the abyss had already surged out almost halfway by this point. They were less than 100 feet or less than 1,000 feet, away from Wang Lin. This illusion restriction is really clever, said Wang Lin, grinning icily as he continued forward without turning. The spirits in the abyss became animated as his footfall was about to land, as if they had been waiting for this. However, as soon as Wang Lin's foot touched down, there were echoes and he vanished. The illusion broke the instant he vanished. Wang Lin descended the steps to reach the sixth level. Instead of taking the final step, he went straight to the sixth story. His mind raced, but as soon as he set foot on the ground, everything settled down. Prestigious Green Bull nodded gently at this very time in the cave of the Green Heavenly Mountain, showing no signs of shock. It is truly honorable for someone who received divination from the elderly ancestor to attend. He's ready to make his first successful trip up to the sixth floor without any warning. This is quite uncommon. You truly arrived on the sixth level, Yan Lu said squinting her eyes at Wang Lin. Since you came, why can't I come? Wang Lin gently walked forward. If he had stepped on the last step, all his efforts would have been useless. The final step's trick was that it could only be vaulted over rather than stepped on. It was unknown how many people had failed this step to reach the sixth floor over the decades. After failing an exam in the Soul Scripture Pavilion, a person had to depart and wait for another chance to try. Yen Luo stated coolly, feeling as though she had figured out the solution. Humph, someone must have told you the mystery of the stairs to the sixth floor ahead of time. 
Wang Lin gazed at Yin Lu with a composed expression, but he remained silent. His heavenly perception widened and took in the sixth story. There were only about sixty soul bodies here, a far smaller number than on the fifth floor. But there was an aura of great power emanating from each soul body. It was clear that they were all equipped with a very potent spell that could only be possessed by cultivators of Void Tribulant. Yen Lu believed Wang Lin had secretly agreed with her comments based on his actions. She shut her eyes and stopped focusing on Wang Lin. They couldn't fight in the Soul Scripture Pavilion, after all. Despite having served as a sect elder for a long time, she wouldn't dare disobey the regulations in this place. Yen Lu was well aware that the Soul Scripture Pavilion held many unbelievable mysteries and was the sacred ground of the Great Soul Sect, making it the ideal location to select a spell. More than 60 soul bodies were passed over by Wang Lin's divine sense. It was here that he discovered both Yen Lu's Soul Fantasy Origin spell and the multi-layered illusion spell. The entire sixth floor was quite silent, and Wang Lin thought for a moment before moving on. Specifically, the soul body above Yen Lu was the soul fantasy origin spell he was looking for. His feet touched the floor of the sixth story, and his footsteps made cracking noises because the floor was wooden. Yen Lu opened her eyes and displayed a look of disdain at the sounds, which were quite harsh. Wang Lin completely disregarded Yen Lu and moved up to the multi-layered illusion spell's soul body. He studied it closely, then scowled slowly. Yen Lu scoffed as he saw Wang Lin's look. Naturally, she understood Wang Lin's frown. She scowled as well when she first came here and witnessed the renowned Dao spells of the Great Soul Sect. This is just the first technique of the multi-layered illusion spell. For the next two, if you're strong enough, you can go to the seventh floor. The entire ancient soul body for the multi-layered illusion spell is located on the ninth floor, if you are able to ascend to the eighth or ninth floors. Oh, I see. Wang Lin glanced at Yin Lu, his eyes sweeping over the spirit body positioned above her. Additionally, this soul fantasy origin spell is incomplete, would it be on the seventh floor or higher? Naturally, strength is important to the great soul sect. Naturally, you can obtain the entire spell if you possess the necessary strength. There's the seventh story entrance. Would you be brave enough to try? With a snarl, Yen Lu gestured in that direction. There was an old set of stairs leading to the seventh story. Unusual was the Soul Scripture Pavilion. The stairs were covered in dust, indicating that no one had been up there in a while because there was no barrier keeping dust out. They didn't notice the imprints on the stairs until they got closer. However, a fresh coating of dust had disguised the imprints since they were so light. Are you able to get up? Yen Lu beamed a scornful smirk at Wang Lin. Wang Lin remained silent. He scowled as he peered at the stairs leading to the seventh story. Reaching the seventh floor would probably require the resolve of a mid-stage void tribulant cultivator. Wang Lin would find it quite challenging. The eighth floor and the last, ninth floor did not need to be mentioned. Don't be picky if you lack the ability to advance. You can use just these spells for the rest of your life. Yen Lu deduced that Wang Lin was unable to ascend. Her remarks weren't overly harsh, but there was a lot of contempt in their underlying meaning. Wang Lin smiled when she heard Yen Lu's comments. He looked across to Yen Lu. This stunning woman's attractiveness did not diminish despite the hatred on her face if anything, it enhanced it. But to Wang Lin, these physical attributes were hardly more than white bones. Wang Lin remarked, why don't we make a bet? As she slowly turned to face Yen Lu, what's your bet, if I can get up to the seventh floor? His comments reverberated throughout the sixth level, reaching Yen Lu's ears. Gazing up at the steps leading to the seventh level, her eyes tightened as she started to think. The extent to which Wang Lin's statements are accurate is unknown, but only a select few are able to reach the seventh floor. I only made it to the seventh step on my first attempt. Despite the mystery surrounding his cultivation, I have faced him twice. He won't be able to go up there with me if I can't. He is attempting to back down by stating this. If I disagree, he may stay off this subject and I won't be able to make fun of him anymore. Yen Lu finished thinking and waved her right hand to make a blue umbrella appear in front of her. If you can enter the seventh floor, I'll bet this. Yen Lu's remarks turned icy as she fixed her gaze on Wang Lin. How about you? What will you wager if you are unable to access the seventh floor? A glimmer of bloodlight appeared. The blood sword hit the ground when Wang Lin lifted his right hand. This sword ought to be sufficient. The blood blade swept Yen Lu's sight. She was aware that the blood sword belonged to the ancient Dao clan as a prize. 
It was good enough to be her blue umbrella's equal bet. All right, let's place a wager together. Yen Lu's pupils immediately shrank as she said, I want to see how you will be knocked back by the restrictions of the seventh floor. She was unable to see past Wang Lin all of a sudden. Could he be really positive that he can get into the seventh floor for him to draw this sword? Wang Lin had a composed demeanor and had turned away from Yen Lu. He did not walk slowly or quickly as he made his way toward the stairs leading to the seventh story. Every stride had a rippling effect and appeared to tread on Yen Lu's emotions. She became a little uneasy as she stopped understanding the soul body above her and fixed her gaze on Wang Lin. She shouldn't have sought to agitate Wang Lin and regretted it in a vague way. She treasured that blue umbrella dearly, and it had great defensive strength. Hmph, what a liar and very clever person this is. Yen Lu glanced at Wang Lin as he made his way toward the old steps, thinking, I fear that after he loses, he will find some way to withdraw from the bet. Wang Lin turned to study the steps. The seventh floor was reached after 19 steps in total. Although it appeared that one could get up with ease, the menacing aura alerted him as soon as he approached. If he didn't have willpower, climbing the stairs would have been the same as surviving a stormy sea in a deserted boat. What, are you afraid? Yen Lu loosened up a little as she noticed Wang Lin stop in front of the steps. Though it was nearly impossible, she was terrified he would ascend the steps with ease and composure. Wang Lin abruptly spun around and gave Yen Lu a serious glance. Wang Lin's eyes gleamed as he spoke, and his foot touched the ground. Pay close attention. The sky above the Great Soul Sect altered abruptly when his foot touched the ground. Above the Great Soul Sect, a massive staircase spanning hundreds of kilometers materialized in the sky. The Great Soul Sect's black sky was illuminated by the brilliant staircase. Numerous Great Soul Sect cultivators were startled out of their cultivation by thunderous rumbles that rang through the pitch black night. To observe the enormous stairway in the sky, they either flew out from their tops or spread out their divine senses. There is an attempt to enter the Soul Scripture Pavilion's seventh floor by someone. That white-haired head. Wang, the new elder, isn't that who he looks like? Even though his cultivation is not so awful, getting to the seventh floor will be quite challenging. Hey, there's something interesting to observe. The last attempt to breach the seventh story was made nearly a century ago. Almost no one, other from those elderly men, would venture into the seventh floor. The Soul Scripture Pavilion has strong restrictions. This older Wang will undoubtedly fail in his attempts to reach the seventh floor, as that staircase will continue to appear in the sky for everyone to observe if one is unable to access the floor even once. There were 19 steps in all, and a massive figure was standing on the first one. There was white hair on this figure's head. Wang Lin was the one. When someone attempted to access the seventh floor of the Soul Scripture Pavilion, this was the illusion that would be created. That had been a thing since the beginning of time. Everyone would be watching anyone who dared to ascend to the seventh floor. There was an immense sense of anxiety mixed with glory. Everyone would witness an unqualified person's performance, even their contrite expression after being knocked out. This was the exact reason why fewer people had attempted to access the seventh floor. A number of light beams shot from each peak in the Great Soul Sect. While not particularly uncommon, this kind of energetic stuff was difficult to observe. They were really interested in it since they had come across it. But most people expected to see Wang Lin in a sad situation, very few believed he would triumph. Respected Green Bull scowled as well. He raised his head. His eyes penetrating the mountain, he noticed the sky illusion. Esteemed Green Bull sighed and shook his head. He is a little careless. With this cultivation level, it is impossible to enter the seventh floor. This is a useful technique to control his spirit a little. Never assume that my great soul sect is that easy. Simultaneously, the proprietors of three to five old monster peaks, which were typically always under cultivation behind locked doors, opened their eyes and cast glances. Interesting. With his cultivation level, it is already challenging for him to enter the sixth floor, but he is determined to reach the seventh floor. This kid thinks too highly of himself. Wang Lin's right foot touched the first step of the stairs in the sky illusion. He didn't move and kept his eyes closed. But a short while later, he opened his eyes abruptly and fixed his gaze on the top of the stairs. He put up his foot and moved forward. There was a loud rumble inside the great soul sect with each stride. Wang Lin quickly ascended five steps. Yen Lu was on the sixth floor, staring at Wang Lin. Her expression flickered before it quickly reverted to normal after witnessing him ascend five steps. Well, what the heck if he can climb five steps? 
Yen Lu tightened her fist and entirely neglected to comprehend the soul body above her, making it impossible for him to go to the seventh phase. Her attention was fixed on Wang Lin. Though his heart was racing like a hurricane, Wang Lin stayed composed. He felt as though he was submerged in an unending chasm after taking the fifth step. A strong divine sense flooded his body and psyche as soon as his foot touched down. Retreat. 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 Wang Lin couldn't stop thinking about those two words, even if the voice had only stated them once. It seemed like a booming crowd of hundreds of thousands was directed towards him. Wang Lin felt as though this body would be ripped apart by the speech. It seemed as though if he didn't withdraw, he would be vanished from this planet. With this voice, Wang Lin's foot stopped on the fifth step. His determination shining in his eyes, he glanced up at the stairs. Essence genuine body, gather Wang Lin's pointed hand that created a seal. A sea of flames erupted from flames vein mountain, and a portion of the great soul sect rumbled. A massive face materialized as the sky was enveloped in a sea of fire. Wang Lin's actual face was her true body. This terrifying fire suddenly surged toward Wang Lin and the false stairs, penetrating Wang Lin's body. At the same time, Wang Lin's essence true body manifested and he was engulfed in a sea of flames on the stairs leading to the seventh floor of the Soul Scripture Pavilion. His eyes gleamed when his genuine body, essence, materialized. He got stronger and lifted his foot to take another stride forward. The seventh, eighth, and sixth steps. Wang Lin hurried to the thirteenth step without pausing. Yen Lu was watching Wang Lin when his foot touched down, and at that instant, he stood up. Her body shook, and a look of shock filled her gorgeous face. She clenched her right fist so tightly that she didn't realize it was white. Inconceivable. When Wang Lin took multiple steps and landed on the thirteenth step, everyone in the Great Soul Sect observed a dramatic shift in face. He skipped the fifth step and went straight to the thirteenth. This person has such a strong will. It's a true essence body, exactly like that. This elder Wang is very remarkable. He needs to take six more steps to center the seventh floor. Not every member of the Great Soul Sect was aware of Wang Lin's actual physique. His shock value could not be expressed. There was a commotion across the Great Soul Sect. Even a few of the ancient creatures housed in cultivation behind closed doors were relocated. After 13 steps, at the green heavenly peak, the esteemed green bull's gaze darkened. He didn't go outdoors, though, he continued to sit there. I misjudged him. His real body essence is extremely near to becoming a true celestial. Real body essence, pure celestial essence. The distinction is a gully, but there is only one word difference. But 13 steps is about as far as he can go. He has three more stages to go at most. The cultivation of the esteemed green bull was incomprehensible. He had excellent insight, and he rarely made a mistake. Wang Lin was standing on the 13th step leading to the 7th floor of the Soul Scripture Pavilion. The strength of his actual essence body carried him here, yet at this moment, the voice within his head had multiplied many times. Retreat. The shout reverberated in his head, attacking his soul of origin one more. He appeared composed, but his vision had grown hazy. Yen Lu, the numerous cultivators of the Great Soul Sect, and those ancient monsters who were typically kept in restricted cultivation areas all witnessed this commotion. He's about to fail, Yen Lu grinned happily. The majority of the cultivators in the powerful Soul Sect shook their heads solemnly, indicating that he still appears to be unable to access the seventh floor. But exactly at this very time, Wang Lin's eyes became black and were filled with a terrifying light instead of bewilderment. You're rejoicing too soon, Yen Lu. I'll accept your umbrella. Wang Lin said this, and then his foot hit the fourteenth step. The energy of the genuine body behind him changed into a sea of fire at this precise moment and rushed into his body. Wang Lin moved forward, merging with his true essence. The fifteenth step was this. The great soul sex innumerable cultivators watched as the earth trembled. Wang Lin took another step after they watched him take the fifteenth. The sixteenth step was this. Just three more. Why should I give up? My will won't submit to anything, not even the heavens. The essence of Wang Lin's life and death burst from his body. The immortal astral continent did not harm ethereal essences. Wang Lin entered the seventeenth step at the instant it erupted. The immortal astral continent and the cave world have been penetrated by my will. Even if this is a mid-stage void tribulant cultivator's will, I'm the first person to leave the cave world. What credentials do you have to make me give up? Wang Lin's true and false essence exploded before him. 
His body seemed to be an illusion, and as he quickly altered, he came to rest on the 18th step. All of the great soul sex disciples saw this scene, and it made them uncomfortable. Yin Lu's face became pale the moment she saw this. Even the ancient monsters of the great soul sect, who were frequently in cultivation behind closed doors, came out and observed with their own eyes, Divine vengeance cannot crush my will. I reclaimed my own fate from the hand of divine vengeance. Wang Lin's eyes shone as his karmic essence burst. I came to the immortal astral continent not to obey but to take back my own destiny. You came here to walk above the heavens. He stepped onto the 19th step and made his way onto the 7th floor. The illusion above the great soul sect glowed brightly as his foot touched the ground. With reverence, all the followers of the great soul sect gazed up at the illusion. Strong people, wherever they may be, will always be valued. Wang Lin had informed everyone in the great soul sect that he could go to the seventh floor with his own ability. For a long while, everyone who didn't think well of him shook in their hearts and was silent. The seventh story is no longer restricted to five persons in addition to the ancestor. There's one more now. Everyone was silent, until a distant sigh was heard. Meanwhile, a steamed green bull pondered at the green heavenly peak. He remained seated, not raising his head, but his stare was intense. This person will enter the seventh floor in three years, the eighth floor in thirty years, and the ninth floor in three hundred years to bring the greatest fortune to my great soul sect, the grandfather remarked. He actually entered the seventh floor. Now, things have changed. Wang Lin turned to face the pale Yan Lu He as he entered the soul scripture pavilion on the seventh floor. Wang Lin waved his arm, causing the blood sword and blue umbrella to fly toward him. Yan Lu, please give me the umbrella. Although Yen Lu unconsciously reached for the umbrella, her pride prevented her from doing so. Wang Lin was accompanied by the blood sword and umbrella at that moment of indecision. Wang Lin took the blue umbrella and placed the blood sword aside. The sound of her icy voice came from the sixth level just as he was going to remove Yen Lu's divine sense and claim it as his own. Are you still willing to place a bet, Wang Lin? Wang Lin had bright eyes. With a grimace, he halted his attempt to erase the divine sense. He talked softly while holding it in his hand. What would you like to wager? Do you dare to take the bet? I bet you can't get past the eighth floor. Though he was afraid to tread on the stairwell, Yen Lu moved to the bottom of it. She raised her gaze to Wang Lin. Wang Lin thought for a moment before speaking. Wang Lin cut Yen Lu off before she could say anything more. If you lose, all you have to do is give the wealth back to me. If you win, however, why should I keep placing bets with you? Wang Lin said calmly as he entered the seventh floor, which contained fewer than thirty soul bodies, and waved his sleeve. Wang Lin, I'll give you this treasure if you win. Yan Lu waved her hand, causing a tiny purple gourd to materialize. There were variations in soul from the gourd the minute it appeared. I unintentionally discovered this treasure, which belonged to Luo Yunhai, the ninth ancestor. It is now broken, Yet it still contains 30 million Dao souls that he collected from within its 1 billion Dao souls. Although it can only be used once, it can launch an attack equal to a peak mid-stage void tribulant cultivators. This item is the reason I can summon the ninth ancestor with the soul fantasy origin. With this, you can also summon the ninth ancestor with the soul fantasy origin. As long as you can enter the eighth floor, you can take this are you willing to bet? Yen Lu's voice sounded piercing as it rang through the soul scripture pavilion. Wang Lin footsteps stopped and he sensed the soul fluctuations from the sixth floor. He was currently missing valuables. If he sought a footing on the immortal astral continent, aside from his own might, treasures were important. If I can get it, then I'll have a killer ace that can threaten mid-stage void tribulant cultivators. Wang Lin pondered as his gaze swept the stairs headed toward the ninth story. The dust on the stairs was considerably deeper. It was apparent it had been a long time since someone stepped onto them. Wang Lin's divine sense had swept the spirit bodies on the seventh floor. The more full soul fantasy origin and the multi-layered illusion were present. The ones on the ninth floor, though, would be more comprehensive. Wang Lin scowled and started calculating the wins and losses as he gradually sensed his avatar in the emptiness. If I don't use the power of my avatar in the void, it will be very difficult to get up to the eighth floor, he said. Yen Lu was waiting for Wang Lin's response on the sixth floor. She was a little nervous because she thought Wang Lin would not agree or might actually have a way to get to the eighth floor if he did. I could really use that umbrella. This shouldn't be possible. The eighth floor. I'm not going to let him get away with it so easily. 
carries the late-stage void tribulance will. It is likely that Wang Lin sustained an injury while climbing to the seventh floor given his cultivation level. He was never able to get to the eighth floor. Yan Lu was thinking about this in a worried way when Wang Lin's voice could be heard from the seventh floor. Since wagering is your thing, let's wager that Wang Lin's remarks were significant. He had to get his hands on that gourd that held 30 million Dao souls. He discovered that his avatar had grown more quickly than he had anticipated, so even if it released some power, it wouldn't have a significant impact. Wang Lin thought about all of this and made up his mind. Yan Lu started to feel regret after hearing Wang Lin's remarks. She wasn't sure why, but Wang Lin's words worried her because of how decisive they were. Yan Lu appeared hesitant when speaking this. What, are you afraid? Let it go if you lack the courage. Wang Lin grinned and took the blue umbrella in his right hand, saying, Don't blame me for wiping away the divine sense on this blue umbrella. He lifted his left hand to rub away the remnants of the divine sense. Yan Lu clenched her teeth and said, All right, I'll wager with you that I don't think you can get onto the eighth floor. Wang Lin laughed and charged toward the stars toward the eighth floor. Wang Lin's mind and the avatar in the void formed a connection. This connection ignored all the restrictions in the Great Soul Sect and even the countless restrictions in the Soul Scripture Pavilion. Not even the laws of the immortal astral continent could stop the power surging toward him. Wang Lin's eyes lit up, and with seven steps, he arrived at the stairs to the eighth floor. With one step, he walked forward. Yan Lu, watch carefully. The moment Wang Lin's foot landed on the staircase, the many cultivators outside were ready to disperse. But their hearts trembled and they all looked up. Even the expressions of the old monsters changed. The illusion had faded from the sky of the Great Soul Sect, but at this moment, an even larger and brighter stairway unexpectedly appeared. The set of stairs go to the ninth floor of the Soul Scripture Pavilion. Wang Lin's form arrived on the steps once more. That head of white hair shook everyone's minds. He, he actually wants to head to the eighth floor. This is something that is rarely seen, even in hundreds of years I will actually get to see someone trying to break through the seventh and eighth floors at once. An outcry echoed as the elders in closed door cultivator all glanced over with serious expressions. In the green heavenly peak, a steamed green bull could no longer keep his serenity. He rose up and his demeanor constantly changed, he could no longer hide the horror in his heart. He is going to the eighth floor to head into the seventh floor three years early is one thing, but to enter the eighth floor thirty years early is. The old ancestor didn't know if this was good or bad for the great soul sect. However, straying off the divination of the ancient ancestor prompted him to experience uneasy. In the sixth floor, Yin Lu couldn't enter the seventh floor or view the changes up there. Even her divine sense couldn't enter, but with her cultivation degree, she had her own techniques. In the new peak Yin Lu had been given, one of her disciples was looking at the sky in shock. She trembled and her eyes suddenly lost focus and was replaced with deadly intent. At that time, the female disciple's soul was suppressed and the divine sense Yin Lu had left on the summit took over, making her Yin Lu's eyes. Chapter 1836 the earth and the heavens shook, and it appeared as though the enormous staircases led to a heaven itself. Wang Lin appeared to be a celestial god as he stood on the staircase's first step. He exuded elegance with his white hair that fluttered in the wind. He bowed his head and looked all around him. At last, his eyes settled on Yen Lu's apex and the student overtaken by Yen Lu's heavenly sense. The female follower shook and had a shocked expression. Yen Lu thought the female pupil was about to lose her divine intuition. Wang Lin's heavenly sense would be shattered if her gaze continued to linger. This kind of feeling was something new to her. Yen Lu felt different, even if old ancestor Green Bull was likewise capable of doing it. From Yen Lu's perspective, this Wang Lin was now different from the Wang Lin she had previously met. There was definitely a difference in this emotion. They were the same people, after all, but they shocked in two distinct ways. Not just her was taken aback. Every cultivator who caught Wang Lin's eye recoiled as their minds began to churn. Every one of them experienced the horrifying sensation of their original souls being shot out of their bodies. All of them the lowest disciples, the sect elders, and even those ancient monsters felt the same way about their origin souls impending separation from their body, regardless of their level of development. It was all due to Wang Lin's menacing stare. In the green heavenly peak, old ancestor Green Bull was also present. Wang Lin glanced over there as soon as he finished looking at Yin Lu. Esteemed Green Bull's countenance drastically changed as he caught Wang Lin's stare. 
Green gas materialized behind him to form his true body as his body trembled. Wang Lin's stare quickly vanished, but esteemed green bull's eyes widened in shock and his heart continued to tremble. That cruel, uncaring glance gave off the impression that the world was at his feet and ought to adore him. The ancient kingdom's royal capital was unknown to old ancestor esteemed green bull. He would have felt familiar if he had seen that enormous statue of the ancient ancestor. Although there were some features that differed, the aura of Wang Lin's massive shadow in the sky was startlingly similar to the aura of the ancient ancestor. This is absolutely not Wang Lin. Who is he? This. This. What happened to him? With a pallid face, esteemed Green Bull hurriedly emerged from the cave. His attitude was grave as he stood outdoors. The enormous shadow of Wang Lin turned away and closed his eyes in the sky. Honorable Green Bull was unaware of Wang Lin's secret and that it belonged to Wang Lin as well. But it was Wang Lin's avatar that gave off that startling atmosphere. Wang Lin closed his eyes, lifted his foot, and walked peacefully a moment later. His foot struck and a loud rumbling reverberated. The staircase's illusion quivered, seemingly unable to bear Wang Lin's force. Wang Lin's step appeared to have emerged from the far distance instead. It seemed as though not even the Great Soul Sect or the entire Green Bull Continent could survive this step, forget about the Soul Scripture Pavilion. Wang Lin moved again as the loud rumble continued. He didn't hurry, but he also didn't stop. He ascended the stairs with a serene demeanor, as though he were at home. The Great Soul Sect watched him ascend 15 steps in silence as he took the third, fourth, and fifth steps. As if the steps limitations didn't matter to him, he had ascended the 15 steps without stopping at all. The Great Soul Sect's followers became pallid at this scene. The elderly monsters in the closed door cultivation were all shocked by it. Green Bull, the old ancestor, gasped. The female student felt Yen Lu's divine sense waver, almost causing her to lose her composure. She balled her hand till her nails pierced her skin and blood began to flow. With his eyes closed, Wang Lin lifted his foot as the world rumbled. He went to the 16th and then the 17th step. He opened his eyes abruptly on the 18th step. From his gaze, a heavenly pressure spread out, enveloping the earth below. Everyone who saw him bowed their head and avoided looking him in the eye. One of Yin Lu's pupils felt a trembling in their divine sense. She felt as though her heavenly awareness was going to leave her body. Yen Lu, I triumphed, a serene voice resounded globally moments before to Wang Lin making the final step and ascended to the 19th step. He reached the Soul Scripture Pavilion's 8th story. Yen Lu, the female disciple, shivered as soon as his words resonated because she had developed a divine sense. Her heavenly intuition faded gradually. The follower, who was female, took a few steps back and looked confused. The great soul sect fell dead silent at this point but shortly there was a great commotion across the entire sect. He was successful. He breached the seventh and eighth stories consecutively. In fact, Elder Wang has made his way into the ninth story. His stare was just too menacing. I have never seen a cultivator look at me like that. Old ancestor Green Bull observed the illusion in the green heavenly peak as it gradually vanished. His expression changed more and more till it became more nuanced. Yen Lu, who was on the sixth floor of the Soul Scripture Pavilion, had completely lost her facial color. She stood motionless at the foot of the steps leading to the seventh story, her whole body trembling. There appeared to be a strong force around the gourd in her hand, trying to pull it away. But Yen Lu gritted her teeth and gripped the gourd at this very instant, defying that force. Oh, I see. Will you forfeit the wager? From the eighth story above, Yen Lu heard Wang Lin's words as she grabbed the gourd. Steps above Yen Lu reverberated at the same moment. Wang Lin turned to go downstairs as soon as he entered the 8th floor. Once he had made his way into the 7th and 8th stories, he was free to move up and down at will. The illusion would vanish when going up and down the stairs, and nobody outside could see what was going on. But Yen Lu sensed that something strong was coming down from the 8th level. Footfall creaks resounded within the Soul Scripture Pavilion. Wang Lin descended the stairs at a leisurely pace reaching the seventh floor in no time. You want to break the bet that you made. Wang Lin calmly spoke to Yen Lu from the seventh level, I didn't ask for this bet, you did. Wang Lin's right foot landed on the staircase, causing Yen Lu's pupils to contract. She was only able to see Wang Lin's right foot from her position. Yen Lu thought she was confronting everyone in the world when Wang Lin's foot touched down. Are you certain you want to destroy it? Wang Lin spoke with a tone of grandeur as he downed the steps slowly. 
As his voice dropped upon the great soul sect, it appeared to transcend the boundaries of this place and the laws of the immortal astral continent. Wang Lin's body and legs gradually materialized in front of her as he descended farther. Are you certain? Wang Lin answered back, showing his body as he landed on the ninth step. Despite being calm, his remarks had a thunderous reverberation. Yen Lu took several steps back, her expression serene. Panic was seen in her eyes. She felt like an ant in front of Wang Lin at this point and forgot about her own cultivation level. She also thought Wang Lin didn't look like Wang Lin. Who are you? Yen Lu's voice was practically raspy, and her eyes had bloodlines. Wang Lin was suppressing Yen Lu with the help of his avatar. He would leave a fissure in her Dao heart after totally restraining her. Whenever they crossed paths later on, she would be afraid of him. This would mean that this woman would never again pose a threat to him. They did not harbor a strong animosity toward one another, and Wang Lin had no desire to break her Dao heart. This woman may cultivate normally in the future, but she would be afraid of Wang Lin and would not want to work against him. Hand it over Wang Lin proceeded down two more steps before descending again. He lifted his right hand absent-mindedly. But Yen Lu thought those two steps had struck right through her heart. She had the impression that everything had crumbled and was bearing down on her. She would die from being crushed by the world if she disobeyed Wang Lin's orders. The sparkle in Yen Lu's eyes appeared to disperse as she shook. The pressure in her heart was too much for her to handle. She was experiencing constant fear at this moment due to Wang Lin's pressure. The gourd flew out of her right hand and into Wang Lin's palm as her right hand gradually relaxed. Wang Lin had a serene yet radiant look in her eyes. This was the first time he had used his avatar's entire aura to suppress someone. He was astounded by the aura's potency as well. After grabbing the gourd, Wang Lin pivoted and ascended the steps to reach the 7th and 8th stories. He still intended to select a spell. Only until Wang Lin had vanished from Yen Lu's field of vision did the horrifying sensation gradually fade. Yen Lu took a few steps back as her body grew softer. Her look was confused and her heart hurt. Wang Lin went back to the 8th floor very slowly. Dust was everywhere, giving the impression that nobody had visited in a while. This was a small space with 9 spirit bodies that measured 7 inches and gave off a gentle glow. The Great Soul Sect's nine extraordinarily potent Deo spells were stored in these nine soul bodies. Everybody could end the planet. The startling glow that covered Wang Lin's body gradually faded on the eighth floor of the Soul Scripture Pavilion, returning to the Avatar in the emptiness. Wang Lin was careful not to overuse the Avatar's power. He wouldn't squander any and would use exactly the proper amount. Excessive use offered no advantages and can even make the Avatar wither. Wang Lin had briefly entertained the notion of using the avatar's power to get on the ninth floor. But the expense of climbing up was too high, and he sensed how strong the constraint was on those stairs. Attempting at his current cultivation level was not worth it. Wang Lin gave up on the notion of climbing to the ninth story after calculating the gains and losses. He dispersed his avatar's aura and started surveying the ninth floor. Wang Lin could not change the fact that he could only select one spell from the Soul Scripture Pavilion. He scanned the nine seven-inch soul bodies with his eyes. Among the nine soul bodies present, Wang Lin sensed the soul fantasy origin spell, the multi-layered illusion spell, and the soul ideo that caused him to smile cruelly. Wang Lin scanned the other spells even though he hadn't directly witnessed anyone using them. The soul illusion spell was the main emphasis of the great soul sect. This multi-layered illusion spell was within the reach of most core followers, yet they were unable to fully unleash its power. After creating an illusion with eight layers, the power was heaven-shattering. Wang Lin's gaze paused on the third of the nine soul bodies. This multi-layered delusion was housed in this soul body. Just eight layers this spell has a nine-layer maximum. This spell is incomplete without the ninth layer. Wang Lin scowled. The whole version appears to be located on the ninth floor. Wang Lin regarded the seventh soul body while reflecting. This soul body's aura was just as potent as the multi-layered delusion. The soul fantasy origin Yen Lu had utilized was contained in this seventh soul body, and on the eighth floor, the spell was finished. Wang Lin thought for a moment and started to consider these two, I will eventually go to the ninth floor, even if I don't go there today. After all, I have to get the multi-layered illusion in this method, so I don't really need to select right now. Besides, the soul fantasy origin makes more sense now that the soul gourd is involved. Wang Lin thought about it for a while before his eyes brightened and he decided. He wouldn't reconsider a choice he had made. 
He moved to the soul body number seven and took a seat. Making a seal with his right hand, he gestured to the seventh soul body. The eighth floor was enveloped in a ghostly radiance as the seventh soul body quivered. It appeared as though Wang Lin was cultivating as it slowly moved to hover above his head. The seventh soul body sent waves of strands that resembled ghosts into Wang Lin's body through his openings. Wang Lin appeared composed, and as the threads that resembled smoke entered his body, he heard a voice whispering in his ears. It gradually become ingrained in his spirit and came naturally to him. Wang Lin spent three days sitting on the eighth floor as time passed slowly. He didn't move at all throughout these three days as he took in the soul fantasy origin from the seven-inch soul body. He was unaware that every disciple had already formed a strong mental image of him and that he was on the verge of becoming a legend. While it had been done before, very few had managed to break through the seventh and eighth levels at the same time. The Great Soul Sect members speculated about the identity and origins of the recently appointed Elder Wang. Numerous theories were put forth, but none of them reconciled with reality. The handful who were aware of the truth would not readily divulge it. They would never bring it up, whether it was old ancestor Green Bull or the sisters Fan Shan Meng or Fan Shanlo. After Wang Lin caused a fissure in her Dao heart, making her fearful of him, Yan Lu would not even bring it up. Regarding his identification as a cultivator from the ancient country, old ancestor Green Bull had sealed that information. He issued a command to be silent. The rumors around Wang Lin did not end after the allotted three days. Wang Lin opened his eyes on the eighth floor of the Soul Scripture Pavilion on the fourth day as the sun was rising. His eyes appeared to be different from before, they had dreamlike wisps of smoke in them now. They would be lost in his stare for as long as someone looked at them, unable to pull away. Wang Lin mumbled and closed his eyes again, soul fantasy origin. So it's like this. After a long while, he exhaled a foul-smelling breath, stood up, and descended the steps. He descended the steps step by step. He descended directly from the eighth level to the third story, then the fifth, and finally the first floor. One must split off a portion of their soul in order to cast any of the great soul sex spells, including soul ideo and soul fantasy origin. That part will interact with the outside environment in order to carry out the magic sequence. It makes sense why I was limited to using the ghostly sail and unable to study the multi-layered illusion spell inside the cave realm. Wang Lin's eyes showed a weird light as he left the soul scripture pavilion. Without the ghostly sail, I was unable to use the spell. The fissure outside the green heavenly peak closed as soon as he took off from the rift outside the soul scripture pavilion. With a sigh of satisfaction, old ancestor Green Bull inside the green heavenly peak observed Wang Lin go. Wang Lin would have been at a loss for what to do if he had arrived on the ninth floor 300 years early. After 300 years, Wang Lin was predicted by the first generation ancestor to enter the ninth floor. The three main sects of the Green Devil Continent would then band together to eradicate my great soul sect and the Guiyi sect on the ninth day after he entered the ninth floor. The esteemed Green Bull became concerned. Their objective is to obtain the suppressed Heavenly Bull soul under the Heavenly Bull Continent. Even though he was well prepared and knew everything beforehand, he was uncomfortable because Wang Lin had introduced uncertainty. The Great Soul Sect was founded by an ancestor from the first generation, whose background was shrouded in mystery. Even his descendants from succeeding generations were unaware of his identity. Rumor had it that the Soul I Deo was once divided into two halves, with Deo I Soul being the name of the second component. The first generation progenitor is said to have been a very strong Deo disciple of a secret sect on the immortal astral continent, although there were two. Then, for whatever reason, the old ancestor gave up the chance to get the whole Deo. They inherited the soul I Deo and the Deo I Soul. Having set out on his own, he arrived at the heavenly bull continent, which the celestial ancestor had recently formed. Here, he founded the great soul sect after that. Additionally, there were rumors. When esteemed Green Bull considered the last rumor, he couldn't help but shudder. He peered off into the distance, in the direction of the center continent. All of the Great Soul Sex disciples had gathered to hear the latest rumor. Because of how horrifying this information was, it was instead labeled a rumor. Rumor has it that the Deo art of the Imperial Teacher's lineage is known as Deo I Soul in the Imperial Metropolis. Esteemed Green Bull thought and felt uneasy in silence. He sighed after a while and started to cultivate. Flying through the Great Soul Sect was Wang Lin. Because of the vastness of the Great Soul Sect, it was hard to discern the end at a glance. 
All that was seen were the mountains that repeatedly broke through the heavens. But every time Wang Lin went by one, divine senses would expand to become figures that greeted him with pleasant handshakes. Wang Lin would respect people in return if they did the same for him. He returned to his blazing peak along the route, grinning and clasping his hands back at the other members of the cult. Fan Shan Mang remained outside the peak. Despite her exhaustion, she dared not go. Wang Lin's attitude did not change as he swept Fan Shimeng out of sight as he closed in on the peak. His voice resounded as he went up the summit. Enter now, the cave is a little disorganized. Find a place to stay and tidy up. Always be prepared to answer the phone. With a bent head, Fan Shanmeng nodded. She tightened her mouth and moved briskly in the direction of the flaming peak. She perspired even more because of the heat wave, and it took her a while to get over her inability to enter. She followed Wang Lin's path with an enraged stare before gathering her composure. As directed by Wang Lin, she started tidying up the caves. Wang Lin went back to the top cave and took a seat. Three boxes materialized in front of him when he waved his hand. A steamed green bowl had given him three gifts, and these three boxes were them. I've been treated well by this great soul sect, so I might consider remaining here for a while before looking for a teacher. I still don't fully comprehend the circumstances surrounding teacher's place. I must raise my cultivation level before finding teacher, though, as there must be some unhappy individuals or those looking to stir up trouble, or I wouldn't be showing up so abruptly. Someone at Wang Lin's cultivation level felt that there will be dangers in the future. He had some understanding of the issue, though not as much as others who could divine the changes in the world. He had an uneasy sensation that a major disaster was coming his way. Wang Lin's eyes lit up and fell on the first box. As long as I have a high enough cultivation level, none of these calamities are a problem now I want to see what kind of gifts the person in the great soul sect that divinate I would appear left me. The dust-covered box had an ordinary appearance, almost like a mortal thing. But what was amazing was that this box could keep any divine sense from entering. It appeared to be sealed with a yellow seal that had faded. It exuded an air of antiquity, as though it had been around for much too long. The yellow seal had wilted with time, and nobody had removed it in that length of time. Wang Lin studied the box for a moment, but suddenly his eyes brightened and he tore off the yellow seal that had been there for countless years. Wang Lin was obviously aware of a strange power entering his body the minute the seal was broken. It swiftly departed after cycling through his body once, as though it was determining whether the correct person had unlocked the box. In Wang Lin's hands, the sealing paper appeared to age infinitely and eventually disintegrated to dust. In front of Wang Lin, only the box remained still. Wang Lin had a serious look on her face. He sensed a movement from the box as the seal was broken. It was easy to overlook and difficult to notice this fluctuation. Lifting his hand, he gestured toward the box. When the box opened, what was inside was visible. It was a black rock the size of a fist. Despite its odd shape, this boulder had the same appearance as other rocks, but it was speckled with tiny holes and gave out weak oscillations that filled the cave. Wang Lin cast a scowl at the rock. He was unaware of its nature. His heavenly sense reached deep into the rock, but his holy awareness was absorbed by the tiny holes the moment it approached. Wang Lin held his composure and let the rock take in his heavenly feeling. When he finally saw what was inside, his face lit up. This is how Wang Lin discovered that this tiny rock held an infinite amount of space. Every little hole appeared to be its own separate area. I know you just came from the cave world to the immortal astral continent, so you will definitely have trouble unlocking your storage space. This is a piece of space stone. This is my first present to you. You can remove one item damage-free from your storage space at the expense of one space stone pocket. But not more than once or else the space cluster will get unstable and eventually collapse. A voice from antiquity emerged from the space stone. This is only one use of the space rock. It has another role, to cultivate a heavenly deo. I know you have an incomplete heavenly deo with you. Nourish it here and it will gently become fully. This is the first gift, I hope you like it. The elderly voice steadily winded down till it faded without a trace. No matter how much Wang Lin searched inside the space stone, he couldn't find a trace of that voice. Wang Lin's eyes narrowed and his divine sense withdrew from the space stone. He stared at it and pondered. He didn't act recklessly but put the stone to the side. His gaze landed on the second box. The seal was still on the box. When Wang Lin waved his hand, the seal rolled off. With a bang, the box opened. 
Inside, there was only one thing, a jade surrounded by fog. It looked like the jade was entirely made of fog. When it appeared before Wang Lin, the fog moved strangely. Staring at the jade made of fog, Wang Lin frowned. His hand reached out and the jade flew into his grasp. The moment the jade touched his hand, that ancient voice appeared in his mind. This is the second gift I prepared for you. This jade was formed by my lifetime of cultivating the soul ideo. It can allow you to see the changes in the immortal astral continent once, or it can deviate one thing for you, but only once. The voice disappeared. Wang Lin silently pondered and looked at the jade in his hand. He saw countless figures inside and felt like as long as he willed it, he could appoint a person to deviate with this jade. The first gift would allow Wang Lin to safely access his storage space and nourish his heavenly Dao. Although it was tempting, it wasn't necessary. However, the second gift was completely different and was several times more precious than the first gift. If what the voice had said was true and it could deviate the past and future of himself or someone else, then it was extremely valuable to Wang Lin. At a critical moment, this jade could save his life. Looking at the jade, Wang Lin's heart suddenly skipped a beat. After a long time, he withdrew his gaze and looked at the third box. The first was already precious and the second was far more precious than the first. I wonder what the third will be. Wang Lin put the jade to the side and his right hand grabbed the third box. The seal on the box disappeared and even the box itself seemed to decay. It turned into dust, revealing a drop of crystal clear water the size of a fingernail. This drop of water seemed to be filled with fog and gaze off a dazzling light that could capture one's mind. When one saw it, they would be lost in the world of the drop of water. A powerful water essence aura spread from the drop of water and filled the cave. This aura diffused across the mountain and almost made the flaming mountain show signs of extinguishing. When Wang Lin saw this drop of water, his expression changed and his pupils shrank. He stared at the drop of water and a huge wave was set off in his heart. This third item was something Wang Lin needed far more than the previous two. This was something Wang Lin had dreamed of. His water essence had only reached small completion on planet 5 elements and hadn't been able to progress. As a result, he was stuck at the late stage of spirit void. Even after his fire essence true body formed, it still didn't improve Wang Lin's cultivation level, it only made his spells more fierce. I already have 7 essences. Once this water essence becomes complete, I'll have 8 essences and reach peak spirit void. If I can get a ninth essence after this, I can merge them into one to break through spirit void and become an arcane void cultivator. At that time, although I will only be at the arcane void stage, with my nine essences, I will be able to battle early stage void tribulant cultivators without the use of these grand spells. Once I reach the late stage of arcane void, I won't have to go through arcane tribulants one by one but all nine in a row then I'll become a void tribulant cultivator. Wang Lin understood that his path of cultivation was completely different from others. He didn't have any Joss flames and relied purely on comprehension and plundering the heavens and earth. After he obtained nine essence and entered arcane void, he would be vastly different from others. It could be said that the key to Wang Lin's cultivation was essences. Although essences sound simple, obtaining and completing them was very difficult. Looking at this drop of water essence, Wang Lin couldn't help but take a deep breath. This wasn't the first time he had obtained the water essence droplet in his life, it was the second time the first time was from the mysterious Allseer. It was with that water droplet and his luck on planet 5 elements that his water essence had reached small completion. However, the water droplet in his hand was far beyond what the Allseer had given him. It was impossible to compare the two, like the bright moon to the firefly. This drop of water essence is the third gift I prepared for you. I refined 99 rivers in the heavenly river continent and also used a number of cultivators with water essences to nourish them. I don't know if your water essence will be complete after you absorb it, but even if it isn't, it should only be a sliver away. I hope you will like these three gifts. I hope you will shelter my great soul sect. Allow my descendants to return to the central continent. Wang Lin's eyes lit up. After the ancient voice disappeared from his mind, he grasped the drop of water. This was simply too important to him. Holding the drop of water essence, Wang Lin's divine sense rushed inside. After carefully searching it, he was confident there was no problem. His eyes shined as he looked up, and his gaze seemed to penetrate the cave. If I have the ability to protect the great soul sect in the future, I'll do it as Wang Lin's words echoed, a bolt of thunder let out a thunderous rumble outside the great soul sect. 
As the rumble echoed, many cultivators were shaken. Old ancestor Green Bull sat up and his eyes opened. His heart was shaken and his pupils shrank as he stared at the rumbling thunder outside. First generation ancestor. As the thunder rumbled, Wang Lin raised his left hand and formed a seal. A powerful pressure spread out from his body and shrouded the mountain. Essence true body, protect me Wang Lin's voice echoed in the great soul sect. His right hand formed a seal and the fire from the burning mountain gathered outside his cave to form his essence true body, then he sat down. At the same time, Fan Shanmen's eyes lit up and she looked up at the top of the mountain covered in fire. It was unknown what she was thinking. Wang Lin naturally wouldn't ignore Fan Shanmeng. If he dared to bring the woman here, then he naturally had a way of dealing with her. The moment he closed his eyes, his right hand grabbed the space stone. Wang Lin had too many things he wanted to take out of his storage space. However, he only had one chance to take something out without damaging his storage space. After pondering a bit, he made his decision. Right now, the puppet that was infinitely close to an early stage void tribulant cultivator was most useful to him. The ESI puppet he had obtained deep inside the ancient tomb appeared in Wang Lin's mind. Without hesitation, he reached toward the space stone and his divine sense went inside. He opened his storage space inside. The moment his storage space was opened, the space stone trembled. One of the spaces inside replaced Wang Lin's storage space and collapsed. The moment it collapsed, a monstrous killing intent charged out from Wang Lin's storage space. In a flash, a figure with long limbs, scarlet tongue, and thin body appeared next to Wang Lin. It was the ESI puppet that looked like a thin monkey. Bursts of roars and a fierce aura came from the ESI puppet. It stared at Wang Lin and slowly remembered who Wang Lin was. Only then did the ferociousness in its eyes lessen a bit. Wang Lin coldly looked at the fierce figure covered in killing intent and slowly said, ESI, guard me. Roar. The ESI puppet's eyes became fierce as it stared at the entrance to the cave, and its scarlet tongue dragged on the ground. It was a shocking sight. At this moment, if anyone entered the cave, they would be attacked by the crazed ESI puppet. Wang Lin was still worried and looked at the Mosquito King ink tattoo. The moment he looked down, the Mosquito King's eyes revealed a cold gaze and seemed to be looking at Wang Lin. The Mosquito King was the last layer of protection Wang Lin had prepared for his closed-door cultivation. Only now did Wang Lin relax a bit. He sat down in the cave and looked at the water droplet with excitement. He took a deep breath and pressed the water droplet between his eyebrows. The moment the water droplet touched the area between his eyebrows, the blood in his body seemed to boil. The water essence in his body immediately fused with the new water droplet and a shocking change took place. During this change Wang Lin's body rapidly withered as if all water and blood in his body gathered at one point. His body rapidly withered. In just half an incense of time, he was like a skeleton. His hair was dried and his skin was covered in wrinkles. He was like a corpse that had been dried up for many years. The water essence droplet had absorbed all the water and blood inside Wang Lin. It was crystal clear, but it was hidden inside his body and couldn't be seen from the outside. The condensing and absorption of the water essence was like this, it looked terrifying. This was because a cultivator's body naturally contained water, and even blood contained water. As he condensed the water essence, his body would naturally be affected. It was why his body looked like dried up corpse. Time slowly passed and seven days went by. During these seven days, Wang Lin remained motionless as if he was really dead. If not for the fact that his aura not only didn't disappear but got stronger, people would think something had happened to him. Two days later, Wang Lin's dried body trembled and he opened his eyes. His eyes were cloudy as if even the water in his eyes had disappeared. Scatter, water essence. A hoarse voice came from Wang Lin's mouth and his dried up hand formed a seal. The water essence droplet that had reached its limit suddenly exploded. Wang Lin's body trembled and he quickly recovered. This recovery happened in an instant. Wang Lin was no longer dried up and his skin was crystal clear. There seemed to be a light cycling inside and outside of his body. He remained in this state for nine days. During these nine days, the water droplet that had fused with him rapidly rotated, and it was obviously smaller than it was 18 days ago. It seemed like these nine days of condensing and nine days of scattering formed a cycle. After the first cycle ended, the second cycle immediately began. On the 19th day of Wang Lin's closed door cultivation, his body changed and instantly withered into a dried up body. The water droplet in his body flashed rapidly. 
This repeated many times. Wang Lin went through seven cycles of being dried up and then saturated. After seven cycles, the water droplet in Wang Lin was less than 20% of its original size. Several months passed. Wang Lin ignored everything outside during these several months and wholeheartedly immersed himself in absorbing the water essence. He understood that once he succeeded in forming the water essence, his cultivation level would immediately increase. And this water essence was a corporeal essence. It would have the same problem as his fire essence, the fusion and devouring of will. However, Wang Lin's water essence had only reached small completion before, and after fusing it with the water essence of the immortal astral continent, the rejection wasn't too great. He could endure it. Time passed once more and another 18 days went by. Wang Lin had gone through the eighth cycle. After eight cycles, the water droplet was very small, and if one didn't look closely, they wouldn't even see it. While Wang Lin was in closed door cultivation, his essence true body protected the cave outside. Inside the cave, the ESI puppet guarded against everything. The ESI puppet hadn't had blood for a long time and had become very irritated. It constantly roared and even sometimes looked at Wang Lin with a fierce gaze. However, it knew that Wang Lin was its master, and although this feeling wasn't strong, it did have some effect in helping it resist its urge to devour blood. The other most important thing was that the ESI puppet felt that its master was different from before. He possessed an aura that terrified it. Although it was a faint connection, it had fused with its master's soul. This was the reason Wang Lin allowed it protect him. Although it was bloodthirsty, Wang Lin's will still had an affect. As long as it wasn't for too long, it would be no problem. As Wang Lin's cultivation improved, his will would become even stronger and be enough to control this bloodthirsty puppet. There was also that sliver of aura from his avatar inside his body. Others might find it difficult to detect, but the ESI puppet could. Fan Shan Meng was also in the mountain and had observed the cave Wang Lin was in for a long time. It has been several months now, and the thought in her might had become intense to the point that she walked out of her cave and headed toward the top of the mountain. Fan Shan Meng stopped 1,000 feet away when she spotted Wang Lin's fire essence true body. Fear appeared in her eyes. She wasn't bold enough to act against Wang Lin when he was in closed door cultivation but wanted to closely observe him. Then she could complete her teacher's order to slowly curse Wang Lin to death. However, just as she stopped 1,000 feet away, Wang Lin's essence true body opened its eyes and glanced at Fan Shan Meng. Being looked at by the essence true body was the same as being looked at by Wang Lin. Fan Shan Meng trembled and lowered her head. She was about to retreat when a startling roar came from the cave. A thick, black mist came out of the cave and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared inside the fog. A scarlet tongue drooped down from the fog and swayed side to side. It was a shocking sight. ESI was inside the fog, and it had been without blood for months. It was very annoyed when it detected someone outside. It looked at Fan Shan Meng with bloodthirsty eyes and let out a roar before it charged at her. Fan Shan Meng was at the seventh arcane tribulant and was already incredible. However, when she met EC's gaze, she trembled. Adding this on to her fear of Wang Lin, Fan Shan Meng retreated without hesitation. However, she was obviously not as fast as Yi Si. The puppet let out a roar and charged at Fan Shan Meng. Its huge tongue lashed out toward her and the black fog blocked her path of retreat. Thunderous rumbles echoed across the sect. Most of the people in the Great Soul Sect had gotten the old ancestor's order to not get close to Wang Lin's mountain. When this occurred, they all looked over. Yan Lu was cultivating when she opened her eyes and her expression changed. She had almost forgotten she had sent Fan Shan Meng to curse Wang Lin to death. There was a trace of fear in her eyes as she charged toward Wang Lin's mountain. Inside the cave, Wang Lin was experiencing the ninth and final cycle. Once he succeeded, his water essence would be complete and his cultivation level would increase. However, the drop of water essence was completely used up and his body was withered. Wang Lin opened his eyes and a bright light shined from them. The water essence is not enough to complete the last cycle. I'm still missing a bit I need a large amount of water Wang Lin looked terrifying right now. His dried up body was almost like a skeleton. As he pondered, he looked up and noticed the rumble outside the cave along with Yen Lu's aura closing in. Yi Si, come back as Yen Lu closed in on the fog where Yi Si and Fan Shan Meng were fighting, Wang Lin's voice echoed. At the same time, Wang Lin left the cave and arrived outside. His dried body and terrifying appearance were seen by Yen Lu, and she let out a cry of shock. 
Yu Yan Lu's pupils shrank. Wang Lin's appearance was simply too terrifying. His dried up body looked like there was no blood left in him. Even if you were to open a wound on his body with a sword, no blood would come out. His hair was dried to the point that it looked like it was going to fall off. Wang Lin's withered body had no trace of water left inside. If not for his powerful origin soul, he would seem no different than a dead person. That white robe around him was very loose, as if it was wrapped around a corpse. The terrifying feeling coming from Wang Lin's body made Yan Lu retreat several steps. There was also Fan Shan Mang, who was fighting with the ESI puppet. When she got a good look at Wang Lin, she also retreated and gasped. Her eyes were filled with fear. What is he cultivating? To end up like this? When Wang Lin's hoarse voice echoed, the ESI puppet turned back into fog and flew back to him. Its ferocious eyes and scarlet tongue matched with Wang Lin's current appearance. It made Wang Lin look like a ferocious demonic cultivator. Yan Lu, I'm in closed door cultivation. Why did you come here? Wang Lin was like a dead man after losing all the water in his body. Even his eyes had lost the ability to turn, so he had to turn his head to look at Yan Lu. However, not only did his action not lower his aura, it made it even stronger. Yan Lu's heart trembled and she retreated a few more steps. I didn't intend to disturb Elder Wang's closed door cultivation. However, Shan Meng was being attacked by Elder Wang's strange puppet, so I came to save her. This woman is my maid. There's no need for Elder Yan Lu to worry about her on my behalf. Wang Lin smiled, but his smile was terrifying with that dried up face. Fan Shan Meng trembled and retreated behind her teacher. This matter is not urgent at this moment. Elder Yan Lu, I have something I'd like to ask Wang Lin turned his head and looked at Fan Shan Meng with his terrifying eyes before he spoke to Yan Lu. I wonder what Elder Wang wants to ask. Yan Lu's expression was rather solemn. She felt fear toward Wang Lin from the bottom of her heart. I'm not familiar with the Heavenly Bull Continent. Do you know any place with a lot of water? It would be best if it was a giant ocean Wang Lin said, and his voice was like two bones rubbing together. Water. He isn't cultivating a spell but absorbing water essence Yan Lu's eyes lit up and she immediately saw the problem. She took a deep breath, and after a moment, she said, between the heavenly bull continent and the green devil continent, there is an endless inland sea. It is about nine months away. How do I get there? There was a sliver of ghostly light in Wang Lin's eyes. Yan Lu didn't hesitate to wave her right hand. A jade appeared and her divine sense entered it to imprint a map going to that inland sea. She threw the jade toward Wang Lin. He caught it, and after scanning it with his divine sense, he nodded at Yan Lu. Elder Yan Lu, many thanks with that. Wang Lin waved his sleeve and didn't even look at Fan Shan Meng again. He turned into a mass of fog and flew away. Roar. The ESI puppet followed after Wang Lin, and after it fused with the fog, Wang Lin put it away. At the same time, Wang Lin's fire essence true body looked up. It followed Wang Lin and disappeared into the distance. It wasn't until Wang Lin was gone that Fan Shan Meng relaxed. The Wang Lin just now terrified her, and it was difficult to forget. Yan Lu stood there and pondered for a long time before letting out a sigh. She hadn't put any false information inside the jade and had given the correct information. She didn't pay any attention to Fan Shan Meng and flew back to her cave. As for Wang Lin, after he left the Great Soul Sect, he took a step and ripples echoed before he disappeared. He merged with the world and left without a trace. In a rare prairie in the Heavenly Bull Continent, 100,000 kilometers away from the Great Soul Sect, ripples echoed in the sky and Wang Lin walked out. His body still looked like a dried up corpse, and he looked at the earth. There were many caves inside this endless prairie, it was clear a lot of rogue cultivators lived here. The reason so many rogue cultivators lived here was because the grass here gave off dense celestial energy. It couldn't compare to some of the mountains, but it was not weak. Extreme Sky Prairie. According to Yen Lu's Jade, after arriving here, it will take another six months to arrive at the inland sea that connects to the Green Devil Continent. Wang Lin pondered as he quickly flew forward. On the immortal astral continent, even with the power of Wang Lin's avatar in the void, he couldn't use spatial bending repeatedly if it was cross long distances. If it was short, like when he moved away from the heavenly mountain, it was fine but now he had crossed three months of travel at once, so he needed some time before he could use it again. He raised his right hand as he flew and a roar came from the Mosquito King tattoo on his arm. The Mosquito King appeared like ink and carried Wang Lin. It let out a happy cry and flew off into the distance. 
Wang Lin sat on the back of the mosquito beast and closed his eyes. Although his current cultivation was at its peak, his divine sense powerful, and origin soulful, his body was a hidden danger. He had to absorb a large amount of water essence to complete the ninth cycle. As the mosquito beast flew forward, it let out a roar that attracted a lot of divine senses to come out and check. When they saw Wang Lin and the mosquito beast, they all withdrew their divine senses and ignored them. However, a few divine senses followed Wang Lin as if they had other intentions. The prairie was endless and Wang Lin's mosquito beast flew far away. Most of the divine senses following them scattered, but three remained closely behind them. Among these three divine senses, two of them were mid-stage arcane void and one person was only at the late stage of spirit void. Their divine senses also dispelled many others from following. After seven days, when the prairie was about to end, Wang Lin felt like he could use spatial bending for a large-scale movement again. As for the three divine senses behind him, he didn't even care at all. He stood up from the back of the mosquito beast. However, just at this moment, a gloomy voice came from behind him. Fellow demonic cultivator, you came to my extreme sky prairie and just want to leave so casually? Why are you talking so much nonsense with him? We followed him all this way to see if he was just passing through or if he had friends here at the extreme sky prairie. Now we know he is just passing through. Leave your beast behind and this old man will spare you another voice filled with a domineering aura came from in front of Wang Lin. If Wang Lin rejected him, then the result would be miserable. As his words echoed, the world behind Wang Lin distorted and a giant, black arm appeared from the sky. It descended through the clouds and reached toward Wang Lin. The arm seemed to contain a powerful force, and it closed in on Wang Lin. Wang Lin turned around. He originally didn't want to cause unnecessary trouble, but someone had targeted him, so it was completely different. Wang Lin turned around and his eyes lit up. His dried up right hand rose and ripped the sky. A huge rift appeared, seeming as if it was going to devour everything. It was as if the entire world had been split by that rift, and it charged toward the arm. This rift caused a thunderous rumble and the world changed colors. A giant ancient Dao arm appeared behind Wang Lin and ripped sky. Thunderous rumbles echoed across the world. The dark arm that extended toward Wang Lin connected with the rift and was torn apart. Three muffled groans emerged from the crumpled black arm and three individuals were knocked out. The three of them gazed at Wang Lin and were afraid. They were shocked by the power of Wang Lin's attack. He isn't just a spirit void cultivator. Such a powerful physical body. This person. This person is comparable to an ancient country cultivator. Their expressions changed drastically. As they were forced back by the shockwave, they divided in three different directions and rapidly escaped. Wang Lin's expression was tranquil. Since he had acted, he wouldn't readily give up. He raised his right hand and waved. A roar resonated and the ESI puppet came with excited gaze and chased after one person. It instantly caught up, and the black cloud engulfed the person. Miserable screams echoed and slowly evaporated. Shortly after, the mosquito king underneath Wang Lin let out a roar and raced forward toward the late stage spirit void cultivator. Before the person could react, the mosquito king closed in and its sharp mouth slashed into him. The guy tried to fight as the insect inhaled, but Wang Lin calmly gestured onward. With one point, the cultivator stopped totally as he watched death closing in. As for Wang Lin, in a flash, he got from the Mosquito King and gazed at the third guy escaping. His fire essence real body changed into a seal of fire and rushed before burning the heavens and earth. It developed a gigantic mouth to consume the third individual. This scene was incredibly disturbing. The fire united the heavens and earth as it devoured everything in its path. It closed in on the third person, and just as the third person was about to be devoured, a burst of green light appeared to oppose the fire. Teacher, save me. The minute he spoke, the grasslands trembled and a muffled roar echoed through the soil. Stop. As these words resonated, the earth rumbled and a gigantic fist formed of earth appeared. It flew toward Wang Lin. Although Wang Lin didn't change his countenance, there was a brief moment of icy stare. He punched out as the earthly fist closed in. There was a loud thud. The earthen fist trembled and then fell apart, but Wang Lin remained motionless. A frightened scream escaped the earth. A yellow figure of the earth emerged from the ground. He leaped into the ground without pausing to take a step. The grass on the soil wavered in the distance, concealing this figure. Simultaneously, 
The third individual using the green light to fight against the fire let out a pitiful cry before coming to a screeching stop. In moments, he was consumed by the fire's mouth. Wang Lin's genuine body emerged from the firestorm created by the gigantic fire. Do you want to sprint? A brief moment of iciness appeared in Wang Lin's eyes. He turned to face the person making an attempt to break free inside the ground, took a stride forward, and touched down. Wang Lin gave a chilly snort and held up his withered hand, saying, I didn't want to kill you, but you're all courting death. Instead of pursuing, he put his hand down on the ground. His dried up hair drifted upwards, and an aura shot out from beneath him at that moment. Wang Lin's parched palms quickly absorbed water vapor as the grass quickly started to wither. Wang Lin's surroundings saw a significant amount of green grass wither as a result of this quick absorption. Water vapor strands shot toward his arms. In front of Wang Lin, the grass faded particularly quickly. If someone were above, they would witness the startling sight of Wang Lin's grass quickly fading. Water vapor in the form of strands entered Wang Lin's body, and the withering appeared to be pursuing the fleeing individual. The earthly cultivator's heart began to quiver violently. He sensed that death was pursuing him. He would perish if that aura ever touched him. The grass behind him died even quicker as he ran. There were caves nearby that were going to be impacted. Gritting his teeth, the fleeing cultivator raced in the direction of the caves. How on earth is he so strong, damn it. It's just one individual, though. He will perish if he infuriates everyone. With lightning speed, the earth escape survivor was racing toward the caves. The grass behind him died quickly, almost catching up with him. As he approached the caverns, a strong aura abruptly burst from one of them, causing a flash of frost in his eyes. Then an elderly man with white hair emerged from one of the caverns. The aura of an early stage cultivator of void tribulence spread out the minute he appeared. Without pausing, the elderly man ran toward the fleeing individual and waved his hand. Screams of thunder resounded, as a shockwave reached out across the soil, toward the fleeing cultivator. The cultivator paused for a second before being swiftly knocked away. Scramble. Coughing up blood, the fleeing cultivator was driven from the ground. The dried up prairie touched his body and took on the appearance of a massive mouth just before he was knocked unconscious again. The farmer screamed in agony at this moment, and his body quickly began to wither. He lost all of his blood and water, and his original soul fled his body while it was dying. However, as he attempted to flee, the ESI puppet caught up with him since black gas had encircled his original soul. Misery screams resonated, slowly fading away as black fog enveloped his origin spirit. Zozo is this old man, fellow cultivator. Please let this Deo spell fade because the person who provoked you has passed away. It is impossible to get lost because this is the lowest point on the entire heavenly bull continent. The white-haired old man emerged in the sky. Please do not ruin the foundation of all the rogue cultivators in the extreme sky prairie. He clasped his fists and cast a sidelong glance at Wang Lin. The grass on the ground stopped withering after he spoke those words, and water vapor shot in the direction of Wang Lin's body. Wang Lin was unable to finish the ninth cycle, despite having thus much water and the essence of that cultivator. He lifted his hand off the ground at this precise time and turned to face the elderly man across the street. After that, he mused while gazing out at the grassland. It's strange that the majority of these rogue growers are underground. This is the lower section of the continent, or, to put it another way, the location nearest to the Earth's core. Wang Lin had some time to think before speaking, but before departing, he gave the elderly guy a quick look. Wang Lin called the ESI puppet back, and he brought the Mosquito King back to his side. It was tucked away with a swish of his sleeve. Ripples sounded as Wang Lin moved onward, merging with the surroundings. Using spatial bending, he vanished from this prairie. The elderly man didn't become at ease until Wang Lin departed. A shadow emerged from the ground, drawing the attention of over a dozen people to Wang Lin's path. Left Senior has a firm hand. We should not provoke this guy. His beast is unusual and his puppet is powerful. He is also extremely powerful, someone like that cannot exist without a cult. Indeed, that individual is highly decisive, in fact, he killed all four members of the Black Mountain Deo. He is undoubtedly vicious, and from the look of him, a demonic cultivator. All four of the Black Mountain Deo have only themselves to blame. They spent several days pursuing him. Now that they are deceased, put an end to this issue. The old guy muttered, colleague cultivators, scatter, and turn to walk away. Regarding Wang Lin, 
he materialized on a mountain range subsequent to his second use of spatial bending. Yen Lu's chart showed that he was three months from the nearest inland sea. The heavenly bull continent is too big, Wang Lin thought, calling up the beast of the mosquito, and riding it east on its back. The beast of a mosquito moved quickly. There weren't many cultivators in the area because this location was close to the Green Devil continent. Instead, mortal cities sporadically emerged. Wang Lin was ignorant of the Green Devil continent, but Kong Ren was terrified of it, as if people from that continent were terrible. Ten days passed quickly. Wang Lin saw some cultivators, but they didn't say anything to one another they just strolled past. Even if their divine senses expanded, they halted for a moment before departing upon witnessing Wang Lin's presence. Ten days later, Wang Lin vanished from this mountain range by using the third spatial bending. The Pill Sea was the name given to the sea that lay between the Green Devil Continent and the Heavenly Bull Continent on the enormous eastern continent. There was a rumor that a pill that dropped from the sky created this water. But this idea was just too ludicrous to be true it was hard to imagine what kind of pill could produce such a sea. For years, this was a rumor that was handed along but nobody believed it. The waves surged, and the pill sea seemed to never stop. It was an inland sea, but the waves and wind were no less ferocious. The cultivators here were rather chaotic because this was a place that belonged to both the Green Devil Continent and the Heavenly Bull Continent. Thunder rumbled, rain dropped to mix with the water, and dark clouds filled the sky. Raindrops may be seen beneath the clouds. The silhouette of Wang Lin emerged from the waves and hovered over the water. Wang Lin's dried up eyes glowed brightly as she stared out at the sea beneath. His water essence was just a half cycle away from completion. He only needed a tiny bit, nothing more. But the only way he could come up with to get it quickly was to compress it from the boundless sea. It remained to be seen if he could condense it successfully. Wang Lin's body gradually sunk toward the ocean floor as he thought. A little while later, he could see land beneath him. The seafloor was covered in an abundance of vibrant corals and seaweed, and there were innumerable fish and shrimp swimming around. Wang Lin took a seat inside the seaweed, shut his eyes, put his hand on his knees, and made a seal with them. The water of the sea quivered as his hands sealed together. Ripples that are invisible extend in every direction. Gather, water essence, Wang Lin muttered. He spoke, and then there were thunderous rumbles all around the planet, and the boundless sea started to surge. At this point, Wang Lin's body seemed to have blended with the pill sea because it had no aura. They blended together so perfectly that it was hard to tell one from the other. The renegade cultivators from both continents should have been drawn to the pill sea as it shook and bubbled. But nobody saw the water roaring because a carnage was going on inside of it. There were barriers all the way around the water. Even Wang Lin was unaware of this restriction when he first joined because it was so enigmatic. He only kind of noticed it as he was absorbing the pill sea. This layer of limitations sealed the pill sea, allowing one to enter but not exit. From within the sea, countless terrible screams could be heard as Wang Lin absorbed the water essence. A green ghostly fire enveloped cultivators who were killing many renegade cultivators from the heavenly bull continent. In the pill sea, there were a lot of cultivators like this. The groups of cultivators in green broke into the caves deep within the sea, and they mercilessly murdered everyone there. Groups of cultivators wearing green robes would pursue anyone who attempted to flee. They refused to give up until they had killed their objective. It was challenging to flee because the pill sea was completely walled off and there were an excessive number of green-robed cultivators. Amidst the fury of the pill sea, slaughter loomed. The vicious creatures within the pill sea were gradually drawn in by the stench of blood. This was a killing of unequal cultivation levels, a massacre. The high-level cultivators in green robes destroyed all of the heavenly bull continent cultivators in the pill sea by carefully adhering to orders. Three sizable flags were lowered into the water close to the Green Devil Continent on the opposite side of the pill sea. Below the flags, thousands of cultivators stood motionless, their steely gazes fixed forward. In the midst of the thousands of cultivators stood three individuals dressed in white instead of green. There was one woman and two men. At barely 30 years old, they appeared to be fairly young. With her head lowered, the stunning woman was examining a compass the size of her palm. One of the three was a young man with a face as white as jade. Senior brother Qian, junior sister Zhao, the slaughter in the pill sea has already lasted seven days, he uttered after giving it some thought. I worry that we won't be able to finish the elderly ancestor's order if we don't pick up speed. The second young man had an ordinary appearance, but every now and again his eyes would turn deadly. 
He heard the white jade-faced youth's words and responded cautiously, saying, This slaughter will end in four days at the latest and kill all of the heavenly bull cultivators in the pill sea. My green devil continent enters the celestial bull continent through the pill sea. It's challenging to handle each of the strong cultivators in this area fast. But as elder brother Qian stated, four more days ought to be sufficient. With a smile on her face, the woman used her left hand to move a strand of hair behind her ear. Senior brothers, check out the pill sea's compass. The full pill sea map showed as the woman talked, and the compass in her right palm shone. The map of the pill sea was covered in thousands of green dots that appeared to be moving slowly. There were a lot of white dots in addition to these green ones. The white spots resembled flickering candlelight that might go out at any time. Hundreds of white dots vanished during these brief exchanges of speech and were absorbed by the green dots. The white lights were not all the same size. Three of the spots were noticeably brighter than the rest. The middle level of Void Tribulant is where the three strongest cultivators are located in the pill sea. The woman spoke softly and added, We don't need to worry about them, the ancestors have already sent out green devil messengers to deal with them. Less than ten lights were smaller but still significantly larger than the others, with the exception of the three brightest lights. They appeared to be fighting ferociously and were encircled by green spots. Nine more cultivators, or roughly seven or eight arcane tribulants, have slightly lower cultivation levels than those three rogue growers. We are going to eliminate them, and after we do, the remaining cultivators in the sea won't pose a threat to any of us. Four days should be plenty to kill them with this equipment. Grinning, the woman held up her left hand. She produced a droplet of black liquid in her palm by waving her jade-like hand. The dark liquid had an odd glow coming from it and was beautifully transparent. A rich aura of water essence emanated from this liquid drop. Would you believe that the cultivators in the pill sea stand a chance, senior brothers? With the prize from the poison devil sacked, the 10,000 refined corruption liquid? The two young men caught the woman's attention. We can't be irresponsible. The young person with the white jade complexion grinned and remarked gradually, No mishap can occur now that our three sects are working together, and we must ensure that the heavenly bull continent remains unaware of everything. The three forefathers have already started casting spells to prevent individuals from practicing fortune-telling. In order to purify the heavenly bull cultivators back into half of a celestial pill, we must slay them in the pill sea. After that, We'll utilize the tablet to cut through the imperceptible shield encircling the heavenly bull continent. None of the three noticed that the woman was holding a compass map with a very common white dot next to the heavenly bull continent. Wang Lin was located as this extremely common white dot. Green dots would occasionally pass by, but they paid him no attention at all. Seated in silence at the ocean's depths, Wang Lin's body had become one with the water. To hydrate his body, he gradually condensed the water that had entered it into water essence. Condensing the water essence from the seawater proved exceedingly challenging, nevertheless. Wang Lin had to try, no matter what. Maybe he could create water essence if he could condense the entire sea into a single drop. He saw the carnage in the pill sea because his heavenly sense was merging with the water. The massacre enveloped the entire pill sea. Time moved slowly by. One day passed by quickly. Wang Lin was flown above by over a dozen groups of green-robed cultivators on this particular day, yet none of them saw Wang Lin among the seaweed beneath them. The enormous pill sea had submerged 100 feet after this day of time, appearing as though the water had vanished out of existence. The cultivators began to take notice of this gradually, but nobody was very concerned given all the carnage. This is how the three individuals under the three flags that tore through the heavens on the side of the Green Devil continent looked. The stunning woman said, northeast, 390,000 kilometers away, as she glanced at the compass in her hand. A group of green devil troops advanced abruptly, followed by numerous cultivators. They waded into the water and were gone from sight. The green devil continent was ready, even though they were unable to perform spatial bending. In addition to sealing the pill sea, the restriction might have made it possible for cultivators on green devil continent to migrate by merging into it. 1.98 million kilometers to the southeast. Following her speech, more than 100 cultivators stepped out and disappeared, making five sets of green devil soldiers. The woman gave orders, and she proceeded to position troops using the compass chart she was holding. They eliminated the white specks that were resisting with the aid of the numerous green devil continent cultivators. It's up to you guys, senior brothers Jian and Zhao. Four of the nine have passed away, 
leaving five. There's no need to panic as two of them have dispersed, but three of them have grouped together. These three are adept at coordinated attacks and are most likely close buddies. Three somewhat larger points of light on the compass in the woman's hand were heading toward the heavenly bull continent, and I beg you, two of your senior brothers, to kill these three. One by one, the green specks that approached them went out, symbolizing their demise. With a smile on his face as radiant as white jade, the young guy lifted his right hand. Gazing at the young man named Qian in front of him, a fan suddenly materialized in his grasp, and he used it to tap the center of his left palm. Little brother, senior brother Qian, will follow and see the Devil Deo Sex Grand Devil Deo spell. With a poisoned expression, the cultivator Qian moved forward into the formation without saying anything. He vanished into thin air. The young man, whose complexion resembled white jade, grinned and shook his head before continuing. The woman, encircled by thousands of cultivators, scowled and glanced at the compass she was holding after the two of them departed. There was something that was confusing her. Her gaze moved across all the white dots, including the one representing Wang Lin. Strange, why did the water in the pill sea decrease so much in a day? She asked herself. But she didn't notice the white dot representing Wang Lin since it was just too typical. She gave this some thought and then buried this issue deep inside her. She persisted in sending troops into the Pill Sea to assist the cultivators of the Green Devil sect in eliminating the last few renegade cultivators of the Heavenly Bull continent. Wang Lin spent all of his energy absorbing the sea water, oblivious to the never-ending massacre. He resembled an unending pit that kept condensing seawater in an effort to get the essence of water. Still, this aqueous essence was just too hard to concentrate. Not even a hundred feet of seawater would do, Wang Lin said opening his closed eye to see a troop of green-robed cultivators soar overhead. Then let's absorb more. He scowled. Wang Lin averted his eyes and closed them a moment later in order to keep taking in more water. In less than a day, the water level dropped to a depth of over 800 feet, exposing portions of the reefs to the surface. Although they were unaware of what was going on, even the numerous cultivators who participated in the slaughter could no longer ignore this change. Where is the seawater that was lost? Is there a chance that someone is casting a strong spell? The Pill Sea's green-robed cultivators were no longer able to maintain their composure. Three people were fleeing away at this very time from Wang Lin at the bottom of the water. Even though it was clear that two of them had major injuries, the last person didn't leave them to make their own way out. Go by yourself, White Tiger. Vermilion Bird and I are both very hurt. Including us would only make you feel heavier. But, White Tiger, go by yourself. I didn't anticipate to meet this death tragedy after we left the Seven Deo sect and came here to cultivate in tranquility. The Vermilion Bird, the White Tiger, and the Black Tortoise were the three creatures that emerged from the world of caves. Many years ago, when they had come back, they had discovered that the Seven Deo sect had vanished. After deciding to depart, they returned to this place as renegade cultivators. They had already enjoyed their moment in the spotlight and were well known. They were tired and wanted to rest but they were also close to the end of their lives. The three of them decided to lead tranquil lives, even though their cultivation levels could have allowed them to do great things in the pill sea. The wind, however, prevented the trio from being silent even though they desired to. They were running for their lives now, even though all they wanted was to live in peace. Both the black tortoise and the vermilion bird had suffered severe wounds. As they attempted to flee the pill sea, the white tiger, who had sustained the fewest injuries, was leading his two enduring companions. White Tiger's pale face flashed a sad smile as those two's words reached his ears. You two don't need to say anything. How am I going to get away on my own? We entered the cave world together and now Azure Dragon is dead, but it was understandable. However, didn't we agree to stay here until we die of old age? Didn't we agree to find three talented juniors to pass down our Deo? We haven't done these things yet, so how can I live by escaping alone? The white tiger let out a roar as he carried the black tortoise and the vermilion bird while escaping. Behind the three of them, the youth with the white jade-like face slowly chased with a fan in his hand. The youth named Qian revealed a vicious gaze as he let out a cold laugh and chased. The two of them were in no rush. The pill sea was sealed, so there was no way for the three of them to escape. Toying with them like this was much more fun for the cultivator named Qian. These five people continued their escape and pursuit. However, under the three flags, the woman's eyes revealed a strange light as she stared at the compass in her hand. 
she had a bad feeling. In one day, the sea level has dropped hundreds of feet, several times more than yesterday there is a problem she stared at the compass that was covered in green dots. There weren't many white dots left, less than 1,000. The three largest lights had disappeared. As for the nine weaker dots, after the first four disappeared, two more had disappeared. Only the three dots that were together were slowly moving, with two eye-catching green dots chasing them. The woman carefully scanned the compass and frowned even harder. There is nothing wrong. How did the water level drop so much in two days? There are still two days left. Forget it, I'm not waiting until the end. The sudden reduction in the sea water is too strange. I'm going to use the 10,000 refined corruption liquid to sweep the remaining cultivators. The woman felt a sense of unease. After hesitating for a bit, she clenched her teeth and took out the black liquid. She then flicked it toward the sea. The drop of black water immediately flew down and disappeared into the sea. After it disappeared, the sea water before the woman turned black. The ink-like black water rapidly spread at an unimaginable speed. No matter what kind of secret remains inside the pill sea, it will die to the 10,000 refined corruption liquid. As for Wang Lin, after two days, he had absorbed a large amount of sea water. He condensed it inside his body in an attempt to form a water essence, but none had formed yet. After pondering, he absorbed even faster. Several hours later, more than half of the pill sea had turned black. All heavenly bull continent cultivators that were touched by it screamed one by one. Their bodies were corroded by the water, and not even their origin souls could escape. Even the group of green-robed cultivators slowed down in the Black Sea, but they weren't injured. The woman under the flags couldn't see it, but the compass in her hand clearly revealed the changes that were happening. Half of the pill map on her compass had turned black. All the white dots touched by the Black Sea had disappeared as if they were erased. Whoever is causing the problem, I want to see how you will absorb the pill sea once it has been defiled, the woman murmured, and there was a cold flash in her eyes as she searched the hundreds of white dots on her compass. She was very concerned about the fact that the sea level was decreasing rapidly. She had to find the reason. The white dot representing Wang Lin was overlooked by the woman once more. However, as her gaze swept past, Hei eyes locked onto the white dot representing Wang Lin and revealed monstrous killing intent. Every white dot represents a non-green devil continent cultivator. All the white dots are slowly moving toward the heavenly bull continent to escape, but this white dot has remained motionless. I should have noticed it a long time ago there was a flash of killing intent in her eyes. Directly north, 97 million kilometers away send 30 sets of green devil soldiers to kill. Before she finished speaking, the white dot that represented Wang Lin suddenly disappeared. This happened so suddenly that she stopped talking and was startled. As for Wang Lin, he had continued to absorb sea water during these days, but he was still not able to condense any water essence. Shortly after, he began absorbing even faster, making his body tremble. He opened his eyes and they shined brightly. Water essence I feel the aura of a water essence Wang Lin's eyes lit up, and after hesitating a bit, he revealed a decisive gaze. He stood up and stepped forward. Ripples appeared under his feet as he merged with the world and disappeared. When Wang Lin reappeared, he was above the other half of the pill sea, where the black liquid was. When he appeared, he felt a terrifying force from the black sea water that could corrode all flesh and even origin souls. This is another power of the water essence Wang Lin's body was currently in the ninth cycle of completing his water essence. He had more resistance to the black sea water than ordinary cultivators. Although the sea water was terrifying, it could not corrode his body right away. More importantly, it contained the water essence Wang Lin needed right now. After he appeared, Wang Lin sat down without hesitation. His hands formed a seal and the 36,000 pores in his body opened to absorb the black sea water into his body. As he rapidly absorbed it, he felt a stinging ping in his body, but at the same time, an extremely comfortable feeling came from his heart. His body was being nourished and the ninth cycle was slowly being completed. Far away from Wang Lin, on the other side of the pill sea, near the Green Devil Continent, under the three flags, the woman's pupils shrank. She stared at the compass in her grasp and her right hand trembled. The black ink that covered half the pill sea was rapidly dissipating on the map. When she saw this, her expression changed and she gasped. This disbelief appeared in her eyes as she looked at the compass in a daze. Soon, she noticed that there was a white dot within the black part of the pill sea. This dot wasn't bright, but it was the only white dot in this half of the pill sea. 
It's that person the woman's eyes filled with killing intent as she pointed forward with her left hand. Fifty set of green devil soldiers, kill that person with that. More than half of the 1,000 cultivators beside the woman stepped forward and disappeared. In the woman's compass, large amounts of green dots appeared around Wang Lin, surrounding him. As for Wang Lin, he was rapidly absorbing the water essence and his body was rapidly recovering. His dried up hands quickly recovered and his blood began to move as if he had regained his vitality. His body, head, and hair were no longer dry as he continued to absorb the black sea water. The ninth cycle of the water essence began to move once more after Wang Lin injected new power into it by absorbing the black sea water. This speed was very fast and the sea level in this area was rapidly dropping. Wang Lin's water essence's ninth cycle quickly completed. The moment the ninth cycle completed, Wang Lin opened his eyes. His body was no longer withered, it had completely recovered. The moment he recovered, the eighth essence appeared in his body. It was the water essence. The appearance of this water essence caused Wang Lin's cultivation level to suddenly increase. A powerful aura spread out around him. This was the aura of his true cultivation level, late stage spirit void. At this moment, his aura increased like crazy and broke through. At the moment of breakthrough, his aura continued to increase until it reached the peak of spirit void and was only one step away from arcane void. At the same time, the inside of Wang Lin's body raged and popping sounds echoed. His eyes revealed a light like that of a water crystal. Water essence, condense in the blood of my body. From now on, my blood will be the water essence. When Wang Lin's water essence was completed, many shadows appeared near him. The moment those shadows appeared, a green light spread out. Wang Lin had long sensed the shadows that had suddenly appeared. He remained calm and his right hand grasped at the sea above. All the black liquid in the sea gathered in a flash and formed a drop of black liquid. This liquid was the 10,000 refined corruption liquid. The shadows appeared one by one, followed by the auras of their powerful cultivation. As they all charged toward Wang Lin, he mercilessly squeezed the drop of black liquid. Water can isolate all auras. It can stop fire from burning, can suffocate life, can turn the world colorless. Wang Lin murmured as he squeezed and the drop of black liquid in his hand until it collapsed. Large amounts of ink-like water spread out with Wang Lin as the center. The 1,000 figures that had closed in on Wang Lin were trapped by the black liquid before they could even get close. Miserable cries echoed inside the pill sea. All the green-robed cultivators touched by the black water trembled as their bodies rapidly corroded and their origin souls dissipated. Some seemed to suffocate. Their eyes widened and they died. The water not only cut off air, but also celestial energy and the burning flames of their lives. Some collapsed directly and the blood in their bodies came out of their pores. It crushed their bodies and shattered their origin souls. There were also many that trembled violently as their bodies rapidly withered until they became bone-like corpses. Their origin souls weakened to the point of collapse. Everything happened the moment Wang Lin's right hand formed a seal. He was calm as he slowly walked forward through the corpses. Black liquid came from the corpses and entered Wang Lin's body to fuse with his blood. After walking forward seven steps, Wang Lin suddenly turned around and looked into the distance. Far away in that direction was the location of the three flags where the woman was. The woman's body was trembling and her eyes were filled with fear. All the green dots around Wang Lin had been extinguished. The black that covered half the pill sea had also disappeared, leaving only a white dot that moved slowly before disappearing. Who is this person? Why did he not show up when we investigated the powerful cultivators here? The woman silently pondered and clenched her teeth. All green devil soldiers in the pill sea, listen to my order. Chase after this person and don't let him leave. He took the 10,000s refined corruption liquid. You must kill him to get it back the woman said before coughing out a mouthful of blood. The blood merged with her words and turned into gas that drilled into the compass. When the blood dissipated, all the green-robed cultivators beside the woman quickly marched forward. At the same time, all of the green devil continent cultivators trembled as the woman's voice echoed in their minds. The reason her voice was able to spread so far was not because her cultivation level high, but through the compass in her hand. The compass was no ordinary object, it was the center of the restriction that surrounded the pill sea. Wang Lin remained calm and moved through the pill sea. His pace was not fast, but with every step, he moved very far away, he was gaining speed. These people have sealed the pill sea, although I don't know why, since they only allow others to enter and not leave, 
It is obvious they don't want the news to leak out. Wang Lin's eyes lit up as he raised his right hand. A small person came out of his palm. This little person was a soul Wang Lin had formed through the soul Ideo. As Wang Lin walked forward, his gaze met the little person's eyes. The little person trembled and kowtowed toward Wang Lin. The moment the head of the little person touched Wang Lin's palm, a rumble echoed in his mind. Just as he was about to dv night the future, a powerful force interrupted it by force. His eyes narrowed and his expression became even more serious. There is someone interfering. Not against me, but all divination spells in this place. Wang Lin closed his palm and the small person inside disappeared. I fear there will be a big mess here. Wang Lin pondered as he stepped forward and ripples echoed under his feet. He disappeared without a trace when he employed spatial bending. Less than 10 breaths after he left, almost 1,000 figures appeared here. These figures were all wearing green robes, and after looking around a little, they disappeared once more. As for Wang Lin, when he reached close the heavenly bull continent, he walked out of the ripples and frowned. He didn't leave the sea but gazed up. His stare seemed to permeate the sea. He observed the dark sky overhead. The restriction here made it so spatial bending can only move within the pill sea and not leave. This restriction is a bit mysterious. Wang Lin's eyes lit up. He was not scared of constraints. It was tough for a restriction escape his restriction nature. The more constraints he met, the more helpful it would be to his restriction essence. If he could absorb and perfect a powerful and old limitation, his restriction essence would expand considerably. The restriction here can be refined and absorbed into my restriction essence. Wang Lin murmured to himself. When he was at the Soul Scripture Pavilion, he felt like it would not be helpful to refine the restriction there as an elder of the set. Also, those constraints weren't that mysterious, they only contained the intent of powerful cultivators. While meditating, Wang Lin was very calm and waved his right hand. To Wang Lin's right, dozens of flames started to flare in the sea. Miserable screams rang out when the fire broke out, and more than a dozen cultivators in green materialized. Even the seawater couldn't put out the black fire that was burning through their bodies. Their will to kill started this ethereal fire. Even though Wang Lin didn't often employ ethereal fire this was his first usage on the immortal astral continent it was nevertheless incredibly potent when used suddenly. The group of over 12 cultivators had not reached the third stage. They had little hope of fending against Wang Lin, they were just scouts dispatched to locate her. Wang Lin was ready to dive over the edge of the ocean to see the barrier enclosing the pill sea, but his demeanor shifted, and he turned and peered off into the distance. They are here, all three of them. Wang Lin grinned as he turned around and moved forward. Deep beneath the waves, thunderous rumbles could be heard. In order to make a quick getaway, the white tiger carried the vermilion bird and the black tortoise while coughing up blood. Qian, the farmer, licked his lips and displayed a fierce grimace. Given your strength, it could be a wise decision to train you to become a puppet. You three have a fairly good cultivation. You three migrated here a few decades ago and are not affiliated with any sect, based on the inquiry conducted by my sect. Would you like to evade death by joining my Wuji sect? The young person whose face resembled white jade grinned. The white tiger had a very pale face. He remained silent while making a mad dash for freedom beside the dying vermilion bird and the black tortoise. But no matter how quickly he walked, he was unable to get away from the two cultivators who were after him. White Tiger, none of you three ought to go unnamed. The teenager with the white face that resembled Jade slowly spoke and gestured forward with the fan in his palm, asking, Why is our investigation of the three of you blank for the countless years before you three came to the pill sea? A golden celestial brandishing a gold sword emerged from the fan as a strand of green gas did. It advanced and proceeded to chop down on the white tiger. White tiger whirled around as soon as the golden sword fell. A white tiger shadow emerged with a growl, severing from his body to leap at the heavenly with golden armor. A great roar sounded, and the star fell, but not before the white tiger gave a pitiful cry and fell as well. The white tiger recoiled 1,000 feet and gave another bloody cough. One of the four outstanding generals of the Seven Deo sect, this elderly man is the white tiger general. Neither my name nor my sect will change. Little youngster, you do remember this well, when White Tiger's appearance declined, he stopped running. He realized that his chances of surviving this predicament were little to none. He was going to go out with a boom because he was going to die. Blood was streaming from the corner of the vermilion bird general's mouth as he gaped at the young man. 
The Vermilion Bird was one of the four outstanding generals of the Seven Deo sect, behind the White Tiger. General Black Tortoise The Black Tortoise also realized that the three of them were probably going to die. With a sigh, he revealed his true identity. Seven Deo sect? There is such a sect on the Heavenly Bull continent? The young person with a white, jade-like face thought for a while, but their research did not turn up any mention of such a group. After hearing this name, the cultivator from the Seven Deo sect, Qian, gave the three of them a close examination. This name was originally mentioned in the sex study of the Heavenly Bull continent. There there existed a group whose leader went by the name of the Seven Colored Celestial Sovereign, or something like that. Although that was a long time ago, his cultivation was extraordinary. Most likely, he's dead. When White Tiger and friends heard the moniker Seven Colored Celestial Sovereign, they fell silent. Their faces were convoluted with expressions. The White Tiger abruptly declared, even though the sect master is dead, there is still one more person. If he comes out, he will immediately become famous across the immortal astral continent. After exchanging glances, the black tortoise and vermilion bird nodded. Known throughout the immortal astral continent? This is a fascinating topic. Are you referring to one of the four geniuses of the eastern continent, or Yun Yai Feng of the Guiyi sect? Funny the young man with the face that resembled white jade smiled as he and the cultivator Qian raced forward, intent on murdering. But just as they were drawing near and White Tiger and his allies were about to engage in combat to the death, a voice as cold as the wind materialized. It's humorous. The voice seemed to have materialized out of thin air, as though it had blended with the ocean. The sea around them started to stir as the words reverberated. Wang Lin emerged from the water slowly. He was extremely composed, and the waves had left no stains on his white robe. The waves had not disturbed his white hair, which hung over his shoulder. He regarded White Tiger icily as he glanced at the two cultivators from the Green Devil continent. White Tiger Wang Lin was astonished. The Black Tortoise and the Vermilion Bird were equally astounded. They never would have imagined Wang Lin to be here. Wang Lin gave a nod to each of the three before turning to look at the two cultivators from the Green Devil continent. Qian, the farmer, had murderous intentions. Since Wang Lin was merely at the top of his spirit void development, he did not consider Wang Lin to be a threat. He simply needed to be concerned about Wang Lin's capacity for hiding it wasn't enough to pose a threat. The cultivator called Qian scoffed, this person must be good at hiding, otherwise, he couldn't have appeared here without me noticing. He flew even faster at Wang Lin instead of stopping. You should all stay since you are all acquainted with one another. Together, you can travel the path to the afterlife. Unlike the cultivator Qian, there was a young guy whose face resembled white jade. He halted as he saw Wang Lin appeared, his eyes contracting. Rather than lunging forward, he quickly withdrew. This person appears normal, but there's an undetectable blood sensation all around him. Inside the pill sea, he has undoubtedly killed a great number of people. The young person with the white, jade-like face cultivated a method that made him sensitive to blood. He sensed Wang Lin's presence, but no one else did. It was a sensation of blood that could have choked him. He pulled back covering his right eye with his right palm so that only his left was visible. A peculiar rotation of his left eye's pupil caused him to see hundreds of resentful spirits surrounding Wang Lin. Wang Lin slaughtered all of these cultivators on the Green Devil continent. The youth with the white jade-like face shuddered at this and quickly withdrew, not even giving his friend a warning. He and the cultivator Qian stood in sharp contrast to each other, with one retreating and the other charging forth. Wang Lin mockingly sneered. Wang Lin waved his fingers and black fog stretched out as the cultivator Qian closed in. There was a loud roar, and the ESI puppet materialized. Emerging from the mist, its red tongue flashed, revealing a menacing grin as it lunged toward Qian, the cultivator. Although this cultivator's cultivation was exceptional, it was like night and day in comparison to the ESI puppet. The cultivator Qian's eyes widened the instant ESI appeared. His body was filled with a crisis of life and death and he was drenched in sweat. His body warped at this point, and he immediately shifted course to flee. How in the world could he have such a strong puppet? Damn it! Who is he? The cultivator Qian was terrified to see an early stage void tribulant puppet in person, but he was not as fast as the ESI puppet. He fell back, and the puppet followed, enveloping him in a pitch black mist. Blood spurts and thunderous rumbles resounded inside the fog. With panic gripping him, the young person who had made the most of his escape rapidly pulled away from Wang Lin, 
he was ready to teleport away and unite with the limitation. Wang Lin calmly observed the cultivator heading out of the Green Devil continent. Currents appeared as his right hand extended toward the emptiness. The youth, whose face resembled a piece of white jade, was grasped for by a massive hand formed by the water. The young man opened the fan in his palm with a loud roar. A picture of 10,000 galloping horses was painted on the front of the fan. The sound of hoofs suddenly materialized as his fan opened. Simultaneously, he saw an illusion of 10,000 horses charging behind him. As Wang Lin's arm emerged from the sea, it crashed with the imaginary horses, causing the sea to quake. A massive vortex developed, and thunderous rumbles could be heard all across the pill sea. The waters rotated quickly along with the vortex as it rotated. The 10,000 horses and the arm vanished as the tremendous rumbles continued. Regarding the young person, he blended in with the limitations and vanished. The youth materialized beside the woman with the compass on the opposite side of the pill sea, close to the Green Devil continent and the three large flags. He coughed up blood the instant he appeared. His eyes were still filled with residual fright, and his face was full of terror. After wiping the blood from the corner of his mouth, he stated, an accident occurred. Brother Qian is probably no longer with us. When did the Heavenly Bull Continent have a cultivator like that? Wang Lin is his name, and I must immediately report this to the teacher. The female next to him remained fixated on the compass she held in her hand. She was staring at the white dot, Wang Lin's representation. After a considerable amount of time, the woman's eyes briefly flashed with murderous intent, and she said, I have already reported this matter to the sect. He is inside the formation, so he can't escape. The army of the three sects will arrive once Senior Brother Void Cloud arrives. All that's left to do is for Senior Brother to refine the pill sea into a half-celestial pill and blow up the barrier surrounding the Heavenly Bull continent. Everything will end at that point. The three ancestors sent Senior Brother Void Cloud here. Senior Brother Void Cloud, the young man with the face like white jade lit up with respect at the mention of the name. In the Green Devil continent and even throughout the Eastern continent, Void Cloud was highly well known. One of the four geniuses of the Eastern continent, Void Cloud, belonged to all three of the major sects of the Green Devil continent and had no set sect. He could study the spells of any sect by going there. All of the Green Devil Continent's disciples looked up to him as their elder brother. It is stated that senior brother Void Cloud left the northern continent to study Dao by joining the sect of Grand Emperian Wu Feng. His cultivation is now incomprehensible. The kid with the white face resembling Jade was thrilled to be with him, knowing that Wang Lin would definitely die here. Regarding Wang Lin, Qian, the cultivator, was by no means Yi Si's equal. With a cry, the fight came to an end, and his body gave out. Because of Wang Lin's command, the primordial soul survived even after Yi Si devoured the body. Before White Tiger and company, Wang Lin started looking for the cultivator Qian's primordial soul. He released the soul of the origin after he had completed his search. The Genesis soul was attacked by the Yi Si puppet's tongue, but Wang Lin stopped it and stored it first. Startled, Yi Si fixed a glaring stare at Wang Lin. Wang Lin said to Yi Si, I still have a use for this person while maintaining a composed expression that betrayed a terrible desire to kill. The roars of the ESI gradually subside as Wang Lin looks on. It stopped roaring and lowered its head. Wang Lin left a deeper impression on ESI as his cultivation level rose. It wouldn't defy Wang Lin's commands unless it was pushed to the brink. Three long-time pals that we hadn't seen in a long time. I never thought I'd see you all here. Wang Lin turned to face White Tiger and the others, their emotions nuanced. Grinning, he clasped his hands. White Tiger and his companions were distraught and ashamed. Wang Lin, they will move like lightning since the Green Devil Continent has taken action. I worry that the majority of Heavenly Bull Continent growers have already perished. With a sigh, the Black Tortoise turned to face Wang Lin. We. How will we leave? This is the first time the Green Devil Continent has attempted to enter the Heavenly Bull Continent on a large scale, the Vermilion Bird replied after giving it some thought. But the obstacles erected by the Great Soul Sect and Guiyi Sect's ancestors prevented them. But since they began by eliminating every Heavenly Bull Rogue cultivator in the Pill Sea, their goal had to be really lofty. The Green Devil Continent is hiding the changes here so the Guiyi Sect and the Great Soul Sect won't know what's going on. White Tiger remarked in a powerful voice, We need to leave as people of the Heavenly Bull Continent and send a message to them. Leave now, this is not the time to talk, Wang Lin said. 
waving his arm, causing numerous currents to appear. They were carried forward by the currents. They advanced swiftly and came into cultivators of the Green Devil continent multiple times. Wang Lin instantly utilized ethereal fire to instantly kill them each time they came into contact. But as they went on, less and fewer cultivators from the Green Devil continent showed there. Eventually, they vanished, as if they never existed. There's a problem, Wang Lin said, narrowing his gaze. They were almost at the edge of the Heavenly Bull continent, so he was not far from it already. The sea floor rose as they continued onward, and the four of them shot clear of the water. There was no moon that night, and the sky was gloomy. The sea was a blur in the dark world. The only thing making the waves surge and rumble was the wind gusts. A hint of blood could be seen in the swells. The four of them rose up into the sky, emerging from the sea. All was quiet save for the sound of the waves. White Tiger and his companions sensed a problem as well. Their eyes brightened as they cast a glance about. The heavenly bull continent was barely a faint silhouette visible to them amid the engulfing darkness. All three of you, keep me safe. I'm going to check the strength of this limitation Wang Lin concentrated on. He thought about it for a moment before placing his right hand on the ocean below. Section 1846